Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I designed the brand myself to make sure that every product that comes out to you is the best quality, has an individual design and also is versatile. I like everything to match, so if you've got a product from the very beginning of the John Next Door brand, it will match with something that you buy right up to the minute. Everything working together, which makes things more versatile and easier for everyone. I really hope you can join me on Hachanda and continue your crafting journey with me and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander Shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light Shows on Echanda. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. It is Christmas Eve, everyone getting very excited. Love seeing the video of the team looking very, very festive. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your day. So say it is uh, Christmas Eve, so we're gonna be kicking things off in style with some fantastic happy hour deals. By the way, are there any kids watching? Uh, I've got my Christmas jumper on. I, I actually had, uh, I couldn't call him because he's busy, but I sent him a quick message, text message, the big guy, Santa, just see how he's getting on. He said, preparations are all set. 
He's looking forward to tonight, so I hope you've been very good and you get your presents. If you have been good, we're going to be rewarding you right now. Actually, even if you've been bad, you can take advantage of the deals. I don't want anyone sitting at home. I don't know how good I've been. Uh, so we've got some great deals for you. As the hour is a happy hour, the price is only around for this hour. Do take advantage. Got some books. Uh, we're going to start here. Let's take a look. This one, I think, is very pertinent to the time. So face masks, but there are face masks and then there are face masks. Look at these. These are really cute. We're looking at them the team as we're prepping for this hour. And there's some great designs in here. So if you want to make something, you've got obviously your basic mask in there, your introductions, how to do it. So getting through your stash, using uh, elements that you have in your own stash. But then when you get on to the more uh, detailed one, let me show you. When I say detailed ones, sort of character filled ones, I will be getting there. Where are we? There, look. So you can start making. Panda face mask is so cute. Or the little duckling as well. Uh, one thing I know a lot of us struggle with when making the mask, it is the elastic. Well, don't worry, because you even get the elastic for face masks as well. So it gives you some elastic to get going with. Oh, that duck's very sweet. So you can make a little duck, a little panda, something different. Now you're getting 26 different designs in this one book. So easy masks to sew. And then you're also, in, uh, actually, I apologize, 26 in here. So sorry, let me correct myself. The 26 designs are in your half yard heaven, which we'll be having a look at. So that is uh, one of the books. And then you are getting the half uh, yards to heaven. Now this, right in saying, is a design by Debbie. Oh, Debbie, there we go. There we go, let's have a look. Now, a lot of time for Debbie. She's a lovely person and very talented designer. And going through here, look at all. So. All the projects within this are useful things to know as well. Uh, everything using a half yard. So if you've got a half yard of fabric in your stash, and I know a lot of us do, uh, easy to make. So makeup bag. Actually, let's think about this. For fifteen ninety eight, the projects. So you can make a brush up, uh, makeup brush roll. Sorry. Then we have. That's quite cool. Step by step, peg bag. All useful. Pocket apron. Oh, I like that. Now that's. That's seriously useful for you in your craft rooms, like like a crafting utility belt. So yeah, I'd definitely make that. Glasses case, fantastic. This is really good. If you do buy a pair of sunglasses, uh, the one thing I was looking for is, you know, that if you go to shops, you can just get the sunglasses and they don't come with the case. Make your own case. Then you've got your craft caddy in there. You've got your neck cushions are great for traveling, so you can make your own neck cushions. Uh, Owl and the Pussycat, so more character driven designs as well, your padded, uh, I mean, all of these. So imagine just going to one, I uh, know we're not going to craft class at the moment, but if you did go to one craft class, just learn, say, how to do the oven gloves, you've got all of these projects, 27 in total, in one book using the half yard. That in itself, for 15.98, I think it's a great buy. The fact that you're also getting the face mask as well, I think it's a good combo. So details are on your screen. You are saving five pounds. 15.98 is your price. 288337, your item number there. And by the way, this is going to be a happy hour. It's just me on my own. So if you do want to say hello, if you want to email in, I'd love to hear from you. Studio at hochanda.com. Uh, I say the I'm by myself. I'm not really because we have got Clocky. Hello, Clocky. Everyone come, come in here, Clocky. Oh, there you go. Clocky's there. Uh, so Clocky on the screen. Clocky is our little mascot for happy hours. I know we've still got snowy as well, uh, but Clocky joins us for happy hours and uh, just indicates how long you have uh, to get hold of these prices. So once the clock goes, so do the savings. Let's have a look at our next uh, offering. Oh, I've got to remind you as well. Everything is on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched on the 4th of January. So uh, everything will be dispatched on the 4th of January. Okay, let's have a little look at our next trio. Uh, good bundle. Should we start here? Love to sew. So, sewing book trio now includes love to sew. You've got your take two, uh, and you've also got your fat quarters in there as well. So, you've uh, both fat quarters, your home and gifts. Let's, oh, that's, I mean, that's heavy. Should we have a little flick through? So, $22.97. Let's see the kind of projects that we've got in here. And the way I kind of look at this is it's nicely designed. You've got the sort of step by step guide, the pictures as well. I find I need pictures too. I like I like having pictures and written instructions going through. Now just think about the projects that are in here. If anything does tickle your fancy, look at all of those projects. You've got pen holders, you've got a little caravan, 
bags going through here. It's that education as well. And as crafters, we know, for me, education is the key. It's learning how to do those techniques and getting comfortable with them. You can make your own tea cozy in there as well, more bag designs. So this is helping you to grow as a crafter. And it's nice as a reference. If you want to make your own sustainable shopping bags, we're like that getting away from uh, plastic, um, your fabric purse key rings, good, for your keys, floral sewing bags, this is a nifty one, I like this square, so your door stop, imagine that in your home, but think about fabrics as well that you would use on it, so lots, you've got your uh, horse hanger, all of those, that's just one book, triple layer cake, like it, vintage pin cushion, so all of those, that's your first book. And we're going to have a look at the fat quarters. Now, this is another thing. As crafters, odds are, if you're a soft crafter, you're going to have a stash of fat quarters. So now, this is an opportunity to look, because this is what we do. We look for our next projects. All of these made out of fat quarters, and they are gifts. So let's just go through. All of these gifts. So uh, what is a fat quarter? Just breaking it down, explaining it. Then you've got your steaming, okay, a seeming rather steaming. Uh, <laughs> now, here, we're going to get into the projects. Cosmetics pouch, you've got, I'm skimming over a few of these. Uh, we've got our super uh, summer shorts. Hey, now, those are nafty. Nafty nifty, rather. Um, do you know who, I, Jimmy, our director, I think you would sport these very nicely. You would rock those, buddy. He set the record here at Ho Chan for coming to work with the shorter shorts. And then we've got our flying geese lunch bag. I think all of those. So, okay, so those are your gifts for your fat quarters. I jumped over a lot of the projects there, but uh, you get to have a look at them at your leisure when you get home. And we have got a lot of books this hour. Right, we've got another one. This is uh, your home. So let's have a look at what we can make for the home. Well, instantly, I love that. For your cafetiere, now imagine the fabrics at home. That would look amazing. So let's see here. So we'll start having a little look. We've got our tools and then your patchwork. So it's good to learn those techniques, adding your trims. Great for, I think, all levels. If you just want to refresh and learn some new projects as an experienced sewer, or if you're a new sewer and you really want to build up your repertoire, this is where the books come into their own. Because unlike classes, it's something that you can come back to again and again and again as a reference. So going through, we've got all of these. We can make our own summer slippers. Swanky, like it. Or if you want to make a little uh, cable tidy roll, that, that is very helpful for our times. You've got your gardener's apron in there. So lots of projects and gifts. OK, so all three of those. Now, across all three books, you've got 92 projects. Should we think about this? If you were to buy a pattern, how much would you pay for a pattern? Let's lowball it. Let's say two pounds a pattern. Fair enough? If I was to say to you, two pounds to give you a pattern, instructions, pictures to make, say, one example, we saw the gardener's apron uh, there, okay? Two pounds a pattern. Do you know, it would mean if you've got 96, uh, 90, sorry, 92 of these, it would be 184 pounds worth uh, if we were to look at it from that standpoint. But I'm just trying to give you an idea. I'm not saying, look, the price is on your screen, how much you would pay for this. But just as crafters, we know the value that you would pay for that education, buying those patterns and learning to do techniques. So 92 different projects waiting to go. Uh, 563-390, your item number, and you're going to get all three of those, saving seven pounds. Okay, now, felting books. These are cool. What we're trying to do this hour is bring something for everyone. And let's have a look at the characters we have here. And that's the best way to describe it. They are characters. So you've got your felt birds. Uh, the little felt uh, animals are adorable. You're going to want to make all of those. And I know Mega Producer absolutely love the uh, felt advent calendar. Obviously, too late for this year, but next year, amazing. Take advantage of the £8 saving. I mean, twenty-three ninety-seven for all three books, I think, is pretty good. Let's have a little look. <laughs> These are cool. I'm going to swing this around. Love that. I know my wife, who's watching at the moment, I know she's a fan of the peacocks. There we go. Let's have a little look. 
And now let's start opening up. So you can make your felt birds. Look, these are cool. All right, this book alone has got me. And so I love that step-by-step -step instructions. You've got the pictures in there as well, how to make the animals. So lots of different characters, the projects. So we start having a look at those. You've got a blue tit in there. You can make your own blue tit. It's cute. Goldfinch, so lovely birds. A chaffinch. Or, oh, swan's elegant. Now that's like, that is a, sh I mean, they're all showstoppers, but imagine that in your home. Everyone's going to ask you, where did you get that from? And I think as crafters, the real joy is being able to say, well, I made it. Uh, what's that, a partridge? Pigeon, oh, is that a pigeon? You've got your hen. So all these different birds, flamingo. There we go, one for Paola. And that's a peacock, I love this peacock. Yeah, and then you got look, all of those. So, oh, there's the pheasant. Going in there, the owl. So you could literally adorn your home, all of your home in these beautiful uh, <laughs> seagull as well, uh, beautiful birds. So that's just one book. Now we're going to go into the characters. I think you're going to like these. Let's see this. Instantly got me. Isn't that cute? So I think there is a warning with this one, because you make one, you're going to want to make them all. Look at the characters. I love it. And you make their clothes, you make all the aspects to them. So uh, basic techniques and how to build up your characters. Got step-by-step -step instructions again. So important, having those pictures as well. Oh, come on. I love these. This is actually really nice. For $23.97, I would happily pay that just for this one book. Now, the, I'm just going to show you here. So just to buy this book alone would have been £13. It's got the price on the back. You've got your squirrels in there. And I think a lot of the techniques, because when you start getting comfortable with building up your characters, the bodywork, the clothes, then it's obviously tweaking them so you can get their individual personalities. But the bears, oh, come on. Oh, I really like this. So, being able to make your own bears, done, get in my basket. So anyone, I mean, if you're looking to try something new for the new year, or build up, this is, I genuinely think, these are characters, you, can you imagine in your home, you start building up your family, so you've made a bear, then you make some mice, some rabbits, got all of those lovely characters in the mix. So there we go, that's your uh, character book, your little characters. Oh, look at these two. Have we still got more. And you're going to start gifting. Those you will gift. Actually, all of these you're going to gift. And then finally, we've got our felt advent calendar as well. Something that when you've made it, I think you're going to keep that. It's going to be that heirloom, that project that you're going to the bear. Come on. The elephant as well. It's apparently good luck if the elephant has its uh, trunk up. Let's have a little look. So you go through and you start building up. So it gives you those techniques, tells you those stitches. There's the Christmas tree. Obviously, you're going to have all the elements for your candy cane, for your advent calendar, your rabbit, your brown bear, your squirrel. And you can know what you could do. I know these are for the advent calendar, but then you've learned the techniques. You can incorporate these onto your other projects as well. Reindeer's very cute. Your owl, snowman. Oh, I'll just... Shot forward, so you've got your owl, you've got your snowman in there as well. Fox, toy shot, soldier, so all of those in your felt advent calendar. $23.97 for all three books. So just over £11, what, £11.30 uh, each? Something like that. 0 5, 2, 5 is it seven ninety five each? Oh, of course it is, 23 Oh. Do you know what? I've been running off no sleep for two weeks now, and it's taken its toll. Okay, so twenty three nine seven. Yeah, but when you think about it, so how much was it? Seven pounds, seven ninety nine each is incredible value. Zero five two five one five. Your item number. Now we have had an email from the lovely Diamond. Hello, Diamond, uh, saying great to see me back. Ah, and oh, 
Thank you very much. Everyone on Facebook saying, I well, that's very kind of you, Diamond. That's really sweet. Uh, Diamond actually messaged me uh, just to see where I'd been. And for anyone who didn't know, I, I did say before I leaving, but uh, when I went, we had a little baby. So my wife and I had a little baby boy. And uh, so I've taken some time off just to spend some time with new family. And uh, we've literally, We've literally been running off with my wife and I, no sleep. She's looking after the baby at the moment. Okay, we're going to move on, but thank you so much, Diamond, and thank you for all the lovely messages too. I got my hair cut because, frankly, long hair, <laughs> it's way too much maintenance, way too much maintenance. I haven't got the time now. Uh, let's have a little look at our next offering. We've got this sewing machine book bundle, including, now, you've got your sewing machine accessory Bible, you've got your learn to sew in 30 minutes. This is cool. So sewing, uh, the sewing machine accessory Bible, this would be great for anybody. I know so many people this year have uh, sort of come back to sewing or maybe taken up sewing. So this is kind of a compendium giving you all that information, the resources, so you know your sewing machine and you know the different aspects. Because I know we've discussed this here at Hochanda, but guests, and it's in a show and it's in conversation, but having that reference and resource that you can come back to and look at and sort of think, okay, so needles, going through the different needles, fabric uh, directory there as well. It's just a really good resource. Your zip foot, what else have we got? Hem foot, so just learning to explore your machine, what all the different feet do. Uh, there, you've got that reference, speciality fabrics, technique uh, and technique feet too. Your walking foot, which is vital. And it's something we see time and time again at Hochanda, the ruffle foot, but it's nice to have that time to explore it and really get an idea. Your bias binding feet in there. And actually, this is great. I know Haley. So Haley Smith brings us the sewing uh, machine feet bundle occasionally, sort of periodically throughout the year. Um, this is great if you have got that bundle and you just want to feel comfortable with everything in there. So that is your Bible for your accessories for your sewing machine. And then we've got our 30 minute makes, which is a good time too. All of these in 30 minutes, come on. So let's have a little look. Learn to sew in 30 minutes. This already got me. Imagine learning, learning to sew in 30 minutes, and it's a well-made book, actually, just feeling it. You know, you pick something up and it just feels well-made. So having a little look, we can make coasters, pin cushions, nice, different patterns, your rope bowl, what else have we got in here? We've got a card wallet, very handy. It's a really nice projects to get started with. I have brilliant, I need that. Sleep mask. Your autumn leaf garland, your folk art hoop. All in one book, your koala toy. I have to say, we're busy for this set. Your mug rug. Lots to explore, okay. so. That is your 30 minute makes. Really good book, chock a block full of projects in there. And then finally, we have our overlocker manual. So, this is something which a lot of overlockers, uh, I think a lot of crafters, you kind of work your way up to and then invest in. But an overlocker really does transform your finish to your projects, it gives you that professional finish. It's good to have that reference really learn a machine. I'm a great believer if you if you buy a bit of kit, know it inside out, learn how to use it and get the most out of it. So it really does explore the overlocker and the potential. It gives you such a great foundation of knowledge. So you're working with a machine, you're comfortable in how to use that machine uh, to its best ability. There we go. Really good knowledge. So that's, I think this hour, and I know we've just got books for the happy hour, but as crafters, the key to crafting, I think it is knowledge. And we, we uh, as a community, a crafting community, everyone's so generous in sharing their techniques, sharing their knowledge. But here, you've got that reference point. So you're able to go to your books so you can refresh your knowledge. Say you've read the book, and a couple of years later, you want to come back to it. Or if you want to, throughout the year, you're looking at projects. So say the project book, and maybe each month you're doing a different project from there. This will take you through a year quite easily. £29.97, uh, your price. You're getting all three of these. Uh, 450119, your item number there. Okay, we're going to move on. This is cool. Now, what we've tried to do this hour is bring something for everyone. So this is uh, your mandalas and Japanese embroidery. 
Everybody loves a mandala. Let's have a look here. And we've got the uh, embroidered mandalas, which are beautiful. So uh, freestyle embroidered mandalas. Let's start opening these up and having a little look. Beautiful, beautiful mandalas. I mean, look at that. It's your reflection. This next one, look, this is nice. Sea spray, really nice names for these too. So you've got wonderful intricate mandalas, free, uh, free wheel there. Ooh, pretty paisley. That is so striking on the black. I like that a lot. So all of these mandalas, explored the stitches, the designs, everything you'll find within this one book. Like that a lot. And then we've got some Japanese embroidery. Let's have a little look here. So you start opening these up. I, I'm a huge fan of Japan. It's somewhere where I'd love to go. It just seems like the culture uh, there, so much to explore. And here in the book, it is exploring. Look at all these little projects that you're able to make. Well, I like this. Scooting over, let's just say. Now you are getting templates for every project in the mix as well. Yeah, I like these a lot. So uh, creating with uh, paper crafting, showing those techniques, those folds. All of these, oh, I'll just whip through. So we've got a lot to show you. There are the templates as well. So, I mean, that is a lot of templates in one book. So you've got that reference. So both books for, wait, do you know, I have to say, I took my, my eye off the price there for a second. You're saving 10 pounds, 12.98 your price, six pounds 50 per book. Come on, you can't go wrong. I'm just having a look. Uh, each book would be 12.99. Just having a look here. Well, that book's 12.99. Uh, this one here would be actually, I apologize, 15.99. So 15.99 for this book and $12.99 for this book. So effectively, you're getting the $15.99 book for nothing. Actually, do you know what? And that's, uh, our start price is wrong. And I can just show you, just to prove the point, Jimmy, can we just have a little look here, just to show everyone? This is what I love about books, because the price is printed on there, you can see it. So $15.99 there, and over here, you can see $12.99. So you should be paying if you're getting two of these separately, 28 pounds uh, and 98 pence. So we say 22.98, that's already we're giving the price, it's a good price, but 12.98 for both of those, that is an absolute deal. So you're paying for this one, and effectively you're getting the 15.99 one for free. Uh, 695-899, your item number. Okay, now we've got another trio. Uh, sorry, uh, it's not, it's a quad, quad for you. So uh, set of four, Nine, 996 for all four of these. Come on. So 20 to make books uh, collection. You've got your faux fur fun, your knitted uh, boot cuffs, your modern needle point, and your crocheted flowers. Should we have a little look at some of these? This is cool. Like these. So 20 to make, I think, would imply, we've seen them before, that we've got. <laughs> I really like these, are cool. So adding something different to your boots. Wellies, okay. Now, I would totally rock these in some wellies. So you can get an ordinary pair of wellies, and they would, yeah, any of the designs. The heart, should I tell you, because with wellies and look, all these type of boots, you can buy a pair of boots, but being able to fashion, that looks so cool. So ordinary pair of wellies, so cheap, cheap pair of wellies, you put that on there, and suddenly they're very expensive. A friend of mine bought some wellies. She paid over 100 pounds for them. I know, ridiculous. 100 pounds for wellies? There you go. So you've got all these different designs that you're able to make. So 20 in total. There we go. We like those. That's just one. That's £2.50 on this price. Let's have a look at this price. Okay, that's good. So this collection would be £20. It's four ninety nine each. Now we've got our faux fur fun. Is that all faux fur? Nice and ethical. And then you start having it. Oh, yes. Cuffs, bags going in, little pom-pom clutch bag, you've got your slide-through scarf, that ho oh, Hollywood wrap, come on, 
You got your hot water bottle cover. You got your child's mittens. That's cute. Your teddy bear hat. Come on, I like these. Uh, you got your uh, beaded evening bag. Your draft excluder. Your scatter pillow. Your earmuffs. So all of these. Headband. Bolero. Paola loves a bolero. Uh, Paolo and Alex both love a bolero, don't they? they? And they pull it off very well. Okay, let's have a little look. Uh, we've got now here, this is cool. So this is your modern needlepoint. Just open this up and have a little look at all the designs that you're getting. So the concept of the books, the name suggests 20 to make. You're going to get 20 projects. So this would be good for me. I had a little boy, so there we go. You've got your regatta, your butterfly, circles, daisies, Dutch tile, all these lovely designs in one book. So we've gone from the fur to the needle point. We started off with our boot cuffs. And then finally, crochet flowers. Now, look, crochet flowers, of course, we're showing you here you can wear them and they look beautiful, but also putting them onto your craft projects. So how often do we talk about having beautiful flowers? These are lovely. You can turn it into a corsage, brooch, bridesmaid dresses, put it on a hat, put it on gloves, shoes, bags. So all of those. I skimmed over quite a few, but you can see that there. Okay, so you're getting all four books, £2.50 per book or less, uh, for 728344. Do you want to get hold of these? £10 saving your price, but only while stocks last or we have the happy hour, because at the end of the hour, uh, the price will go back up. And just to remind you, everything is going to be dispatched on the 4th of January. It's that funny time in between sort of Christmas is tomorrow. So obviously just logistics, uh, the post starts again and just getting things going. Okay, let's have a little look. Speaking of Christmas, this is something that looking ahead to next year, if you do want to save eight pounds and I'm going to have a look here. Yeah, OK. Just thought, I thought you would be paying more for these. So everyone here and I have to say, I've been watching Ho Chanda while I've been at home and the team have uh, been representing with their Christmas jumpers. Scott, well, this is my, if anyone's regular Sochanda, I've worn this for the last three years. I, got, I, I love my, I love my, uh, my uh, sort of antler, my Rudolph uh, jumper. But Scott's game with the hat, Christmas tree hat yesterday, I was very impressed by that. He went all in. So let's have a look. But the point I'm trying to make is Christmas jumpers are a big thing at the moment. And I love, get, no, no one will complain to be given a present of a Christmas jumper. I tend to, I do have a couple, I bought one and the only reason I didn't wear it this year, and you can see all the instructions, they're very detailed instructions, so I would say sort of ability level, you would have needed to have uh, done something like this before, have a go. This wouldn't be something to just jump in as a beginner possibly. I mean, you could try, you've got all the different jumper designs, that's got a bit of a Scandi feed, uh, feel rather. You've got your Christmas pud as well like that and it's nice being able to coordinate so you can make one for dad one for mum uncle whole family for that be quite cute for your christmas tree uh, picture we could next year the morgans we'll all we'll all dress up with christmas pudding <laughs> give each other a hug for the camera and then you've got look you've got you like their own little rudolph santa I like it. Okay, so we've got our Christmas jumpers, and then we got our nativity. Let's have a little look here. This is nice. So being able to, we talked about heirloom, like with the, um, the felted uh, advent calendar. This is something that you're going to bring out year upon year. Be a nice project to do as well. So spread it out. So do the manger, you've got the infant, the animals, something you don't have to do in one go. You can spread it out over the course of some time throughout the year. Shepherds. I, I really like this. I think it's nice. Lovely display. It's going to be a talking point. If people come to your home, they will. There's the angel. You've got the wise men. 
So you're getting all of those. Uh, so that's your nativity and your Christmas jumper for nine ninety eight. Five pounds of Burke two five zero ninety five. Your item number. Now. I think Catherine had these um, recently and they were very, very popular. So uh, this is your gradient knits, saving £13, so it's a better than half price saving. Should we have a look at the gradient knits and see what we've got here? Let's have a little flicky. So how to use the book, which is good. The basic color theory, which is important, because that's the whole point of this book, is playing around with color, having that gradient. So look at that, you've got your sturdy cow, really nice projects to make stripy blankets, mittens, cabling, scarves. Oh, wow. Look at those, cool like these so that's nice as well so all of those projects in your first book and also how to finish and then now this is an interesting one this is your intarsia knitting let's have a look I hope I pronounced that right so this is intarsia it it's about color so you kind of use it to create patterns and multicolors. She first uh, used for woodworking, apparently. Now that is nice. Guy or girl, I think that's nice. Lovely chevron design going through. You've got your mitten combo with your hats. You've got your sweater motifs. It's cute. Little fox. Draft excluders. Tea cozies. Yeah, we like this. Excellent. Okay, so there we go. Getting both books for nine at ninety-eight, saving thirteen pounds. Seven. That's a really good price. Five pounds per book. Let me just have a little look at the back. So twelve ninety-nine here, uh, and this would be nine ninety-nine. So twelve ninety-nine, nine ninety-nine. Effectively, you're paying nine ninety-nine for the lesser price book, and you're saving on that one. Seven one one eight nine three your item number. Okay, what we're going to do is tell you a little bit about Freedom Membership and then the fun will resume. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom Membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Well, there we go, a little bit about Freedom Membership. Freedom Membership is very cool. I'm actually a Freedom Member. I've been a Freedom Member since I joined Hochanda. For me, the best part about being a Freedom Member, the price I see, I never factor in, like, say, postage and packaging here would be four ninety five. I never worry about that. Actually, that's quite a good point, because postage and packaging is four ninety five on this one item. The Freedom Membership is the lowest price we've ever offered it, so we reduced that price a couple of months ago. It's now £5.97. pence. So for an extra pound and two pence you can become a freedom member for the whole month or you can just I'm just referring to this one item here uh, or you can just get this one item as a one-off PNP and then have to keep on paying if you if you shop with us once or twice a month say at Ho Chandra it really is worth becoming a freedom member all right, let's have a little look at what we've got here. 603 202 item number. Uh, this is your crochet book bundle now it includes six cro six crochet books for 15.94 you are saving a monster 20 pounds now let's have a little look at what we got now this actually launched on sunday so this is one of our seven day savers let's have a little look at what we're getting so we've received um, some lovely crochet gifts for the little one, for a little boy and uh, my mum my mum really impressed me i didn't know i didn't even know 
she could do crocheting. But uh, she crocheted a lovely little cardigan for him. So crocheting, and this is actually something, maybe I should get this for my mum. be a nice little thing for her. She's obviously been watching her chanda on the sly. Uh, so you've got coat hangers in there. You've got all these lovely Easter eggs. That's cute. You've got your granny square purse. So lovely little projects for crochet. They're all, they're all obviously crochet projects. Now I just want to remind you all, these are not happy hours. This is part of our seven day savers. Let's have a look. So this is your crochet restraint. Actually, I, I am going to buy this for my mum, I've decided, after the show. So lots of projects to do. Jam jar, oh, I flicked through that very badly. Let me just try that again so you can see. Get your scrub. Do you know, it works out, £2.66 per book. Pot holder, that's, now that is really handy for your home. And obviously you govern the design and the colours so it suits your home. You've got your desk tray in there as well. Jam jar, uh, candle holders. Yeah, we like this. Purses in there as well. Bath mat, that's ah, genius, wow. Love that. Yeah, okay, like that. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, just to show you. Can we, I'm gonna be quick. Can I show you two more? I'll, I'll be really, really quick. This is what, because we were, I'll say, we received some lovely little gifts for the little one, and something like this. Now look at that. That's very cute. Little crocheted animals in there. You've got wool cardigans. Uh, you've got your swing jackets. Oh, that's cute. So zipped cardigan in there. Your cool star sweater. Cushion cover. All right, we like that. And then little characters, which I caught my eye as well. Let's just show you. So you've got your little characters in here. I like these, your fairy toadstools, your little dolls, your pandas, butterflies, penguins. Yeah, like those. And with the mix, I haven't even shown you, I won't flick through, but look, these are the different projects that you can be making as well. So you've got bags in there, and we've also got more accessories too. So all six books for fifteen ninety four. It works out, did we say £2.66 per book? Uh, 603-202, your item number there. All right, we're going to have a look at some zips. When I joined Hochanda, so I've been here now for like four and, four, over four years, four and a half years, and um, I have to say, I wasn't really a crafter. So I've done a bit at school and that was it. But I've been educated and I've learned. And one thing I've learned is uh, when it comes to zips, you could go to your local shop and you can pick up a zip, basic zip here. That would be one pound, one pound fifty for a zip. Fair to say, eleven ninety nine. You're getting eighty zips, saving sixty eight pounds. But then when you start looking here, so this zip metal zip with the denim that you might be able to say the first zip I showed you pound here because it's a bit more of a premium zip that would be sort of looking at one pound one pound fifty uh, per zip how much uh, you have to help me out here Meg how much does it work out per zip <laughs> okay 15 pence per zip, adding all of these into your stash. So if you wanted to use these on a mixed media piece, and I've seen it done before, so putting that onto an artboard, uh, undoing that slightly, gessoing over, having something, a design coming out of it, we can use those because you're not going to be frugal about them. You can also uh, add them onto your project. So you've got different sizes as well, different colors. So slightly longer size, great for your bags. Uh, now, obviously, uh, it will vary what you're getting. But I say obviously. Uh, well, it says on the screen, contents will vary. But um, the fact is, you've got so much diversity in there, you will always find something you need. So we've got a uh, lovely little sort of a burgundy, red, going through. You've got your more neutral colors. You've got your brighter colors as well in the mix. You've got your pastel colors. So all of these, I mean, look, I'm just going to hold up these two. It wouldn't be unrealistic to say a pound of zip, that's two pounds right there. £1.50 here. You know, when you start adding it up, 
when we're saying 15 pence per zip and having all of these and that's the whole point of it it's having that diversity i'm sorry i messed messed up your pack shop there kirsty but you can see having all of those for 11.99 i'm sorry i know it looks a bit messy here but when you get them home i think that's going to be let me just grab one that's dropped it is a big bundle at a great price. 11.99 is your price, saving 68 pounds. Uh, 510763, your item number. Now we got some denim for you as well. Go well with the zips. See, I'm just going to say that denim zip together. So if you wanted to put those together, that would work. How much? Uh, this is huge. Two meters of denim. Should we open this up? And it, it's two meters, but it's uh, wide as well. 56 inches. Just going to show you if you order more than one it will be cut on the continue as well so think about those big projects this i mean that is huge what i'd be thinking as well that is definitely we could be using that for uh because it's like a heavyweight think about home decor but uh, equally i think it'll make a nice dress in there you could you can make something right that is a for 14.99 i think that's a very very good buy for denim which is something that look if you want to source it's incredibly versatile think about all the different items of clothing uh, and also the projects around the home that you would want to make there oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry Kess, that is very badly folded uh okay 602 411 your item number have to say we're very busy for the denim we're very busy for our zips as well and a lot of you putting the books into your basket so if you do want to get a hold of these seven day savers you can find them on our website let's show you how easy that is so seven day savers saving over 80 percent and there are lots of different projects to have a look at oh, okay let's just pause there for a second those lights i don't like saying you need something but you do need these because so many projects we say well, just add some lights into it and you see here at Hochanda having those lights are fantastic and they're cork lights they go into a bottle and they're just fantastic but lots to do uh, to look at but I've got to draw your attention to the fact that these are only around till Sunday and then the savings will disappear and we'll have a brand new seven day savers okay we're gonna get back to our happy hours now I have to say one of our best sellers is this first bundle here a lot of you are popping this into your basket it's a good bundle lots to play around with so let's start with our sewing machine accessory bible have you uh, what i would say if you just purchased a sewing machine recently or if you're someone who's coming back to sewing or you have a sewing machine and okay i've got a question for you have you got a sewing machine and you tend to find you you're not getting the most out of your sewing machine so you've you've got a few basic feet you might use your free motion foot zipper foot and that's about it is that you well let's have a look because there is so much that's jimmy our director let's just see so we talked about the free motion foot a lot of us are sort of comfortable with the free motion and uh your um, maybe a walking foot but then when you start exploring let's go through all the different i mean look at the knowledge that you're getting here your fabric directory so talking about fabric, talking about the different feet. Okay, so we've got a straight stitch. Then you've got your zi uh, zigzag foot, zip foot, buttonholes in there, your blind hem. You've got your hem foot. So, but it explains it. So overcast foot. And that's where it comes into its own. It explains it, it gives you step by step how to use it, and it also shows you uh, what you're going to be making. Speciality fabrics in there as well. All of this. Your gathering feet, your ruffle foot. So fancy stitching as well. I mean, all of this found in here. Your darning foot. Yeah, we like this. So that's just your foot. All of those, that, just for that one book, I mean, that is a great resource for anyone with a sewing machine. Kirsty, I'm going to ask a favour. Do you know my water, in my, my water bottle? Do you know the one? It's, there. it's in the big fridge on the top shelf. Thank you, sorry. You can need a drink in a sec. Thank you, Kirsty. Uh, let's have a little look. So this is now, uh, this is your 30 minute sew. So having a little look. All of these projects, I mean, I like all, it's just at a glance seeing the different projects so you've got that lovely cushion uh, if you want this is nice the flower pots being able to make them look pretty your embroidered projects so all of this in one book let's have a little look and the whole point is is to get you sewing 30 minutes make something feel like you've accomplished something so you've got your different projects in there 
There's the rope bowl. And we have our plant pot bag. That's cool. That is really cool, because you know, a lot, of, a lot of pots, they're a bit boring. Oh, Kirsty, you're a star, thank you. Let's have a little look. Autumn leaf, folk art, hexy pillow. So all of those 30 minute makes in one book. So that's great. Uh, that book in itself would be $12.99 and then we have here our overlocker technique. So what I would say, these two books, I think as a sewer are invaluable. If you've got these machines and you're not really using them to their full potential, you know you could be doing more. This gives you that foundation knowledge and also confidence to go a step further and start trying things out. So gives you that overview uh, of the machine, sort of looking at your overlocker, getting you comfortable, and then once you are in your sort of comfort zone with the machine, you can start pushing and taking on those bigger projects that you wouldn't have necessarily tried in the past. So you've got such a good firm foundation. If you've invested in thing with overlockers and sewing machines, they're not cheap. So if you invest in the machine, get a book so you know that you're getting the most out of the book. So you're getting all three of those, $29.97 your price. Tell you what, if we just carry on looking at those for a second, I'm going to take a quick drink. Sorry, guys. And I'm back. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Whew. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm rusty. Do you know what I say? A month of not talking like this. Well, just a little story at home. So I was saying to the team, there's a, there's a movie called The Quiet Place. If you haven't seen the movie, the premise is there's lots of scary animals and, uh, or monsters, and everyone, live, everyone, everyone whispers. No one makes any loud sounds. That's how we're living at home right now. Like, don't wake up the baby. So I'm not used to talking at this level. Uh, okay, let's have a little look at our next bundle. $12.98 is your price. This is your freestyle embroidered uh, mandalas. You're also getting your Japanese paper embroidery as well. So both books, £10 saving. Now, one of these options, we said it was £10 saving, but we figured out it was actually more. I think it was this one. So with the mandala book, that's actually worth fifteen ninety nine. And then the other books were $12.99. So you're actually saving $15.99. Well, no, you're not saving $15.99. You're saving £16, an extra penny there as well. So £16 saving here. I know we're saying £10 saving, but when you get them home, if you do have a look at the back of the books, you'll be able to see the prices on there. And look, that is the regular retail price. It's printed on the book. And that's what I love about books. You see it. When you get it home, you'll know how much these books are worth. So if you're going to gift that to somebody as well, if you, maybe you like the Japanese embroidery, uh, embroidery and you wanted to gift this to somebody else, they're going to get it home, whip that around, think you spent $15.99 on them. So having a little look, uh, you're getting both books. Should we flip through? Let's flip through and see these. So we've got all of these beautiful mandalas. Reflections, you got your Strix. Have I pronounced that right? How would you pronounce that? Strix, Strix? I'll tell you why I say that. Uh, I once had to return, someone got in touch with me, and their name was Bo. But it, the way it was written is B E A, I think it was B E A U X. And I called her, I didn't know how to pronounce that name. Can I speak to Bowix? I went, oh, you want to speak to Bo? Oh, it's so cringy. Yeah, it's Bo. So, country living, you got your uh, Monaco Real. So, all of those, that's your mandalas. And then, let's have a little look at our paper embroidery. So, our Japanese paper embroidery. These are beautiful, really nice. Try something different. For, I mean, for $12.99, £6.50 per book. Come on, cannot go wrong. You're getting all your, uh, these are all the uh, templates in there as well. All right, so there we go. Details on your screen, 695-899, your item number. Now, I have to draw your attention back to something that's proving extremely popular. Whew, okay. So Sunday savers, they're around till Sunday. What day is it today? Is it Wednesday? Is it a Thursday? I've lost all track of days. Uh, so it's Thursday today. Uh, we've still got, obviously, seven-day savers till Sunday, but this has gone limited stock. So you have your denim. Let's just have a little look. I'm going to open it up. 
because you have to see how big this is. That is a, for $14.99, that is a monster piece of denim. So you're getting that two meters, it's uh, wide as well, so it's 56 inches wide. I have to say, for $24.99, I think that's a good price. And actually, it feels, genuinely feels like good quality denim, because I know with fabrics, and I say this all the time here at Hochanda, but with fabrics, we kind of, as a presenter, I feel it's my job to be your sort of hands because uh, normally if you're shopping, you'd feel the fabric and you'd, you know, you, you get to, it's that tactile touch. You know instantly a touch how good the quality is. I can assure you, and you know I'd never lie, just feeling the denim here, it really does feel like a really good quality denim. $14.99 is an absolute bargain. We are single figures. It is going to sell out before uh, we could actually sell out this hour. So it's definitely gonna sell out before Sunday. So if you wanna get hold of the denim, it's about to go single figures, it's limited stock. And if you do order more than one, uh, it's gonna be cut continuously as well. So if you know there's some big projects that you'd like to take on, that is a great way to stock up on your stash. I would absolutely be doing, get something different and quality in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that to one side. Uh, now, we're gonna look at the felt books. These are great. Really like these. Uh, only got three, uh, three minutes left for you, but character, character, characters. I'm gonna challenge you now. I'm gonna pick this up and we're gonna look through. Are there any, if you see one project in here that you, it's just got you, you'd like to make, I think it's well worth the investment. I mean, for me, but just the, the peacock, I'm sold. But let's go through and start seeing all these beautiful birds. So I can imagine that in a um, kitchen, a country kitchen, got seagulls so techniques and then we go through all right and we're going to start having a look at the different birds so here we go the projects so you've got your blue tits in there there's your goldfinch i mean any any um bird lovers the chaffinch the swan's beautiful that swan's really really nice got the detail on the feathers the pigeon that we're seeing here the hen. Uh, by the way, the denim, denim has gone. Said it was going to go this hour. So uh, the denim sold out there. You've got your peacock, the herring, pheasant. I mean, this is just one book. Owl in there, the dove. I know time's beaten. The stork's cute. <laughs> and then that's what turned up in my house recently. That's right. There we go. If only it was that easy. So there we go. We've got, uh, so that's your birds. Uh, and then we've got now our little felt animals. Let's have a little look. So, I mean, there's so much character here. It gives you that introduction. Now we start going through and seeing the different characters that you have. So there's rabbits. Oh, time is getting on. So there's squirrels in there. You've got your mice. Bears, all of these lovely cow. Come on, done. You know, I said I challenge you. If there's a project that you want, come on. How can you not want to make that lovely bear? So all of these characters, you're getting all the characters you're seeing here in one book, and we're not stopping there, because finally, last but certainly not least, you get to make your own felt advent calendar. But I know a lot of you think, well, oh, Christmas, not going to. Okay, so definitely not going to be in time for this Christmas, but. Think about taking those elements out. So it could be the bear, could be the penguin, the rabbit. Okay, the rabbit's a good one, actually. I don't know if you're able to find it. But with the rabbit, if you just wanted to make that rabbit individually and put it on something for Easter, you could. So it's just teaching those techniques. You've got all these different characters, the snowman, the fox. But a lot of these, the, um, the elephant, I mean, that is not for Christmas. You can use that all year round. So getting all of three of these books 23.97, but you've only got until the top of the hour to take advantage of the savings. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around. I know it was just me talking about books, but the next hour, the one day special, you do not want to miss. The Happy Puzzle Company. It's an hour that I have been desperate to present for months now. Uh, and I'm so glad I'm going to get two hours with Gavin. So please stick around for the next hour. He's going to be challenging me uh, to one of the games. I can't wait. So do not go anywhere. We'll see you right after this. <laughs> The Happy Puzzle One Day Special uh, is going to be here next. After that, we've got the Big Save with the Simply Vintage and Melissa, and then Fabric Freedom Big Save. Lots to enjoy here at Hochenda.
Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away.
Well, good morning, everybody, and a warm welcome to our one day special with the Happy Puzzle Company. I am so excited to get to this show. First time I've had the opportunity as a presenter, I watched Gavin. And allow me to introduce you to the very talented Gavin. How are you doing, buddy? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Yanis. Good morning, Hutch Handerworld. How are you all this morning? Good morning. I have to say, I watched you with Scott. And I was saying the story says, um, Scott got the Genius Square. And I ordered mine, and then Scott, we were playing it. And if anyone follows me on social media, it's Yanis Morgan uh, at Hochanda TV. Have a look at a video I posted a little while. If you just scroll down the page, it's a, a Facebook Live of Scott and myself. We played the Genius Square. We filmed for 12 minutes. We actually played all day. So in our breaks, when we're on breaks together, this game is incredible. It is. It is absolutely incredible. I, I would say to people that if you buy one game the whole of the rest of your life, then... The Genius Square is definitely the game for you to buy. In fact, it's been out now for two years. It has won so many awards. It's the current Game of the Year in Australia. It's also Product of the Year in Australia. Uh, two weeks ago, it won Game of the Year in Spain. Um, it's in the final of Game of the Year in the United States for 2021. Uh, and interestingly, in the UK, it's got the second highest ever rate, rating ever given to a game by the Good Toy Guide in the UK. Wow. So that's pretty impressive. And in fact, we've had it now for just over two years. And worldwide, we've already sold over 350,000. What I like about this, anybody can play it. So say, with age groups, I know it's, we've got one for slightly younger members. This is saying six plus, but <laughs> it gets the whole family involved. It's not a game, because you know, sometimes with games, especially board games, you get put off as a new one trying to read the instructions, so what do we do? Okay, so everyone has to start here. And you literally, you roll the dice, you put in the pegs, and then it's just filling in the shapes. But it teaches your brain as well. It's a good brain, brain uh, training exercise. That's right, because it literally takes about 15 seconds to learn how to play. Yeah. And to actually play a single game doesn't need to take more than one minute. So as soon as you finish yeah. playing, the first thing you want to do play is play again. And one of the things which has been a real bonus over the last few months during various lockdowns and things is that you've had grandparents being able to play with grandchildren over Zoom oh, and things nice. like this. So if you've each got a set, there's absolutely nothing to stop you playing together. And we've seen that's Zoom nice. tournaments and things like that. So yes, this is very, very flexible as a game in terms of what you can do with it. But it is, in my personal opinion, in my humble opinion, but then having done this for the last 28 years, this is the best game that has yeah. ever been invented. It's a work of genius. And if you haven't got one already, I cannot recommend this highly enough. I know that you've probably got your Christmas presents sorted, but this is not just for Christmas, this is for life, this game. It really is for life. That's a, that's a great way of saying it. And it just personal enjoyment that I've had from playing this. I've got a question for you, because you tend to challenge the presenters, so you've played Scott, Janice and Adam? Oh my gosh, I've played absolutely everybody. Yeah. Uh, Paula, uh, uh, everybody. I've, I mean, okay. I've, I've probably played at least 10 uh, okay. different presenters. I've never played Leone. Who's, who's beaten you? Has there any of them beaten you? Uh, the odd game, but no one's beaten me overall. Oh. And possibly until now, there's, there's a big fear oh. in there. I've been told, I've been, I was warned by Scott yesterday, and Adam it, warned me as well. I, I, yes. It's good. Look, I played Scott, but it's Scott. So uh, I, I, I feel I got lucky there. I've li last two weeks, I've just had a little baby boy. So I know. Last two weeks, uh, thank you. I've, I've just had no sleep. So I think the, the smart money's on you. But we're going <laughs> to. I'm already laying my excuses in. But um, we're going to be playing this at some point. But we've got to go through all the other games because not just the squares. Now, you can buy this individually as well. Can I, and I, I, I'm really hesitant. The reason why I say this is kind of one of my go-to lines as a presenter. Is I'll never lie to you about anything <coughs> because if you get something home and I haven't told you the truth, you never believe me again. But the reason why I say that is for times like this when I can really endorse something, I have played this and I genuinely, genuinely loved it. So if you're thinking about getting a game, whether it's the big bundle, now for me personally, after playing this, I really like the aspect of getting that big bundle because you're going to like the same principle. You've got more advanced level in the star, which is fantastic. And then you've got uh, the Genius B as well for uh, the kids and beginners just like getting the concept of it. All three of those, as a family, getting these is incredible for $23.99, your first flexi payment. Now, we've got to just tell you that with regards to Dispatch, uh, it's 11th. But I was just chatting to Gavin, you might get them sooner. So there's a good chance you will get them sooner, but we're just covering ourselves and saying the 11th. Gavin, should we have a game? 
We need to have a go. Let Great. me tell you a little bit about the background Please of this, do. because yeah, it's a remarkable it. tale. Okay. So, the genius square was invented by an Algerian mathematician uh, called Salim Burgish, and a couple of years ago, he contacted me because he sent his idea to some of the biggest puzzle and games companies across the world, and they all rejected what he put to them, basically, because it didn't quite work in the way that he said it was going to work. But when we played it, we realised the potential and we set about making sure that we could actually get it to do what it said on the box it was going to do. Mm -hmm. So let me explain to you. This is where the work of genius starts. We have got seven dice here. And on each of the dice, we've got different coordinates here. Now, if I remove the pieces here, we've got these nine coloured pentomino pieces. And I do want to point out that this version that Yanis and I are playing is a giant version that we've had uh, made especially to make it easier for the Hachanda viewers to see. The actual version that you would get, you get two of everything. Uh, Yanis has got it in front Just of him over there. there. You can see the normal size of what you would be receiving there. Now, when we roll these dice here, they will fall into a set of coordinates. There are 62,000 208 possible ways in which these dice can fall. So the chances are you're never going to play the same game twice. And even if you are, you're not going to remember uh, what you've done. And we guarantee you that there is always at least one solution. Some of them will be harder than others, but you'll see now what we're going to do. So I'm going to roll these dice here, and we'll look at the coordinates, and then what Yanis and I are going to do is block out these coordinates. So, Yanis, we've got E1. Okay. And we've got A6 yeah. and F6 and B4 and D1 and F5 and mm -hmm. B3. Okay? okay? And what we're going to do now is race against each other. It's not going to take more than about 30 seconds to be the first, but he's looking. He's looking at the board. Already. He's sizing up the opposition there. Okay, and we're going to see who's going to finish first. And it's as simple as that. Are you ready? I'm ready. And by the way, I know there's a huge number of Hachanda viewers who have got this at home already because we've sold over 2,000 copies this year uh, on Hachanda. And if you have got one, then feel free to play along. I know because I've had lots of uh, Hachanda viewers who are customers of ours now who have been contacting us to tell us. Uh, mm -hmm. that they have been doing at the same time. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Have you studied the board enough no, now? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and okay. off we go. Uh, and I will maintain this, that if there is one game that you buy in the whole of the rest of your life, this is the game to have. If you were ever going to find yourself stranded on a desert island, you would want to be stranded with this. This is going to be a fight to the death. Okay, Gavin wins. Oh, I think it was a... No, I, I, I was a... Ooh. I think that was a simultaneous finish, Gavin. That was that. That really was photo finish stuff. I'll give it to you. You can take the first one. No one on Hachanda has ever done action replays before. Okay. I, I, I think you possibly might have just hit me. Let's go again. But do you see how simple and easy it is? And the first thing you feel you need to do, yeah, is to play a game. Now, if you're giving that one to me, that's good, because it automatically means that I've performed better than Scott. Okay. Uh, so that was my first, my opening thing of the day. Okay, let's roll those dice again. Okay. And let's see what comes up this time. So, this time we have got A5 and A6, yeah. uh, F3 and F5, uh, C6, uh, D4 and B3. Very different combination on this oh, one because this you've got the first two columns yeah. uh, blank. This is going to be a real challenge to see. Okay, okay you ready, Yanis? I'm ready. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Let's go. And in fact, when you see lots of open space, it looks on the face of it as though you would expect that to be much easier. But that isn't always the case because, as you'll see as you get into this game, there are so many things that can happen and you just have to not see it in quite the right way. Gavin wins. Oh, well, there you go. It's just comprehensive win there, Gavin. Oh, there's no, no consultant there. Let me see how you did that. Okay. All right. I, I kind of feel like I've yeah. got my back to the wall here. No, I'm... you, that, uh, hands down, I, I literally had, like, I'd only put in a few pieces. All right, again? Yep, let's play it again. Mm -hmm. um, another thing to mention to you is if you go onto the Hachanda website, there are absolutely truckloads of reviews of the uh, Genius Square from viewers who've bought them, and every single one, without a single exception, is a five-star review. 
That is how good this game is. Now, if I say to you that I have been playing games now for 28 years, somewhere along the line we reckon that I've probably played well over 3,000 different games. Wow. This is the okay. best of them. And of course I've got a whole row yeah. of games here to show you today, but I will only ever, like Yannis said, tell you the truth. Yeah. This is the best uh, of the games by a million miles. The best game ever invented in my opinion. I, I, John, I, I agree with you, because I say, and just talking from an anecdotal uh, story, <coughs> I saw Scott presenting uh, the show, fell in love with it, ordered one, and then started playing it. So I'd actually ordered it before I was playing it with Scott, and we spent all day, we were, when we were on breaks together, we spent all day playing it. And it's one those games and it is very addictive because you play it and then as we've shown here once you've done one you're like, again 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 and there's no rules uh, we can actually show some reviews as well so these are on our website and I thoroughly stressed have a look but look at all these five star reviews there so uh, I don't usually write a review but this game deserves one now that's a big statement in itself I just love it and the fact that you can just get as much enjoyment playing by yourself and this is a really good point as with someone else should have a warning because uh, when you start playing I guarantee it's impossible to stop look at the love bottom one look at the bottom one look so at that excellent toy uh, that has now entered our uh, boxing. Wow, okay, Boxing Day list as a playable competition. Amazing. Uh, doesn't matter the combination. It works. Good quality build it is. Uh, what's this? Uh, build box is a bit big for the product. Oh, that's okay. Uh, but seems to be the case everywhere currently. Very, very true. Love this. I mean, look, all the reviews are incredible. So do have a little look but uh, at your own leisure. But the five star reviews, and these are all viewers who have purchased, like yourself, who think about it, they've purchased, they've got it home, and they loved it. She and I, I would definitely say to you as well because unfortunately as we all know there's going to be a few more difficult months ahead and this is a wonderful opportunity to have something that you can do with the children or the grandchildren over Zoom. It's equal for everybody in the family so whether you're six years old or whether you're 106 years old you're going to find the same ability to be able to do this uh, and you can share it over Zoom. One set of dice is all you need. Everybody needs to have a board so maybe you buy two copies or three copies so that you can all do it together and it is something which will just make the time fly because it is so much fun. Shall we play again? Let's go. Let's play again. Okay. So what have we done this time? Okay. So this time we have got all very different this time. Mm -hmm. uh, E1, okay. E2, yeah. uh, D5 and, and D3 uh, yeah. and C2 and A6 and A4. Wow. Completely different to last time as you can see. Okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. It's nice that because obviously we don't, we don't know, it's all random what's going to come up, but it's really nice that it's fallen like this because it means that the viewers at home, if you haven't got one of these already, can just see the variations that come up. Done. No way. Yeah. That, that is seriously impressive, Yanis. Thank you that very was, much. I mean, that was like 10 seconds or something. I had, to, well, I had to step up the game. I think you actually... You're a bit kind there. You're a bit more leisurely in putting the box down. But look, it just goes to show how much fun it is. There's nowhere in the instructions, by the way, which says that you have to be presenting on a TV show while you actually try and do this. Because <laughs> I'm sure you could do it even quicker if you're not focusing on what's going on on camera six and so yeah. on and so forth. So, I, should we just talk about the uh, Genius Star and what, Be Genius as well? That's great. We are going to... I like that. Now, now I've got the wind, Gavin. Suddenly we're going to talk about the other two <laughs> games. <laughs> like, let's just move across. Uh, no, we are going to show a vi uh, video for this in just a second. Uh, but we are getting within the bundle. Now, this is for the one-day special. You're saving five pounds. Not only are you getting the Genius Square, but you're actually getting the Star and you're getting the Be Genius in the mix as well for 47.97. So, just talk me through. So, the Be Genius, who would you say that's more capable? So, the Be Genius... Genius is the junior version. That is suitable for ages three to eight. And it's important to note that this is not a competitive one. This is designed to build children's self-confidence, um, to get them to develop their thinking skills, their strategic skills. And it does it in a way which is different to most games on the marketplace. In fact, I've got one over here just to, to show you here. Yeah. Uh, it's really sweet how it's done. I'm going to just swap these over very quickly here. Move this into shot over here. So we've got a much bigger board. Uh, and much bigger pieces, beautifully made out of wood, uh, because these are obviously for little fingers, little hands, and they are beautifully colourful as well, incredibly well made. This is going to last a lifetime for you as well. The principle is the same, but it's much easier because, of course, uh, colour and number recognition for younger children um, is different. So we've got here uh, six dice, 
um, each of which has the numbers from one to six on and they're color coded and then they correspond to the numbers and colors that are on the board. So if we roll this one, there are over 40,000 possible combinations on this one here. And what we're going to do is put our queen bee in the center of the puzzle here and then use our worker bees to block out the rest of the coordinates. So we've got a green number one which goes there and we've got a yellow number four and we've got a purple number three and we've got a red number two which is over here uh, and what have I done with my other tab there over here sitting over here a blue number five uh, and finally an orange number five over there and what we're going to do again not racing because it's not competitive is we're just going to build our confidence as a three to eight year old by fitting these in place and the pieces as they are lovely and chunky uh, and work in really straightforward ways it's also all about developing spatial awareness um, and visual perception you can see the pieces lock into place nicely they That's don't nice. move once you've got them in there as well because this is a textured board so that they'll actually sit in place now if I can't solve this straight away it is going to be highly embarrassing <laughs> on the basis that this is something for three to eight year olds but I think I'll be all right just about uh, I hope I'll be all right just about hang on we're almost there at this point and that single one goes in there and that goes in there and this is stunningly beautiful and colorful and if I lift this up here uh, you'll actually be able to see just it's really nice and big uh, yeah, and you can nice. see the pieces are locked in there they're not dropping out there uh, as I hold it up here, which makes it very, very practical for younger children to do. So again, it's not a competitive version. You just get one set inside this, but this is designed to help younger children to develop their thinking skills, their spatial awareness skills, and their problem-solving skills. Do you know what I love about the One Day Special? Is you've got... Look, the Genius Square is fantastic for everyone. Now I've played the Genius Square, I'd like to have a go at the uh, actual star. I think that's something that you can progress on to, so it's a little bit more advanced version of the Genius Square. But also, thinking about other people in your family. So my nephew and nieces would love the Be Genius. And something that um, Gavin touched on, and I think so important, it's building, it's that, that um, expanding the sort of neural networks, the connections, so that spatial awareness. This is going to benefit, especially when someone's young, you're saying from three onwards, being able to see those shapes is a good way to train your brain, getting kids off the tablets. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with playing games, but I know that most modern generation now, they're just glued to the tablets, so it's getting them off those and using their brain. Yeah, everything has its time and place, and the truth of the matter is that children are far too obsessed with what goes on on the screen. And it's important that we remind them every now and again that games which involve communication, games where you're actually seeing the expression on a person's face are incredibly important. You don't get that when you're playing something on a screen. So yeah. these are traditional games. All of these are traditional games yeah. uh, which the family can do together. And that is so important yeah. in this and day they're and well age. made too. Yeah, it takes they're beautifully to made. Yeah. Um, the pieces are all wooden. Um, they're solid wooden. They're nice and shiny. Um, yeah, they've been stunning. But you're buying these games to last for a lifetime and to pass on to other generations as you go through. Yeah. So, yeah, I, really, this is an amazing bundle to have. All three of these games are absolutely superb. Lovely. Uh, look, let's take a look at the star. So this yes. is the final one in our trio for the one-day so, special. once you have tried playing the Genius Square and you feel you've get, uh, got in the zone of mastering it, then you can move on to the Genius Star. Now, the Genius Star is significantly more difficult. So whereas with the Genius Square, as you've seen Yanis and I demonstrating, you can have a game played in about 30 seconds. These ones are more likely to take you between five minutes and even 20 minutes. Some oh, wow. of them possibly longer because they can be really hard. But again, the principle being the same and with over 188,000 possible challenges to do, uh, this is guaranteed to work every single time. And I will tell you, by the way, Yanis, uh -huh. one of my favourite things, in order to prove that all 188,000 versions actually work, we had to get a computer to, to play those different versions. The computer was able to play one version every three seconds, and it took six days to complete. What? Yeah, one version every three seconds, and it took the computer six days to... Uh, to complete this. Now, there is a That's beautiful amazing. little twist in this game, and this is why it becomes more difficult. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to remove all of the pieces from here. Our blockers are a little bit different uh, to the blockers which we have in the Genius Square. These ones are white uh, triangles, and they've got 
uh, a black star on them. Now, if you look at the board here, and I know it's quite difficult sometimes to see this on the overhead of the camera, but what you'll see here is that the numbers are actually indented into each of the triangles, so they're not coordinates so much, uh, they're just numbers. Mm -hmm. And what we've got here is our seven dice. Now, unlike in the Genius Square, they're not all regular dice because we've got three dice here that are octagonal dice, and that increases the number of possibilities statistically of what we can actually throw. And there are 11 pieces instead of nine. And again, they clock inside like this. Um, and of course, they can go in lots of different ways. It's not as straightforward uh, as you would do with the square. And you block off the coordinates as they, as they come up there. However, there is a delicious little twist in it. And mm -hmm. this is where the twist is. You have got two pieces that look like this. Now, these two pieces here are half hexagons. And if you look on one side, they're like normal pieces, they're just blue. And if you flip them over on the other side, they're actually different. They've got half a star on it. If we put them mm. together, that will complete the golden star. Now, yeah. on roughly 54% of the occasions that you roll the dice, it will be possible to complete the puzzle with the golden star intact. The question is, are you brave enough to try and do what is clearly something more difficult and build the puzzle with the golden star in there. Now, you can either choose to go for a regular win by just fitting the pieces in, or you can gamble and go for a double win against your opponent by trying to get the star in there in one piece. Now, brilliantly, what you also get with this is a website address which will allow you to put your coordinates onto the web page and it will tell you whether or not it is possible to actually solve the puzzle with the golden star intact. So you can check, and it would have been the rules to check first before you start? You can do it two ways. You can either put your coordinates in and know in advance whether it's going to do it, or if you want to challenge yourself mm -hmm. and you don't manage to succeed in doing it, it will tell you whether you were barking up the wrong tree or whether it was possible all Love along. This. It's a Love great, it. great puzzle. But this is significantly more difficult, yeah. uh, which is why when you've got the genius square as being from ages six to adults, this is ages eight to adults. Amazing. Oh, okay. Now, what we're going to do is, should we have one more game, and then we're going to have a look at the star in action? Uh, yeah, well, one more game of the square. Of the, of the, of the, of the square, square yeah. yeah, absolutely. Let's move these to one side. Yeah. All I'm doing here is creating a huge mess uh, <laughs> in front of me. I think I caused absolute chaos last night on the, on the launch show. It looked like one of my kids' bedrooms by the time I'd finished. So let's take all of our pieces out. We're going to have one more game. So this yeah. is the original. Remember that the Genius Square is available individually as well, or you can buy them as part of the One Day Sale Package too. Here are the dice. Let us roll these here and see how we're doing. Okay, what have we got this time? Okay, ooh, A1, mm -hmm. uh, A3, yeah. A6, yeah. F2, yeah. Uh, F6, yeah. and F4, ooh. Uh, and B4. Wow, that's a bit of a strange one. Look at that. Look at the uh, three rows in the middle there that are completely blank. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, off we go. I wanted to get going on this quickly because what tends to happen now is I realise that Yanis is busy looking and trying to work out already before we start what he's going to do. I put those in here. I've been beaten once by Yanis and I don't want to be beaten again by Yanis. So here we go and I I'm win. Done. Oh, no, I wasn't done. I was ah. Well done. It shows how... Oh. <laughs> one, oh my one, god, the stress of this Let's now. do one more, one more, one, one more, more quickly. Okay, fine. Again, I will say it again, if you buy one game for the whole of the rest of your life, this yeah. is the game to buy. Okay. okay, here we go. We're going to roll those dice again. Okay. And let's see what we've got now. F1. Yeah. Uh, A4. Mm -hmm. E2. Yeah. F4. C4. Uh, bu -bu 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 mm. A2 mm -hmm. and A5. Okay. Wow, three on that top row there. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Go. I can't give him a second longer than he thinks he's going to get because otherwise he's just going to absolutely beat me to shreds. Wow, this is also going to be a, a tricky one I can see here as well. Sometimes there are certain pieces that you just want to get rid of sooner rather than later. I've messed this one up. This is not an easy one at all. No. Wow, this is a... We've, okay, and I like the fact that we found one here, which is that bit trickier, because it does demonstrate 
Uh, it's not always a straightforward thing for you to do. I'm glad you're struggling as well. I'm really struggling. I'm okay, really done. struggling. This whole... Wow, you've done it. You've beaten me. Fantastic. <laughs> I was miles away. Absolutely that miles away. That was challenging. But you know, sometimes what I would say is you have to let go of the direction you're going in. Yes. So you go down a certain <coughs> route and then you have to just kind of deconstruct and come back in again. I love this game so much, and I hope you are as well. Uh, one Day Special has proven very popular. You can get all three of these, I have to say, as a bundle, that is fantastic. Start. See, what will happen is you've got the Bee Genius for the younger members of your family. Everybody's going to be playing the squares, and then you will progress onto the star. If you just want to go for the Genius Square, you can buy that individually as well. What we're going to do is show you a little video uh, with the star, and then the fun will continue. And this is our one day special. We're so happy to be able to bring this to you. The Happy Puzzle Company give you all three of these phenomenal board games. Uh, they are different. They work the brain. They're engaging. They're fun. Uh, and you know, I, I have to say, with all the games, what I really love about them, and something I know we discussed at the top of the hour, something that puts me off board games a lot of the time is they can be overly complicated. So you get a big that you have to read the instructions, trawling it through. And if you've ever done this, and actually, these are the kind of games at Christmas where you open up the box, you get straight to it. They're simple, they're very playable. Whereas in the whole family round, and we've all done this, and you read the instructions, okay, so everyone has to remember they have to do this, to do that, and everyone's getting bored and start messing around and don't want to play the games. You do not get that here. So you get something that you open up the box, you start playing. Now we've got a different bundle for you, so a set of three. This is for your serious puzzlers. Talk to me about this, Gavin. Yes, so all of these puzzles are things which start off relatively easy and get really much more difficult. So if you're buying for either yourself or somebody else who really is into their puzzles, somebody who likes Rubik's Cubes or doing the Times Crossword or anything like that, then this is definitely for you. But equally, the easier puzzles that are in are going to be just as good for younger people as well. So I should explain them to you. Now, the okay. first one I've taken up here is 30 cubed. Um, I will tell you that this is my proudest moment of my whole career. Um, I got to design this with Ivan Moscovich, who is the world's most famous puzzle inventor, serial inventor, a colleague of Rubik wow. uh, as wow. well. And he is now, Ivan is now 94 years old. And uh, we've been friends for years. And three years ago, he came to me and he said, while we still can, don't you think it'd be a great idea if we did a puzzle together? Oh. Uh, and of course that is, I suppose I always tell people it's rather like Paul McCartney coming to you and saying, shall we record an album together? This is not something you turn down. Yeah, yeah. So Ivan and I created this game called 30 Cubed, uh, which is based on something called the 30 Cube Principle, uh, which is something which has never been done as a commercial game before. So I'm going to explain it to you. Now what we have here are, surprise, surprise, 30 cubes. Each of those cubes has got six different coloured sides as the base. So there's a yellow, uh, and there's a green, and a black, and a purple, and a blue, and a red on every single one of those. And you'll also notice that you've got parts of lines on there. It might be the start of a line, or the finish of a line, or it could be the centre of a line. And you'll also notice that there are letters, the same letter on each side. That's to help you with the solutions, should you need help with the solutions. Mm -hmm. Now, when we start off with the easier puzzles, you'll see what I've got here. We just have to build a flat puzzle using the whole of the base colour being the same, and where the lines are together logically. So that you can see the lines that I've got on there have a start or a finish, and uh, if they need a middle, then they have a middle as well. 
And we can do six puzzles like that so that we can have uh, one for every base colour individually. And that's a nice place to start. But then we start getting far more complicated. I'm actually going to show you from the uh, book here. So we start following all sorts of um, uh, instructions with logical deduction required. Uh, so you have to have 15 of one colour and 15 of another colour. And then as you go through, it starts to become three-dimensional as well. So we actually have to start building a cube. Uh, and there's Sudoku-type puzzles in there as well. And the best thing about this is that you do get given uh, some help as well. So there are clues in there if you're a little bit stranded and you just want a little bit of help too. And there are also a whole load of simpler puzzles which are good for ages five up. They use 20 of the cubes instead of 30 of the cubes. And the purpose of that, of course, is to introduce younger children to the concepts of using lateral thinking skills like this. See, that is the whole point of the games, the way that they're fun to play, but you're also learning and you're developing, you're keeping your brain active too. That's right, and there's an incredible sense of achievement that comes when you've actually been challenged by something which initially looks easy and which you find to be that little bit more difficult. And there's no better way of doing it than with this. It's worth pointing out, by the way, these are stunningly made. This is another one which is where the pieces are made out of wood, beautifully painted uh, as well, and you really are getting seriously good value for money for the way this has been made as well. Yeah. It's nicely on your coffee table and it's definitely something which you'll come back to for years and years and pass on to future generations. It's 30 cubed. Do you know what's nice Gavin hearing you talk about the development process and that's something we don't appreciate with games but getting to work with an iconic figure and someone you have so much admiration for the fact that you helped design this game it means a lot to you. They are so addictive, all the games are. And this is just one aspect of the bundle we're showing here. You're not just getting one game. I have to say, Gavin, I go to the shops, and we, I know we haven't been shopping, but in the past, you go to shops, you see board games, you'd be paying 25 99 just for one game normally. The fact that you're getting all three of these, and they're so different, I think it's an absolute winner. It's tremendous value, and they work beautifully together. So you're going to be buying this for somebody who really is into their puzzles. And none of these games in this bundle are things which you just do once. So the 30 cubes, uh, you've got loads and loads of different challenges. The same with the other two in there. With the ice cubes, you've got 48 mm -hmm. challenges. Uh, and we'll come on to colour block. Uh, shortly, which has got a big smile on my face because that's you were talking about the stories behind yeah. these. That is a phenomenal story with, uh, with uh, Colour Block as well. well. Okay, I'll let you get Colour Block out just to talk about that. Oh, by the way, can I just uh, reference? I know we had a lovely email in from, uh, we're just going to get the details from Sue. Uh, Sue, thank you so much. Hi, so, Sue. Uh, Sue saying she's got the Genius Square and she said it's really, really addictive. Uh, great to play with uh, or on your own as well. And thank you for the lovely message to me as well, Sue. It means a lot, so thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to carry on down and have a little look. Now, we've got the Ultimate Games Night. This, uh, as game nights, we are all, and look, there's no hiding it, we're all spending a lot more time at home at the moment, so if you're looking for something a bit different, I know these aren't going to arrive in time for Christmas, but just for quality family time. So uh, we're saying the 11th of January delivery, uh, but or dispatch, but they should get to you uh, sooner. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, they get out to you a lot sooner. Now, talk me through, Gavin. When we talk about Ultimate Games Night, what have we got here? So inside that bundle there, mm -hmm. you have got some games which you're going to want to play again and again with other people. So we can talk through them, and you can see, first of all, that you've got Number Jumble, which if you like games like... Uh, the genius where you'll really like number jumble. This is a very clever concept. So what I've got here uh, is I've got 32 cards. I gave them a shuffle before as well. And again, this is another one which works every single time. So you deal 16 cards to each player. I'm just doing it actually on the basis here of just measuring the piles against each other. They are, those are equal piles now. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a four by four grid. Uh, I made it look a little bit too easy last night when I was doing this with Scott because uh, it seemed to work first time for me, which is not the norm at all. Now, what's the colour coding all about here? Well, all of the green ones have um, an 8 in the middle, all of the blue ones have a 7 in the middle, all of the red ones have a 5 in the middle, and all of the yellow ones have a 6 in the middle. And what we have to do is we have to build a grid that is going to allow us to have a 4x4 four four, uh, square and each tile has to have at least one number in common 
with the tile that is next to it, either at the side or on the top or on the bottom. So we can start here. We know that all of the greens are going to have an eight uh, in them, so we can put those two together. But what can I put next to this here? So I need to find something which is going to have either a four or an 11. So I could put that in here. And now to go above that, I'm going to have to have something which corresponds with both of those as well. So you know, ideally, I need something which has got a 2 or a 12 and a 4 or a 10. So here we go. This one will go in here. It will go in there anyway because it's a blue. But if you look at it too, you can see it doesn't just match the 7. It also matches the 10 with there and the 2 with there as well. So now we've got a 2 and a 10. We could put this one next to it there. We're matching the 2 there to the 2. So we've got something which is in common there. And now it gets a little bit harder the more we go on because underneath this here, we've now got to have something which has either got a 4 or a 10. Uh, or we've got one here with a 4. Uh, or, and it's also got to have a 2 or a 9. Well, that one's not going to do it. But this one will do it. Again, we've got the blue in there. It's matching the 4. And it's also matching with the 9 above. And we keep on going with this until we've actually completed our 4x4 grid. And you can either do it yourself as a solitaire puzzle, or you can do it uh, against somebody else as well. And remember, so, I've taken okay. these cards randomly. So I've got random numbers of things. Again, look, we've got the blue next to the blue, so we know that's fine. And we've got a three coming up from the top over there. And we'll keep on going until our grid is complete. I don't actually know how many combinations there are you can play with this. But if you're taking a random 16 out of 32, yeah. uh, the math behind that is going to be pretty awesome. But you don't need to because you're just matching up the numbers. You do not need to be a math genius to do this. No, the fact that it's numbers, it could be symbols. Yeah. So you don't need to be... If this is all about the uh, logical deduction that you're working with here. So no, you don't need to actually be a math genius because if you did, mm -hmm. then heaven help me. <laughs> okay, oh. so we, we're, we're getting that one, but we're also getting a lot more games in the mix. I'm, I'm drawn to the whale. Can you just tell us a little bit about the whale? The whale? Uh, is called Moby. Yeah. There you are. Nothing particularly original about that. Uh, but when you open up inside, now, if you like games like Bananagrams and Scrabble, yeah, then this home. is for you yeah. because this is the equivalent uh, of those but with numbers. Okay. Now, we have a look over here. We've got 162 tiles. The blue ones are the numbers, which are from 1 to 12, and the white ones are the mathematical symbols. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to uh, play with somebody else, anything up to six people, in order to build our own crossword uh, of, uh, of equations. So if we go here, for example, I'm just going to try, I'm rubbish at maths. So 5 plus 8 uh, minus 1... Uh, Help me, Alice. <laughs> it goes, it is, is 12. There yep. you are. You see, I've built that there like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down in the other direction and we'll go 9 plus uh, 3. Oh, look, I'm stuck on 12 again. There you go. Equals 12. And we're going to go through this. And as we go, we're going to build a more and more complex crossword yeah. and try and be the first person to get rid of all of our tiles. Amazing. And look, when you consider about, I know because time is beating us, so we've got a, a few more things to show you. But this is your ultimate game night bundle. You're getting all of these games for 26, 48, 701, 579, your item number there. So a lot to play around with. Let's jump onto the website and see all the goodies. Look at the five star reviews as well. So lots and lots to explore uh, on there. What the Happy Puzzle Company do, they bring you games that are genuinely engaging. You open up the box, you get going. Anybody can play these. You're not bogged down in complicated instructions. We've all done it, and it's such, for me, it really does put me off. But opening up a game and then having to trawl through the instructions and what do we do here, what do we do here? Open up the box, simple to do, but games that are, you, I think the fact that you want to play them again and again, quick fire games, they're not games that you're going to get bogged down in for uh, hours. You know, there's certain games, there's that big game and it causes a lot of arguments and it lasts hours and hours and hours. And a lot of people tend to play it around about this time of year. And it, oh, to me, it always ends in arguments as well. Uh, we don't know the game we're talking about. But uh, with these games, they're quick fire games, they're fun games. You can play by yourself or you can play uh, with an opponent as well. There's a lot of versatility to them, but they're engaging, they're fun to play. Uh, we're going to go back to the one day special because I know that's proving extremely popular. But if you want to go for the uh, Genius Square, it is. I think the perfect name because it is a genius square. The fact that uh, there's all these, how many did we say the permutations for the genius square? 62,208. 
Okay, precise. Precisely. Well, it's actually because uh, it's, it's based on the maths of the different dice. So not okay. all of them have six different coordinates. Uh, uh, there's one which has three and one which has uh, four and one which has two. So it's effectively six times six times six times six times three times four times two, something like okay. that. Well, looking here, as I let uh, Gavin just tidy up, so this is, now this is just for TV, we, uh, I say, we, the uh, Happy Puzzle Company, what they did, they just mocked up a larger version so it's easy for everyone to see at home. This is the version you're going to get, so I'll show you, that is uh, in the box, you're going to get two of these. I'll show you the square, so you're going to get two of those that you can play against each other, you get your dice. This is what Scott and I were playing on. If you are in any doubt, that I'm being genuine here, and I say I never lie, but if you're thinking, oh, really, he's going on about how much fun he had, what I would say is just a candid film, uh, Facebook Live. If you do follow me on Facebook Live, Yanis Morgan on Hochanda TV. Have a look. It should be on my feed. Just scroll down a little bit. You'll see a video of Scott and myself. We filmed for about 12 minutes. We played all day with the uh, Genius Square. It is just so engaging. And having a look here, so this is the principle, and this is what it's like, because anybody can play this. All you do is just literally, it's finding the shapes, putting them through. It's teaching you logic uh, and shapes, and I think great for any member of the family. And one thing I was chatting about, it's um, this is good, because they say, I was watching a program on building neural pathways. And I don't want to get too bogged down in the science, but the fact is, the more you engage your brain, the more, uh, it's like any muscle you protect, well, this brain's a muscle, but you are exercising that brain. You're developing those neural pathways. It is only going to benefit you. Uh, I'm not making any medical claims on this. I'm just saying, logically, it's, it's what we hear all the time, Gavin, is try and keep the brain active. I have to say, it's the first time I've ever heard neural pathways being discussed on Hochanda. Well, I think you're just trying to <laughs> raise the bar with yourself. Should we have a game to show everyone? I think we should. I think, and I, I know there's so many people at home who've taken out their uh, genius squares as well. Interestingly, I don't know whether uh, a couple of weeks ago on the show I was doing with Janice, yeah. um, we had an, um, an email through from um, a family in Nebraska. Wow. who were uh, sitting there playing with their genius squares as well. Um, are there any genius square tournaments? Uh, yes, there are. Are there um, really? Yeah, they, they pop up on Facebook. And, okay. Uh, yeah, and, and stuff like that. Oh my God, there's a whole Something community fun. of people right. out there who are imagine. absolutely obsessed with this. Uh, so there you go. In fact, if you YouTube it, um, there's, I mean, there's far too many people playing Genius Square on YouTube for my liking. I mean, it's just a bit obsessive, but um, you understand why. OK, so, should we roll? Yeah, let's go. OK, let's roll and let's play again. And, of course, if you're uh, watching at home and you haven't got a set, uh, then you can also work out for yourselves what you would do uh, if you were playing this one as well. So let's put those out there so that everybody mm -hmm. can see at home as well. So what have we got? We've got uh, D1 yeah. and F1 yeah. and C4. Yeah. Uh, B1. Lots yeah. of ones in this one. Uh, A4, uh, B6, uh, and E6. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. I've been beaten once. I don't want to be beaten again. And I said it before, and I shall say it again. If you buy one game the whole of the rest of your life, this is definitely a game to get beaten by Yanis on. Oh my goodness me, what am I doing here? No, I'm making a complete hash of this yeah, now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. See, they're not all as easy as you think they're going to be, but... you done it? Yeah, I win. Oh, <laughs> I had to reconstruct. I don't... See how where you started? Oh, you put it... Okay. Yeah, but you see, there's going to be loads of different ways of doing yeah. a puzzle like this as well. All right. Go again? Yeah, of course go Let's again. Absolutely. I'm winning 11-1. Okay. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, the thing is, you got the one, so I'm frustrated now. Well, Never mind. OK, let's roll wait, the wait. dice again. Here we go. And um, we have A1 and A2. Yeah. Uh, and F1 and uh, E6 and B4. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. So A1, A2. A1, A2. F1. F1. Yeah. Uh, E6. Yeah. A5. A5. Uh, and the last one is uh, A1, A2, anyway, I've got two F1. left. Have you? A1, A2, yeah. A5. Yeah. Uh, E6. B4. Oh, B4, OK, yeah. Uh, F1, F6. OK. And E6. And E6. OK. Ready? Yeah. OK, let's go for it. And at home, just look and see what you would do if you were trying to beat Yanis as well. So much at stake here. 
so much pride. I'm leaving myself very vulnerable here, but, 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 yeah, done it. Ah, uh, do you know, very good, Gavin, you're good. And this is the thing, uh, it's, uh, well, we, we, one more, one more. One more, Come okay. On, let's do one more. To be fair, I am reasonably practiced. I mean, uh, practice does make perfect. But isn't it great that we can literally just play for a few seconds and then we've yeah. completed it? Okay, rolling again, big roll. What are we going to get now? Okay, this time we have A5 and A6. Yeah. Uh, B1. Okay. C6. Yes. Uh, D1 and D4. Mm -hmm. uh, and and F5. Okay. Okay. And off we go. Oh, that looks as though that's going to go better there. Oh dear, oh dear. Got off to a very slow start there. That wasn't as good as it should have been. Uh, that one will go in there like so. Mm -hmm. I'm creating a real problem for myself here. I'm doing the same. Yeah, I want to go in there. What am I doing here? Oh, no, I've completely, completely messed this up. Oh, dear. Don't worry, I'm not doing much better. Oh, I, I need you to lose. I don't want you to just not do much better. <laughs> I need you to lose. Wow, I'm completely messing this one yeah, up. Me too. This is a hard one. This is a hard one. Okay, let's have a little think. Oh, gosh, look at that. What am I going to oh. do with that? Oh, that's no good there. Okay. Uh, again, uh, it's nice for people to see the variety. I'm actually going to more or less start again here. Uh, that has not gone the way I wanted it to go at all. Put that one in done. there. This, have you done it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, I was in no man's land here with this one. Wow, but, but, look at that. I, 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 that was a challenge. I think that's the most challenging one we've had today. Still so trying to work out what to do one. with this. We'll let you finish, though. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm miles away. Now, Ooh, while, while we let Kevin finish on this one, we have got the Bee Genius uh, video on here. So do have a look at this and then we'll get back together. And you know, that's what I love about the one day special. You're getting all three board games. So the Bee Genius, which is great uh, for little ones in the family, it's giving them that confidence, teaching them pattern recognition. And then as they progress, they can have a look at the uh, Genius Square. That's for everyone in the family. And that's what we've been playing. And I guarantee, because it is so addictive and you're going to enjoy it so much, then you can progress on to the Genius Star. And that's a little bit more advanced, well, a lot more advanced. The beauty of the games is you can play by yourself. So with the Genius Square, you don't need anyone to play against. You can roll the dice and just challenge yourself. But equally, you are getting both sets. So if you do want to play against somebody else, you can as well. So forty-seven ninety-seven your price, three nine five six one three your item number. It will be dispatched on the eleventh of January. So if you do want to have a little bit of a play, okay. Uh, now, Gavin, you finished? Sure. You do you want to have a go at the Genius Star? Should we actually try one of those yeah, puzzles? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do, let's that. do that. You've got you guys grab your small. We don't have a giant one of these. Oh, okay. Um, but I think it will give people an idea of how different this is. Let me move that one over over there. Make sure I've got it in a good position here. Okay. So here are our dice, uh, and remember our blockers on the Genius Star are these pieces here with the uh, the white triangles with the black stars on. Okay. Uh, so roll these dice here. So we're going to get the numbers to block out this time. So we've got 47. All right. Oh, put that in upside down. Uh, 29, which goes out there. 23. Uh, number four. Okay. On its own, number five. Uh, and number 18. And the bonus ball. There you are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hang on. I'm missing one more. 
Where is, uh, what we not put in here? And more to the point, where is my little star gone that was here? It was here before, because it was all complete. I've literally just... Uh, I've gone missing. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, clearly, I've dropped something. Never mind, I think I've got a spare of me, because I always carry a spare. <laughs> just in case, isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, what's, the, what's the one number that we haven't got here? 23, 20, uh, 10. Okay. okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, this is going to be harder. Okay, let's go for it. Because as you go through and you start eliminating uh, some of these spaces, the possibilities really do reduce. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can do this uh, by putting the two halves of the golden star together. We don't know whether this one is going to be possible doing it that way, um, but we shall see in a moment and we'll work out whether or not I think it's going to be able to work in that way. Mm, made a mess of this already here. Mm. Much, much more complicated. I'm actually going to move this one from here over into here like so and move that one out of there and oh, then possibly put this one in here with that in there uh, and then oh, I'm messing this up again. It's not easy. Uh, and as I mentioned, we may not even finish this one because some of these are going to take you anything up to 20 minutes to do. It's much more complicated. Uh, so if you love the Genius Square, uh, and having said that, here we are, I've done it. Have you done it? Yeah, I've done it. But I haven't done it with the Golden Star together. Ah, oh, uh, you, you did really well because I have to say I'm struggling. If you look here, I still got, uh, got, yeah, I didn't do well on that one. So I still had a few left over. That is a lot more challenging, but... They're just, whether you're playing the star or the square, they're so much fun. They genuinely are so much fun. So if you go, if you would then go to geniussquare.com, mm -hmm. you would be able to put the coordinates that we've got uh, into the computer program on there, and it would then tell you whether or not it was possible to solve this with the genius star, uh, the golden star intact on mm -hmm. there. So a real little twist, but definitely much more complex than the genius square. We've got three minutes left. Should we have another go at the uh, square? Of course we'll have another go yeah. at the square. Let's do it. And as soon as we're off air, we'll have to keep going. OK. Oh. We have our own little... We should definitely, one day when you're in, we should have a little... We could say, have a little uh, a tournament. Get other people involved. Should we let Scott play or can he referee? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the amount of practice he had, he's, I reckon Scott's going to surprise us all. He's going to train. Oh. Rocky montage. Uh, there's no training session available yet, officially. Okay. I'm sure we can do it. Let's roll those dice. OK, what have we got this time? We have got D1 and D4 uh, and F1 and F5 yeah. uh, and C2 and C5 uh, and uh, finally A5. There you go. Oh, really well spread this one. OK, yeah. you ready? Yeah. Let's go for it. How long have we got? We've got one minute and 40 seconds to try and finish this. Okay. For me to try and regain some level of pride here. Mm, I'm making this all difficult for myself. Nope, that's definitely not going to work there like that. But hopefully that will... No, that won't go in there there either. That will go in there. This will go in here. Uh, mm, that will go in Done. there. Uh, wow, you beat me again. Look at that. Impressive. Impressive, Mr Morgan, I have to say. Wow, there yeah. you are, I've done that now. I had a little bit of practice with Scott. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all the credit down to Scott and the uh, training we did. Uh, we've only got a minute left. Just to let you know, with the one-day special, you're getting all three of these fantastic board games. Are you watching right now? And we're not putting on, if you've watched any of the shows before, the presenters, we're not putting it on. We love playing with these. And if you notice, uh, later on, I've got another show with Gavin, and then he's got the final call. See how often the presenter will say, let's play one more. We're not actually meant to be doing it. We're meant to be giving you descriptions and going through everything, but we want to play it, and this is something you're going to want to play as well. So if you're just looking for a game, and it is a fun game for the whole family, and what I'll, I really like about this is it's going to be training your brain, and you don't even know you're doing it. So whatever age group you are, whether you're 6 or 60, if you do want to train that brain, if you want to have fun, if you want to play by yourself, you can. If you want to play with someone else, you genuinely can as well. Gavin, thank you so much. That's all right. We'll be back yeah. together at 12 o'clock. Okay. And the challenge will continue. The challenge will continue. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much, buddy. I hope you enjoyed it as well. It's all thanks to the Happy Puzzle Company. Uh, and I think it's a great name because you get these home. Trust me, you will be happy with your purchase. Thank you for keeping us company. Don't go anywhere.
We have got a lovely show coming up uh, next hour with Simply Vintage. Please, please, please stick around for that. After that, Fabric Freedom, the big save, and then we've got Hochanda, big save show. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town. And it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dies and lots of other things that are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows on a chanda and have some fun.
Hello, darlings. It's lovely to have your company. Happy Christmas Eve, Eve. Um, it's wonderful to be here. It's funny, actually, because I woke up this morning really, really early, thinking I was on early shift, and then thought, I'd better just check, because I haven't checked my shift, and I wasn't on till nine. Boom, best one, never went back to sleep. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> I am so pleased I checked my schedule as opposed to rock up for 6 a.m. Can you imagine? I would have literally cried. But anyway, <laughs> that's my morning. What have you done with your morning? Um, I'm really, really happy to be having a show with our Melissa because it's been absolutely ages. It's got, um, it, it has to have been a year at least. It must have been. Yeah. must have been. Yeah. And I remember Amazing. your very first shows because yeah. I remember doing some of the, the stuff with you. You did. You helped me out so much. Really. Yeah, I was such a... Yeah, I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, not that I have much idea what I'm doing now, <laughs> but, you know. Oh, it was lovely. It was so nice to get kind of get bedded in. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah. And I love you. it because, obviously, you, you collect and collect all these wonderful vintage images and fabrics and ribbons. Um, I mean, there's so many beautiful things. It must be. I mean, I've always envied your job a little bit. <laughs> a little because, bit. Because, yeah, a lo well, a lot. Because <laughs> going round and, like, collecting these things, because they're all, like, little treasures, yeah. aren't they? That has to be my one of my, Yeah, probably one of my favourite bits because mm. it is kind of... Having to get up early, yeah. but uh, just going and find, what are you going to find? What could you find? Are you going to hit the jackpot or is it going to be, yeah. you know, a 5 a.m. start and nothing? <laughs> yeah. But it is that treasure hunting, truffling. That's so craziness. exciting. Has COVID put a bit of a pair to it this yeah. year? Has it been really tricky? Yeah, yeah. I mean, basically, for yeah. the first, I guess, until the summer, really, there was yeah. very little. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, there were a few of the big antique markets, so yeah. we managed to get out there. And us the traders kind of, we all talk Chats. to each other, and yeah. so we swap and buy from each other as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For more than one reason. Yeah, absolutely. But, yeah. Well, I'm it's, glad you've still managed to bring us some lovely well, stuff. I do tend to stockpile. Yeah. I call it stockpile, not hoarding. <laughs> I, I am part of hoarding. You've got an excuse because you put them into kits. Business. You've got the best excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Very jealous. <laughs> well, if you saw the state of yeah, where I did it all, and that, the ironing and the cleaning and the Oh, yeah, ironing. Else. No, it's all right. I'm not jealous anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's show you what our Melissa's been stockpiling for us. Now, these are brand new. And these are Melissa's crazy doggies. Um, they are, they're not actually very crazy, they're very, very clever. They're rather <laughs> intelligent to the dapper dogs. Brand new and they're quite fabulous. Well, I love a dog. Yes. I love dog, we, as we, we do. We yes, do. we do. We have seen each other dog walk. Yeah, we have, way. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I love the dogs. And he is actually, um, these are vintage images. Yeah. Um, so they are public domain, so you can sell these images, you know, sell items that you've... Um, made with these on i yeah. have no problem with them obviously i've changed them a little bit and created them into other things yes um and if people do love them there's going to be lots of different things being made out of it. this little fella look at him he's fabulous i mean he's sticking his tongue out of you because he's stolen your flowers <laughs> uh, but yeah um so <laughs> and they have a very clever hand a head standing dog head standing dog so they, they will feature on a lot of different things but yeah. i just i love the humor and i love vintage vintage dog things yeah. Um, a bit more than cats, actually. There seems to be a lot of really funny old dog images and things. Um, Isn't that funny? I wonder I what just, it was. Um, I, I actually have never found out where they came from. Uh, How interesting. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so we've got them on fabric. Beautiful. To do some crazy little patches. So you've got your fabric. You've yep. obviously got in the kit loads of little goodies. Yeah. So, as ever, you've got all your beautiful pieces of... Um, are these all vintage these laces all as vintage well? all vintage laces, so you get a lovely little stash bundle. Aww. Everyone's will be different, yeah. because obviously, you know, I can't reproduce hundreds and hundreds of yes. kits with yes. one bit of lace. So these are all original vintage and antique laces Aww. and trims and rickrack and, and even the threads are... Um, Ooh, now, those two bits of ribbon that you've got, the yeah. grey and the white, they are new. Ah, OK. Yeah. So they, they fit are, in, though, don't they? They do fit. Uh, that's, yeah, they've but got they're the vintage. Edge. So we've got some Dupion silk um, wow. thread there, and we've got some, that's some recycled sari thread. Wow. So it isn't vintage, it's yeah. upcycled. Amazing. So, yeah, there's lots of little bits in bits there. Bits and, and bobs. And things. 
and there's all sorts to so to do your actual because obviously you've also got um your little bags and yep. if i just unfold one of these so you can see the actual bags so we're getting are we getting a couple of the we'll actual bags those. yes amazing they're like little shopper bags lovely quite a, big shopper bag, really. quite a big shopper bag and they're an unbleached organic cotton i like it's them all nice yeah mm. it's lovely and it is actually really nice to stitch into yeah yeah because as you know with my kind of stitching that i bring to chanda it's not massively all about the neat yes. and beautiful stitching that you know there are some amazing creations yeah. on here but I kind of bring the the slow stitching the kind of playing with threads and stitching yeah yeah just having a go so to, very achievable it's but it all looks achievable. fabulous yeah if you can thread a needle then you can do something like yeah. this yeah and I've done a, a basic sample um, one there, but we'll have a look at creating your patches, and, and it's all about what you fancy doing. Yeah, having a play. You I love these because I I look at that and think, yeah, I could do that. And yeah. like when you look at the patches, I love that kind of. I love the hand sewing anyway. Yeah. I mean, I think, and can you see the, like, the seeing your top stitch, seeing that beautiful thread, yeah. not worrying about the threads oh, or the stitches nice. being the same length. I just love that. I love that kind of naive stitching. I just think it's beautiful. I think it's, it fits with the kind of vintage and uh, yeah. the antique theme, really. Absolutely. I mean, when you look at some of the, the embroideries that, you, that I do come across, um, they are actually stunning pieces of yeah. work, and they would have taken, yeah. you know, years. Yes. Um, and the eyesight with, you know, yes. not as good lighting as we have nowadays. But these just go, you, you can be neat. You can do all yeah. of your beautiful, you can stitch them on um, a sewing machine, you can stitch them by hand. I just love playing. I yeah. love sitting there and playing with the different textures yeah. and, and stitches. Yeah, no, it looks absolutely gorgeous. You have got as well um, the little buttons, the little beads, so you've got loads of little extras. I mean, it's a gorgeous gift, is this? You can easily create something really bespoke and unique with this and only £21.99. pence. So you are getting two of your bags, you're getting a lovely stash, you're getting five of your wonderful dogs. Obviously your vintage stash um, are going to um, always be a little bit different, probably, you know, contents will vary. Uh, and then you'd love the little beads. Now 10% of the stock has already gone. 910 884 is your item number. Now the uh, dispatch date is going to be 4th of Jan. Let Melissa get it all packed up and sent out for you. So something to do in the new year, which is lovely. Now, already busy for this. Um, <laughs> So, and I'm not surprised because it's only £10. And this is, again, a lovely little um, kit. So it's the same doggies that we've just seen. So you've got all five doggies on there, which is marvellous. The one sticking out his tongue. And then, of course, you've got your beautiful um, vintage lace and ribbon kit as well. Yeah, I've put, again, a little stash pack in there as a little extra just because they're, be they're beautiful. I mean, look at that lace. It's, it's just, just the, the feeling of it as well. And the colours, yeah. they're all original. Some of them have been hand-washed. Some of them I've left if they're in a good condition. Yeah. Um, but they, the textures and, the, and the, the feel of them are just gorgeous. So that's this is really, if you like the dogs but don't want to make a bag or a pouch, um, you, could, you think, oh, I'm, maybe I want to make some cards with it or yeah. maybe I want to yeah. do something else with it, that's perfect because then yeah. you've got the actual... Yeah. Um, and just the, the, the images on them. The little beads and your, your little beautiful button there as yeah, well. Yeah, just all toning in. And I've gone, I've kept with the kind of creams, um, uh, creams and, and with the images being yes. black and, and, and cream. Yeah. I just think they kind of stand out yeah, nicely, a bit different, works. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're loving the dogs. Everybody at home loving <laughs> the dogs. Um, only £9.99 price. So 137214 is your item number. Now almost a quarter of the stock has gone. So that one is so popular. Now carrying on with the little dogs. But this time, <laughs> I think this one's my favourite. <laughs> yes. Because you can make look a little pooch bag. So you can have. put like all oh, your, your dogs... You know, all your, <laughs> your dog's smell is in there. Yeah, you know. all his bits and bobs and when he's, yeah, <laughs> all his, his walk. beauty equipment yeah. in there. And again, that's really nice to work on. But you are getting, of course, um, your ribbons, your laces, the dogs again. So you're getting the same dogs in this one. You're getting the threads. So like the bag kit, but obviously this time you've got your, your beautiful little pouch instead. And that is lovely. I mean, look how cool that looks. 
That is such a beautiful gift idea. You know, to, to make for somebody. Maybe they've got a new dog. Yeah. Or maybe they just like dogs like me. I mean, I've got quite a yeah, few friends too. that love dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, it's just something that's a little bit different. Uh, and again, you can stitch away. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. what I haven't got on the on, on the counter here, which is my mistake, I'm really sorry, I, I forgot to bring it, actually. Um, <laughs> but I, you do get a, a pattern pack with it. Ah, so actually... there's lots of stitches in there, lots of techniques, lots of how ah, to kind of fabulous. lay them out. So you get that in there with the two main kits. Amazing. So that, so you can, if you, you if you don't do a lot of stitching, so there are lots of different decorative stitches that yeah. are really simple, which we'll yeah. do in a second. Oh, that's brilliant. But yeah, so you kind of, there are ideas in there, and, it's, and the same if you follow on social media. Amazing. You know, we will be posting lots of little bits and pieces Fabulous. out there as well, so you can follow. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, yeah, that's my fave. <coughs> um, so you have got all those beautiful vintage ribbons and laces again, which are just exquisite. You've also, of course, got all the threads, the vintage buttons, and obviously your little beads in there as well. Yeah, gorgeous kit. £21.99. That will make such a good gift for somebody. And yeah, I mean, because that's plain, you can ink it, you can do all sorts, you can dye it, you can do so many different things with that, make it real mixed media. Um, that is 697-745, your item number. Now, something that has flown out in the past, well, any Liberty, um, when Melissa's brought us Liberty, absolutely flies. These, your, it will definitely, contents will vary because, you know, there's no way Melissa can put all these um, together but look at these we are talking all oh, your beautiful soft sort of chiffons in this this is amazing now you're getting approximately 50 pieces it's done on weight though isn't it yeah because it's so floaty yeah it was it's quite a nightmare to count <clears throat> but also it's just easier to do it in in, in with weight so you yeah. do get quite a bit in there and these are all Liberty fabrics they're beautiful, absolutely. They beautiful? I mean, uh, we've had, I think over the last maybe three or four shows now, I've brought different packs of the Liberty and it's always sold out. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. But this time we've got, I managed to get some more in stock, um, but it's only of the kind of more floaty ones. So if you had a pack before, one of the mixed packs, you'll have had some of the chiffony, um, the cotton or silk um, wow. fabrics in there. So this is kind of just a bulk pack of those really. Oh, it's amazing. So it is about 50, about, yeah, there's about 50 pieces um, when we weigh them out. Uh, yeah, the, the way, the, it's just the patterns it are feels sensational. feels gorgeous. It's Literally. just lovely. Yeah. I mean, the, the, uh, why is it, they just, they have nailed it, haven't they? They, they really they are. There's something iconic about it, isn't yeah. it, really? It just yeah. evokes kind of a vintage feel anyway, yeah. but But it's also colours, got that, I don't yeah. know, there's, there's, it's so... It's got a quality beautiful. feel, hasn't it's, it? It's a bit chic, isn't it? You yeah. know, when you think Liberty, you think chic, you think... Yeah. I mean, look at that, isn't that fabulous? Isn't it beautiful? The colours on it are just... Are just the, yeah, right, all this the colours are, are gorgeous. I'm going to have to tell you now, this is going to sell out. Almost half of the stock has gone. If oh, you wow. do want this, you are going to have to check your basket out. However you... And I do love this. That is well cool. Because <laughs> it really suits that. It really does. We've used a bit of... Um, uh, there's a brand name for it, but a, a fabric kind yeah. of um, stiffener. Stiffener. Thank you. I was yeah. looking for the word then. Uh, just to, just to do skirts, scarves, all sorts of things on. I mean, these are actual original vintage pattern Amazing. models. Um, so j they just fit perfectly with them. Yeah, don't and backing just. cards. You know, you know, you can use it for so many different things, and just a really simple two two minute card, really. Yeah. Um, Definitely goes with your vintage patterns. Doesn't it? That's well doesn't it? Cool. I know. I did do a workshop um, uh, with, with our John actually. Oh, did you? Yeah, ya? he came along, um, and it is it is really good fun because you can yeah. create so many things with it. Yeah, and it yeah. is beautiful. Just the colours, the weight as well oh. is stunning. Okay, it's limited stock. Twelve pounds oh. ninety nine. Pounds. I'm not surprised. It's only twelve ninety nine. Um, that is an absolute bargain for that. 867061 is your item number, limited stock. That is going to sell at any second. Now, please check your baskets out. If you don't check your baskets out, I will let people know and they will be able to buy it. 
Okay, now we've also got ribbons. The ribbons are fabulous. So what you've got here, um, you've got all these beautiful, beautiful ribbons. Um, can, am I showing these live? Okay, um, right, I will show you those in a little while because they're amazing. And they're all um, a posh ribbon, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're posh ribbons. Posh so they're the ribbon. kind of ribbons that I would struggle to buy per meter, yeah. if that sounds right. There's lots of beautiful shops. There's a really big shop in London that sells just ribbon and it's all that kind of ribbon. Yeah. It's gorgeous. But you kind of go, how much a meter? But these are all smaller pieces and you'll get a random mix and it's all really good makes like Stefan was, um, Beresford's, all of the big, yeah. beautiful names. And yeah, a huge mix of it. It that is you can a use massive it. it's bundle. A, it's a massive bundle. Again, it's done by weight. Yeah. Um, and they're all usable pieces so they're anything from about five centimeters up to um you know 30 to maybe even some of them are a bit there's a bit more there's almost a meter on some of wonderful, the pieces so it's just lovely to use yeah and it's so nice to have such a <coughs> mixture as well only 9.99 again that is brand new today we will show you that live so you can actually see the colors and things uh, the item number of that i don't know <laughs> 565 358 is your item number. Those Liberty Fabrics have sold out. Um, sorry about that, but they've gone. <laughs> um, that were quick. Um, Fourth of Jam, remember, is the dispatch date now. This is something that our Melissa is famous for, the beautiful vintage, vintage papers. Um, and this is definitely something I remember uh, Melissa bringing in right from the beginning. And these are fabulous. A beautiful array of different papers in there that you can do so much with. And they just look fabulous, brilliant for your mixed media. 70 to 80 pages as well for a tenner. And it's things like this that are so hard. If you were going collating things like that, it is so difficult to be able to get that variety. Um, your item number there um, is 235530. Okay, if there's anything you want, check your basket site. It is um, achanda.com or 01733602000. Oh, Melissa, what are you going to do for us first? Well, I thought we'd play, have a play with the dogs. That sounds have like a Have a little good look idea. at the dogs. Shall I, can I show um, I think it's this little fellow first? This is my little doggy, Barney. Oh. Let's show him off. <laughs> this is his mean and moody look. Um, now, Ali and Paul from Stamps Away kindly gave me these pictures for Christmas. Oh, did and, yeah, yeah, I mean, my husband Tim did the photography. Oh. Um, but look at his little face. He's just beautiful. Um, so when I found these images, I mean, I could not not really yeah. um, not have them because he really is... Beautiful. Show. It really is, Barney. And that's kind of his... Oh, he's you know, look at that it. Vintage it is Barney. just vintage Barney. I mean, you know, he it, to the markings. So this is this is my boy. He's, oh. a, he's an old boy now. He is fifteen and a half. Is he fifteen? Yeah, and a half. my dear, he's sixteen. Is he? Really? Yeah. Oh. Hey, old. They don't want to leave us, so they they love us too much because we yeah, which we I'm fuss happy over them. Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah, he's a he's a little. So so he he's my muse. He's my oh. inspiration, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we'll have a little look at the patches, and this is one of the crazy, I mean, I, I'm holding it that way on the camera, it could be that way, might have a flat head, but that's actually him doing a handstand. So what I would tend to do on either of the kits is to actually start with um, creating a patch, creating what you fancy playing with. Beautiful. So they, all, they will come to you on, um, on the strip, so you kind of choose which one you're going to use. I think we'll have musical musical dog. So I'm Melissa, gonna cut all your cutting, yeah. I'm going to just tell people very quickly, um, we have got extended delivery on this. We haven't got much. You've already found it, which is why I had to interrupt our Melissa, because you've already found it, so it's already busy. We've literally on, we've not got much at all. Um, it is going to sell out. This is going to go out 8th of Jan, so just giving, um, giving Melissa a little bit more time. Everything else is a fourth, but this is now the 8th of Jan. It is going to sell out again. It's already really, really busy. If you do want that, please look at that. Please check those baskets out. Um, yeah, it's absolutely flying. Um, you know what to do? Look at it. You know what to do? Uh, 8670. See, I just like doing that and, and having it float it. It's just so, yeah. Gorgeous. It really <coughs> does. Um, check your baskets out, folks. It's flying. I, it, it's terrible because you just want to look at every single swatch of beautiful <laughs> fabric. Um, 
867061 is your item number. Right, back to our lovely back Melissa. To, so here he is. Here's our lovely little, my friend out of the way, um, our lovely little um, musical woofer. So I, we said before about using the fuzzy edges. I love unfinished raw edges and I like to make them a little bit rawer. Is that a... A bit raw. A bit more raw. A bit more rawer. <laughs> a bit rawer. <rawer. laughs> Bringing my, my Yorkshire out. <laughs> um, Your Yorkshire, my Lancashire. I know, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, so we're just... A li this is an absolutely gorgeous linen fabric. Again, it's an unbleached um, fabric. And these are all done in the UK. So with the designs, so I design them, put them all together, and then they're printed in the UK. So they're all nice and... Eco-friendly as well. So I've taken some of the the threads out. Make so you'll see rawer. just to make it rawer. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that and put in that in the dictionary. <laughs> That's so, a thing. A bit rawer. It's like a it's like it was this morning. It was raw outside, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, it's a proper raw. Outside. Outside. Yeah. It's very flooded right now. I know. I didn't think I was. I I drove through the biggest flood I've ever driven through. I it's think. quite scary, isn't it? Yeah, I've You have luckily. to do it really slowly, I found out once, because once my yeah. um, my car engine stopped working. <gasps> That's mm. what I was scared of, but I was following a lorry, so he was actually, he was making, like, a wave for me, so oh, I was like, cool. oh, nobody make me stop, please. Go through the wave. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've had a lovely email ah. um, from lovely Jamie, Bizarology. Uh, Janie, Janie. Um, she says, loving the dapper dogs. Ah. She said, her Daisy is currently practicing the headstand. Oh, is she? Well mm. done, Daisy. Very, very clever. Oh, Daisy. Um, Janie says, um, happy Christmas and oh. happy Christmas to you. Happy um, Christmas. Ja so that's from Janie Curdy. Purdy. Jamie, Janie and, oh, I'm getting all your names. <laughs> Good grief. I'm going to be calling you all sorts by the end of the show. Janie and Purdy. And Daisy and Rolly Moore. That was so cute. <laughs> the whole gang. Oh, oh thank you. Happy Christmas. Yes, I hope they're having lots of hot chocolate and cuddles. Oh, yeah. Which is cute. That's that yeah. what it's all about. It is, it is Christmas Eve, yeah. Mm. So we've got a little square of wadding as well. Just gives a bit of... Um, a bit more texture when you're actually sewing into it and I've just got some fabric this is a, a lovely stripy fabric it doesn't come in the kit um, but you do get some plain calico in the kit yeah. but I just thought for the camera I'm going to use some of yes, my because that pops a bit it pops a little um, bit I am more. so sorry Melissa but all right. that limited fabric yep. has gone, limited gone again. again if you do want that it's less than 10 percent it is going to sell out again it is first come first served on that um, I do I don't think after that I don't think there's any more extended so you do have to check your baskets out now if you do want to get a hold of that amazing price um 867061 yeah thank you that's all right now it does all go yeah. and it, it's a surprised. wonderful thing because i know that you you love it and you love working with it and because we keep selling it obviously people are buying it again and again yeah. but it does mean that my stash of it is going down <laughs> so i don't get to i don't get as many pieces to look at <laughs> i will have to squirrel some away though because it is gorgeous yeah you can't you can't get rid <laughs> can't of it, keep at all. it so here we go musical dog so i've done the i've got the the backing piece the wadding and my dog and I'm gonna you can pin it in um, let's pop a pin in let's be let's be proper Oof, and do a you. pin I know pin in and everything <laughs> cool it's like I do it for a living <laughs> there we go so I'm just gonna go in with a couple of really simple uh, running stitches and are you using that nice um, that nice thread that's in I the am. kit as well yes got a proper lot of it's machine for that gorgeous now I use an awful lot of linen threads of crochet thread yeah. of lace making thread um, and it just I don't know if you can see it's just got a lot more weight to it yeah you'll see as you're as yeah. you're stitching with it you can really you see can it. really see it and you've got it's got the texture some of it has a real nice slub feel to it so yeah. it's not you know really smooth yeah see that's why i don't put pins in i get them all caught <laughs> there we go they just make life harder don't well, they no, get in the way and the amount of times i stab myself with them <laughs> so i'm just going to do a little bit of that and that's just kind of to baste it on there but with a basting stitch normally you would kind of cut it off yes. get rid 
no we'll keep these because i just like the look of them yeah i do i do i just think they look absolutely yeah. beautiful and the the more uneven yeah oh, wedding's coming out there not to worry the more uneven the better really so we are just gonna you could See, almost do it that no, way i'm excited like these i'm done grease don't <gasps> make that is an absolute i mean you could literally put them on anything. anything i mean if you want to put them on clothes or shirts or anything because there is um you, jimmy if you need them on your box of shorts love you do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you can um, patch any holes there are in them yep yeah. <laughs> keep them keep them going um i know you can use them for everything yeah. i mean cards and we'll do do a bit more well, kind of not so stitchy a, yeah. a play with them in a bit like there is um a brand of clothing i absolutely love i won't obviously won't mention it but they use they um like have loads of sort of stick like patches and yeah. big stitches and they're quite bold spanish company if you know what i'm wondering but i love the sort of the patches they put on yeah. stuff you know it just, and it, they mix up fabrics and i think you can do with stuff like this you can absolutely do it if just, you've got a jacket you don't like yeah just stick a few change mm. the buttons stick some yeah. patches on stick yeah. a bit of lace on you know do anything that you like yeah it really doesn't matter this is how you know how versatile this kind of stitching is and it's about layer it up yeah um so i love i say this um ribbon is gorgeous because it's got those edges already yeah and you can do the same with the yeah with the i love top. that that it's is beautiful gorgeous. isn't it yeah um and for me it's a lot of i do a lot of crisscrossing so we'll stick it that way we'll put something under That's going stunning. that way so just before doing anything i would just you know before you're committing to a stitch but again don't forget even if you've stitched it it doesn't yeah, matter. That. Give it a bit of a wobble. Give it a bit of a wobble. See, Make that it a is bit beautiful, more... innit? Straight away. I mean, that's... Yeah. How long has that taken me? Not very long. Straight um... away, and it just looks... I do adore things like this. I think because... Because it is so... It's got a freedom to it, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. You just... that There's no rules. Mm. And that's why doing an instruction kit for... Um, sheet for the kits is... It's difficult, but then it's also easy because yeah. I can just show you lots of different techniques. And the main thing is to play, yeah, just have absolutely. a play. And that's the fun of playing with um, with your stitches. And you can always unpick. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's like when you, it, once you've started, it's so much easier. Once you've done the first couple of stitches. Why don't I do this? I don't Unless, know. So why have I not started doing this? Well, Boy, time. I love it. I just love it. What I tend to do, and I'll just grab time. them as usual because, but I tend to have little pouches, and now I can have pooch pouches, oh. but I have little pouches with projects in. So Fabulous. if you've got a few patches, just keep them in there, yeah. you know, yeah. and you've got that, you just grab it. Chuck it out of the way. Yeah. Don't need it. You know, just grab it and and on the go. If you if you're in yeah. the car, if you've got to wait in between shows, yeah, you yeah, can just sit and do a few stitches. Because that's easy to do. See yeah. that actually, your little patches. I think you know if you've got like um, a beautiful. Um, I'm thinking because at the minute my other obsession is um, I want to start upcycling furniture. Yes. And I'm thinking if you've got a gorgeous chest of drawers, if you paint it, like you could literally have patches on the drawers as yeah. well. There's nothing to say it has to. You could absolutely put it on furniture. You could the definitely patches. put it on furniture. Um, in fact, one of the sample um, demos we'll be doing either later on this show or at the two o'clock show i'm going to upcycle some boxes yeah. and we'll be using these uh, and the papers with it so you you can you yeah. can use it for absolutely anything um for patchworking if you are a pa if um if you do a patchwork quilt just you know yeah. drop one of these in yeah, yeah suddenly you're you've got you know a focal point yeah in there so yeah they can be used for yeah I'm not sure they can be used for, there's nothing they can't be yeah. used for, if that makes and sense. And I could actually buy, like, if I can't do quilting, I could, oh, she goes, I could literally buy uh -huh. just a plain quilt. Yep. E, in fact, I'll tell you what I've got. 
I bought from the good old auction site that everybody oh, yeah. knows. This is Leo only being an idiot, not reading proper. And I bought this. Um, <laughs> it's lovely. It's linen, but it's just a throw. I thought I was buying a linen actual, you know, bedding. Like bed. a bed. Yeah. yeah. But it's literally just a throw. Oh my gosh, I could patches. throw loads of patches on it and make it look like a patchwork quilt and actually I've yeah. just cheated and just cheat and on them. Yeah. That would look and, fabulous, wouldn't it? And sit and stitch, yeah. you know, little bits every night. Just have it on your knee, Yeah. watching telly, radio on, anything like that. It is just a case of sitting and playing. Yeah. And yeah, um, I could have little photos a, a day on as well as the yeah. as our our fabulous dapper dogs. Have as a dapper well. dogs, yeah, and have it. Yeah, it could be the dog Dave, Dave's Dave's, Dave's dogs row. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, that'll be mucky oh. in about five seconds. Well, yeah, this this weather. Oh I yeah, bet he's yeah. Having, yeah. At the minute, they've got dogs. They're just going swimming, aren't they? I know. And I'm going to give a little reminder. Well, you're just sewing, if that's okay, yeah, of Melissa. Because I know um, this is super, super busy. If you do want this, almost 60%. Did you say that, Meg? Almost 65, almost 65% of the stock has gone. So these are your patches, only 9 99 You've got your dapper dogs, which are quite fabulous. I like the one in the uh, rocking, uh, um, rocking chair. I think he's really mm -hmm. cute. They're just fabulous, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. What? Just like what? And what? what? Where's my broom? What do you want? Yeah. Where's my biscuits? <laughs> they're, they're brilliant. Vintage images that have been printed, of course, on that lovely fabric. And that is beautiful in itself because it will rough up wonderfully. Then we have to use the what? Yeah, rough. And it will rough up wonderfully. And yeah, really cool. You've then, of course, got your vintage laces, which are beautiful. And it is, again, Things like this, I mean, if you were to buy all of these independently, A, it would cost a fortune, B, you would have so much of one design um, that you get sick of seeing it, and C, it's finding it. It's actually sourcing all these beautiful vintage um, laces and, of course, your wonderful ribbons. And it's lovely that we've got just enough to make some gorgeous patches. And, of course, you've got your little buttons and um, your, your beads there as well. Only 9 99 That is 137214, your item number. Now, it's also busy for the pouch, my favourite. Um, if you would like the gorgeous pouch, yeah, I love that. That is so cute. And it's just, I mean, you could have your dog's name on there if you wanted to. You could have anybody's name. I mean, they're lovely. And like Melissa said, because these are um, unlicensed images, if you're making these, you could make them to sell. So obviously you can make one in this kit. So that's for you. But then you can use the pouches. So maybe if you, you know, you're going to sew your own pouches or um, you've got other things that you're upcycling at home, you can absolutely make things like that to sell which are gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oh, I Meg. You could, you could ink up the dog's paw. I tell you what you could do. You could just have a muddy paw and then embroider it, couldn't you? That would be quite sweet, wouldn't it? Just a nice muddy paw. There's a lot of those, yeah. <laughs> A lot of those on my, my nice rug, my hallway rug. Yeah. And you know, when you look at it and think, why on earth did I get an orange hallway rug? That was stupid. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> it's, who cares, the way it cleans, done it? Who yeah. cares? Um, <laughs> the landlord. Um, okay, so you've got <laughs> the landlord who wants the cream carpet. Um, and then you have got all your beautiful laces. You've got the ribbons. You've got, of course, the, that beautiful calico that has got, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it has got a really nice sort of print on that, which looks really beautiful. It's nice, isn't it? It's proper, ni proper nice, is proper that? Nice. You've got your wadding as well, and you have got um, your beautiful sort of threads and things, so you can create so many different looks with this. If you do want that kit, £21.99, really, really pretty kit, that. The really good starter kits as well, these, because as Melissa is showing us, easy, and you are going to get... Um, some inspiration for different stitches as well in there. Six nine seven seven four five is your item number. Um, absolutely. So now that ribbon. Mm -mm -mm. So this is the posh stuff. So a ribbon that will be a bit too expensive to be buying. Um, you know, a, a meter of this on its own. Ooh, that feels a bit nice. Oh, I do like this. This it's is lovely, lush. Isn't it? There's loads of different textures in there as well. So you've got yeah. velvets. You've got um, kind of. Uh, 
almost like a embroidered and some beautiful satins. Yeah. I mean, that one's gorgeous, isn't yeah. it? Just a little bit over a card. Yeah, absolutely. Just finishes off. There's some um, bias in there as well. Beautiful. It's lovely wide stuff. Oh, yeah, look, bias. I'll go with my dress. Oh, it does. Look, look, it goes imagine. perfectly with my dress. Yeah, I love these. Yeah, that is really nice. And I like the mixture of really natural ribbons mm. with sort of more like, you know, in your face glitters. I think that's really, really pretty. They're all lovely muted colours, but there's some pop of really... <sighs> I mean, look, yeah, a bit of bit of gorgeous green pom pom. That's this. That's yeah. this. Oh, you do make me want to do other things. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Obviously, that busy, but it's like, oh, what ones have got this as I well? It, oh, love it. Look lovely. at that, and that feels beautiful. Yeah, you can you can feel the quality oh, in it, man, which is yeah. why I I used to do a lot of it with um, the wreaths, but uh, so I, it, it comes from um, a, a fabulous lady that does beautiful ribbon lampshades and they're very mm. high end, very expensive yeah, yeah. Um, and beautiful. And so we kind of have a, a nice deal that I purchase all of her excess Amazing. that she doesn't use. So she doesn't want to obviously throw it away. And I know that we as a crafting community can do amazing things with yeah. it. So yeah. that's brilliant because yeah, at least they won't get bin then. Oh, well, that's it, yeah. Love it. Absolutely love that. What a nice stash. And <laughs> um, if you would love to get hold of that one, um, only $9.99. You've got a real mixture in there and that is just stunning. And yeah, if you do, I mean, obviously they're not going to come in the box, but if you, if you do actually just display them like that they do look rather fabulous yeah. i mean literally you could just have that as a, a display a really big glass vase or jar or something just yeah. stick them all in yeah they look absolutely yeah. They look all gorgeous. the colors yeah. yeah beautiful oh yeah that's how i should have my ribbons as well uh 40 of the stock has gone here that is five six five three five eight your item number stunning now we've also got and this obviously um the yeah one of the very first things i melissa used to bring yeah the papers. i think and it was my first pack actually that i did with you really? yeah the, the paper pack that was like that was lots of different things made yeah. of paper this yeah. is just beautiful backing paper um, and they are or, uh, yeah book pages basically yeah. so you can use them for everything there's Oh, destroy your slugs. Destroy those slugs. No. <laughs> Poor slugs. Poor slugs, yeah. Poor slugs. Um, so there's all sorts of different things in there. Oh, poultry manure. I've, we've picked some lovely ones to show. <laughs> <laughs> These ones make me laugh. I think that might be from a, a, a oh, gardening yeah. book, maybe. Dutch blood. Oh, Ooh. that's when it stinks when they do that with fields, yeah. isn't it? Nasty. Oh, minging. Yeah, dirty. I do oh, tend I to... These. I love these. It's got? like telling you when to sew and everything. It's great, How isn't fabulous. it? Fabulous. Let's let's start just sewing some nice vegetables. Yeah, yeah leave the all the mucky stuff. <laughs> these are fabulous and look at those. And of course everything is is you, you know, you won't get this pack. There'll yeah. be uh, all yes. sorts of things. But they're all chosen for the beautiful pencil images that are in there. There's yeah. some gorgeous illustrations. Um, I basically put into each kit what I would like to receive. Yes. Um, so most of them will have music in them. They'll have dictionary pages, all manner of books. I love the unusual books. Yeah. Um, and the thing that I say every time I come on um, is that I don't go out and get beautiful books and rip them up yes yeah, not yeah. not me yeah so I whilst I'm on my travels I will find the books that nobody wants anymore that have got drawings in them or ripped and bits and battered. pieces and so I will take those ones yeah. and create something yeah. out of them I think that's really good because again rather than putting mm, going they'll into go landfill. straight into landfill yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and no, we can use them for so many amazing things. Absolutely. They look beautiful. Just they just a bit look different. beautiful. And I think this is it. I mean, I, I adore and I, I can't like we all books. I'm terrible. I, I bought some to actually, you know, to upcycle and to, and I can't, and can't do it. I can't do it. I'm no, really bad. I find that all Paola, the time. Paola can. She's, she's, <laughs> she's vicious. <laughs> a vicious little Spaniard. <laughs> But, but it is it is totally true. If you've got 
<laughs> you know, lace or you've got a book that is yours or you've had it in the family, yeah. you don't want to do it. Yeah. So yeah. don't worry, I've done that for you. Yeah. So you'll yeah. get some beautiful flat pages that, you know, you can use. Yes. And it is, so I, I won't use anything that's from our kind of gen, our family, yeah. but I will, you know, when I buy things and find things and yeah. collect them, I will use them. Yeah. So no, I'll do the kind of scary bit and rip it yeah. up for you and that's it because some of them you will find like the kids have just scrolled in them or something i know the most beautiful it, pictures that, and they're gone yeah. you know or they've ripped the, the books have been the, the covers have been ripped or there's yeah. pages missing yeah 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 a lot of people yeah. take the illustrations out and then they leave the text yeah yeah and you, and you can't um create that look of the aging yes, easily yes. you know you do you can tea dye you can coffee yeah, dye it you doesn't can look like it that. just doesn't have that and feel. it's that paper it's just that the paper that they print yeah and stunning. i won't judge anybody for sniffing it either. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so many people you know when they've got like oh it smells gorgeous that's lovely <laughs> nice You've bit of vintage uh, yeah a nice bit of vintage paper. Bit of vintage um okay this is flying as well um nine pounds and 99 pence is your price that is a, a bundle between 78 papers in there two three five 530 is your item number um, and that has been really busy as well half of the stock has gone um, back to Melissa oh, back to you thank you back to me yay um, <laughs> so we've got our little pooch pouch yay I was practicing that pooch pouch. a pooch pouch so zipped on one side they're beautifully made and again it's that really lovely heavy um, cotton and again unbleached um, organic cottons there so I'm gonna flip it over um, I haven't ironed this just because I, I mean I don't know if you've ever noticed but I, I do iron for um, a living when I do all my beautiful packs and everything for a living. so I know it's really bad isn't it yeah, do, yeah. I, do you iron I suppose that's it you'll have to before you send them <laughs> oh, out they all have to be ironed all have to be cleaned yeah. um, and I think it's that that people don't realize is when you find it it is very you know it will be thrown in a bag yeah. or you'll find it under things so it's messy and so it gets hand washed yeah. uh, um, dried ironed you know you so name it it's all nice and clean so it's all nice pristine. when it arrives at your door so there yeah. is a lot more work than just people just think i go out and grab it and shove it in a bag no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no 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 so um so yeah you can give it a nice iron before you you do your bits so i, I did all the stitching onto our little pouch uh, uh, our little patch <laughs> there's too many p words um <laughs> And then we, we're just going to do the same thing and baste it onto our um, little pouch. And again, it's the same kind of thing. Just go in with some um, basting stitches and then we can go in later on and do some gorgeous other stitches. Now, the it is quite a nice um, thick, like it's almost canvas, but it's not yeah. um, cotton. So it's a bit more effort to get in, in there. Um, but a nice strong needle it'll be no problem Beautiful. so a few little stitches so that's all I'm, I'm, that you will be doing is just stitch all onto it now as you get a bit further down it's a bit more difficult to get in and out so what I've, I've found just a little notebook yeah I've just popped that in there so it gives you a nice firm uh, so that you don't that's a good idea. stitch through the pouch because yeah. obviously it's double-sided yeah yeah so I, I, I made that mistake. Have you stitched <laughs> stitch. them? I was yeah, like, no longer oh, pouches. It's no longer a pouch. It's more <laughs> of a, a thing. So yeah, pop something in there, then you won't go all the way a through. With a zip. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a zip thing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to take that stitch out now. So we've we've stitched it all down. Okay. And we'll go That's in so with a couple of a bit more decorative stitches, I think. So I'm going to go in underneath uh, so i take my needle underneath um on the underneath the patch not through the actual pouch on it right. just for this because if you are using it eventually the, the knot on the other end might wear through of so um just go through there and i really like doing little stars i think oh. they're really effective so what i'm going to do is just do quite a big stitch across okay. and i'm going to come up as if I'm doing a cross. So we've gone in one side and then we're going to go straight across. Yeah. And I'm going to come up in between the two points. Now don't worry if it, it, it looks more complicated than it is and it will be put um, 
in our guide. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do the same thing again, go straight across so you can see where it's matching oh, yeah. and then go across again. And then we should, I'll come up so. here so it's out of the way, so we should have a lovely little star. Oh yeah, that's cute. And then you can just carry on doing those all the way around. Yeah, I just pretty. think they're really pretty. Yeah, you could um, put beads in the middle of them. You can, so you. you can indeed. Um, so we'll do another one just here, a slightly smaller one. So you just, you're basically working on a cross. Yeah. Go across and then yeah, come up I in between each spoke, like um. Do that. Yeah, it's simple. And again, don't worry if each of your like hands on it are not the same length. Yeah. Really doesn't matter. Oh, that's really cute. So we're kind and of. And again, that it, the thread that's in the kit. It's just that lovely, sheen isn't it? It's just beautiful. And it feels it feels so lovely. Yeah, I like the little buttons you're putting as well. Um, vintage buttons are just fabulous. It's, ah, it's that colouring again, isn't, isn't it? it? You, you just can't make them. And if you buy new buttons and try and colour them up, you just don't have that. Yeah. And the textures of them and the patterns on them. Yeah. I could go on for hours and hours about how beautiful, Love. you know, they are. I mean, look at them. Yeah. So it makes you like my auntie used to have a massive tub oh. of buttons. And now you think, I wonder what happened to the button box. Yeah. Because as a kid, I used to love playing with buttons. I, I, my mum used to sit me in front of the button box and I spent hours I sorting out, like, each into sets and things. And then at the end of the... Because she'd be sewing and I'd be, you know, doing this. My yeah. favourite ones are the little ladybird ones and oh. find my favourite ones, find some new ones. And, yeah. And then, you know, I probably sat there for a good couple of hours yeah, and I say, love it. And then you put but, them all back in. Well, I used again. to play with uh, buttons and a knit, uh, knitting needles. A knitting and just needle. put them in lines. I tell you. <gasps> I was talking the other day about playing with the condensation on the back of the kitchen door. And <gasps> now I'm, I'm buttons. I, I do make it sound like they bought me nothing. I had no, no toys. I played with buttons and condensation. But I used to do, I used to have races. Did you used to have the races of the little drops yeah, coming down? That, yeah, I used to love it. it was brilliant. Great. But it that was, great. was, yeah, it was in the day, you know. We didn't get sat in front of a, an yeah. iPad or a PlayStation. No, we had condensation. Condensation. And I was saying as well, um, Jack Frost on the inside of your bedroom <gasps> window. Yes. You used to have that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And oh. they were really pretty. The patterns were really yeah. pretty. And you never thought twice about it. No, you didn't. I mean, no. it were pretty chilly, but it did look absolutely gorgeous. It really did. I do, I do remember <laughs> I that. I do sound so old now, don't I? I know. <laughs> Kids nowadays, they don't know oh, what. they don't know the bone. <laughs> they don't have a button tin. Uh, I, I know I've got them all, that's why. I just love buttons. I can spend... Now I will spend hours just... Yeah going yeah. through buttons and yeah yeah it's and funny isn't it yeah that that hasn't gone away that that sort of thing for old buttons i think so i think it does just evoke so many memories mm. uh, and there will be you know there's some very classic shaped buttons that everybody used to have and and i will find them all the time in different um boxes yes. you know? uh, yeah and it does just remind you of oh I remember that was on Sonia's yeah. coat, that kind of thing. Oh, I'm gutted. I don't know where auntie's went. Oh. oh. <laughs> right, it was I'm serious, a good collection and all. Of that. I bet it was. Yeah. Where's she turning out to wear? Well, that was it. In those days, we didn't, did we? Yeah. I say we. I it was great. Well, it was my great auntie, to be fair. So it wasn't my proper auntie, auntie. It was my great auntie, so my mum's auntie. So obviously, we are talking. You know, we're talking, they were in war and everything, so, yeah, so, I, how old was my auntie have been when she passed away? I can't remember. She must have been in her 80s, and that were years ago. So, yeah, we are talking, I were a kid. Anyway, they're all buttons, <laughs> they're all buttons. They're all buttons, all and buttons. they, but they, I tell you what, they all made well, because they're still usable now. You know, when you think about it. Yeah. It's, uh... This is the the thing with all the fabrics, the linens, and the um, bits and pieces oh, that are vintage, and they just last. See, this is it. What what have you lot got for the nineties that's going to be vintage? <laughs> I mean, it will be a very large yellow and blue <laughs> stores cutlery set that everyone had. Or yeah. those, there'll, the, be uh, there'll be something. There'll be something that'll be collectible. Yeah, there will. 
Because like even when you, yeah, there'll definitely be somewhere. I wonder if the fabrics will be as. We've still got I decent fabrics. I guess so. We've fabrics. got beautiful fabrics. I mean, it's just a shop like Liberty's fabrics. Yeah. I mean, that is they're still beautiful. They're still iconic, and there are some beautiful um, manufacturers that yeah. are still going in the yeah, in the absolutely. country. And then when you get things like your William Morris and <gasps> stuff, I mean, oh, don't. Oh. Right. I had to sit on my hands when that was on the show yeah, I know, the right. other week. I was like, oh, Beautiful, I could just, yeah. So yeah, yeah, no, there'll be a lot still passed down. Um, do you want me to give reminders? Oh, Sorry, honey. I'm just, I'm just chatting and I'm stitching. Just chatting. So I'm just stitching. I've just I'm literally. A lot of time. I know it's just nice to. This is what it's all about. This kind of sewing is you could just sit. Well, you could sit with a friend over Zoom at the moment, but you know, <laughs> yeah. and uh, we could sit and just have a few people just, yeah. you know, round. Um, it's when I do workshops with this kind of sewing, it's so nice because mm. it isn't frenetic. It isn't. It's just sitting yeah. and chilling. You can chat. You can yeah. just be nice and quiet. Yeah. You know, you don't have to worry. Thing is, as well, what I love about this, you can incorporate so many other things. I look yeah. at that, and now I've got stencils. I could incorporate. Yeah. I know I've got stamps. I could incorporate. You know, it it does lend itself to so many other things. Anything different. Yeah. So on this oh, little fella, we've had a little go with my new my new toy that I bought during lock that toy. Yes. Um, I bought some of the gorgeous. Um, pencils that you can use on fabrics Fabulous. and yeah. they water based yeah. oh my goodness so I'm starting to just use them and I use some gorgeous mica powders as well Amazing. and it does just you can use anything in those yeah that looks really good it's lovely isn't it just yeah. a bit more of a modern edge yeah yeah this one's got a little bit crazy <laughs> a little bit pink oh, that's this. and then just <laughs> highlighting like his his flowers you just need a tiny little yeah. bit of color so if we use that if you imagine that with the piece suddenly it lifts it and there's a little bit of, of yeah. difference and you in could that. actually put the the color that you've used for the flower you could then do like little dots around it yeah so it absolutely matched and and everything you can do beautifully together this is it mm. you can do anything you can just you know use different colors threads you don't have to have the neutrals i mean i've just literally on this one the only color there is is a is a, yeah. a soft kind of dove gray yeah, yeah but you yeah. can use anything in there but the the creams the whites on whites is just a lovely way of of having a play with your stitching because it, yeah. it stands out yeah you know you'd absolutely. lose some of that That's on lovely. on certain bits and pieces so it's it's just about playing around with what you have at home, yeah. adding everything in. Yeah, I love it. But hopefully with the kit, you can kind of have yeah. a starting block have to play. play. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a reminder okay, for okay. you. Um, if you would like, first of all, um, that beautiful patch kit. Now, that's your, your pooch. Um, hold on a minute, say it right. Uh, that is your wonderful uh, the pouch. Po 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 oh. Poop pouch. Yeah, I can't say it. Just can't say it. <laughs> if you uh, can. 21 pounds and 99 pounds. You're beautiful. Uh, Dapper dog's pooch pouch. Um, 697 745. See, it sounds better. If I try and say it posh for some reason, it, it'll come out. <laughs> um, you've also got um, the beautiful pouches on their own, and they've been super busy. In fact, limited stock. 137214. 9 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Also, limited the beautiful papers. Very limited now for those as well. Please check your baskets out. Two three five five three zero, um, and the gorgeous, gorgeous ribbons have been very busy as well. So again, you know what to do. Uh, five six five three five eight, your item number. If you want anything, please check your baskets out. Obviously, I'm Melissa is back with us at two o'clock this afternoon. Yay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So make sure you do tune in then. Uh, what have we got a bit of time left? A minute thirty. Oh. Do you know? Do you know what? It's for that minute. Can I just talk about those principles behind me? Yes. Because I, I'll wheel it in. Because <laughs> I haven't seen these before. We can chat about some more at two o'clock. Yeah. But I know you've got some new ones. So, and you can just. So you, these are downloads. Amazing. So you can order it now, pay for it now, and you can download it now. Amazing. So if you happen to have forgotten a present for somebody, there you go. You can email it to them straight yeah. away. But it's basically is a collection of uh, photographs, uh, photographs, pictures. So they are in the public domain. Yeah. Um, so that means that you can, once you've downloaded them, you can use them for whatever you like. You can um, sell the sell them as part of your work. Yeah. Um, you can use them for card making, anything. I've 
you can print them out, yeah. do all sorts of things with them. But basically, what you can't do is sell them as a digital file, but you can print them off and use them as much as you like. Amazing. And so Shakespeare's Garden is, an, um, is our latest the set. So we've, yeah. we've got... Originally, we've got animals, florals, the florals you've got there, yeah. um, and ephemera, which are all different kind of advertising bits and pieces. I really so they're like gorgeous. These. You can just use them for all Anything. manner of things. Um, they're stunning. Only five nights now, and you've got tons of. We will talk about some more at two. We've only got a little bit of time. Thank you, Melissa. No, that was so nice. Please check your baskets out, folks. Uh, we'll see you later. See you, Melissa. Bye. <laughs> Coming up next, it is Fabric Freedom. It's your big save. And our Yanis with his new hair. Um, we've then got um, Hachanda, big save. And then the Happy Puzzle One Day Special. Stay tuned to Hachanda. I'll see you in a little moment. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexibuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with a Chanda easier. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made of the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, design of papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. 
I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. So we've got a fantastic Fabric Freedom Hour for you. I'm not alone. I'm joined by the fabulous Hayley. Hello. Hi. Happy Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve. Hey. Are, are you getting into that Christmassy mood? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I just what? can't, because I'm working right up to the last. I Bless just you. can't seem to get into it. This Tomorrow is my first. Fine. This is my first day being at Ho Chan uh, seeing all the Christmas yeah. decorations. They've done a good job. They have done out a lovely, lovely job this year, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, before we get on, I need to talk to you about your social media. <laughs> Etty, she, uh, she's not, having it. She's not, she, I, I thought she'd be like Frank, a running duck, but she's a no, small she's duck. No, she's not. She's a Carky Campbell, so she's a bit, she's kind of half and half. She's ah. a bit taller than the normal duck. Yeah. She's, she's quite, quite a chunky monkey, though. She's, she's, very cute. she's a big lass. <laughs> how are the ducks and how will they be spending Christmas? Have you seen the hats? Did yeah. you see the hats? No. Oh, okay. So you've got to go uh, on Frank the Duck yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Um, we put hats on them last week. Very cute. Very good. Okay. Very good. Did they like the hats? Um, Etty wasn't having it. Yeah. She wasn't having it. She's the easiest to kind of put it on, but she, she will not it's stay like, on. I don't like this hat. I don't like this hat. No. Uh, Frank, though, is just having a little cuddle and hat on. It's all good. Very yeah. cute. Right. We're going to, I suppose we're going to do our jobs now uh, and show you what we've got. Some fantastic fabrics. We're going to start here because these are, I mean, I like the colour tones, but yes. then you've got that beautiful, delicate uh, design nestled in there as well. You have. So uh, the way that these are made is um, it's slightly different to your usual printed fabric. So um, the printed fabric, usually you would have a white fabric to, as a base and then you print your colours on the top. This is done with a slightly different technique. It's more uh -huh. like a screen printing technique whereby it's a white print that goes onto the top of a coloured fabric. Nice. So this is a little bit uh, more unusual, but it's mm -hmm. a really nice option instead of a plane because there's yeah. just something in there just to break it up that little bit. I'm laughing okay. because uh, my boss has actually called in yeah. just to say he's so happy that I got a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was this the thing? Did no one like my long hair? It, it, hmm? Well, it was when it was going through lockdown and it was changing and it went from kind of your normal hair yeah. to a little bit, Happy Days. Yeah. It went Ross from Friends. Yeah, yeah. And then it went Chachi from Happy Days. And it was just kind of going through weird. Uh, I was, I, 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 it's better this way. You like it this way? Yes. Right, we'll stick it's with not, this I mean, way. It, it's up to you. It's your hair. It's a lot, it's it's lot easier. I, I mean, people were giving me hints. Were they? Leaving scissors and barber cones. <laughs> Telling Numbers me for barbers their barber's got appointments free. <laughs> uh, let's get back to these. So this is our cream. Now, uh, cream, I think we we don't have in the studio, but we do have the option for white as yes, well. Um, the, this is cream. This, there's a very slight difference between them. Um, obviously, being able to have that little print on, especially a cream or a white, well, I think if this you is are a, looking this is to the put white plain and fabrics in. Now, some of the samples yeah. that I've got here have got the white in, which yeah. may um, help you out. Okay. But just having that little extra bit of interest in there just really, really helps sometimes lift a quilt and um, add something in terms of a bit more interest and a bit more of a quality look to it because it's not a plain stark white. It's got mm -hmm. something going on in there. Cream is uh, extremely popular as an option, so that is going very quickly. Uh, 19 99 your price, saving £5. And last but certainly not least, Grey, I think that's such a suffix, yeah. uh, sophis let me try that again. again. Sophisticated <laughs> colour. I'm very out Grey's a really good option because grey will match with absolutely anything. And again, you've got that white in there with the print on the top, just lifting that grey a little bit and adding a little bit more interest. And one thing I do want to get across, so you are getting five half metres. Now, with each half metre, you're getting a, a different design coming through. So you're just showing you here the lovely designs 
that we are getting. So you've got the uh, continuity with regard to the actual color, your base color being the gray here, and then you've got all these lovely different designs uh, nestled through. $19.99 is your price. You decide whether you want to go for the gray, the cream, or the beige. Any option is an absolute winner. That price, when you think about it, five half meters, so you're getting two and a half meters worth of fabric for 1999 your item number. How would you use these, Hayley? What would you, quilting? Um, definitely uh, quilting. They are um, a poplin weight to start off with, but then with the print on, that does add some kind of weight and body to okay. them. So just bear that in mind, they, they kind of all that little bit of a mixture of, yeah. of weights, but absolutely perfect for quilting. This one that I've got here, which is one of the bundles we're going to come to mm -hmm. in a second, this has got that white on white print within it as well. Uh, okay. So this, it, you can see, when you look from afar, it just looks like a white, but when you start getting in really, really close, you'll see that's got the print on the print within there. Nice. Here it comes. There we yeah. go. You can just see it there. Can you see? It's got the print oh. within it, if I just give it a little wiggle. I no, can see that. With regard to the beige, can I ask you a question? Is there any green in the beige? Is there any, any green any in there? Green? No. No green? Well, I uh, I would like to oh, beg I to differ. Oh, I know what he's doing. Oh. Because, oh no, not the beige, sorry, the cream. Let me get to do that again. Oh, I ruined it, I ruined it. But we are green on the screen with the cream. Uh, so cream has officially gone green, limited stock. We got less than 10% of this stock. I don't think I've missed you, Yannis, I'll be honest. Uh, do you know what? <laughs> I, I have really missed you. I don't think I was particularly good to start with, but a month out, I tell you, my game's gone right down. Uh, 1999, your price there. 055 538, your item number. Bring back Cream Scott. All is, is forgiven. Uh, Cream's green. Where is Scott? We did get him in. Stacked. Uh, now, we've got lots more for you. Let's take a look here. These are options. They come in sets of four. Uh, first set of four, which we can see here. This is your red and green. Love these. Everything yes, works so, so well. Um, what these are, these are from the uh, meadow quilting bundle yeah and what happens when fabric freedom design their collections is they design in sets of five now um, as a collection goes on and you know bits uh, get sold they're sometimes left with not enough to put the full collection together and this is why you're getting it at such a brilliant price because you're getting four out of the five fabrics that are from the collection but they still all absolutely work together mm -hmm. and by putting them with one of those bundles that we saw earlier maybe the white that we've got in the samples that we'll show you or the cream either will work then you've got a full quilt set and there's four half meters in this one five half meters in the other one so that's four and a half meters in total you could put together so that's a huge quilt well uh, when you think of it when you say it like that yeah that'd be a monster quilt that would be a monster quilt but a beautiful quilt as well and what we like and just learning here at Hochanda I like the different volumes of prints so you've got your larger volume here then you've got the small it looks like little bees nestled in on the purple uh, nice little floral punchy color here and then you've got the green to contrast so all four working fabulously well together yes so what you've got there is you've got two prints that have got a colored background with the uh, white or the white and red on the green one on the top and that's quite an unusual thing to do to get that solid color background mm. and have the prints on the top and the way that fabric freedom always design their fabrics is they start off with that big feature fabric so that's the one with the largest print and that has all of the elements in there so you can see you'll be able to pick out the little bees in there the little kind of um heather fronds the little um flowers all those elements that you'll see and that's why you can take any four from that collection of five and they'll still work beautifully together lovely 21.99 is your price saving six pounds 101 451 your item number now if you do have any questions we would love to hear from you studio at hochanda.com feel free to get in touch uh, any questions for Haley as well i know you're always on hand i want to ask other people questions they always get to ask us questions it's christmas let's turn it around let's flip it around yes. while, while i do this i'd like you to think, think of your of first question, question that okay. you would like to ask the viewers at home and they can email in the answer yes should we do this yes this is better all right always we'll do that we uh, you can ask back. the viewers at home uh, let's have a look here this is our blue and yellow so we're just showing you there oh so this is the one that i've got the sample for on like the this. table well, yeah. this is interesting because you're seeing it here as a whole and then seeing it broken down now and uh, implemented into a quilt takes on a whole different lease of life. It does. And the, um, as you saw earlier, the white that's in here, if I just pull this this way a little bit so you can see the whole thing. There you go. The white that's in there, that's that paste print white, the yeah. uh, lacquer print one, that's actually just adding that little extra bit of interest rather than just having that solid white. Do you know what's interesting? The illusion with the print 
gives it a check feel. Yeah, this you can see when you're coming across, I, I don't know where he is, I can't point. Uh, when you're coming across the quilt, you can actually see that little paste print in there just does make a massive difference. Yeah. Because you can see the difference in the texture there. And it looks like a, a really ditzy, nice little print. This one's got tiny little swirls mm. on it. Um, but it makes a huge difference to actually, you know, seeing it from far yeah. and seeing it up close. Well, we're seeing it from far it. now. It's got, a, to me, a bit of a, a country cottage vibe. It through. has. Yeah. It has. I think with the bees and the flowers, that all adds to it. And I know we've got uh, three different colourways in this. So you saw the red green. This is mm -hmm. the blue yellow. And then underneath, I have the blue purple option. Oh, which we're well. going to move on to now, yeah. So again, you're getting four out of the five prints, and you can, I mean, they all work beautifully together. Yeah, we like that. They all work beautifully together, and you've got, um, it's just so many options of how you can put this together. And seeing here, so the different colour tones, now we're looking at your purple and your blue. Purple and blue go so well together. I mean, even mix and match the two bundles together, because you've Cheeky. got the purple option and the blue option, a lot of those colours will cross over. And because you've got the same patterns as well, you've mm -hmm. got the whole lot. Yeah, uh, it's, good, lot. it's good advice. And at such a good price as well, you are getting that £6 saving. 101, 451, your item number. You choose whether you want to go for your red or green, your blue or your yellow, uh, blue and yellow, I should say, or your blue and your purple. Now we do have breaking news for you. We are into single figures and very low single figures. Uh, actually, scratch that. It has literally just gone the cream option from our uh, what we just showed you, the first fabric uh, yeah, collection. Is a little bit red in it. Hmm? Is there a little bit red? It might be. Yep, red. Sold out nicely. Like what you did. Uh, so <laughs> oh, Yannis, I've missed you. Cream has gone. Uh, it's a technical sellout. Well done. If it is in your basket, please make sure to uh, check out your basket so it doesn't jump out. We've still got the beige and the grey and the white. Oh, I've missed you guys too, you know. Have you? Yeah. Good. I'm Jen, glad you've missed us. Do you know what I've done? <laughs> what have so you done? So I've been sitting at home on baby duty. Oh, dear. And uh, <laughs> not which I'm loving, but I do flick over to Ho Chanda to see who's on this <laughs> kind of. I miss my friend. We do have a little look, what's everyone up to? Uh, right, let's have, I saw you were filming from home the other day. Yes, well, that's because it was too, too many times up and down that motorway. Yeah. I had, to, I, had to, I had to do presents and stuff, so I did it from home. Yeah. Got all your presents you see sorted? Boxopolis in the background. Yeah, box. Boxopolis. <laughs> oh, you yeah, did? Yes, we, yeah, I did see it. We yeah. made a, um, a, a, like a storage unit because there was yeah. a, a funny size space in mm. my house. So we thought, right, we're going to make something for it. Boxes. So we made lots of boxes and we made the boxes specifically to fit stuff like sewing machines or my overlocker. This is incredible. And things like this. And then we just screwed them all together and made a Boxopolis. Well, I love this. It's we need to get you on like that, that crib show and go Maybe. around. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah there's, we'll there's some decorating to be done before I can do a crib. Okay. When, it's, when it's ready. Okay. Uh, let's have a look here. Now, these are your wildflowers going through. Now, you are getting seven half metres. So, first seven, uh, yellow, which I see here. So, that is your purple and yellow. Seven, Hayley, seven half metres for 37.46. It's a lot of fabric, that. It's just, I think it's just a smidge over about £5.50 a metre. We're just working Wait, that out. With a calculator. Yeah, £5.35. Well, Very good. Off. We'll take that. Beautiful <laughs> fabrics. Now, when you think about this and the kind of projects I you could make... These are beautiful colours. They really brilliant are. Brilliant for your English paper piecing as well, because they're quite nice, small yeah. designs. And brilliant for your bindings and edgings as well. That's excellent wafting today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Trying to raise my game. Have you? You've been sitting at home practising with a baby, just actually, wafting over it. <laughs> We haven't had a baby. I've just gone away to practice my wafting. That was it. That was it. Just yeah, a, it was all a the month guys. long wafting course. Just wafting. No, I'm not kidding. We have. <laughs> uh, okay, so there we go. That's your first option. Uh, that's your, uh, your, your purple and your yellow. Then we have our teal and our navy. This is my favourite favourite. Yeah, I it's think really these are nice. Beautiful because I think they're really kind of really cool, really fresh. And um, I've got a quilt in this one as well. And you can see just by adding that little bit of white, and this is a mixture on here of the plain white and the white paste print or, or lacquered print that we've got on the show as well. And you'll see, putting these two together, there's a lot of white in the sample that I've got, but it just makes a huge difference to uh, put the space between the fabrics and allow each of them to kind of... Uh, just have their own kind of feature. 
because there's so much going on there. It allows each of the, the white, adding the white in just allows everything. Will you stop messing about with your reindeer eyes? I can see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love wearing this jumper. It's, it's the one I wear every year. Okay. But do you know what's weird? You know are what... they supposed to be antlers? Are you supposed this to have is... your hands up? These are, these are meant to be antlers, but... <laughs> Do you know, this is the true sign of the times, because with social distancing, yeah. obviously we don't stand next to each other, but for the last few years, when we stand right next to the guests, I didn't, I wasn't doing it deliberately, but I keep on poking the guests with the <laughs> antlers. You can see them kind of finching on what's he doing. Uh, okay. Surely Do the arms should be up for antlers, though. Well, the, you, like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't know, it's not very practical. Okay. So I find whenever I wear this jumper, uh, people traditionally now, obviously, we're maintaining social distancing, but in the past, Have people would always get a lucky stroke of the uh, reindeer. Okay. It's good luck well, for the rest of the year. sticking out as well. Got tongue and everything. There you go. Uh, all right, now, uh, just <laughs> give you the details. Jumper. Two different options here. We have got a third option. We don't have it in the studio. We're just going to show you some pictures. This is your pink and your cream. Oh, now I found that in the cupboard. Oh. But I didn't bring it out because I didn't think we had it. We do. Oh, can I run to the cupboard and get that option? I've got it as a quilt. Go, well, okay. We'll, 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 we'll okay. get it for you. Uh, 37.46, your price saving 15 pounds. My question to you is, are you going to go for your purple and yellow, your pink or your cream or your teal and navy? 382-507, your item number. Calls are being made. Okay. People are being exactly marshaled. exactly where it is. Okay. And exactly where it is in the cupboard. Do you remember? It's right at the back, <laughs> okay. uh, on the back row, on the bottom shelf. Well, what was the show with Pat Sharp and they go in and they try and... Oh, the one they ran around the house Yeah, house and, and try and find it. stuff. Oh, find I remember keepers. that. They find us keepers. Is it that? I'm and then at the end they had the little go-karts and the yeah. little track. It's a whole lot of fun, lots of prizes fun to house. be won. Oh, it's Fun House. There, there we go. go. Find us keepers. It's only because you sang the song yes. that I knew. <laughs> <It's> fun <laughs> House. I love that. I love that. Uh, anyway, I digress. Let's move on to... Oh, yeah. Now... Looks good, and you're getting an awful lot for your money here. Yes. So backings this, for quilts. This fantastic. is the brushed cotton. So, yes, backings for quilts, absolutely perfect. Um, if you're making things like... Now, we do need to put the caveat on this that um, it is, it's down as unsuitable for children's sleepwear. Yeah. So that means, generally, you don't want to put them to bed into it. But just I think it's a fire regulation thing yeah, okay. however if you want to make dressing gowns and things like that or you know kind of lounging pants as we like to call them then that is absolutely fine and these are so soft and fluffy i know we have to say that to kind of cover cover yeah. our bases but these are so super soft and so easy to work with they are uh, they're, they're quite a lot of fun actually lockdown really lock lounging pants lockdown lounging pants yes come on it's a thing See, Loads yeah. of people are doing it. And they, well, I it, totally nearly did my um, Skype. I saw you saying you were going to do it. Why didn't you? Well, I thought I'd get told off, but then Andy quite rightly pointed out that, that they, they wouldn't do? have been able to stop me. It's true. Next time, Gadget. Next, next time. Next time. I want to see you in, in your PJs. <laughs> uh, right, I should so, have just come in today in my pyjamas. Why didn't you? Yeah. Where, where was the Christmas jumper? I don't have one. Hayley, I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. <laughs> Have a Christmas jumper. Yeah. Let's have a look here. 11 eleven ninety nine for your brushed whale there. You're saving thirteen pounds. Shall I tell you what I'll do? I'll open up the next one just to show you the size. You need to see the yes. size. Yeah, these are impressive. huge. Because these are a fifty eight inch width fabric. So fifty eight inch is in centimeters is a hundred and forty five ish centimeters width um, make a difference having having more width yes it does because if especially if you're dressmaking with them or you're making your lockdown lounging pants then the the width does make a difference because if you have a look Goodness. at those i mean a, a tall because huge. of behind the counter but if you're thinking about making uh, lounging pants if you look that if you hold it to the floor yanis and just show how far it comes up on you not okay. the, the other way oh this way all yes. right i'll put it on the floor and i'll show you yeah yeah because what i'm saying is if you are making lounging pants that's almost lounging onesie there. Well, that's how... Because you've got that extra width on them, it's a lot easier to cut your pants. But with my slacks, that's, that's where I... I'll tell you, I'll just come over oh, here and I'll show you. Oh, them. This right is where up. I like to wear my, my pants. Up about there. Yeah? That's snug. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you're getting... I mean, the size of the fabric's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't actually hold it all out. You yeah, see that just... width. It's just going to give you a few more options in mm -hmm. terms of cutting things out as well. And that one for a quilt backing, I think, is a, is a great option. If yeah. you've got uh, a fabric that's got those greys and purples in, or you've got um, your, your top's going to be made of that, th using the fabric that 
Yanis has got there, the brushed cotton as a backing, is a really lovely alternative because it's got that nice snuggly feel to it. It's a really nice, I like the sort the of geometric. It's improved somewhat. Uh, has it? Maybe. I mean, I, do you know one thing I am proud about? I'm, so, I'm sorry because I know I'm talking a lot about baby chat at the moment, but I've become quite an expert at changing the old nappy. Have you? Yeah. Like, You've got like a stopwatch now. <laughs> It, it was. I was. Da I was daunted. You know, changing okay. nappy. Never done it before. Yeah. Got an expert. Though he waits, put a fresh one on, and then something happens, and I have to change it again. Oh. He likes a fresh nappy. Okay. <laughs> Literally. Sounds like hard work. Tell you, that's a good life right there. I'll only go to fresh nappy. <laughs> Uh, right, now, uh, 11 99 is your price, saving £13, 528-630, your item number. Let's move on to the stars. This, I think, if you're worried about, because the whale and the sort of geometric, they're quite bold. Yes. The star's fantastic as a backing. Yeah, that's kind of super neutral, so yeah. if you're just looking for something to, to be, to go into a stash and you're not sure what quilt you're going to use it on yet, then this is definitely the one to go for because it is the most neutral. The other ones, I think if you've got something in mind that they will match with, then that's perfect. Or if you're looking to, um, as we said, dress make with them, then you know, brilliant. Uh, brush cotton, such fun to work with as well. Yeah. I've made um, uh, lockdown lounging pants in uh, shark brushed cotton. Amazing. And yes, shark brushed. Is it, cotton. And uh, would you make his and hers yourself and your partner? Um, well, he's got some. Yeah. I haven't got any shark lounging pants. You need to get like your own shark ones. Well, no? do you know what? I'll go and find the pattern, and then we'll come in and we'll make some one day with some brushed cotton. Do you know who I found, and he's on what? my Christmas tree? Someone you made for me. Who did I make? Do you remember last year you made me the elf, and you, you embroidered Yanis on the hat? You I don't remember putting Yanis on a hat? Hayley. Who, which elf was it? Hayley, I'm... I don't remember making an elf. It's from a panel. It's one of your panels. Oh, yes, now I'm with you. Do you know, yes. I put up that elf... And I spent ages telling my wife all about the story and how much I said we have to put the elf out, how meaningful it was. I make it obviously a, I make meant a lot, a lot more to me than it did to you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the Yannis elf. Okay, well, go, go home yeah? after this. I want a picture. Okay, of the Yannis elf. I will, I will show you. I'll show okay. you. Okay, so uh, <laughs> there we go. This is this star. And like Hayley was saying, quite, look at the price though $9.99. It's uh, 44 inches wide, two meters. Uh, that is a great price. Saving 12 pounds, 011282 item number. We're busy for all our brush it's cottons at the five moment. five pounds a meter, which is so, insane. Because for a brush usually, cotton. Especially for brushed cotton. That's a, it's kind of the same as a quilted weight cotton. And we've showed in the past how you kind of, how they make this. And it is just literally 100% cotton. Because I think sometimes people, when they see it's brushed cotton, they think, oh, uh, there's some polyester or there's something else yeah. going on in there. Absolutely not. It's the same kind of cotton as you kind of can see here in the quilt. But then um, what they do is they take almost like little combs and they literally just rub it up and down against the fibres of the fabric, which releases those top fibres, which makes that little kind of fluffy top layer. Oh, and that's, that's what keeps it keeps the, the air in and keeps it so snugly and warm. Could you could you use it? I'm thinking as a lining because you know inside if you put something on and had that would that work? Or yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. You could use it as a lining. Obviously, it would it would make whatever that garment is a little bit warmer. Well, that um, what for winter? The whole point. Yeah, if yeah, you need yeah, something, absolutely. you want to keep that warmth. You're thinking of a winter waistcoat. Yeah, winter you waistcoat. Can, can warm lining. Brush cotton line. Uh, <laughs> Nine ninety nine. Your price here. Let's move on to now. This is very pretty. I love the um, the navy. Background. Yeah, it's got a really nice soft. It's I was it's more like a French navy. It's it's uh, it's not quite as harsh. French navy. Yeah, French yeah. navy. Um, it's just a bit grayer. Yeah. Okay. That's all. <laughs> You're right. There is. It's slightly more muted. Yeah. It's yeah. a really nice kind of soft navy background, and then you've got your flowers on the top there. So if you were going to do, if you were going to do it as a backing and maybe quilt them, you could maybe just quilt roughly around the flowers to use that as your kind of binding stitch to hold the layers together. Perfect. Nine ninety nine at your price. Five oh six eight seven six. Your item number there. And then finally, we have got our teepees here. This is another great one. The colours are so modern. Did you know Paula content. has a huge amount of teepee knowledge? No, I did not know. Yeah, it. she was telling me all sorts of teepee things the last time. I can imagine Paula fancy dress dressed up in Native American wear. I'm sure we've done. Have we not done this? Has she done was this? There a, was there a, um, was it not the summer party, Pocahontas? Yes. Did she catch, did she come yes. to That's what was she in did. my mind. That's why it's in your mind. <laughs> that was a good summer party. It was a good summer party, mm. yes. So having a look here, uh, you've got lovely, lovely colours. 
It, this is just a nice, fresh, modern design. Yes, and it's nice, soft colours as well. So yeah. fairly neutral, will go with a lot of different things. Um, and what would be quite nice, because it's a, a nice big piece again, you've got two metres there, then you could make a, a teepee mm -hmm. out of teepee fabric. Genius. Yeah. Game changer, but also really nice if you're looking to make a project. Let's say cushions. Um, obviously, it'd feel great with the brushed cotton, so it'd be really yeah. nice and plush. Yeah. But here, this is a nice design. So some of the other designs, say the floral here, might not suit. I'm thinking maybe some guys might not like it. Not yeah. saying guys can't like flowers, but with this, this is a, a great unisex design, and also young or old, it's a nice yeah, contemporary it's a, it's sort a, of. Yeah, it's design. a lovely kind of light background as well. So you've got fairly neutral colours in there too. I like it. Nine ninety nine is your price. Nine nine four zero two seven your item number if you want to get hold of those. So we've got fantastic prices on the show. Uh, now we have got uh, the lacquered print that we started off. So the the white colour option is now limited. The cream sold out. Unfortunately, we didn't have the white colored option uh, here live in the studio, but uh, we can show you a picture here. And I can tell you that it is limited stock. So green on the screen. Cream has gone. White looks like it's going to go the same way. Gray and beige, though, still in stock. Uh, I do. I really like the beige and gray. Hand. See, the gray with the wildflower. Is it the wildflower? Yeah. I think it is the wildflower one that I've got here. Um, that would work really well with the grey as well, because we've got a couple of different options. Um, we've got a couple of different colour options left, and the grey would work equally as well as the, the beige in place of the white Perfect. on those. So, all, right. all good. So, we shall continue. Now we've got more fantastic fabric for you. Uh, we've got half metre pieces. Ba -ba. These are on a pick and mix, so you're getting to choose here. Lots and lots of colour options. Shall we start? Should we start over here? Oh, well, this, let's start this way. What was that, Hilly? She rainbowed it right up here, I mean, this is pr proper rainbow. Uh, <laughs> so, we've got our white, which is, that is just a great staple of yes, this stash. Yes, yeah, and these are all 100% uh, cotton. I think sometimes when people see poplin, they get it confused with polyester. Uh, these are, poplin is just a weave of the fabric, so it's a little bit okay. tighter um, a, a weave than maybe a quilting cotton, and it's a, li a little bit lighter weight. It's more akin to, like, a, a shirt shirting yeah. weight material okay. but you still can apparel. absolutely quilt with it yeah. and you can still absolutely do all of your kind of fabric projects with it nice and good for making apparel like shirts yeah yeah, yeah. brilliant for making shirts and things as well just showing you the first was white this is your ivory to show the contrast between your white and the ivory yeah there's not a huge amount in that but it is just that shade off white yeah and then we got a cream here yeah? And we got a lemon. I've just seen the price. That's I mean, any the cream. Four for twelve ninety nine. You're holding cream. Next oh, is that the one. Cream. Sorry, that's your cream. This is a lemon. That's the there lemon. we go. Yes. Oh, thank you. That's all right. I'll keep you right. Nice. <laughs> I need the help. As much help as I can get. Uh, this is your yellow. <laughs> then you got. That's light. Still the keep yellow. going. That's the same piece. Okay. There we there go. You then go. you got your light grey. <laughs> it's very confusing. Then you've got there, your there's a lot of colours there. So steel grey. yes, you're doing very good. Or steel grey, I should say. Sorry. Then we've got your pink, sky blue, blue. This is your mint. Oh, look at that emerald. That's nice. Yeah, like that there's some beautiful colours the, Now in we're here. starting to get onto these bright, vibrant colours. Uh, there's your turquoise, your royal blue, purple. Can we just pause there for a moment? The purple, the royal blue, and the green, uh, the emerald, I should say, those three are great. Um, so and it's even all those kind of point. dual tones all yeah. together. I mean, those four together, you're winning. I might actually, though, I don't know, you could contrast it with maybe the pink. I love the pink. Okay, we'll carry on. I'd, if you were going to stick another one in, I would maybe go for the, the, dark, the red. Yeah, that would work. In there as well, if you want to take another one in. This one here. Uh, that, no? Maybe the one before it. Okay. We could just mix and match them. Yeah, we That's could. fine. We'll That's the whole on. point. We'll you can mix and match them. <laughs> That's your hot pink, your Hochanda pink. Yeah, we indeed. love a Hochi pink. And the other thing about this is your, your price. You're getting uh, four in your pick and mix, so four yeah. half metres. So that's two metres in total. Yeah. So that is about £6.50 per metre on £6 the fabric. £6.50 yeah. per metre. Very, meter. very good for 100% cotton. Very, very good. £6.50 per metre. That's incredible. Okay, uh, we've got our orange. And I love that orange, red. it's so super bright, isn't it? Yeah, we like that. Uh, that's a great red. There's a fluff on it. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Then we've got our... 
draw attention to it. I was trying to put it out slightly. Okay. And then we got... No, uh, that ship had already sailed. You yeah, know you don't get away with that with me. This one is our <laughs> uh, marine. <laughs> then we've got our... Just brown. Brown? Yeah. yeah. Then we've got our navy, black, and then you've got your grey. So those are your choices, and apologies that... Whoop, uh, apologies, took a little while to go through those, but uh, do feel free to jump onto the website and have a look. We're going to have some fun this hour. The one thing Hayley really wanted to get across is the quality of the fabric that you're getting and also the prices on the show. When you think about it that way, $12.99 for four of these uh, half meters, it works out £6.50 per meter. So stock up on your stash. Are there any colors maybe in your stash that are missing, you've used a lot? Because we tend to have go-to colors that we gravitate back towards again and again, Haley. So this is a good way to stock up at that kind yeah, of price. Yeah, this is a great way to stock up. And um, there's there's huge amounts of different options you can do with a poplin. So poplins are brilliant for your quilting. They're brilliant for your day-to-day your -day stuff. And there's just so much you can use them for. And it's nice that they're that little bit lighter weight. So if you do want to use them for linings and things, you're not adding extra kind of weight, especially if it's bags and things, you're not adding extra weight because there's nothing worse than making a bag and it's so heavy in the first instance that you don't want to bother putting any stuff in it. Yeah, fair it's enough. About stuff. Uh, <laughs> wait, we've got more we're going to show you now. We don't have this in the studio, but we do have some fat quarters. Wait till you see the price. 19, Hayley, 19.99. Now, for 10 pieces, <laughs> 10 fat quarters. The, the reason they can't find the sample for this and they have to do it on the stills like that is because I chopped it up in a previous show okay. <laughs> but luckily in the bag that I had with me was some of the samples that I have uh, made with the chopped up fabric <laughs> so you can see a lot of the colors coming through there and this is a really really nice one it goes from the, the oranges to the terracottas to two different reds and then you've got three or four the black doesn't come in with it I will say that mm -hmm. but you've got all of those kind of really nice bright summery colors and there's a lot that you can do with these in terms of rainbow quilt them and maybe putting them into kind of sets in their own right because you're getting 10 fat quarters in there so that's two and a half meters in total nice uh 19.99 your price there saving 13 pounds 611 your item number so what we're going to do is tell you a little bit about freedom membership and then the fun will continue see you in a moment. have you heard of a chand of freedom did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join Hachanda Freedom today. So a little bit about Freedom member, uh, for membership. Hayley, are you a Freedom member? I think I am. Yeah? I can't really remember. Sure. Honestly, Yanis, I've got no idea what day it is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of right at the end of that kind I, of... I joined it when I joined Ho Chanda, yeah. actually, not long after I joined Ho Chanda, I became a Freedom member. Best part of it is the... You, the delivery. You do get extreme, yeah, it's the delivery. Yeah, I never look delivery, at the PMP, because if you look here, 3 95 for your PMP... Don't matter. Yeah, Out the window. can be anything. Don't mind. You always get your uh, yeah. PMPs included. Uh, okay, let's have a little look. Now, these are your um, the, the lacquered prints. <laughs> I like the eyeball. <laughs> oh. Hiya. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Just have his own little show. Um, Has he got a voice? Have you got a voice that you do for him? I, don't really, I have to think about a voice. Okay. Wait, wait, do you think he's more Austrian? Go. Go for it. I'd like to see. Maybe. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Rudolph. Come on! So, sounds a bit so, Mexican. So, so it's meant to be Arnie. I was just going to go for an Arnie. <laughs> Arnie, Arnie Schwarzenegger. Uh, okay, I, now. Should we leave that in case we offend anybody? Possibly. No, okay. Possibly. <laughs> uh, okay. Look, I think the only thing I've offended is any voiceover artists out there. Obviously, yes. I'm not, not going to be doing Tell me about this. Okay, so these are your uh, lacquered mm -hmm. prints, also known as a paste print. It's a solid colour fabric, so it's the same colour all the way through. So if you turn it round, it'll just be completely, exactly the same colour, just blank on the back. Um, 
and then there's a white print that goes on the top. So printing white is usually quite a difficult thing to do because you'd ordinarily, as with paper, you'd start up with a white backing and then you'd add the colours onto the top. So this mm -hmm. one kind of works in a slightly different way whereby it's screen printed and it's a slightly different type of ink to get the white to show up on top of the colours. Nice. So there's your beige. Now we have sold out of cream. White, I think, was limited. And this is your... I really like this grey. And a lot, I'm seeing it a lot more in homes now. Yeah, now the I've grey's got... grey's been introduced. Yeah, I've got a very... I've got another sample. I'm just going to shuffle this across so you can see. Mm -hmm. Now these, this is the wildflower one. This is the um, option that we couldn't find earlier, but then I was... I was not allowed to run to the cupboard, but somebody else ran to the cupboard to find it. But because this has got those soft pinks in, if you imagine adding that grey to it instead of the white, mm -hmm. then I think that would work really, really well. Because it's got yeah. this has got the white in, which I know yeah. is limited stock now. Right. But you can see that white print on top of the white fabric still works really, yeah. really well. But if you were to replace that with the grey, I think that would look stunning in that option. And we have got the Wildflower Quilting Mega Bundle at the bottom of your screen. 37.46 is your price <laughs> for seven half metres. It's like swimming rather than wafting, that was, yeah, isn't that it? Was <laughs> a good swim. <laughs> oh, probably so. Uh, so we'll do them in a minute, though, because okay. we've got two different ones. Okay. So we'll do them in a minute. Just to go back to your lacquered prints, those details on your screen. Now, I do want to tell you, so these are the two we have out. The uh, cream sold out. The white, we don't have it in the studio, but the white has joined the cream and uh, sold out. So well done to everybody who got hold of your white. It is a technical sellout, so if it is in your basket, do make sure to check out so you do not miss out. Mm -hmm. You've got the white print on top of those lighter colours, yeah. but the grey and the beige, that's where it, that paste print kind of comes into its own and it really mm -hmm. kind of stands up against the background. I think out of the two that are left, if it was me, I'd probably be going for the grey option okay. because it's a nice neutral, well they're both quite neutral and will go with a lot of things, yeah. but I think the grey, especially with some of the other things we've got on the show, that's yeah. the one that will go the best. Now, we uh, start the show by saying we we're going to, it's like a Freaky Friday, rather okay. than Let's turn people, around. Yeah, oh, people asking question. us questions, you were going to ask the viewers at home a question. Well, um, obviously I think today's challenging. It was challenging to get in because obviously you've got a bit of flooding and uh, it was really hard work getting in. Whichever way they diverted you, there was another Floods everywhere, flood yeah. everywhere getting into the studios. So I want to know about your Christmas disasters. Good question. I want to know uh, what's been your biggest Christmas disaster. Oh, okay. That's so a good one. Let's, let's, let's have them in. I've got a question for you as well. <laughs> okay, uh, two. I've got, I've got a good one. Okay, do so it. So I'm going to be on Three Counties Radio tomorrow, so Christmas Day, <gasps> at um, 7 o'clock. So a friend of mine does the show, and they asked if I'd do a little feature. And I'm going to be talking about, well, we're going to be talking about worst Christmas gifts you've ever been given. Okay. So can you do me a favour? Because uh, I've been doing my research, so, I've got a few. So essentially, you're just getting material for your show tomorrow. Pretty much. But uh, if you right. have ever received a terrible Christmas gift, we want to do, what is the worst gift you've ever received? I Ellie, can give you, you what got... my mum got, Go on. if that will help you. Yeah. Um, my, my dad, they're no longer together. I'm just... Is it because <laughs> of this gift? I don't know if it was because of this gift. I think it was a bit, a bit <laughs> after that. Um, <laughs> But he got her an ironing board cover. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. An ironing board cover. Yeah, an ironing board cover. That's got to be... Did she like it? I mean, uh, she, if I could understand it, perhaps if it was a, you know, a, a, a woman that did something special and she yeah. was a sewer and things like that. No, no. not a sewer, just for ironing clothes. Just like, here's ironing an ironing board, board cover. cover. And make sure that my shirts are nice and crisp. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was meant like that. Okay. I think it was kind of it was meant with a gesture of. We meant with a heart. Yeah. Okay, you start the bar high. The bar high. Yes, so, there uh, you go. If you can be ironing board cover. <laughs> if you can be ironing board cover, we want to know your worst Christmas gift you've ever received. Uh, our Hannah in tech. Yeah. She got given what was it? Now I must say, secret Santas and things don't count for this. Because well, cause I, think, I think, oh well, because I think in Secret Santas you get, you tend to get weird presents. Well, she got given in Secret foot Santas. Because I know somebody who wants. Uh, we had a Secret Santa at work, yeah. and one of them got another one of them mayonnaise. Okay, well, I mean I that get, person really liked mayonnaise. I get that, but, but we don't even know if this foot cream. What I just got to say. So tech, uh, sorry, Hannah in tech. She got given foot cream. I mean, is that is that someone trying to tell you something? I don't know. They've got to know you quite well to know your feet well, that there well. there you go. Maybe it's an <laughs> offer of a foot massage from Paul. Maybe. Okay. Worst Who knows? ever presents. Yeah. 
Uh, $21.99 your price. Let's get back to the fabrics. Let's have a little look. So these come in sets of four. Uh, we will start with our red and green. So I like this. So you are getting um, four out of the five. It's always the same four fabrics that you're getting in mm -hmm. this collection. So it's your big print which is your kind of your signature print the one that, that kind of derives the whole collection and then you're getting three of the coordinating prints now these will all go together beautifully all you're going to need to do is add some um, either white or maybe a, a, just a slightly off white to go with them and then yeah. you are away you have instant quilt when you think about maybe patterns you might have already in your stash so quilts that you've made you've got the pattern doing it in a different colorway, different fabrics, totally different quilt. Yeah, a totally different quilt. And um, what, if you've had these bundles before from Fabric Freedom, um, I know, I'm not sure if it comes with this one, but with some of them, they do give you a block pattern okay. as well. Do you know what? It's Christmas. I'm going to ring them up and I'm going to ask them to put a block pattern with them all. You're the true people's champion. Uh, <laughs> so what you'll get is you'll get a, a block pattern. Now they're patterns. There you go. You are getting one. It's hey. all good. Hooray okay. for Christmas. Um, so um, now you may have to make some slight adjustments because I think that original block pattern was designed for five different prints. So you may have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery. Add what, what, adding one yeah, of the Yeah, adding some of the lacquer prints. Why yeah. not? Why mm. not? Or even some of the, the pick and mix, the plain poplins. They would work in as well. Using your noggin, oh, twenty-one ninety-nine. So we're just picking options. We had a look at the red and green. This is your blue and your yellow. So these oh, are the I ones that like I have the, the samples for. I've got the blue and yellow, and I've got the purple and blue one as well. Okay. So these, just again, really, really beautiful. You can add anything you like into these. So if you can find a, a blue or a green that you want to add in and that will match, perfect. If you can't find that perfect match, then just go for a white because all you do, all you need is in between some of the blocks, you just need that little bit of space to allow those patterns to kind of catch the eye separately. And just by adding that little bit of white, it makes a huge difference to the pattern. So you can see if I just move this slight, oh no, he's coming out further. It's fine. If I move it down slightly, you can see that's a full block there. So from here yeah. to here, up to there, so you can see that's your full block there. Oh, okay. It's quite a big block, which is a nice, easy way to quilt as well, because you're not dealing with too many tiny, fiddly bits. What you're essentially doing is making uh, one big block, and then just repeating it over and over again. And this big block, although it looks quite complex, it's only a nine square patch. So you do that as one, mm -hmm. this one as one, and then you're just repeating that block that was on the corner four times. So you've got yeah. one, two, three, four. You're repeating this block four times, one, two, three, four, and a solid piece in the middle. So although it looks like uh, quite a big involved block, it's actually very, very simple. You're only making one, two, and then that really you're not making, it's just a square. So you're making two different ones and just repeating those. And by moving them around, then that's what's giving you that kind of fantastic pattern. And it you're looks making it really good. And it is really, really effective. When you see and it that's in the form. purple option there as well. So you can see exactly the same way. That's this is the block pattern that you're gonna get. So it's gonna show you how to make this block and this block and how, how to cut a square that's that size. Um, and then you're just putting them together in nine square patches, which makes a quite nice big size block. And then you repeat that as many times as you wish to finish your quilt. So if you want a, a bigger one, then you'll make a few more. If you want a smaller one, you'll make a few less. Perfect. 21 at 99 your price, 101 451 your item number. There is a final option where I think you, did you grab? Da -da. Yeah, there's your purple. Was there which a... Was, um, was there a peach one or is that something else? That's a different one. Well, that's oh, that the other one. one. That's the next Sorry, one. That is the next We're one all right. Up. I apologize. Twenty-one ninety-nine. your price there. 101, 451, your item number. Red, green, blue, yellow or your blue, purple. Those are your choices, but you are getting four half meters for that great price. Now, we all move forward. It was the wildflowers. Yes, yeah. this is the one. So you've got two on the counter there. You've got your uh, purple and yellow option. You've yeah. got your navy and teal option. Yeah. And then the one that I've got on the top at the minute, that's your secret third option. So this is your pink one that is here. So it's pink and cream. cream. There you go. So that cream um, lacquer print would have been perfect. But mm -hmm. I would go for the grey with this because I think, because they're such nice light colours, I think that they're actually getting a little bit lost, especially kind of round here. 
Do you see yeah. where you've got those the kind of nice light greens? Yeah. With the white, I think it's all a bit too light and it's getting a little bit lost. If you replace those white mm. bits with grey bits, it's going to make these lighter pieces stand out much more. Because you can see all these four here, that's actually two different patterns. Mm -hmm. Let me pull it across a bit. Eh. There you go. Two different patterns, which you kind of lose until you get in really, really close. But if you had a, a grey background there rather than a white, that would again just make those stand out that little bit more. Good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, just having a look at the actual fabrics. They're stunning. So remember, you are getting a set of seven. Let me just start with the uh, yellow. That is beautiful. The yellow and purple. See, it's bright, it's fresh. You know, yeah, so we've got into that sort of dreary season. It can be quite grey outside. It's nice to get a splash of colour with your fabrics. And also, with this, you could be working towards a, a summer or a spring quilt now. Yeah and kind of just lifting lifting the mood with your quilting instead yeah. of the weather, which is terrible. Um, so these are all nice small patterns. With this, the feature fabric is, is not, uh, the, the, I mean, sometimes the feature fabrics with Fabric Freedom can be huge prints. Even the feature fabric on this is not a ginormous print, so brilliant mm -hmm. for your English paper piecing as well, because you've got lots of nice kind of small patterns there to play with. I'm looking at the blue, and I know it's one of your favourites. That's my favourite, mate. Favorite. Yeah, I'd kind of agree I'd put the grey with that one as well. Yellow is typically one of my favourite colours, but I am swaying towards the blue. Shall I tell you my favourite piece? So this, I really like this. This one I think is lovely with that small dotty print. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really beautiful, this one. Um, I think of, of all of the um, collections that Fabric Freedom have done, this is one of my favourites because I think um, it's slightly different because they've gone for more fabrics. So they've given you seven yeah. rather than the usual five. So that's slightly unusual. And the seven fabrics just allows you um, a little, a few more options within your blocks. So I've got the one that you've got there. I've got the um, navy teal one yeah. on here. And you can see it's this, a similar kind of thing. It's one big block. Now, this has, again, got a lot of white in. And I would possibly be tempted to replace this with the grey just to allow... Um, uh, just to darken it down a little bit, because I think with this particular design that they're going to give you to, to make the block, that's one block again. So if I centre that, mm -hmm. that's one block, kind of down here and along here. And then that's just repeated four times. And you can see it's been mirrored so that you've got uh, kind of different patterns forming in the centre there as well. So you're essentially making uh, two different blocks and then you're just mirroring them. Nice. Okay. Uh, we're yeah. going to get through some. Do you want to hear some emails? I'd love to hear emails. So we have had some emails in. Ah, brilliant. Angela saying her worst Christmas present. So an old company she's working for gave her a very, a very cheap soap on the rope. And they wrapped it in company-headed notepaper. Oh, that's dreadful. That, Angela, you're I winning. hope you left that job. That, that very shortly is a after that. terrible gift. <laughs> it's like they've just said, look, we haven't got anything. Give me, what, go <laughs> in, is there a shower? Soap on the rope? We'll give her that. We, we couldn't have Christmas party this year. So yeah. um, what I did was uh, we, we've kind of separated the way everybody works. So we tend to bring in two one day and yeah. two the next day. And so everybody's separate. Or uh -huh. what will happen is uh, two of them will come in during the day and Emma and I will come in on, at night time yeah. and we split it up. So because we um, did this, we couldn't have a Christmas party. And then we've got Josh who works remotely. So I just um, went online and sent everybody pizza. <laughs> That's a great gift. <laughs> I just sent everybody pizza. So I was on the one in um, a pizza delivery in Dunfermline yep. and sent one off to Josh and then um, went on, online here and yep. then we sent two to work and then whoever wasn't in the and next day, we, sent, we just sent everybody pizza. Better than the soap and rope, but let it head. Okay. Was that Angela who sent that in? <laughs> Angela, thank you so much. That's a great one. I really like that. Uh, Linda's emailed in and she's saying that she's had several unusual presents throughout the year, including a sundial and a pair of wooden step ladders. Well, they're quite fashionable yeah. now, the wooden step yeah. ladders, for kind of decorating that. things. That. Well, that's fair enough. If you've I requested like, it, yeah. that's, that's like okay. But if it, an, an unsolicited sundial. I, I like the idea of a sundial. <laughs> an unsolicited one? Yeah. It's quite cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we like that, though. So uh, do keep your emails coming in. Uh, we've, had, we've had a good one from Beverly. Okay. So. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Beverly, it's a good one. I know it's quite long, so uh, my producer Meg, she's going to give me the highlights and we're going to get it all across. 
Thank you, though, for that. I will be reading that out. Can I just say, uh, if you had any, so the conversation at the moment is worst Christmas gifts or any gifts ever. So what is, have you ever had a terrible Christmas gift? We've had soap on the rope, we've had sundials. Soap on the rope with uh, let, company headed letter paper that's is pretty that's winning. bad. Haley's had, you were saying that your oh, worst well, one? Yeah, my mum got an ironing board cover. Yeah. Um, I can't, I can't really think of if I've had any. I need to have a proper thing. You haven't been given pants? Well, actually, yes, I did get pants for Christmas, but I was very happy with them. Well, no, wait. We got day of the week pants. Ladies can get lingerie. Oh, no, I've got, like, day of the week, like, proper, normal... Big pants with day of the week. Yeah, day of the week's on. But I've okay. got socks that match. And then sometimes Matt and I have what yeah. we call a streak week. Like, in, in Pokemon, when you throw balls for seven days, you yeah. get a streak. Yeah. Uh, so then we have a streak week where we wear the, the right pants and the right socks on the okay. right days for the whole week. And generally, you have a pretty good week if you do that. When you said streak week with pants, I was wondering where you no, were going. No, I had to there. qualify it with yeah, the I Pokemon thought, thing first. I'm glad you did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's got weird. Uh, so please, no. Bev, save me. <laughs> so this is from Bev. Now, she was saying it was, it sounds like a, a story. It was the day before Christmas Eve. Uh, she was going to be hosting at her parents. Oh, hosting her parents, sorry. And now her brother had gifted her a new shower. So he turned up, uh, turned off the water and tried to install it. Good brother. Which makes yeah, a sense, okay. yeah. Uh, so, at this point, they've got no water. Parents are coming over, they've got no central heating, and they've got a big pile of washing, obviously, they can't do as well. Okay. When he turned the water back on, oh, this is bad. they had nothing. Oh. What did you do? How did you do? So, so, get a hose. So, they tried to unblock the blockage with the outside tap and a hose. Ended up with lots of spluttering water. Two hours later, <laughs> still no water. So then they find the plumber. <laughs> the plumber, though, he's had a few drinks. It sounds like a story for uh, <laughs> Mother's Brown. It was Mrs. Brown. Uh, it was Brown's boys. So, okay, plumber can't drive because he's had a few drinks. So, <laughs> this is genius. He's, so, the drunk plumber is talking them through <laughs> on the phone. Okay. So, this is what you've got to do. <laughs> yeah. So, Bev's downstairs, a brother. With a whiskey glass. Oh, so now the brother's drinking so, as well. The brother's br turned oh, into drink. Oh, I think that's Lordy. what the plumber advised. The first thing we've got to do is get a whiskey to get glass. Get on my level. Yeah. So <laughs> he's upstairs with the whiskey glass. She's downstairs. The plumber's drunk on the phone. And they've got children playing in the background. It's typical Christmas. Result is a block pipe, water spurting from all the taps in the house. Christmas disaster. 20 meter disaster. Mum and dad arrive. Damp carpets, washing on the kitchen floor, washing it up in the sink, shower curtains, it's a complete disaster. And they just said, we thought you'd be ready for us. Oh, I'll just get back in the car. Off Mom you go. and dad, not please. <laughs> Bev, it was a long story, but it was a very, not very good it. story. But this is the kind of thing you look back on, though. Well, exactly. Really traumatic. See, this is loads of story. material for tomorrow for you now. Okay, that's good. That'll fill, fill an hour show. Exactly. Uh, okay, now we're just going to talk about our lacquered print. That Thank you so much like to everyone who emailed in about your worst Christmas gift. Uh, this would be on the line of, I know it won't be in time for Christmas, but this is a late Christmas gift to yourself. Well, yes, winning. and especially if you uh, maybe know that you're getting a sewing machine for Christmas or you know somebody who is getting a sewing yeah. machine for Christmas, these are great options, especially if it's maybe um, a younger member of the family that's getting one. That's good, the fat water set that yeah. we had, the tropical moods, that would be absolutely that's perfect. Because nice. it's a nice, it's not too daunting a size mm -hmm. to start with. Because, I mean, sometimes if you're new to sewing and you're presented, presented with, you know, kind of two metres yeah. worth of fabric, then it's, uh, you're like, oh, what do I do with that? I well, I have to say, you know, I know we described it as beige, but it's gold. I would say it's gold. It's, it's very regal. You yeah, know, adding I would this say it's in, more of a gold background. Yeah, we colour. like that. And there's something so decadent about the gold background, that beautiful white. Would you class that as a paste print? I would class it as a paste print, yeah. yes. And what I would do is maybe just even team that up with some white. Get the white poplin yes. or the off-white poplin from the bundle that's hanging up on the back, the pick and mix. Um, and then you've got, again, got instant projects there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely you know instant projects. I do project. like about these, because you're getting five half, uh, half metres, but you've got a different print on each one as well. So you you're have. You've a lot got of five different prints. They're all nice and small as well. So again, for your English paper piecing, for your borders, your edges, your bindings, perfect for yeah, that. like that. That's your beige. Uh, then we also have the grey, which is another one I really like. The grey is such a nice colour. It's very elegant. Uh, grey is popular. 
which we like. It's just gone limited for your grey option. So okay. there we go. Grey seems to be your... colouring a lot of homes at the moment. Yes, and with your wildflower mega quilting bundles on the bottom of the screen, I think with either the pink or the teal and uh, blue option. Yeah. Perfect. Working. That would work go so well. Winning. Okay, so there we go. Nineteen ninety nine. Your price at the moment. It's just the grey or the beige, but grey is limited stock. We sold out the cream. We sold out the white. It looks like grey is going to go. And do you know what? The beige should go as well. It's a great option. So very quickly, we have got an email from the lovely Julia. Julia Watts. So she's saying her ex husband, who was married to her at the time, gave her a coffee grinder. Now, she doesn't drink filtered coffee. Oh. He does. <gasps> well, that's why he's an ex-husband, isn't it? A present for himself. <laughs> oh, and she's saying happy Christmas to everyone. Hope you have a great Christmas. Julia, hope you have a great Christmas and give Ed uh, a little cuddle from us as well. Ed's a duck. Uh, not a duck. <laughs> Ed's a cat. <laughs> It, well, Ed, Ed, Ed is a dog. a dog, but not her dog. <laughs> He's a cat. Uh, thank you so much for the email there, Julia. Thank you to everyone for watching the hour. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been fun. So it has been fun. Is that you done, Neil? No, I have uh, one o'clock with okay. more Fabric Freedom. Yeah. And then I have uh, one day special mm -hmm. tonight, oh. uh, which is what we've done is we've taken the Fabazines yeah. from all throughout the year. We've made massive pattern bundles. So if you've enjoyed, enjoyed any of those projects, you can get them as patterns now so you can do whatever you like incredible yeah. oh that's that you know how much i love the fabazine i know you love a fabazine so that is one to be watching at six o'clock <laughs> thank you so much for your company big thank you to Haley thank as you. well good luck with the one day special thank and you. uh the fabric freedom will be back at one o'clock so coming up next we have got ho chanda big save hour after that gavin's going to be back with the happy puzzle one day special and then fabric freedom will return with the lovely Haley. hi my name is katherine sturrock and i work in collaboration with fmm FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chanda and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. Join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I designed the brand myself to make sure that every product that comes out to you is the best quality, has an individual design and also is versatile. 
I like everything to match. So if you've got a product from the very beginning of the John Nextdoor brand, it will match with something that you buy right up to the minute. Everything working together, which makes things more versatile and easier for everyone. I really hope you can join me on the Chandra and continue your crafting journey with me and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. So don't miss the John Next Door and Craft 2 shows on her channel. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. I'd like that all year round. I don't just want that for Christmas. I want us, I want show openers like that all year round so we can just be waving. Because not just the, yeah, show openers, not just for Christmas. Much like puppies. Puppies, not just for lockdown. Um, now then, we have got, oh, God, Leone, you would start like that, wouldn't you? Um, we've got a load of, do you know what? We've got loads of goodies on here. I have got my mat. I've got my scissors, left another pair in me, don't matter. Um, I am almost ready um, to do some demonstrating because I looked at the counter and was like, oh, I can play with that, I can play with that. I, I must admit, right, the, the save shows, the big sales shows, when we used to do um, price drop, I used to quite like that because it gave me a chance to just play with stuff, not do proper demos, so not really have to think about it, just a, a, just a dead excuse to have a bit of a play. That's what we've got on this counter. Um, we have got some incredible deals, so please shop ahead. Um, um, obviously, um, some things are big, big save. Some things are already a ridiculous price, like this. Uh, it is craft too. You've got 15 embossing folders here for a tenner. I mean, that is ridiculous. I know, right? Get out of here. This is just ridiculous. Have a look at some of these styles. Sorry, Ross, I stopped listening to you all together then, didn't I? Rude. Um, so <laughs> it was like I'm sure I can hear something in my head. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> Oh, contents may vary. Thank you. That is actually dead important. Um, so contents will vary, but you are going to get um, an absolute bargain. Thing is, we're embossing folders. So I, I'm a big fan of embossing folders, and I don't use them enough in my crafting. I think that's a lot of us are like this. I think that everybody used to use embossing folders, but then all of a sudden we all seem to to stop, and it's silly because yeah, we forget. I think thing is, we we get a new you know new toys, new toys, and it's like. Like, um, we forget about our old toys. And there's nothing, I mean, there's nothing better than beautiful embossed cards. <laughs> um, oh, you get your Power Rangers back out. Other, other things are available. Um, but they're just absolutely fabulous. I mean, there's loads of wonderful designs. There's frames. There's obviously seasonal ones. There's um, full backgrounds. I love these, uh, the frames, because you can use them in so many different ways, which are great for matting and layering as well. Now, contents may vary, but obviously it's a deal. It's a deal. £9.99 £9 for that many embossing folders. Incredible. 458 355 is your item number. That works out at 66 pence per embossing folder. 
Boom. Um, shall we go to the counter and then I'll uh, do some demoing? Let's do that. Because I've already decided, right? This next kit, I am going to borrow one of these and emboss it with one of them. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Already got in it. It's sorted in my little head. Um, now, this is a really cracking kit as well. Uh, from Crafts 2 again. Crafts 2 do give us some deals. This I would absolutely make sure you check your baskets out on this this is a serious deal i really like these i think these are well cute and do you know what the embellishments like this are absolutely essential look at the teeny tiny little birds and you've got loads in each one you've got tons like in that I bet, I bet in the leaves there's at least five, six leaves in there. Honestly, there's, there's multiples in each one. You've even got the little box. So when you've actually used the embellishment, you've got that beautiful little box. Honestly, the price of this is amazing. I bet I'm, I, I easily, easily I've seen um, two of these for that price. Easily. And you're getting 45 pieces in each pack i mean that is such good value for money that's 180 wooden embellishments to start with but then you're getting your cardboard flowers as well now i am going to open one of these you have got 20 in each pack of these i'm being careful how we open them so not to upset all of the christy who's already warned me <laughs> she's not watching though i'm safe no she still doesn't know it's okay we can get away with this okay it's a secret don't tell Christy. So, look at all of these. So, you've got all of these embellishments. This is just one pack. Now, they're a cardboard, so um, it means you can obviously slap all your paints on. Um, I'm going to be running them through my embossing folder, but you'll be able to shape them as well, you know. And they're just really, really handy. Again, these are fantastic embellishments um, and just ridiculously handy. That's one pack. So when you look at it, you've got all these different packs. You've got different styles of flowers in there. And um, that is just so handy, really handy. So you are getting 80 flowers in total. Right, all those wooden embellishments, which are gorgeous, all those wonderful flowers, all of that for £9.99, £9 that is a bargain. 041740, that's your item number. That is really busy. Please check your baskets out. 15% of the stock has gone. Next, um, we've got now dies. See, this is why I've got my die cutter out because there's so much stuff for me to play with. Um, is this another contents vary on this? Okay, it is going to be a contents vary. I thought it must be because that price. You have got 10 sets of dies for a tenner. That is just, and look, get it, because look at this. That is working out a pound a die. I mean, it is a beautiful selection. Contents will vary, but you're going to get loads of gorgeous flowers. So I bet you're definitely going to get some at once. I'm showing you here. Um, and you are going to get some good ones. And the good sizes, you know, on the packaging, they look really teeny tiny, but actually that's a massive die. And look at the variations. <laughs> I've got huge ones. I haven't really. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> That would be funny, would it? I'm quite small, but then huge shovels on the end. <laughs> and then huge boaty feet. Um, but, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> it's, yeah, I mean, it's kind of in proportion on my hands. <laughs> small person, kind of small hands. Anyway, I'm going to stop because I know I'll end up saying something that's politically incorrect, won't I? Now, a third of the stock has already gone. Um, if you do want this, where it all oh, Ross has called it, he's saying this, he reckons will be the first sellout. And he's the man who can see the numbers. Um, if you do want that, £9.99 is your price. 860011 is your item number. Um, not arguing with Ross because he can see the numbers. Uh, but there are some really good deals. If it, I know what I'd be going for. I know where I'm going. I actually need the scoring board. Um, this is um, your groovy. What's it called? Your groovy jewel. Now, what you've got in here, this is a really good kit um, from Fabulous Woodwork. I love woodwork. Um, and what you've got with this, so you've got your scoring board and then you've got all your instructions. So you're able to create different folds on here. You're able to create, bear with, bear with, bear with, come on. Oh, come on. 
You're just trying to turn a page, girl. Um, you're able to create loads of different cards, but it's got instructions for making boxes as well. So if you watched our lovely Hazel um, yesterday or day before making some incredible boxes, and I'm not going to lie, I had proper box envy. It's a thing. Um, this, this will do the job for you. So you've got your scoreboard. It's a good heavyweight scoreboard. You've got different scores on both sides. So it's already... Um, marked out for your boxes and it has got on the side there it has got the embossed detail of what it's going to do you do get your score tool which of course will clip in there so it actually stays safe and you don't lose it leona um which is really really handy not to self so that's a good product that is definitely worth a tenner quite frankly but then you have got your really cool little stapler now this has got look your mini staples mini colored staples which are just gorgeous. You've got a thousand staples there. Now, the staple, I must admit, this is just a must-have in your crafty stash because you can attach your ribbon, you can attach your vellums. Brilliant for mixed media because it just gives you such a different look. Again, a tenner for both of these. That is such a good price. It's a proper stapler. You know, it's, you know, metal in there. It's a good quality stapler. Um, really, really cool, that one. Um, real bargain. That is 485-418, your item number. Oh, those dies. 80% of the stock has now gone already. Oh, Ross called it. They're going, they're going. Uh, please check your baskets out, don't miss out. Okay, now, we've also got for, uh, from Heartfelt Creations. As we know, we get some beautiful goodies from Heartfelt. And this is rather nice. Mm-hmm, shiny, shiny and new. Uh, so you've got your gorgeous um, Lux cardstock. So it has got that beautiful sheen to it. Um, this would look beautiful embossed. I'm trying to find Kirsty, but it's not quite. There is that. Hold on a minute. I don't actually know what I'm looking at. Did I find her then? There she is! <laughs> Hold on. Uh, hey! <laughs> Hooray! So it's not a mirror card, this is a foil card, but it does give you a really fantastic finish. In fact, it's interesting because if I look at myself like that, I can actually, I can properly see. Right, let me see if I can get you again. So I think you have to be really close to see proper, proper in it. Sorry, folks at home. I know this probably isn't as exciting for you as it is for us, but we love it. More to my left. Hey! <laughs> I love how that entertains us every time. Literally, never gets boring. Um, <laughs> never. And at home you're going, yeah, yes it does, actually, Leone. <laughs> well, it actually does. Uh, now, you're getting 12 sheets here, £9.99. Um, and you have got a £2 saving on that one. Um, uh, Extended delivery from the Heartfelts, and that's going to be sent out from the 5th of January. Because obviously coming over from the America. Um, now, these are some I'm going to be cutting. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait. I'm going to get some of that gold card, and I'm going to get some of these. And I'm going to get die cutting. Now, from Heartfelt, Heartfelt produced some beautiful, beautiful dies. And let me just take the little tab off, because I am going to show you these. Um, so, what you've got in this die, if I just show you the actual die, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous because if you have a look at the packaging it's going to show you the actual die so you've got eight dies in here so you've got your main uh, circle but then you've got all of these which are going to nest and layer perfectly i really like these 18.74 is an amazing price that is a massive die I, honestly you need that is a must that is a must in life. Um, and a £6.25 saving, really like that one. That is 862-544, your item number. I'll be quick and then I can play with him. Less, less chat means more time to play. So that's your first one. Uh, the next one that we've got for you, and again, let me just take that sticker off so you can actually see the die. Look at that. I mean, that is just a beaut, isn't it? Look at the size of that. 
Even if I really, really had massive hands, that wouldn't. That is huge. It's absolutely huge. And again, you've got multiple dies in there. So if I, sorry, you can look at the detail. I mean, it's phenomenal. If I show that, you can see you've got your layers. You've got your base. You've then got all your gorgeous layers to go on top of that. Really, really beautiful, that one. Um, now, if you would like to get hold of that, um, again, only 18.74. You have got a £6.25 save in there. That is 341071, your item number. Now, next, the Royal Elegance Posh. Quite frankly, Posh. Um, I mean, again, we're talking detail. We're talking a beautiful, beautiful die. I mean, that has got your outside edge. You've then got your beautiful detail. And then going in, you've got all those other dies. I will show you the packaging so you can see exactly what you're going to get. Oh, I don't know which one to play with. Um, only £18.74, that's your price. Very intricate. I mean, they're stunning. Um, 603994 is your item number if you'd like to get hold of that one. And I do like the packaging as well with Heartfelt because um, it's a really good storage. It's a good storage idea for your dies because if you're anything like me, I mean, I've so much, much stuff, storage is absolutely is a, an issue <laughs> i mean you should see my graph room it's an issue i did share a photo not long ago on facebook and it was like oh um but i mean i've even got sort of bodies in there <laughs> literally um so they are mannequins don't worry <laughs> yeah no, i'm not that bad I mean, I've been watching Sherlock, but it hasn't gone that bad. Uh, yeah, confessions. Confessions of a crafter. Oh, I keep bodies in my craft room. <laughs> uh, laughingly. She says laughingly. Um, <laughs> and then people go, oh, she's only joking. Uh, so, I, and I literally, yeah, mannequins. Um, um, Janice dropped them off for me. They're quite fabulous. And I want to make one into a lamp. Because someone said that it were on a design program and they made a mannequin into a lamp. It was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. And then put all my rice papers and stuff on it. It'll be fabulous. I mean, I'm not quite sure when I'm going to do it. But anyway, look at that on Home Alone. <laughs> I think, it, yeah, I think Home Alone, it would probably, um, yeah, a little bit more scary. And actually, Janice showed me a photograph, and um, it was a nativity scene that I think it's in, I'm sure, yeah, what I saw, Janice, a nativity scene that they built in her um, village, and that were using two mannequins. <laughs> it's great. I mean, they didn't look scary at all. <laughs> I won't be building that because mine have no arms or legs. So it would be a bit of a scary nativity with mine. Mine are probably more of a scene for, for Halloween. Anyway, I am sorry. My do my imagination is seriously dark. Um, £18.74 is your price there. Absolutely beautiful. Saving six twenty five. Love these. All dispatched from the 5th. Worth the wait because that is a deal and they are stunning. Eight, uh, 684322. Two. Okay, now this is my favourite favourite of the whole hour. This is beautiful. I really, really like this kit. I'm definitely pinching a bit of everything. Now, you are getting tons in this. Right, I'll start taking you through. So, where am I going to start? Start from the top. So, first of all, you're getting two of these paper pads, okay? Now, you've got 36 papers in here. Absolutely gorgeous prints. I mean, they're really nice and um, summery. They're really nice and um, pretty. You know, you've got that beautiful pastel uh, finish on these, and it's 170 GSM. So that's one colour tone. Let me show you other, um, which is lovely. See, uh, I really, really like this. Now, you're getting nine designs. There's four of each, so plenty to choose from. You'll be able to work over the top of these. You'll be using these for mat and layering. Absolutely gorgeous. So you've got two paper pads. Um, 36 in each and i haven't um looked up karen yet so um the lady's name is karen karen uh john and i i haven't looked her up yet but i'm pretty sure um she does the script lettering and the artwork is beautiful i i'm absolutely 100 percent sure she's going to do the beautiful um you know, the the, fant the fantastic brush lettering, because there's loads of brush lettering in this. These two are beautiful. Okay, let me show you these. In fact, I'll show you three of these. So this is your first two. You've got two die-cut blocks, and these are fab, because you've actually got on that page loads of tags and stuff already die-cut. So you've got loads on that page already die-cut. And then look... 
the flowers. This is, uh, there's m masses in this. You have so many beautiful, and look, this is why she definitely does the brush lettering because look at that. I mean, they're beautiful. You've actually got in that one um, sheet, you've got 20 pages of die cuts. That's your first die cut uh, pad. Your second die cut pad, and it does give you an overview on the back of what you're getting, but I'll show you. I mean, you've got so much in one pad. You could create so many cards with this, and they're really beautiful. I love that really sort of loose finish to it. You know that, that real watercolour look to it? absolutely stunning so you've got two of your die cut pads um already when you look at this already you've got so much for your money but then this is stunning i'm having a bit of this this is your watercolor pad oh i really like this so you able to do your watercolour in on this it's really heavy cardstock because it is ready for watercolouring. obviously you can fill that in with one of your other embellishments but how beautiful and what is it what is it yeah yeah so you've got your resist so that isn't going to move whatsoever it's really pretty absolutely gorgeous i'm absolutely going to borrow one of them um you've then got that 300 gsm so very good value for money you've then got now craft asylum this is actually not part of this it is it comes in the kit but it is different um but i love craft asylum craft asylum is such a good company they're all double-sided this is this not part of the de uh, deal? As it sneaks its way in. Oh, it must be mine. It isn't, Christy. <laughs> Christy's face then. As I kind of just slipped it up my dress, you're not seeing it again. Um, so then you've got some lovely rub-ons. Rub-ons are ace, and these are beautiful. I love a good rub-on. And the thing is with them, you cut them out, you use them independently, but they just look like they've been stamped onto your page. They're stunning, absolutely stunning. And you are getting four sheets of those. Honestly, I want this collection because now look at your stamps. Stunning. Now, you've got, what you will get, you've got the background, and then you've got the overlay. I'm going to borrow these as well. So it means it means you're colouring in, you have put your block colour and then you do your detail. So you've got that set of flowers. Look how many stamps you are getting. For £70, you're saving £33. Look at these as well. See, so just the four stamp set alone are, um, did he say £15? I kind of, 60 60 stamps just with these backgrounds detail stunning absolutely stunning different sentiments as well so you've got four sets of stamps the lovely thing is with these the solid you would be able to use them independently the outline you can use them independently you don't have to use them together some stamps when they do these this kind of design they do the block so if you do it on it did it on its own it wouldn't be anything but the way these have been designed they are all standalone stamps that is a beautiful set you've then got this set carries it just keeps going the deal is amazing more stamps more stamps so you've got your beautiful sentiments and then you've got the dies to go with it so i'm going to pick one of these up because i can't read it off so you've got um so you've got obviously live on life um live your life and forget your age absolutely i do that all the time i mean if i remember my age it's a it's a miracle um a dream is a wish your heart makes oh that's lovely <laughs> yeah it's in my dreams um <laughs> live life in full bloom uh, don't just dream your life live your dream oh i love those absolutely wouldn't they be nice in your planners your happy planners absolutely gorgeous this whole collection will be beautiful in your planners um you've got your other set of stamps as well so really nice uplifting sentiments you've then got the washer oh this is a thing of beauty let me open the box for you look at this washer look washer washer we love a little bit of washer that's gorgeous it's gorgeous. So you're getting your three solids and then you've got your, your beautiful print on that. Let's see what that says. So you've got four in this one and then nine in the other. I mean, deal. Oh, look, it's your alphabet. Alphabet. 
That's well cool. And then the last bit of this is, um, and these are interesting because, and this is why I suppose, I thought, yeah, okay, Karen is definitely a brush letter artist because this is going to show you, I wonder how it works. This is going to show you, um, or it's a guide. It's a ruler essentially for doing your brush lettering. So it'll allow you to space your letters out properly. And that will allow you to get that perfect. You know when they, they do it and you think, how have they done that so perfect? because they literally do line it out properly and I think that's a beautiful way of learning how to do it and you've got two different sizes massive kit that is massive um, I would not re uh, miss out on this it's beautiful every single element of this is elegant um, you're saving a massive 33 pounds here 69 pounds and 93 pence is your price and you've got flexi which means because you've got three flexes, three flexes on a big save, which means 23 quid today for all of that. And if you're putting anything else into this basket, you split it as well. So get on that website. It is achanda.com. I'm picking my stamps that I want to play with. Um, you will find so many deals. I mean, um, there's some beautiful... Oh, the dies! limited stock um yeah if you want them it is going to be first come first serve check your baskets out they are now limited stock don't miss out they're gonna go um obviously please have a look at the others i adore adore uh, the heartfelt they're all absolutely sensational um there are some really good shows if you've got any of these i'd love to see pictures as ever at studio at chanda.com um, and don't forget we have got your wonderful seven day savers as well like i tell you what the all and create stamps that you've got there i mean even with these backgrounds that i'm going to use you set those will stamp over the top of i mean they work so well together um Right, I needed to play with this first because this is beautiful. It's just so beautiful. So what I'm going to do is just take one of these out of there so you would never know. So when Kirsty looks at it, it'll be like, she doesn't know. Poor Kirsty. Um, and then, and then what am I going to take? Let's go with the blue first of all, okay? So I'll take the blue and I have got my, um, I've got a paintbrush like this you don't need to oh that's a don't want that it's got a tough end i don't want that right okay so what you could do with this is literally just go down and then spritz it and it'll all blast but what i'm going to do is just work on my craft mat first splash that with water and then look immediately you get your resist because of course it has got that beautiful resist on it. In fact, let's just water it. Let's go on to the water. Let's do it that way. Too much water now. But can you see that resist popping through? I'll go on with a little bit heavier, shall I? So look, as soon as we go on, you're getting that lovely, and I want this dead soft. I don't want it heavy. Because I think that's the thing with your prints. You know, it's a soft print, so you don't want it too intense. I think that would look wrong with this print. So you get that really nice look. Can you see that gorgeous resist at the top there? I've been a bit rough. I've gone in a bit rough there, but it doesn't matter because it all works and it looks beautiful. So you've got that, but then what I can do, if I wanted to, take on one of my abandoned coral. And I'm going to use one of my water brushes. Not that one, that's too big. Oh, although, I bet that's quite nice on those. Because I'm not, like, it's watercolour, so you don't need it to be perfect, do you? You know, you can have that kind of, that really gentle movement going on there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I've run out of petals. Yeah. So we've got those gorgeous petals. Look how quick it comes together. And because, like, with the watercolour, you know how sometimes they don't fill all the lines in, then it's all wishy-washy and it sort of bleeds over the edge. I really like that. I think that always looks really pretty. I might put a little bit of that in there as well. So that looks really nice and soft. I think it'd be better if... Right, I wouldn't spritz it first. In fact, let me see if... Hold on a minute, folks. I'm just going to try another one. Yeah, I know, another one. Well, I'll tell you for why. 
I'll tell you for why. I'll tell you for why, because I've pitted that. Mine's gone a bit pitted. So I want to see if I didn't spritz it, if it wouldn't be pitted. And I, because I think I've been a bit too, um, I think I've treated it like my, my normal watercolour card. Whereas actually, I need to be a bit more gentle. Right, yeah, that's much better. So you don't want to be spritzing it on. Just pop that. That's better. Just go it straight on. I am putting it on with a water brush. So I'm getting that movement straight away. But that looks really gorgeous. And can you see that? that go oh, you can. That is just so pretty. And then, and then, let's get a green. Obviously, you can use your pens with these. You can do all sorts. So use the green. And I won't do all of it, obviously, because it is so sure. So using, let's use a smaller one now. Not that small one, that one. That's not that small. Ridiculous. There. So that beautiful green. And again, have it quite loose, you know, don't try and colour in the lines. Just just get that, that beautiful sort of wash coming over. Because that wash does make it look like a, a real sort of watercolour finish. That just looks so, so pretty. Oh, I do like that. That is so easy, but really, really effective. Then allow it to blend like where these are blending. Allow that to happen. Don't, you know, don't try and and be... Per I mean, you can. You can be really perfect with this. You don't need to use um, watercolours if you don't want to. But it is designed for your watercolours. So you would want to. But I bet as well... Let me just take one of my gorgeous pencil gel pens because I have got my gorgeous gel pens that we had on uh, TV just the other day and I'm reckoning if I pop a little bit on here like this, let's see if that can blend out because these do blend out you see. So I'm reckoning if I pop a little bit of gel pen on that, yeah and then you can blend that out, beautiful. It's now got a cheeky bit of glitter. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Putting a bit of glitter on everything now. Oh, I like that. And I would actually, let's make the little flower blue. And then it's got a bit of colour in that flower. I know I've put glitter in it, but I can go over the top with it. Beautiful. There. Oh, see, I knew I'd get carried away. Before you know it, that's it. We only spent an hour just colouring in one flower. <laughs> From the book. What else did you see on the show? Nothing. Nothing, but I had a really nice time. There we go. And then last one. So I'm doing this. Darker colour on the outside, then dragging it in. So you can still see the glitter. Oh, happy with that. Should lift that. Obviously, you need to finish it. But doesn't that look pretty? It does come, it does actually build really, really quickly. That is so satisfying. Absolutely, um, yeah, don't bother spritzing the card first. Build on it with your water brush. That absolutely gives you a beautiful finish, and it is 300 GSM. So lovely, weighty card. Now, let me show you as well the stamps. So while I'm here, from the same set, I mean, you've got that many things in that set. There's so many beautiful, beautiful projects and things you can do. But I'll pop that there so we can pop that back. But let's get my stamping platform. The one thing I didn't bring this time was any paper, um, anything to mop up with. So let me just just get that out of the way because otherwise I'll get ink on everything. So what I'm going to do, just get my stamping platform, pop a little card in there, so a six card. Now, these stamps, love these stamps. And these will just allow you to build. So they'll allow you to, to do so many different layers and all sorts in here. So what I'm going to do now, that is really fine. Because that's a really fine stamp, it's a bit tricky to put down and then put your platform on. I mean, that is actually easier when you're using your... Um, there when you're using your normal you know your normal um stamp thingy what's it do da so i'm just going to bring inking block that's what i'm trying to say there we go there so that's them too 
they're ready to go. So those two I'll put doing green. Let me just get that. We'll do those in green. Okay. <laughs> so put them there. I might put a little leaf on as well. I love things like this because it's just building up. It's just lovely. In fact, in fact, let me do this. So stamp this first. Okay. With my green. Dink, dink. Beautiful. Take those off. I'm obviously not going to put um, the, the lines on these because you don't need to. But then take the little leaf and the little leaf, you can have it. I mean, you can stamp it at the same time, but you can actually, now I've got that stamped out, now I can put the little leaf so it literally hits that line. So I know I can get it, so it's just going to be spot on. And you've got the other little leaves as well, which are really pretty. So, in fact, look at these. These are well cute. Is that your words? Oh, that's your words. You could have your... Anyway, don't faff too much, Leone. Come on. I can feel myself really faffing. I'm meant to be doing really quick demos because this show's meant to be quick and pacey. So, <laughs> so having that like that... No, I'll take that off. Quick and pacey, Leone. Quick and pacey. Booby dooby dooby dooby. It's one of those shows, really, isn't it? Dooby dooby doo. So do it like that. <laughs> no big save music in the background, thank you. That music has been stuck in my head for days. Look, double the colour, double your colour, boom. And then... I'll try my nose. <laughs> and then... Honestly, where are yesterday? I was singing it constantly. <laughs> so everyone's amusement. Yeah, people were loving it. There we go, shall I put it like that? I'll have it that way, I think. And have that one just there. I'm really faffing there. That's okay. <laughs> quick demos, Leona. Quick demos. Yep, yeah, yeah, they'll be dead quick demos. I won't faff. And then, let's do a little bit yellow first. See, these stamps are fabulous. Absolutely beautiful. You can layer all your colour up on the actual... Oh, I know. Isn't that stunning? And then hit the edge of the stamp. Okay. Taking the edge of the stamp. <laughs> Have we only 20 minutes left? Oh, see, these shows go so quick. Look at that. Bit of mess there. That's okay. I can live with that. No, I can't. So... <laughs> No, oh, no, I can't. Actually, no, I can't live with that. I'll take that grid off. I'll do that instead. Okay, go back over. Boom. Ah, I can live with that this time. But then, because we have only 20 minutes left, and I shouldn't be faffing, but then you take your other stamp, so this is the one that matches perfectly. So what you do is... You pop that over there like that. Don't worry too much about it being absolutely perfect because sometimes they look even more effective when they're kind of off a little bit. You know, I kind of like that. Yeah, it kind of gives it that sort of um, sketchy look then because that one is a bit trickier too. Let me just have a little think. So that one's that one there. Like that. And then let's take the little flower leaf. So that's that leaf there. Like so. Beautiful, beautiful song in my head. Yeah, beautiful. And then we'll have um, the earth laughs in flowers. There, pop that there, like that. And then your outside edge. Now it's up to you what colour, you know me, everything's black. Black, black. So stamp in black. I'm stamping in black because I like that, that real, um, you know, that, that strong emphasis of the line. I think it looks really, really beautiful. But you don't need to, obviously. But look at that. How cool is that? Doesn't that look good? I mean, it just makes it pop. You've got your line, so if you wanted to, you could put the, the line on the flower as well. But I like it like that. I just think it looks really cool. I highly recommend them. They are really, really nice stamps. Absolutely love them. And it all comes part of that beautiful big bundle. I mean, that is so quick to do, but honestly, something like that is just so addictive. It's beautiful to do. Really recommend those. Now, get hold of that big bundle. It's a brilliant big bundle. Do not miss out on that. You have 
got those three flexi payments. I mean, the price is phenomenal. If you do want to get hold of that, please, please, please check your baskets out. Um, if you want those beautiful flower dies, okay, they are limited stock. If you do want those, literally the next couple of people to get them, they are yours, uh, but do not miss out on those. That is 860-011, your item number. Don't miss out. We're also really busy for the embossing folders. So if you do want those embossing folders, please check your baskets out because uh, they are super busy as well. I am not surprised. I mean, at that price... Honestly, that is such a deal. Please check your baskets out. Shall we have a little play at embossing? Now, I will just say I couldn't find my rubber mat. So if they don't come out as crisp as they should, it's my fault. I needed a rubber mat, but I couldn't find any of it in my side of the building. And I, my side of the building. Um, and I couldn't find any um this bit of the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I live I live on the um the other wing um of the of the building. But yeah, and I legged it over as well but couldn't find it. Good job I've got my nice little boots on for running. Right, okay, let's have a little play. So oh decisions, decisions. So I'm gonna go for I want an all over pattern, but I want a kind of um Let's have a see. Oh, that star one's cute. Let's have a little go with star one, first of all. So I'm going to try it with one of those flowers, OK? So we're going to bob a little flower in there, like that. And that. Mm, which side shall we do it? Shall we have it? Yeah, have it that side. Let's see what it looks like. And I might, what I might do is put a bit of ink on just to see what it does. Yeah, no, right. So not only are you using them product, Leon, are you going to put ink all over it as well? <laughs> I'm not even. It will wash off. It will wash off, Christy, I promise. Um, okay, pop that on there. Now, now, I can't remember my configuration, so I'm going to try. I'm going to try. It's ages since I've embossed. So I'm going to pop a few, a couple of bits of paper in. Um, if it don't work, I'll pop it back through again. I'm only put, putting a bit of paper in because I've forgotten my rubber mat. So I'm just um, adding to the sandwich to put a tiny bit more pressure on. Obviously, you, you know, when you emboss all the time, you remember your configuration. I forget my configuration, whatever happens. Now, let's have a little look-see. Oh, beautiful. Boom. So you have got that gorgeous emboss. That's with the blue ink. So that's embossed it. That's debossing. So whichever way they look gorgeous. Isn't that good? Um, really lovely. And those, those beautiful flowers, they work really well with that. So, yeah, absolutely, definitely have a play with that. They look gorgeous. Right, run an embossing roll. So, you can add your ink to them. Obviously, your contents are going to vary. You're going to get 10 of these at that silly price. So, sorry, 15 of these at that silly price. So, do not miss out on these. Let's go for one of the A4 ones. Now, now it is the, the thing about, oh, um, it is like Christmas. I love these shows. I love these shows. And I don't, you know, it's like, it's just really good fun. I get to play. So, yes. And then I send, I do a little thing every week um, where I send my homework out. Well, I don't. I have to get my Mandy who runs uh, my website thing. She does it because if it's down to me, I forget. I forget. I mean, I'm still writing Christmas cards <laughs> from last year. <laughs> yeah, I'm useless. So I don't. I don't send them out. But our Mandy does. So I get to send all my homework out. So these will be all part of my homework stash as well. Yeah, I like sending homework out. So I'm using that gold card. Now, again, because... Um, um, I forgot my rubber mat. I'm going to put card in there. Literally, I've no A4 card. Yeah, I have. I'm going to put a bit of A4 card in there just to give it that just a bit extra humph and pop that through. Now, um, A4 embossing folders. I love A4 embossing folders um, because obviously you've got all that uh, possibility, um, all that beautiful print. Uh, and of course, you can cut it down. You don't need to emboss. 
the full thing. One of them in this selection has the full um, the full A4. This one is a frame. But even though that card, it's American, so it's not quite A4. But even though it's not quite A4, look at that beautiful print. Now, you can see, this is hilarious, actually. I didn't need my card in. Look at that. It's actually embossed, the detail from. That is that from my card because that's texture paste. It's actually embossed the texture paste. And I've actually put it in upside down. So this is debossed, that's embossed. But look at the emboss. Yeah, I put it in upside down. But look, if I just take this and show you, because that is beautiful. And if I just go over the top like that, isn't that just lovely? What a fabulous image. That is just one of those embossing folders. I mean, those embossing folders are so nice. And that, you see, you could cut out those images. You know, you could, if you wanted to, just use half of that. I mean, half of that will make a really pretty card. So you don't need to use it as a full A4 embossing folder if you're lucky enough and you get that um, in your stash. That is well funny. I can't believe that. That is literal. That shows you... Um, how much you can emboss with these. So if you do want those embossing folders, I'll move on, I'll do one of my dies. Please check your baskets out on those. I mean, that is such a deal. £9.99. pence. Um, obviously, contents will vary, uh, but it's a deal. And there's so many wonderful, wonderful um, elements in there. I mean, such an incredible price. Um, if you do want to get hold of those, you know what to do. Please check your baskets out. We have got all sorts on this show. And you price there it's working out at 66 pence I mean that is just phenomenal value for money um, if you do want anything check your baskets out if you've questions email in studio at thechanda.com I mean we've only got about 15 minutes left have we less 10 minutes boom how to get through a show play uh, i've only got about 10 minutes left so please check your baskets out right i'll do a really quick demo with this before we do a little recap um let's see the packaging i mean so now i love this packaging on heartfelt because you can see you're keeping it and I, that isn't magnetic on this one but if you put a magnetic sheet in there pop it back in the packaging with that honestly it's such good storage heartfelt do beautiful storage though so you can stock up on their storage okay so i've got my well-worn mat i have got some new ones <laughs> um i know right and then i'm gonna take so now i'm gonna do a few cuts with this because this is your background first of all okay i am gonna do a few cuts so that's your your first layer let's do another layer while we're in there because that's gonna be my background then let's gonna take that one i haven't got tape and i've got wobbly mats so I'm really hoping I don't move those dies. This is when you absolutely need your tape because wobbly mats and no tape is not, it's, it's not the recipe for, um, for perfect crafting, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit silly, but <laughs> living on the edge, it's as dangerous as it gets Christmas Eve on her chanda. Christmas Eve, bye Jove. Okay. Step into Christmas. Booby doo be doo. So you've got your outside edge. You've also got mm, one of those beautiful circles. Okay. So that's my first two layers. Let's start building up. Cuts out easy. And it's good I can see which one is actually which I've cut with. So that's my first one. Now, detail. Let's get some detail in. So this is gonna be my next layer, and then I'm gonna pop one over and under of that gold layer, like this. So these will cut out solid. Obviously, if you want to cut out layers, you do it like that. So you can actually cut out some beautiful frames with these as well. In fact, I kind of, I would try that, but because I haven't got tape, I'm, I know I like to, you know, push it a bit, but that one is too, too far even for me. Now, I only brought scrap cardstock and, um, Coloured cardstock, so this one might be a bit mismatch, but it's okay. So I love that though. 
These are my, you know, backgrounds that I've done. Really, you should put it coming down that way. You'll get a better cut. So I might need to pop it back through going this way, but we'll see what we're going to get. I'm going to put these on just to see what we're going to get. Might be a bit too dark, but hey, let's have a look. Might be really, really cool. In fact, I'll put it down there so you've got that a bit of a mix mismatch there as well. Let's see. And it's lovely, all your scrap card. I mean, this is a beautiful thing about all your backgrounds. Backgrounds are ace, and that's just like cleaning. But your backgrounds are brilliant because when you bring them in with your dies, you can really change the look of a background. This is something, it's another one of them things that I want to do, but I never have time to do it with backgrounds because you just, you make something that's utterly unique with your dies. So those two obviously have cut out perfect. So that one's there, and already that looks really cool because you've got that variation of colour, but you're covering it anyway. And then this one, I'll go on. There we go, I'll give it a bit of a tap. You'll be able to tell which one I used on my demos. There. So look, already that looks really quite cool. So you've got all those beautiful layers. I mean, it looks quite mixed media. Let's see if this one's actually cut. I think it has. I might send it through again just because of that edge. I'm not sure of that edge, so I'm going to send it through again. That is literally because we went, um, I did it horizontal as opposed to vertical. If I cut it vertical first time, I think it's gone through, but because I haven't got my poker tool, I'm not even, I'm not even messing. Just put it through again. And that's the thing, isn't it? It takes, what, nine seconds or something. So it's just, especially if you forgot your poker tool. I came with limited supplies today. Now, whilst it's in the die, I'm going to give it a, a bash because I find whilst it's in the die, that is the easiest way to get all the, the bits out because now, perfect, perfect. So now when I pop that on top of there, look how beautiful that is. And then obviously I've got those layers so you're popping those layers on top. Now, the thing is with those layers, which are quite fabulous, you don't need to put the layers on top. What you can do is actually cut in there so you can create an aperture. So you can do it that way. You can actually then, I wonder, yeah, you can start extending it if you want to. You don't need a backing. So if you don't want a backing, you don't need to have a backing. And then you could just add a couple of layers like that, which also looks really, really beautiful. I really like that. I mean, there's so many different configurations with that. So I quite like it without the gold underneath it as well, with just that hint of gold there. I like that. And I bet you, I bet if I cut this again, have a time to do that or not, Ross, or should we go down counter? one more so if i do one more cut it won't you're gonna have to just you're gonna have to pretend um the colors match because i know my colors are going to be a little bit sort of all over at shop so just just pretend just pretend that my colors match but if you put it see that i love playing with dyes with this as well i mean that'll be interesting so all right so whip this round like this pop this through like this. Mm. Now, I might have got my plates not even. I'm reversing my plates. I can see my plate going. And I'm, I'm worried I'll break my machine. I'll get it stuck in my machine because I didn't put my plates evenly. Let's just see. Did I send it through enough? No, I didn't. Sorry, folks. I am going to have to send that through again. I'll tell you for why. I didn't... Um, I didn't line my plates up proper and I could see it going through and I've got my plates stuck in my machine before today because of that. So pop that through, like that, pop it through that way now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, not saying nothing. <laughs> yes, yes indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now then, so when I, perfect, so then just give it a bash, again, while the die's in there, sorry Krista, bits all over the floor, you take that out, that is all cut, but that's absolutely perfect, oh yeah, we've got the little eye over, and then, and then, look, 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 see, if you layer those two together, look how good that looks, I mean, that, bringing a bit of black, look at that, 
That's absolutely stunning. These dies are beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Boom. I've lost all my other layers. But that, that's a game changer. You need them. You need them in your life. They're gorgeous. Um, okay, please check out that website, achanda.com. That's where you'll see absolutely everything. Um, everything from Heartfelt, remember, is going out on the 5th of January. It is worth that wait. They are beautiful. That is a fantastic deal. Do not miss out on any of these. Um, if there's anything you want, check your baskets out. Um, obviously... Uh, I don't know if these will be repeated or not, so make the most of these offers while we've got them. Right, some quick reminders. So, first of all, the embossing folders, these are so busy. I'm not surprised. 15 embossing folders for a tenner. I mean, contents are going to vary. We've got A4 embossing folders. We've got beautiful A5 embossing folders. We've got things with frames. We've got backgrounds. You've got the gorgeous stars. You've got main elements. I mean, the little birdies there, you know. And I've seen I've seen those before, actually, with the little birdies. Yeah, they're really pretty. Um, yeah, there's some beautiful designs. All different seasons as well. Um, so literally something for every occasion. I love that. That one, that frame is gorgeous. £9.99 is your price. Brilliant if, I mean, if there's a couple that aren't going to be something you use, you just give them to a crafty friend, don't you? Um, £9.99 is your price. That is four five eight. 355 your item number now those embellishments i love these and remember where did i put my star oh could have put it anywhere couldn't i there it is um remember these embellishments you're getting tons per pack you've got all those flowers each one of these has uh, 20 gorgeous flowers in there but 80 of and these i highly recommend there's 45 in each box, and they are gorgeous. The detail is gorgeous. And please make sure you put them through your embossing folder, because that does look really cool. Doesn't it? Isn't it good? And that's before you even put paint on or anything. That's just got a bit of distress oxide on there. Um, yeah, make sure... I better not put that there. They'll think that some of them are embossed. Um, right, make sure you check your baskets out. They're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Do not miss out on those. A tenner. That is 041740. Those? Gone? Gone. We won't even look at them. Ross knew they'd go. Called it. Um, now, obviously, the emboss and the, the scoring tool, you're making loads of different cards. You've got loads of boxes in there. You've got that beautiful stapler with those fantastic mini staples for £10. Again, this is such a deal. £9.99. And, and the instructions are really easy to follow to make so many different cards um, and your wonderful boxes. Make boxes like Hazel. Um, that is 458415. Thank you so much indeed i had a lovely time uh please check your baskets out because you've got some serious deals here um and of course stay tuned to a channel because we've got loads of big save uh, next is one day special i've got this today i'm really excited because i haven't had a puzzle show yet so i'm far right excited about that anyway don't go anywhere <laughs> It is indeed the Happy Puzzle One Day Special. We've then got Fabric Freedom, it's your big save, and then big save with the wonderful Simple Vintage. Stay tuned to a channel. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. 
I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away.
everybody and a warm welcome. I hope you're having a fantastic Christmas Eve. It's about to get a lot better because we've got another hour with the fabulous Happy Puzzle Company and I'm joined by Gavin. How you doing buddy? I'm all right. Hi everyone. Hello Hachanda World. How are you all doing today? Hope you're getting into the festive spirit. Yanis, we get to do this for the second time today. I am looking forward to it. I'll, I'll be honest because I saw you work with Scott. Uh, it would have been about a month ago. Month of, over a month ago, mm -hmm. and I watched. And I was so jealous. I was watching Scott, and I was like, "I'd love to do this." So I was I genuinely have been looking forward to working with you. Now, just to give you a little backstory, if you missed our earlier hour, we've got the one-day special, and you're getting all three of these games. I watched Scott and Gavin on a previous show. Say it was over a month ago. Um, with the Genius Squares, I placed my order, and a lot of us we do shop here at Ho Chanda. So I bought that, uh, and Scott then came into the green room, so the presenter room. And uh, he, you, Gavin, you very kindly you gave him uh, the magic square, so the genius square, I should say. And so we start playing with it. And Scott and I, we played it all day. And I'm not, I'm not joking, all day. If you do follow me on social media, so Yanis Morgan on Hachanda TV, uh, you'll see I've got a video posted. It was a Facebook Live, and we filmed for about 12 minutes. And then we thought, better stop now, because everyone's getting bored. But it was just literally me and Scott, like, should we play another one? Should we play another one? This is genius and it's quite rightly aptly named can you tell us about the genius square i can do so this game has been out for just over two years it was actually invented by an algerian uh mathematician uh called salim Burgish, and he sent the game to us because he sent it to most of the big puzzle and games companies across the world and they'd all rejected it and he sent it to us it landed in our laps and one of the things we realized was that what he wanted us to achieve initially wasn't possible. So instead of rejecting the idea, we made it possible. And this game is, beyond any question, the cleverest game ever invented. Mm. And let me tell you, I put that into a context, because I've played well over 3,000 games over the last 30 years or wow. so. Okay. And this you know one is the cleverest of all of them. Tell us the stat about the computer. So, uh, you're talking in terms of the number of, uh, yeah. oh, well, the com that, that's for the uh, genius uh, oh, star. The star? Oh, sorry, that's for the star. Ahead. But what you want to know here, yeah. do you know what? I'll tell you what, I'm going to explain how to play, and yeah. then we can, all, we can okay. actually yeah, have a go that. here. So what we've got here is we've got, let me just check I'm on the right position on the overhead, which I am. So we have got nine pentomino pieces, all of different colours, and I do want to point out that this version that Yanis and I are playing here is in fact a giant version that we have had made specially because it picks up so easily on the camera. Whereas the one that you're actually going to get, uh, and you will get it, uh, has got two sets inside, so you can play against somebody, and Yanis is holding it up over there, and you can see it's a pretty normal size to be able to play yeah. at a table. Yeah. Now, we have seven pieces here, which are what we call blockers, and we have seven dice. And when we roll the dice, there are 62,208 possible ways in which those dice can fall. How many so again? 62,208. And so therefore the chance of you playing uh, the same game again are relatively remote. And even if you were to at some point, you're not going to remember from when you did it previously. Oh. The genius part of this game is the fact that there is always a solution, literally always a solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice and the coordinates that are going to come up, we're going to block out on the board. So let's do that first of all. So what have we rolled here? We've got F1 yep. and D1 mm -hmm. and D5 and C2 and B5 and B6 and C3. There you go. Okay. So now that those are in position, what we're going to do is race against each other to try and complete the grid. The first one to complete the grid is the winner. And this is only going to take us, possibly, no <laughs> more than about 20 to 30 seconds. And the first thing we're going to want to do after that is we're going to want to play again. Now I've said that, it'll probably turn out to be a really hard <laughs> one because you just don't know what you're going to get. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, now, there are certain pieces that I find it easier to put in place, first of all. I'm not helping myself here, that's for certain. Uh, I find it very difficult to actually concentrate on doing this and talk to the camera at the same time, which is why I think in this particular game, Yanis is going to beat me. Wow, we have picked Done. a... Have you really? Yeah. Look at that. 
You go. Look at that. Come on. Do you know what? I've been out, Gavin, I've been keeping tally, and I think that's brought me level. We're at, for the day's tally, uh, we're now level. 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Four, four. That is our eighth game that we okay. have played. I won 4-3 in the earlier show, so we are at 4-4. Four, four. And no matter what coordinates you throw, you are always going to have a solution to that. Should we play one more game now? Let's do it. Okay. If you buy one game in the whole of the rest of your life, this is the game to buy. And I'm actually going to tell you why as well. Particularly in the difficult times that we're in at the moment, one of the important things is to be able to communicate with your children and grandchildren if you can't see them. So this is something which you can play on Zoom or Skype. You just need to each have a board and a set of pieces. One person will roll the dice and wherever they land, you're both working on the same puzzle. And we do all sorts of tournaments and things the whole time uh, on Facebook and social media and so on. Mm -hmm. So this is really one for the lockdown. Let's we roll had, those dice again. We had a chat, Gavin, and earlier on just before the show, and just let everyone know. So I say I, I have got the Genius Square, and I love it. I've been playing it with my wife now. Christmas time, I know a lot of families at the moment, we're not getting together and it is tough Christmas. But families in itself, if there's more than two people in a household, so say you've got a family of four, I, and I'm going to be doing this as well. Get yourself another pack of the Genius Square. That way four of you can play because you're still rolling the dice, you've got your board, you've got your pieces, and then you're taking it to the next level when all four, can you imagine? And this is, look, next Christmas or Easter when we are all getting back together. Imagine the family all around and playing this, competing with mum, dad, the kids, or whoever, or granddad, grandma, aunties, friends. That's when it really gets fun. So let me tell you, this year, so far, just on Hochanda, yeah. we've sold over 2,000 copies of this. In fact, worldwide, in the two years so far, we've sold uh, over 350,000 copies. It's available all over the world now. It's the current winner of the Game of the Year in Australia. Uh, it's also Product of the Year in Australia. Uh, four nights ago, it won Game of the Year in Spain. It's in the final of Game of the Year 2021 in the United States. Mm. And in the UK, it's been given the second highest rating ever given to any game by the Good Toy Guide. So when I say to you this is the absolute pièce de résistance of games, you have to believe me here. If there is one game you buy ever for the rest of your life, buy this, you will not regret it. This game really is genius. And interestingly, yeah. if you go onto the Hachanda website, you will see there are loads and loads of reviews. Every single one is a five-star review, without exception. In fact, you can even see some of them from last Christmas as well. People were talking about what they did over Christmas with their Genius Square. Amazing. Should Pretty special one? stuff. Pretty special. Let's have another. Let's yeah. roll those dice again. Here we go. Okay, we have got F1 yeah. and F2, and I've just dropped one of mine. One second. Okay. That's not supposed to happen on live TV. F4 yeah. and B5, yeah. E3, Okay. B1. Well, this is interesting. And D1. Yeah, yeah, wow. This is a, that's a really interesting one. Now, what is interesting about this, uh -huh. this is actually going to make it a little bit easier because we've got a combination here at the bottom where you you've know got where. a single, yeah. single space. And okay. this is why you have to throw the dice because if you were to end up randomly with two like that, you wouldn't be able to complete it. That's why it's guaranteed when you roll the dice for those 62,208 different possible ways of solving it. So I think we know where the blue piece is going to go. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Ooh. Okay. Now, I've been beaten here, and there is a real danger here that I'm going to lose my crown here because Yanis is going to go into the lead unless I do something fairly dramatic about this right now. Oh, 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 no, I am in trouble here. Me too. Well, I really am in trouble here. Hang on. Me too. Mm, oh, am I in as much trouble as I really am? Oh, my goodness me. There's disaster looming here for me. No, there isn't. I won. There you go. Oh, and the lead is maintained. Well, I see how you did. Oh, okay. Can I just oh. say though? Can I just say? Okay, I, heard, I heard a rumor yeah. that when you and Scott played all of those games together, you won nine nil. I got a bit lucky. Got a bit lucky there. I'm not sure we can quite say that <laughs> nine nil represents just luck. You know what I like about this game is, and I try. I really try to take an approach of enjoy the game and whatever happens, <coughs> don't be outcome orientated. Just enjoy the process, which you will. But we're all competitive and we all enjoy it. So you can compete against yourself, compete with friends, 
Uh, I know I mentioned this before in a previous hour, Gavin, uh, earlier on, but genuinely here at Ho Chanda, I'll always speak from the heart, this is the be best game I've played in years, and I really mean that, because with board games, so typically, I've tried this a few times in the past of family Christmases, we brought out board games, new ones, we brought one just to play, and it's reading the instructions, it takes forever, everyone's bored. <laughs> with the Genius Square or any of the games here, they're really quick and easy to set up, you get going, and it's the repetitive gameplay as well, in the sense that you're never going to get bored of this, you've got 62,000 permutations, so the fact of finding one and thinking it's just the same old game, it isn't. So you're no, constantly being engaged. And there's something else really important here, because particularly when you look at the younger generation now, they seem to be losing the ability to actually sit down and communicate face to face with people. Yeah. So to actually have games which don't involve screens, don't involve electronics, which yeah. are a traditional tabletop game, which obviously using a screen like on Zoom, you can play with somebody else. You're keeping that communication, that eye contact going, which is so important mm -hmm. because unfortunately my kids are no different. They kind of like sit there like that, yeah. you know, the whole time. Do, I mean, we do as well. I think this is great if you just want to keep your brain active. It's really good on just, uh, it's that spatial awareness, problem solving. What I will say to you, if you've got, um, if you've got a tablet or phone and you're on uh, social media and you follow me, Yannis Morgan Ho Chanda TV, and the only, I'm not trying to plug my, my uh, page, go on there though and have a little look at Scott and myself playing because that's just us candidly filming. We're not trying to advertise it. We were just playing it and having so much fun. We said, look, let's film this and you'll just see. And that I think is a true reflection of the kind of fun everyone's going to be having with this. It's heads and hands yeah. rather than fingers and eyes. Yeah. Okay, that's the way we need to go. Actually, like pull families back together, yeah. playing games together. And I know that there's a huge number of viewers out there who've got this already, because I know uh, people messaging me to tell me that while we're doing this on here, they're also setting up the coordinates and racing against us. And when they're screaming oh, at the TV because good. they've beaten us, of course, we can't hear them. Oh, I don't, do you know, sure, for this hour, we'll, we'll, we'll set it up. So if you have got the Genius Square, uh, get it out, get it ready. And the next game we have, let's all play together. And if you do beat Gavin and myself, then uh, we would love you to email in and let us know. But you're not just getting the Genius Scare with this, you're also getting the Genius Star and the Be Genius. Now, tell us the difference between the games. So, the Genius Square obviously is the original version. For those people that feel they're mastering that and want to be stretched even further, we can move on to the Genius Star. Now, the Genius Star is significantly more difficult. Mm -hmm. This one has over 188,000 possible combinations and this is where you wanted me to tell that wonderful Sorry, story yeah, before. Confused, yeah. We yeah. created um, a computer program to play all 188,000 plus versions of this, if I can give you the exact number, 108, oh, sorry, 165,888, got to get that right, 165,888 different ways of playing this game, and we obviously had to get the computer to play them. And the computer was able to play one version every three seconds, and it took the computer six days to complete all of them. And when you press go on your computer, imagine yeah. having to wait for six, six days, days to actually get that right. And the first time we did it, we got it wrong. After about five days, it found, it found one that it couldn't actually solve. We had to go back to the drawing board. Oh, no. So these things are not easy. Yeah. Now, whereas with the Genius Square, you're looking at something that's going to hopefully take you no more than a couple of minutes to solve, this is much more difficult. And there is a delicious twist inside this. So these are going to take you anything between two to five minutes and ending up to 20 minutes depending on how lucky or unlucky you are but there is a wonderful twist in here and the twist involves these two pieces here which when put together form a hexagon with a golden star in the middle now the golden star challenge doesn't work every time and i'll explain how that fits in so you can flip it over the other side and have the two half hexagons that fit into the genius star or alternatively, you can try and go for a double win and get the Golden Star all together in one piece. Now, on about 54% of the puzzles, you will be able to achieve that, which means that you're taking a risk. Are you going to play it safe and just beat your opponent, or are you going to try that double win? Now, there is a website. Uh, which is thegeniusstar.com, which has nothing else on it apart from the ability to put the coordinates you throw into that, and it will tell you whether or not it is possible to actually complete it with 
the golden star intact. Excellent. So it's a lovely yeah. little variation. I like that. I like Are that. we going to have a game? Yeah, well, let's do it. So this is much more difficult, and it is, although the principles are exactly the same, instead of having the A to F and 1 to 6 coordinates, what you'll see when I remove these pieces is that we've got numbers on the triangles inside there. If the camera zooms in a little bit, you should be able to see those a little bit more clearly. Those numbers appear on there. When we roll the dice, it's the numbers that come up that will actually go into that uh, and form our blockers. Our blockers here are not the round ones. They are these white triangles which have got uh, the black star on top of them. And the dice, even though there's still seven of them, uh, three of them are actually octagonal dice. So that gives us a lot more possibilities, and that's why there's so many possible permutations in addition. So... You ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, Gavin, I think I'd love to spend Christmas Day with you. With the amount of games we'd be playing, we would go literally through all of these because we've got, we've got so much more to share. Can I just say the only thing I want to do this Christmas Day is sleep? Oh, fair, <laughs> enough. fair enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. Right, okay. Let's yeah. go for it. Let's have a look. So we have got number eight. Yeah. And we've got number 10. Uh huh. And we've got number 30. Yep. And we've got 44. Okay. And 38, mm -hmm. and 33, which yeah. is the right. there, yeah. and the bonus ball uh, is number 18. Okay. So we've got ours in there. Now this is much more complicated. So are you ready? No, wait one sec. I am ready, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can manage to do that. Now you'll start to see very obviously on the screen why this is so much more complicated. It really is uh, that bit more difficult than the genius square. And I'm struggling to actually concentrate at the same time as talking. It's probably a good idea for me to actually shut up and get on with it. Okay. But I have a complete inability of doing that. That looks interesting. I could put that one in there and I could put this one in here like so. But what you'll probably notice at some point is that I will get absolutely jammed in where I am with this, we can put that one in there, put this one in here, and I'm sure there's people already screaming at the, uh, at the screen at home. That will go in there like that. Mm -hmm. And now you can see where I've got the problem here because I'm stuck with that now. So this is much more difficult. Let's put that in there and try doing it that way. Uh, that is too big to go in there. Ah, oh, do you know, I'm oh down my to... goodness me. I'm down to one piece. You're down to one piece, but you can I instantly see I'm how this is piece. much more complex than the Genius Square. <laughs> so for people who've already got the Genius Square and they want to really increase the challenge that they've got, yeah. then this is the one to go for. Wow, I'm really struggling with this one here. Oh, hang on. That one can go in there like so. This one can go in here like this. And um, we're like, no. So near. It's so oh. frustrating. You yeah. get this near to being able to solve it. Hang on. Oh, it's so I'd hard. be able to do it this way. Is that going to go in there? No, it's not going to go in there like that either. Okay. So it would be nice to actually demonstrate to people that we actually do have the ability to solve this. Uh, but whether it's going to happen this decade, I don't know. <laughs> well, you Let's told us that, that this like one that. is a tough one. It is a tough one. It's much more difficult. Than, oh, hang on. Got it. Oh, hang on. Save us, Gavin, because I'm stuck. I've done it. There you well go. Well done. Not with the golden star together, but I have solved it. So you can see now that, that actually, because that took about three minutes for us to do. So that is a really good example. Can you, let me just see how... Uh, uh, just show you how I did yeah, it there. Let me see how you did that. There you are. You can see there. Okay, you, okay, you can see now. that. You did well. You did okay. well. That's now, I'll, I'll show you something actually. Can I show you? I've got, oh, here we go. I'm just going to show you here. Now, that's a website with the five star reviews oh, from the Genius Star. Hang on. But wait, before you carry it, did you put our coral coordinates in? Yeah. There you go, you see? So, oh, brilliant. Thank you for doing that in the gallery. So we now know that uh, it is possible. So it was possible. It was possible to have it with the Golden Star well, together. I'm very disappointed you didn't do that, Gavin. But I'm just going to show you my teasing. The fact that you were talking and able to complete it. I've actually got my copy of the Genius Star, so I'm going to be taking this on. Thank, uh, thank Gavin for that. But genuinely, I fell in love with the Genius Square, and I think if you are a fan of the Genius Square, the star is that next evolution, so you're going to want to play, play it. But um, I, really, I don't really think that I'm just putting this on for the cameras. I'm a huge fan of the company in general, the Happy uh, Puzzle Company. 
the games you're bringing, what I really like about these, they, they are fun. First and foremost, you're going to play a game, you want it to be fun. But where I, I, I think these are excellent is you're actually training your brain. And whether you're buying this for a present for someone else, they don't realize it, but you're learning skills. There it's is, only going to enhance your brain. There is no more powerful way of learning than learning through play. And that doesn't just apply to children. That applies equally to grown-ups as well. Yeah. If you can have fun doing something and you don't realize you're learning, yeah. then you can go on and on and on just improving your skills. These are remarkable games. Remarkable games. There is also a junior one now. Well, we're going to talk about that. And just saying about the, uh, that skill of learning uh, as you are playing. So we've got one for younger members of the family. This is Be Genius. Tell us a little bit about this game. So Be Genius, and it's important to say this as well, this one is a non-competitive one. This is aimed at an audience of ages three to eight. Yep. The pieces are much bigger, really chunky and lovely and, and colourful. And you'll see in a moment when I remove the pieces on the overhead that this becomes a honeycomb. And it's much more straightforward here because with younger children, their number recognition and colour recognition is at an earlier stage. So we've got the numbers from one to six here, and there are six different colours. So our dice here are simply six different coloured dice with the numbers from one to six. And when we roll our dice, as you can see over here, we put the queen bee in the centre here, and then the worker bees go around the outside. So we've got a purple number two, and we've got a green number six, which gets blocked out over there. And we have got a blue number three, and a yellow number two, and a red number four, and finally, uh, an orange number five, which is over there. And so we're not doing this competitively, because what we're trying to do here is develop thinking skills develop spatial awareness skills and problem-solving skills. You want to build up some resilience in younger children. So, with the nice little chunky pieces, I'm now going to try not to embarrass myself <laughs> by not being able to solve a three- to eight-year-old puzzle. Uh, but then I have got to do it while I'm talking at the same time. Well, so let's try and put these managed in. managed to here. champion the star while talking, so I have full faith in you. Well, I'd hope so, but you never know. Never take anything for granted. <laughs> and put that in there, and that in there, and then this one will go in here, like so. Oops. And they lock into place really nicely, and I'll demonstrate to you how well in place they are now, because if we lift this up now, and this is the actual size, it's really lovely and beautifully made, and as you see, the pieces are locked in there, so if I tip Excellent. it up like that, they're not going to fall out. That is be genius, and that is an absolutely lovely way to get younger children puzzling. So when we think about this, Kevin, what we're getting with the one-day special, you've got you be genius, just having a look here. So that's great. It's you're not competitive with this, but what it is doing for younger members of the family is just teaching them spatial awareness and how to build up the shapes and patterns and training their brain. Uh, in a fun way, though. It's all about having fun. Then we move on to the genius star. You're getting all of these in the one-day special. Uh, the genius square, sorry. So genius square, this is where it all began. It is incredibly addictive in the very best sense of the word and the most fun you'll have with the game. And I know I'm, I'm saying strong statements here, but I'm talking from experience. I absolutely fell in love it with really it. Is. it. It really is. It's not an though, exaggeration. Yeah. This no. game is absolutely and magical. And I stand by that. And have a look at the reviews as well online. Do have a look at the reviews. Uh, and then we've got the Genius Star. So I say, I've just got a, a copy of the Genius Star and I can't wait to be playing with that. And it's an evolution because if you enjoy the Genius Square, then at some point you're going to want to push yourself that little step further. And the fact that with the Genius Star, it took a computer over six days to go through, and it was forming uh, it was every three seconds, it was completing a every puzzle. Every three seconds. Took six days to go through all of those. So that is the one day special. I hand on heart guarantee if you get these games home, you will not be disappointed. It's not the question of, I know, because holiday time, families, especially in lockdown, if you've got families you're uh, staying in together, you bring out the old board games and there's one, you know the game I'm talking about, Gavin, there's one game that takes forever to play, it lasts all day and always ends up in arguments. You know the game I'm talking about? I wonder what that might be. Yeah, we know what we're talking about, right? You're not going to get that with the Genius Girl, any of these. You can play by yourself or with someone else. Tell you know what we're going to do, we're going to take a closer look at the Genius Star. We're busy for the one day special. And this is why.
Just saying, and we're looking at all the games on the show, and I kind of start off the, uh, the hour by saying that everything here, it really is original. The team coming in, especially when we're preparing for the show, everyone was absolutely engrossed in Illusion Cube. So, uh, totally different game. Can you explain the concept, Gavin, with the Illusion Cubes? Yes, we've actually done something that has never been done before. These were invented by a gentleman called Don Jones, and we actually looked for them and thought, how is it possible? that this has never been done before. Now I'm going to explain to you how these work. I do want to say as well that I've made these magnetic purely okay. for this for this show. They don't okay. come as being magnetic, uh, but somewhere, I don't know where I put it, uh, I went to my local well-known craft shop and I bought some magnetic tape to actually make these magnetic at the back. Now right. what you're getting inside your set is you're getting 24 of these. Now these are the illusion cubes. Now I hope you can see that these are built on layers. And when we look at the video, you'll be able to see uh, a lot more clearly as well. And so they can overlap with each other. And what you can do is you can actually create your own optical illusions. Now, okay. for hundreds of years, people have been fascinated by optical illusions and the things that you can do with them. But traditionally, you only ever see them in books or on cards and things like that. This is the first time ever, anywhere in the world, that a set has come out which will enable you to actually create your own optical illusions. And it is magnificent. Now, what I did before the show was just put a couple of examples out here, which I hope you can see. Um, wow. I particularly like this one here. If you look at this, this is um, based on the concept of a Penrose staircase. Now, if you are a fan of the work, the artwork of Escher, uh, then you'll be familiar with the Penrose staircase. This is the nearest that we can get, a never-ending staircase. And here, yeah. just very, very simple patterns. Now, what you're getting in your set is 120 starter patterns to be able to make as well, using different levels of difficulty, different types of optical illusion. And then once you've done that, then you are set free to create your own optical illusions with your own creativity. You get 24 of the illusion cubes inside the pack, but there's nothing to stop you buying lots more and building absolutely enormous giant ones. This is fabulous. It's only just come out. This is brand new, so you're not going to be buying something for somebody which they've already got. They really have only just come out. And do you know what I like about all this? And look, we understand <laughs> it's Christmas Eve right now, so you're not going to be buying these as a Christmas present, or if you do, it could be a belated Christmas present. This, to me, are presents you're buying for yourself. So think about, we are spending at the moment, we're spending a lot more time at home together with our family or by ourselves, and these give you an option of being able to engage yourself, engage your mind, have some fun in a totally different and original way. Completely. There's nothing like this that's been out before at all. Shall we have a look? I know we've got a video of the Illusions Clubs. Would you like to have a look at that again? Absolutely. Yeah, yes, we'll please. We'll do that because it really does showcase how original this is. Take a look. So that's Illusion Cube, and if you do love your puzzles and you're one for serious puzzles, take a look at this. It's our Serious Puzzler collection. Uh, so, you're the Happy Puzzle Company, what they're bringing you is a collection of three fantastic, innovative uh, puzzle games that you get to play. We have got two flexi payments on this, and you're saving five pounds. Can we start with, because there's a lovely story here, um, Gavin. It's a beautiful story. Yeah. This is Color Block. Color Block has also just come out, and it is the brainchild of the most wonderful couple, Ian and Penny Jenkins, who live in Suffolk. Mm -hmm. And they created this game uh, for their children about 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and when their children got a little bit older, 
uh, they put it away in the attic. Uh, and then um, a while ago, Ian saw um, an advert for the Genius Square uh, and thought to himself, I wonder whether the Happy Puzzle Company might be interested in our game that we created 20 years ago. Wow. And more than that, we absolutely loved it. There it is a game. It's such a clever idea. Yeah, it seems as a company, sorry I'm interrupting you, but it seems as a company you're open to people getting in touch and saying, look, we've got a good idea, would you take a look at it? So the games industry has a very large network of people who are used again and again and again. I suppose what you call serial inventors. Mm. What we like to be able to do is give people an opportunity who've never had that opportunity before. That's nice. So again, in the same way as we just saw with the illusion cubes, mm -hmm. for Don Jones, that was his first creation that he'd done. And this one for Ian and Penny, is their first one as well. I actually feel very blessed when we find these things. I should tell you, by the way, uh, that we do get plenty of people who send us games um, that they think are great. Okay. Um, and my, my famous story, I don't want to take time telling this, no, but this wonderful it. story yeah. of a lady who, who sent me her idea and insisted that I had to play it with her. And it was a deck of cards with pictures on. You split them in half and gave one half to one person, one half to the other, and they had to turn them over one at a time. And if you had two that were the same, you had to be the first to shout. And I looked at this lady and I said to her, do you realise that you've just invented Snap? <laughs> and she looked at me, she said, no, this is not Snap. Snap is for playing cards. This is completely different. I said, no, you've invented Snap. But she wouldn't have any of it. So, yes, I would say she it's probably snap. no more than about one in every 50 games that we okay. get sent do we actually end up producing, because it's got to be the right type of game. Yeah, yeah. And this is worthy. It's a wonderful game. Now, what you are getting is 45 challenges spread over 24 cards. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Now, there are four different types of challenges which we've got here. There are challenges where you have to... Actually, I didn't explain one thing. Okay, okay. On each of the cards, there are 100 circles, 100 coloured circles. Now, you have got 10 different colours and 10 of each circle. They're obviously in a different order on each of the cards, but it's always those 100 circles, 10 circles each of 10, uh, of 10 colours. Yeah. Um, there are different challenges you have to do in the case of this one here. You've got to be left with one of each of the 10 colours. There are other challenges where you've got to be left with five of one colour and five of another colour, or 10 of one colour. It varies as you go through and it gets harder as you go through. Now, you have these blocker pieces here. And the idea is that these will fill 90 of the 100 circles. So you've got to work out how to fill these in so that you're just left with the coloured circles that you actually need. And it'll always leave you with 10. Now, if I show you how this works, because it's been beautifully made, yeah. it actually comes in this lovely little contraption here. Uh, it's really, really high quality. Stick all of these inside here like so. You've got the one that you need slid inside there like so. And we fold this over here. And if I turn it around here, what you'll notice is that you've got uh, some dark grey ones. And I don't know whether you can see that very clearly. I think I you actually can, looking yeah. at the screen, that we actually block out the ones that are in dark grey because they're providing us with clues. And as you go through, you're going to have less and less clues to work with. Now, this is part of the Serious Puzzlers collection that we've got here. And you would give this to somebody who likes something to start off nice and easy and get more and more difficult as they go through. The easier puzzles on this will only require you to put just a couple of pieces in place, as you're about to see from here. But the difficult puzzles will take you a serious amount of time. In terms of difficulty, we're talking about Rubik's Cube type of levels of difficulty oh, wow, okay. here. So you really need to make sure that you buy this for the right person. The sort of person who likes a Rubik's Cube, the sort of person who likes doing the Times crossword, but for somebody who doesn't want to be that stretched, the easier puzzles are still very easy. So it appeals to everyone. It appeals to everyone, and these go in so nicely, they lock into position really nicely. And what's going to happen here is we are going to be left with just two pieces. Now, I've got all of those in place here. You look at this challenge here, and what it tells you is that you need to be left with one of each colour. So we've got a light green and a white and a purple and uh, an orange, uh, sorry, a yellow one there, beg your pardon, and a pink uh, and a dark green there. So we've got to look at these ones here and see which ones we don't need and eliminate them accordingly. And because obviously I've done this before, if I put that one in here and if I put this one in here, 
what you'll notice there is I've got the remaining four colors that I want and we've solved that puzzle because I'm left with one of each of the ten colors. Mm -hmm. Now it gets harder as you go through with less and less clues until you get to the ultimate puzzle at the end which is this one here which is card number 24. So no grades. No, no grades no at all and what you can do which is so ingenious about this one is it is possible to have 10 of each individual colour. So there's 10 different puzzles there. So you can arrange this so you've got 10 reds left, 10 pinks left, 10 whites left, and so on and so forth. That is a serious, serious challenge to be able to do. Yeah. This is the most wonderful, beautifully made set. This is Colour Block. It's Colour Block, but you're not just getting Colour Block, you're getting two additional uh, serious puzzles as well. Now, there's a nice story with this one. Because uh, I know you so, played a big hand in making it. So I 30 cube. Look, it's the real pinnacle of my career because everybody wants to work with the top person in their industry. And yeah. what happened to me is, as I say to people, pretty much the equivalent of Paul McCartney coming to you and saying, let's make an album together. Mm -hmm. Ivan Moscovich, uh, who is the world's most prolific puzzle inventor and is a world-renowned mathematician and author of over 60 books, and he's now 94 years old. And about three years ago, because we've been friends for many, many years, he said to me, don't you think we should design a puzzle together while I still can? And the result of that was this puzzle here, 30 cubed, which is absolutely stunning and is a whole lifetime of puzzles that you will want to pass on to future generations. It contains 30 cubes, obviously, hence the name. Uh, and on each of the cubes, you will see there is a different colour base on each side. They've all got the same six colours. And what you'll also notice is that you've got these lines that are coloured in the middle. This is based on something called the 30 cube principle. Now, at the easy levels, what you're doing here is you're just arranging them so that every line which is involved has a start and a finish and possibly a middle piece as well, and you're using all of the same base colours. And as you go through, and I'll show you in the booklet as we go through here, you'll see that it is possible to do this with all of the different colours. So you can see there, you've got it with the black and the green, and if I turn over there, oops, going a bit too fast here, there you go, you've got the other colours in there. Then the challenges start to become much more difficult because you start having to follow different rules in order to complete the puzzle and you start having 15 uh, of one colour and 15 of another colour but you don't know which 15 you use. We move on to Sudoku type puzzles, then we go 3D, we create uh, a Sudoku tower and then the absolutely most incredibly difficult puzzle is we use 27 of the uh, of the cubes in order to make one giant cube but of course you don't know which of the cubes you're going to have to leave out there are three cubes to leave out which is why that is so difficult now if you are concerned that this might be a little bit difficult one of the really great things is that there are clues provided for you as well so if you want partial solutions you can get those too and there are loads and loads of junior puzzles as well at the back which use 20 of the cubes and make it a really good challenge for helping to strengthen the thinking skills of children from the age of five upwards. This is a lifetime of puzzles, beautifully, beautifully made, and that is 30 cubed. And just very quickly, we've also got Ice Cubed as well, so can you tell us a little bit about Ice Cubed? Yes, I can. Ice Cubed is a, actually my, my story of Ice Cubed, I created Ice Cubed while I was on a school trip. Ah. One of my kids went on a, a residential for five days and they asked me to go along as a parent and I was yeah. incredibly bored just sitting there just being uh, an extra pair of hands, so to speak. So I decided to do a puzzle and came back there having created Ice Cubed. Now, in Ice Cubed we have 48 challenges, I'll give you some examples here. Uh, this one's a, a relatively easy one. So we'll put this one in here, challenge number five. Now what we can see here is the colours of the cubes that we want. We've got six cubes here. So in this case we want to have the green cube and the orange cube and the white cube. So we're not going to use those other three there. And if you look around the outside, you can see that we've got four numbers, 29, 20, 25 and 26. And on the cubes, there are numbers across each side. And what we've got to do is we've got to try and work out how to position these so that the numbers on each side all add up. Now, whether or not I can do this just uh, in, in, as, as a quick thing to demonstrate to you, I'm not quite sure. So we need to find our biggest number here first of all. So we've got the 29 there and a 3 there and do I have a 7 there? So if I turn this around here and hold it up, you can see that I have got here 19, 3 and 7, which is 29, which is the number which we want there. You just hold that there, we get a shot. 
There you go. You can see if I tilt that there, you can see that's the number we wanted. On this side, we need 25. Uh, well, you can see that I've got a 14, a 10, and a 1, which yeah. adds up to that. And here, we've gone to 26, so I've got a 9, a 5, and a 12, which is 26. And on the other side, the last side, we needed 20, and we've got a 16, a 0, and a 4. So that is a relatively easy level. You never, ever need to use all six of the cubes. You only ever need to use five. But here's an example of where it starts to get really, really, really difficult. So here, we know we're going to use the purple cube, and we we know we're going to use the blue cube but there are three other cubes that we're going to use and we don't actually know which colors we're going to need and that's going to get really really difficult as you go through so again these go up to a rubicy difficult type of, of level but they start off nice and easy and that is ice cube it's a mathematical puzzle uses logical deduction and it is awesome fun it really is and you're getting all three of these for 25.99 as part of your first flexi payment or 51.97 and you are saving five pounds now we've just got a video explaining a little bit more about color block and then we'll continue the fun Well, there we go, just taking a little look there. Uh, we're going to go back to our one-day special. Now, I want to point out, you can get the Genius Square by itself, or it is included in the bundle with the Genius Star, and you'll be genius. So that's kind of appealing to every member of your family. What we mentioned earlier on, Gavin did touch on the fact that uh, all the reviews on our website are five-star reviews. And just to prove the point, we're going to take a little look. So very simple to do. You can use the Hochanda app or go onto our website, hochanda.com, and just have a look at the reviews. Now, these are honest reviews left by customers. It's thing like now, you always think, I, I'm always a little bit dubious. Sometimes you go onto sites or the authenticity of the review, uh, reviews. These are all genuine reviews by customers, and that's something we can assure you of here at Hochanda. But look at these five star reviews, five star reviews, five star reviews, five star reviews. This game is genius, as the name suggests. It was so easy to learn, and that's the key, uh, and also quick to play. Uh, on your own or with two players and because I bought two, see this is what I'm going to do I bought two for, for four of us uh, the four of us could play that's something I think getting the whole family playing if you're thinking about going for this and you know the uh, Genius Square is where you want to go imagine four of you playing that same game do double up just get two lots if you want to get it by itself you can see details just there bottom of your screen $16.99 the best way to illustrate how much fun this is is to play it so should we have a game yeah let's play again for anybody who's just joined us just very briefly an overview of how we play so we have got nine pentomino pieces here which are all different colors and we'll remove those from the board and then we've got our seven blocker pieces here which are in specific coordinates I have seven dice and when I roll the dice, those dice are going to come up with a unique set of coordinates yeah. uh, of which there are 62,208 possibilities. So, and there's always a solution. We have A1, yeah. A2, Ooh. A4, Ooh. F1, yeah. B6, C4, yeah. and E6. And I'm hoping now that there are people at home who have got their sets out to play against us as well. Okay. If you are going to play against us and you beat us both, then please do email yeah. in and let us know. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go for it. Ah, oh, playing for pride here. Now, let's just remind ourselves that I'm currently 5-4 uh, in the lead, and I'm very determined to hold on to that lead. It's important to me. I don't want to uh, lose my title as Master Puzzler. But, of course, there's such a big difference in the levels of difficulty of the different puzzles. Uh, have I done this well or have I not done it well? I've not done it well. I've not done it well I've got myself into a real pickle here, over here like this. 
Not as easy as it looks, and it's good actually that when it goes like this. Done. Oh, you've done it. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That makes it five all. Well done, Evened it up. Evened it up. That's it's really so, good. You have. So addictive. Uh, look, all I will say is, and again, uh, just if you want to see an honest uh, appreciation of how much fun this game is, go on to my Yanis Morgan on Facebook, Yanis uh, Morgan at Hochanda TV on Facebook page. Have a look, scroll down my timeline, and you'll see Scott and myself. We did a Facebook Live for 12 minutes, just showing us playing this. We played all day. And it's Scott had me in tears, though. He was so funny. He really so he's a funny guy. But just seeing Scott struggling through on these pu on these puzzles is hilarious. Uh, I see. You, you want to go again? I, I do want to go again okay. because we're back to being in a draw position right. now. Uh, yeah. If there is one puzzle that you buy in the whole of the rest of your life, then this is the one to buy. That's right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's roll those dice. Yeah. And let's see what we've got. Okay. So we have got F1 mm -hmm. and F5. Yep. And B2. Yep. Uh, and D6, mm -hmm. C1, A5, and E3. Okay. You ready? I, wait, wait, I might have got that wrong. Can you just tell Go me? Go through again. again. Yeah. A5, B2, yeah. C1, yeah. D5. Oh, D5, okay, there we go. E3, yeah. F1, and F5. Okay, great team. Ready? Yeah. Go. <sighs> I can't lose my crown here. There's too much at stake here. And I'm worried now. I'm worried that it's all going to go horribly wrong for the master puzzler. Oh, what am I oh. doing? I've got it wrong again. Yeah, me too. Dear, oh Don't dear, worry. oh dear. Don't worry, Help. you're in good company. Mummy. Put ah, oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. One second. Yes, 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 yes. I win. Well done. Oh. Wow. Back in the lead. No. Six five. I. Oh well. well apparently, I'm sorry. We we need to. Uh, there's a due to case here because the dice says d6 and you had it in d5. Well, there you go. <laughs> so. I think. Yeah, I think we have to uh, avoid that one. Okay. Go on. Get it on. Get it right. into a rematch. Oh dear! Oh dear. Bad. I bad. Bad. Did. Look, Gavin. Gavin deserved that win. Go say. He's talking. Have you noticed? Whenever I play, I don't say a word. He continues to talk and engage and still do it. So you're the true winner today. Okay, right. Let's let's try and get the coordinates right okay. this time. Oh, okay. We've got lots of ones here. So we've got A1, yeah, and B1, yeah, and F1, Ooh. and F2, yeah, uh, and D3, D3, yeah, and B5, B5, and F5. Do you know what I reckon? Yeah, I reckon that with people screaming at the TV saying, he's got the wrong coordinate in yeah. that last game. <laughs> the team were doing it in my ear. The rest of the United Kingdom <laughs> can see that I've got it wrong, but I can't. It's right in front of me. You ready? Yeah. OK, let's go. I am feeling the pressure at the moment because I do not want to lose my crown to anyone. Done. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it felt good. It just Janice felt right. leaves. Yes. OK, no. Do you know what you want? I think it's still a draw because that, even though we got the coordinates wrong, we um, we still have the same coordinates. Uh, still one, even though I got it completely I'll wrong. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll talk about the genius star and we'll end the show on the tiebreaker. Sound good? Fine. That sounds, sounds a great fair? idea. All right. So for those of you who are already familiar with the genius square, the genius star is a similar concept, but it is more difficult. The genius square is suitable for ages six to adult, and the genius star, because it's a little bit harder, is ages eight to adult. 165,888 possible puzzles in which to, uh, uh, to take part. Now you've got the white triangles there with the stars in the middle of them and those are your blockers and the dice that we roll which are over here are slightly different. There's still seven of them like you have in the genius square but three of them are octagonal which gives you extra possibilities and instead of coordinates what we have here are numbers that are etched onto the board there like that which you can probably see. Mm -hmm. So I am going to roll the dice here like so, and we're going to block out the numbers that have come out. So we've got number four. Yeah. Are you playing? Uh, no, I'll let you do this because we're just push for time. So. Fine. Number four, yeah. uh, number 22, yeah. uh, number 30, and number 48, and number 24, and 
45. Oops, put that in the wrong way around. Number 45. Uh, and the last one is number 10. Okay. So put that in there. And so since I'm racing against myself here, which you can do as well. Now, let's apparently give it a go. there is a possible star solution as well. You can check that on the website. So that goes for the double win if you get the golden uh, star. Did anybody check in the gallery to yeah, see whether checked. this... Uh, so yeah, it is possible. It is possible. Okay. Well, that doesn't add any pressure at all, does it? <laughs> I shall do my best. Well, we'll see. We'll stick it You're together in one... Well. We'll put, stick it together in one piece here and just see. Now, that's not going to help us there. Let's try and put it together in here and see yeah. if this works as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll put it in that way. Put this in here like so. Uh -huh. Uh, then let us put. Oh, 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 let us try and see. Is this going to work or is this not going to work? It is not going. Oh, maybe. Hang on. Yeah. What are we going to do here? Hang on. Put that in. Mm, ah. ah. Put that in here like that. Take this one out here. Put this one in here like so. Here. Put this one in here. Over here. Like here. Put this one in here, over here. No, that's not going to work either, is it? Oh. You can see, you can see what I just see. That's what I've done there. This is designed to be more challenging. Oh so. man! Yeah. Oh, it's the pressure of the golden me. star. That's I know. It. And I'm keeping an eye on the clock because yeah. we've got to have our decider so as well. We've got two and a half minutes. So should we? Don't worry about that. We can finish that. Don't worry about that. Let's get this decider on. We've got to have this decider. Yeah. This is our second and last show of the day. Okay. This is for the pre-Christmas victory. <laughs> Of the Genius Square. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's roll these out. Give them a really seriously good roll. And what have we got this? Oh, I didn't roll this one. Here, let's roll this one there. Okay, E1 yeah. and E3 and F1 and E6 and A4 and C1 and, uh, and, and one more. B3. There you go. B3. Okay, you ready? Ready. This is it. Let's go. Okay. Oh my gosh, the pressure that is under here is just unbelievable. Uh, I'm really taking this very seriously, and I know that the person who is just to my right is also taking it very seriously. And I'm messing this up big time again. Oh my goodness me. What am I doing? I put that in uh, here. This needs to go somewhere here. That's going to go in there. This is going to, you know, that's not going to work there, is it? Oh, that's going to go in there, maybe like that. This one's going to go in here, like so. And I've won. Oh my no! gosh. Oh. oh, the relief. You deserve the win, Gavin. Oh, uh, the it's relief. Been an absolute pleasure i would i wish i could shake your hand but well played buddy uh, do you know what? this uh, these hours we worked together really lived up to the hype i've loved it genuinely loved great. It. thank you so much and here's the 2021 uh, and we'll do yeah. it again i hope you've enjoyed it uh, i'd say whether you're just going for the genius square by itself you're going for the bundle you're going for the serious puzzlers uh the illusion cubes all the rest on the show do have a look one thing i can guarantee these investments you're never going to regret the Genius Square alone, the amount of hours you're going to be playing this is going to be uh, addictive. It's going to be one of those games you're going to come back to again and again and again. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, uh, you do have another hour, so you've got yeah, to find I'll a Yeah, I'll be back at 4 o'clock with Leone yeah, and can we, some mayhem. Can we follow the Happy Puzzle Company on social media? Uh, you certainly can on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, and uh, you can find out all the latest news at happypuzzle.co.uk as well. We will check that out. Thank you so much. Happy hope, Christmas, everybody, well, if you don't come back later, but hopefully you will. Happy Christmas. Hope you have a and great uh, festive season. Thank you. Uh, and I hope you're having a fantastic uh, Christmas Eve as well. So we're getting you into the Christmas spirit here at Ho-Chanda. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more coming up. Coming up next, we've got Fabric Freedom, The Big Save. Then uh, we've got the fabulous Simply Vintage back with Melissa. And after that, we've got Hochanda Big Save. So lots to enjoy. Uh, please don't go anywhere. See you in a moment. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use 
only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello, my name is Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join a Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town. And it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers. We have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix. We have dyes and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows on a chanda and have some fun. Well, hello. Um, how wonderful to have your company. You are, of course, tuned into the Achanda. It's Christmas Eve. Woo! The Achanda. It's like the internet. It's like shopping in the Stanford. It's like internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, the angle's flooded. I just. The angle home. is very flooded. And it's home at, um, in May, oh, Mary's break. Mistake, I, I legged it because it was like, oh my word, I have a lot to do. But I nipped home because I needed to drop my uh, present off for my dog walkers because he's coming, working it on Christmas Eve. Oh, that's pretty Dave good. Taking the dog out. So pretty I left him work. a little present, but the path um, where I normally walk the dog, utterly flooded. 
Oh, yeah, so it, is, it is pretty bad today. It was almost like um, nature's way of saying, you know that Christmas that you were going to break the rules and still go, no, you're not. You're staying. <laughs> Anybody who think of breaking the rules, oh, no, you're staying put because we're, we're going to make it like a river. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it is. It's very beautiful, though. It's great. People are kayaking on the on the fields. Yeah, we uh, we had some big storms about five or six years ago up up north, and um, yeah, people were just going because you were by the sea anyway, yeah. and people had water sports equipment. They were just <laughs> kayaking down the street and stuff. They were loving it. So you might as well. <laughs> so I mean, it, it. it's taking it's it's making the most out of yeah. that situation, isn't Definitely. it? Talking about making the most out of that situation. Yes. You were asking before about Christmas. Yes. So, Christmas bloopers Yanis, almost. Yanis and I uh, were asking people about their worst Christmas presents mm. and they were also asking about your Christmas disasters. So we had loads of people emailing in. But I know you want to ask a different question in this well, hour. Well, I love them because I like <laughs> them. Uh, but also, I think we definitely need pets in hats. It's Christmas, yes. so we want good... I mean, your pets don't have to be in hats, but we would like um, Christmas animals. You know, is it your cat stuck in the tree? Is it your dog, like, doing... My dog used to do, like, um, you know when you do the snow fairies? Yeah. My dog used to do that to try... She was actually just trying to get her coat off. And she used to do it, so 15 quid coat. She used to be able to... This is my Tila when I had Tila. She used to leg it, get her coat off, and come back well chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, that, that ain't what we're trying to do, Tila, with your beautiful 15 quid coat. And um, this is the kind of thing we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Montage. Even. Montage of duckage. Montage of duckage. So you've obviously so, got Frank. Uh, yes. Frank is the one on Top the left, left and the right. Uh, that's Teddy P in the middle, the white duck. Amazing. And then at the bottom, oh, that's Etty. And she was the easiest one to entice over to get the hat. And she was the easiest one to put the hat on. Which would she heck she was like, like no, keep mate. it on? I'm not, I'm not um, carrying on with this. Yes. Yeah, but no, so, so your that, dog sounds fabulous. That's what we would like, please. Yep. So if you could oblige, that would be lovely. Yeah, it'd be fabulous. <laughs> um, ducks in hats. That's pretty specific, so we don't need it to just Wide be ducks. Pets. Yes, pets. Pets in hats or just pets, just pets, please. And don't be like going running out to one of the ponds no. and trying to hat a normal no. duck. They'll no, not have do it. Don't do that. Don't no. do that. And no. I don't want any that are for your table we're not on. Remember, vegan. Don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, fabric. Living things um, with hey. hats on. Yes, living things with hats on. Okay. Or, it's got or, very specific do, all of a sudden. Do you know why? Do you know why? <laughs> what, another one I really like. Uh -huh. I like the ones where you know someone's fallen asleep at Christmas and you've decorated the head. <laughs> <laughs> Those always make me laugh. Excellent. So if there's anyone like you know that fell asleep at Christmas and you shaved their eyebrows off or <laughs> it's something really funny, then email in those photos. It's, it got quite dark. Quite yeah, quick. It went from kind of nice me, fluffy. Oh, it's a pet in hat. <laughs> right. Anybody who you've messed up for Christmas time, what picture of that? They grow back. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Bushier. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be that either. But anyway, email in photos. That's great. <laughs> Should we do some Should work we... now? I've Four had a lovely morning. In. I've had a lovely morning. Let's do some work. <laughs> um, yeah, because you've got a beautiful and got a beautiful selection of fabrics you, here. You and have. I mean, these are lots. so nice, got aren't they? Really? And lots. So, um, the, there's lots of lots of different batiks on the show and different quantities of and um, different options. So. This is your first option, and this is um, your tie-dye batik. So actually, this is kind of a, an ice dye technique that they've used on you here. You can kind of tell, can't you, that it's Where, ice? Um, you use it's a kind of mix, a kind of mixture of ice and salt. So what they do is they put the dye in the ice cubes, leave the ice cubes on, it goes where it may, and that's why you never get kind of repeats with batiks because it's just. It's just the, the dye lands where it may. Yeah. And there's kind of different colours running through here. So you know when um, you do this experiment at school, I'm sure, you get um, like a cartridge paper or a blotting paper and you put a little um, scribble in a felted pen yeah. and then you stand it in the water and you see all the different yeah. colours come out. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. that same kind of technique with the, the dyes. You put the dyes on and then different um, parts of it pool in different places and then you get different colours coming Amazing. out of it. So although it's all pink, there's it's lots not. of different colours yeah. within there. I really love it. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. Now, that is your hot pink. We've also got for you that beautiful, I mean, look at the blue. Mm -mm -mm. So this one, lo it almost looks like you're kind of flying over kind of tropical seas, yeah, tropical it does, doesn't it? islands. Yeah, this one. absolutely. Barnwell. 
That's currently bar, 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 bar. That, well, currently Arundel. That, that'd be a bit browner. Yeah, yeah. Bit <laughs> I've got one like that over here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got what you could see from the air of here, uh, over bit here. Uh, this this one here, I think, just about sums sums it up. <laughs> it is it is possibly more muddy than brown. That's, that's your overhead of Arundel. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe this one where it's got a kind of a bit of bit of field still in there There's as well. Still a few fields to be seen. <laughs> still a few fields, but Not the rest quite is like tropical and beautiful. Beautiful yeah, as maybe. the one that you have. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a little bit muddier. Maybe a little bit muddy, but still beautiful. It is handle. Um, and then last one, this is gorgeous. Look at that colour. What's that one called? Orange. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> Might Were you been... expecting something exotic like flame or something? I was expecting like tropical breeze, but mm. orange. Um, orange. So this is your first collection. <laughs> um, so you've got one meter by 112 centimeters wide. Um, seven three quid there. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence is your price, and you have got that beautiful selection. Eight seven four five four six is your item number next we've got for you and again stunning so now these are so these are still batiks aren't they yes these are still batiks it's just um different patterns different quantities that's happening today mm. so um these ones we've actually kind of put them in a nice right order so these are half meters it's a pick and mix and you can pick any two amazing from these ones amazing so, um, these are so so beautiful and we have put them in the right order so they're the same order as they are on the website now because Amazing. we've shuffled, shuffled them all around so the first one that's green line swirl vine the <laughs> next one oh look at that that is your green line salt dyed blender oh that's so gorgeous you and can see flowers in all it all of these will work beautifully you could pick you could literally put all of these in the bag pull out any two mm. and you'd you'd be able to make something absolutely stunning because all of them go together oh they're beautiful and then your last one in the greens dark green flowers vine so basically what you can see is what it's called <laughs> Um, and again, absolutely beautiful. I mean, the, the patterns do change slightly, so mm. I would uh, double check on the website okay. if you're not sure. And they're stunning. They're stunning. Now, we do... Ooh, the dark green one's just gone. So that one's sold out, so ignore that one. So now you've just got these two left. We don't have big uh, quantities of these. If you do want them, you need to check your baskets out. Um, saving six pounds, it is your pick and mix. Um, so obviously the choice is yours you might have two at the same one whatever you fancy now so in, you've got the first these one these pink and purple ones are also in the same pick and mix so ah, you can smashing. go for a green and a pink one if you want to uh, but you're gonna have to be quick because again the, there's not huge quantities on any of them I'm afraid. Mm, and they're delicious so that is your pink purple um which is just divine um the next one that's gone shall i move it shall i get it out of the way it's tucked in at the bottom it's tucked in the bottom ah, that's so it. just flop and fold boom. lovely flop and fold flop and fold oh that's a move flop and fold um and the next one what purple horseshoe because indeed looks like a cheeky bit of a horseshoe um so that is your purple horseshoe that just needs moving that don't like seeing the little bit of white gap there. Well, I'm sure that Matt will. Oh, Jack. Uh, oh, Jack. Who's behind there now? Oh, it's Jack behind there now. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he'll fix it for you. I don't want to see between. that. Don't want to see white bits. Well, oh no. <laughs> um, okay, so that's your last one. So you're picking any of two. So Nobody's you been might on be for ages. So we've all got white bits. Just uh, all got white bits. Only. Well, this <laughs> time of year, that's all it is, isn't it? White bits. Um, <laughs> there you go. You've got that's your option. So you've only got four now in that pick and mix. Please check your baskets out on those. I made a right mess. I'm now Jack. Uh, please check your baskets out. Nine pounds and nine pounds. Second one's gone. This one. Oh, oh, you're oh. going to get a big white bit. Flop oh. it over. Oh, no, look at me, big white bits. Bear with. <laughs> let me try and do a bit of a, let me try and do a bit of a brush Yeah, you're making that worse. Over. I would just, I'll move on. Move so on. come over. <laughs> oh. I would just move on. I'm going to move on. Yeah. Cause I made, yeah. Move on. Uh, oh, we got some pictures. I knew, I knew it. As soon as you mentioned cats, well, dogs, any animals. Um, who's this? Andrea. Andrea. That is Jen. I've got it right. Looking Jen amused the cat. By the and whole Jen, Christmas situation. <laughs> Jen the cat, loving that. Loving it. Actually, to get your cat wearing Christmas things is quite something because cats. I know, I they look will, happy about it. Yeah. 
No, they'll only join like, in if really? they really want to. <laughs> I mean, there is no way cats are going to join in if it's yeah. like, no. That is lovely. Your cat is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you ever so much. Keep those coming in. We do love to see your animals. We just love to see pet photos. They don't have to be fancy dress. They can just be pet photos. We just <laughs> like it. Email in studio at John dot com. Set it out that it has eh? to be Christmassy, and now you're just like, nah, just pets. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> no, I'll set those rules. Set those rules and break them immediately. <laughs> so we are all. So we are all, Hilla. What's Next. the point in setting them? Well, just have something to push back against. Yeah, okay. absolutely. <laughs> Boo, that's why they're there, right? <laughs> Only joking. Stay safe. Uh, so <laughs> next we have got your beautiful floral vines. Um, absolutely stunning. Now these are really, really, really pretty as well. And they feel different to the batiks. Yes. So uh, the batiks are on uh, what I would probably say is a bit. Uh, it's a bit heavier than a poplin, but yeah. a bit lighter than a quilting cotton. Those are on a quilting cotton, so it's a right. slightly different weave. It's what we call a 60-60 weave. Um, and what you've got there is one of the floral blenders that Fabric Freedom do. Now, what you've got is you've got kind of positive and negative options there. So if you have a look a little ah, bit further along, so we have. you'll see its little friend. There's his little friend. Yeah, it's little friend that then you can have kind of one with the light background with dark print on and then vice versa. Ah. So they are, if you are going to pick a mixies, um, unless you've got something particularly kind of in mind that you want to do with them, yeah. I would be tempted to go for um, the kind of positive and negative yeah. option because it's just going to give you more options for using them in projects yeah. in the long term. They're pretty. I'm going to um, just show you what one of them looks. I'll open one up for you so you can see. And yeah, that is a beautiful weight of fabric. I mean, yeah, that's, have a, a look. that's just kind of standard quilting cotton weight. Mm, and that's I think that lovely. The, the beauty of these is because they've got the positive and negative options, you could literally just add a white or a another plain colour in there and then you've got instant yeah you know quilt project i'm gonna mess up again because i'm gonna show you look that's the one so that's your positive and your negative i won't open that one as well but you can see just how well they go yeah so literally if you're bringing yeah. a white in with that yeah, it's gonna look done. fab um okay so your options um so you've got first of all you've got your beautiful green mint which is that one of course you've then got the blue navy We've also got the beautiful Royal Sky. I really like that. We've then got... Oh, do you want me to bring that in, the one that's missing? Are you all right? Oh, cool. Teal Aqua, which is that one. We've then got the Aqua Teal, which is obviously its matching. And then the beautiful Mint Green. We've then got, sneaking in at the end there, uh, the Lilac Plum. And then last but not least... <laughs> which I'll drape gently over there, the matching one, the plum lilac. So as our Hayley says, you've got all the ones that match perfectly with those, um, the reverse print, and you're saving £4, only £11.99. £9. Now you're uh, buying any three of those, half metre pieces, so again, really good prices on today's shows, and a really beautiful fabric. Uh, 654469 is your item number. Next, now... These are really yeah. nice. I think <laughs> they're lovely, aren't they? I can't quite see which one you're on now. Okay, we're on Bear the um, the fan ones. Oh, right. Yes, I think these are an extra wide as well, aren't they? Oh, sure. What's you. the width on them? This is massive. They are. They're a 63 inch width, so that's 160 centimetres. Right, let me put Huge that up front. Huge pieces. <sighs> so, especially if you're thinking of dressmaking, wow, having that extra stunning. weight really does make a difference. And you've got a really nice tiny print as well. So, maybe if you're thinking about your um, bindings or sashing and that kind of thing, you've got those really long strips. So, you've got a much, much kind of easier option. You're not having to join and join and join because yeah. with your normal fabrics, they are 110 centimetres wide. Yeah, yeah. So 110, you're almost getting 50% extra length yeah. on the end there. So, amazing. you know, amazing value for money. See, look, dress. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here she goes. <laughs> After, oh, Off she goes. I mean, at minute, you know, hold on. <laughs> I mean, it possibly doesn't go with what I'm wearing. I love this. This is such a beautiful fabric. Yeah, really, really pretty fabric. I mean, and I think especially for if you are going to have a go at dressmaking. Yeah, that's lovely. Look how much fabric you've got. 
story, I'm squeaking. Yeah, that is really <laughs> nice. Beautiful. So you've got your different colours here. Um, so your first one is that gorgeous red gold, which is really pretty. It's kind of a, a very orangey red, is that one. The folding's quite good today, Leonie. Hey, on it, on it, girl. Okay. It's because I've been eating chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next one is my favourite. That's the green gold. Absolute yeah, favourite. Yeah, I think I that one's my favourite colourway in that one as well. I'd love addressing that. That's stunning. And then the blue Bordeaux, my second favourite. Yeah, I'd love closing those. They are gorgeous. Subtle hints. And only eleven well, you've ninety-nine. Had a lesson. We've we've done a sewing lesson where you made a skirt. I know, but I've forgotten everything I learnt. Okay. I need to do it regularly in order to do it, don't okay. I? Um, right. So look at that price. So only it should have been forty ninety nine. That's where we opened this at at forty ninety nine. But for this hour only, it's eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. So you are getting a beautiful deal for this hour only, though. So you do need to check your baskets out. It's a happy hour deal, and that is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Four nine two seven four zero is your item number. Have we got more pictures? Oh, that's Ali's doggy. Oh, that's lovely, Marvin. Oh, isn't he just beautiful? Oh, that's such a nice I think dog. he's quite enjoying it, though. Oh, he and looks honestly, like he's like, yeah, yeah, he loves it. <laughs> honestly, and, uh, Ali's animals are just stunning, stunning doggies. Yeah. She put that one on Facebook, didn't she? Oh, the lovely. She, um, Paul came in to, to pick her up a little while ago now, but he had all dogs, and I'm not going to lie. I just, no offence, Paul, but I just went out to see the dogs. <laughs> so, so is Paul. So is Paul. Uh, but, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Ali. It is just beautiful. It. Did you send it in, Melissa? Melissa sent it in. <laughs> Melissa sent it in because she's buddies, obviously. Oh, just lovely. Uh, keep those coming in. Pet, animal, um, pet animals. Uh, Leonie, pet photos just make me smile. When did they put a snowy scene behind those windows? I've just noticed that. You are, love. When did they put a snowy scene behind you in the windows? We've been in a while. Have you? Well, for oh. Christmas. It's good, well. isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Shows how much I pay attention. Gosh, <laughs> isn't it? That's what's happening outside, Hayley. No, no, it's brown. It's real brown that. It's and real water that. hogged. It's real that. <laughs> it's um, I, Hayley, talk yes, to me. Yes, Leone. What have you got in front of you? Okay, so I have the fat water bundles, and these are so pretty. Now, I do apologise, because I did have these, I think, on a one-day special a couple of months ago, and I may have cut chunks out of some of them. So just bear with. We'll go through <laughs> as many as we can. Uh -huh. But I know that there's two options where I've got one piece missing and several options where there are chunks missing. Oh, dear. So we'll let you off. <laughs> bear with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so there are five different colour options on this. So there is the pinks. Oh, we're starting with the one I've got. Okay, so this is the earthy tones option. So these are all your kind of greens. I'll, go, I'll do them all, shall we, so you That's can see lovely. all of them. So there we've got uh, the greeny yellow one there. We've got, I think these, again, mm. so much like trees or yeah, if you're art quilting yeah. or something and you're putting a plique over the top, these are perfect. Yeah, absolutely. So, you can just imagine, can't you? can just yeah, you imagine doing you can easily just make those into forest, yeah. trees, things like that. And then the last one that I've got... There is oh. a fifth option in here, but unfortunately that is one that I snaffled and made a that sample with. Yeah. So I apologise. There's just a polar bear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it shows how you can use the background. And there's backgrounds is, is really, that the really well. <laughs> no, it is not the fifth option. <laughs> it is just um, a piece that we were doing as um, foundation piecing. Right. Um, and it just shows you that it is in one of the options, actually. I think it's in the blue option, this this background colour. Um, and that's one that we've used just as background. And I think, yeah. especially with your foundation piecing, where you're kind of chopping and changing, batiks lend themselves really well to that because it, it doesn't show up those joins mm, quite as much. Yeah, that looks So lovely. we'll do the blue option. This is another one that I've had a bit of a crack at. So with these, Sorry. so they're 18, 22 inch, so they're oh, big squares yes, as well. Yes, yeah, standard uh, kind of fat quarter size. So um, the width of your normal fabric is 44 inches. So obviously that's been halved, yeah. which gives you a 22. And then 18 inches is these kind of standard size, standard width for a, a fat quarter. So um, 
these are your blue options so you are getting mm. uh, that one that i had on the polar bears but such lovely yeah. kind of deep really deep navies and royal blues in there oh, and this lovely. is another one that i think it looks so maybe rich. has a little hole in it <laughs> <laughs> you will get solid prints. you will get full pieces of fabric <laughs> oh, really? are yes. they the same front and back uh, well yes because they are dyed um all of the way through rather than printed obviously printed fabric one side will have the print on and the other side will be blank yeah with these because they're dyed it's all the way through front and back now there is a slight shade difference mm. to what i would class as the front to the back it may be a, just a shade maybe too lighter but you can realistically use these either yeah. side because they and i are like so that because it gives you a bit of option as well but they do it does look. and also if you're learning to sew batiks are a great option because Oof, it really God. doesn't matter i would say that would be the back yeah and i would say that would be the front yeah but like table. you said that's hard to that's hard it's, to it, say i mean even difference. if you kind of fold the 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 side them over to the side mm. there's so little in it that yeah. they're a really brilliant option if you are a beginner at sewing because you can really you can't go wrong with a batik you don't have to do any pattern matching and you've got such kind of beautiful colors yeah. running all the way through them and it doesn't it's... matter if you get your fabric back to front even yeah you can still uh, work with them oh they're beautiful those greens are stunning they right? are yeah. absolutely again art quilting if you're making trees or leaves yeah. or just a mossy background to put yeah. something else on perfect for this a green and man that reminds me of and oh and look at that that's your last one in your greens option absolutely i'm just going to pile them all on top just i think keep piling so just keep them going. up girl keep okay. going so this is the purples option love that and within the options i mean they have got different like color tones don't they you know yes. they're not yeah they're not all identical because you can see this one's very different yeah. to the two that uh, went yeah. before so you've got lots of different tones in there as well and i would say if you are kind of starting out with your art i'd say that's that way up you just can't tell okay um, the purple goes without green that's it. So it's sticking out. Everything goes with green, though. If you're ever in yeah, doubt, of which, if you just love the fabric, but you're not sure which colour to go for, it's always worth um, trying a, a green. Yeah. Because, and if you're quilting and you're stuck with what to, to put in, try a green or try a purple. Because yeah. they're your secondary colours, which right. means that they have got kind of elements of two different colours in and they'll just work a lot better with other things. So that's the last one that in last your purple purples. That is phenomenal. Is that one of them icy ones again? Yes, this is yeah. one of the kind of ice dyed ones. The ice dyed ones seem to have this, I'm trying to find a salt dyed one so I can show you the difference. Um, this one, okay. So this I would class as ice dyed. And then if I just give you that little corner, oh, do you yeah, see yeah. how it's almost got a kind of, ah, that's a good piece there, where it's kind of crystallised. Oh, yeah, So it course. looks like it's um, got a kind of more of a solid crystallised yes. effect on. That's what I would class salt. as a um, salt dyed. Mm. Um, and what, how they do that is, again, the dye goes on and then they chuck handfuls of, of salt on it and yeah. that reacts with the dyes and kind of splits it out and yeah. that's where you get those kind of once it's dried as well that gives you another effect again of it, where it kind of dries and pulls out yes. the, the color from certain areas so that's what gives you those effects so that's the ice dyed type that's, that's in the uh, purple one so nice. these ones are the pink ones that I'm adding on now so there's pinks and oh. reds in here wow look at that that is just summer, isn't it? Yeah, these are so, so beautiful. And they're a lovely way to kind of, you know, just having the fat quarters is a lovely way to start off in a petite, yeah. and especially at this price, because it's a really affordable price to have, um, you know, five or, or they're six go diff so five well. different options. You, you know, with the orange, aren't yes. they? If you've yeah. got the orange, Again, all orange, of them. that's a secondary colour. So, see, I would, oh, it's again, it's so difficult to work out which side's yeah. front and back on these. Uh, about the same. About the it's same. About the same, isn't it? About the about same, same. Aurelia. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Just lovely. They are. They're absolutely beautiful, and they're a great place to start if you're less experienced because you, you haven't got as many restrictions. You yeah. can just enjoy the, the get your head around the concept of the sewing. Yes. And then the 
other op if you're more experienced then yeah you can go to town with these yeah and the thing is like you said i mean you are getting some beautiful prints there at you a are. such yes. a good price yes really really good prices on all of these um and i know there are extra options unfortunately <laughs> there are so many options we couldn't find all of them so we've decided to do these ones as um stills for you so you can yep. see each of the patterns because i think that sometimes especially with the boutiques and when there's a lot of options it's quite hard to differentiate between them so by doing them with the, the pictures then yep. we can show you and tell you exactly which one's which Pictures and numbers. Um, so you have got, and like Hayley says, we have got quite a few different boutiques for you, which are just all incredible. Um, so this is your orange, yellow, green. Love it. Now you um, say orange, yellow, green, but there's pink in there, blue. there's purple in there, yeah, there's yeah. all sorts. So that's your kind of real rainbow colour. Yes, one. it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's green turquoise. Look at that turquoise. Yeah, and again, yeah, you've got purple. They've you've all got... got the kind of hibiscus flower print, kind of almost stamped print on. Beautiful. Well, it is stamped, to be honest, because obviously they use wax to stamp the image yes. on, then they dye the back, and yeah. I love so, that orange purple. That looks like a really again, there gorgeous is rust. There's purple within that. It's just because that they've taken, you know, almost a fat quarter sized shot mm. of it. But as soon as you open that right out, you can see there's purple and all sorts of colours. Ooh, I love that. That's purple green. That's so, yeah, a cool print. This next set are all the kind of geometrics that are coming through. That's your navel, nibby baby. It's not a navel. <laughs> your navel. No belly buttons no. used in the making of this fabric. <laughs> <laughs> that's your navel. Um, that's your navy purple turquoise. Oh, or do you mean navel as in navy? I don't know what I need. Okay. What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? You're just reading out, You're just navy. Reading out colours. <laughs> so that's um, another. Uh, petrol turquoise. That I adore that print. Ooh, that's just called purple, that is. Although it definitely is. Oh, look at that. That's another favourite. That's magenta. That's tremendous. In it, teal, beautiful. I love this print. Oh, what's that called? Dull grey, hot pink, beautiful. A purple turquoise. Oh, there's so many. Petrol turquoise. Orange green, another favourite. That is amazing. Purple green. The worry is, and petrol teal. Options. And I couldn't find one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a worry. They're somewhere safe, aren't they? <laughs> the thing is, though, Fabric Freedom do have such a fantastic... We've got one of the biggest ranges of boutiques of any of the companies. Yeah. And, and there, there are so many of them. And there's still a box full down there that, uh, that are, are all amazing and um, all beautiful, but yeah. unfortunately not the one that was on that list. Oh, that's so, so annoying. <laughs> I know, I tried really hard. <laughs> I love it though, because yeah, they're all so strong. Uh, please check the website out. That's where you'll see all the fabulous colours. We have got your fat quad pick and mix, so you're picking any five of those uh, for just 14 75 Again, really good prices, and just look at that when you're going through. The colours, the designs, I mean, the beautiful yeah, it prints. It is a lot easier sometimes to pick yeah. these from the website because you can see kind of absolutely everything and you can see the patterns quite clearly. Now, when you're thinking about scale on these patterns, generally they take them to a round, a kind of fat quarter sized photograph. So that will give you a good idea of scale because sometimes that's a little bit... Um, difficult to judge when it's a photograph of a fabric. Of course, especially colours like, well, fabrics like this with so many different colours in it. Yes. It can yeah. be difficult because you, you just don't see everything, do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is, it is um, a little more difficult, but the, the photos that they take generally seem to be about a fat quarter size of okay. um, fabric, so that they gives you a fabulous. better idea of, of what you'll be getting. They look, they look gorgeous. Um, they'll be even nicer and they've had a little iron. <laughs> uh, now, um, all of those available, but look, now, look at that, their price. We started at $14.99, we then went to $11.99, we're now at $9.99. Was there a... Stay tuned. An, an extra sneaky error. Well... They love it when we, we make a mistake, though, because then they all go bonkers. 
Yeah, it, we think yes. So we started off a little bit, uh -uh, but then we realised that for this hour alone, £9.99, that's what you should be paying. If you did pay it uh, by a higher price, obviously, um, give our call centre a ring. They will sort that out for you. But it is only £9.99. I am going to show you that fabric again because this this yeah, is my favourite. Yeah, that one, I think, is the, the most This is beautiful. the one. But that's my th personal favourite in terms of colour options. So mm. this is the green... Oh, she's off again she's it's a green again. gold option oh, i thought she was putting it on she's not she's just i am going to put it on it i'm going to put it on as well oh. doing both of the things both of both the things, of the things, the things. <laughs> both of the things because let's put it on Haley's better at this but obviously that they're social distancing because Haley's miles better at pretending to make a dress out of it with just a crumply look well to make a fabulous dress. You, you I have could. got I lots mean, of layers on. This is extra um, wide as well. So you've got 160 centimetres wide on this. So you've got the extra... Are you all right? You having yeah. a little moment? Can I just show him how much fabric there is? Okay. <laughs> I'm missing parties. You can start voguing. <laughs> <laughs> not quite sure what it were, I'm not going to lie. The catwalk, imagine me trucking down with my big chunky boots on. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. All joking aside, that is beautiful. It would make a fantastic... Fantastic skirt I mean, as well. Just to give you an idea, that's a metre and obviously you've got 160 wide. So a lot of patterns that are to make, say, a top. Yeah. Um, there'd be plenty yeah, in there. Yeah, I really. Because usually you'd need a metre and a half fabric because you've got the extra wide width. You've got equivalent to a metre and a half of 44 inch fabric there. So that's stunning. Um, that would be perfect. Absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, that is. De oh, it's so difficult. There's a lot of favourites in this show because I love the petites. <laughs> I love the petites. But that is stunning. I just love that oriental feel with that as well. Terrible folding up this time, Hayley. Um, now, if you oh, would like these... You peaked so too soon. Eh? You peaked too soon. I did, soon, actually. I can feel my tiffin wearing off already. <laughs> um, so, um, your first one is the um, the red gold. And it's a, a nice gentle red, is that one. Uh, the one I've got, of course, is the green gold. Gold. Um, and then the last one is the blue Bordeaux. Um, yeah, stunning. Now, these are getting so busy, like this I really said. Everybody loves it when we make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's like, oh, good mistake. We'll have some of that. At least it's gone in, you know, your yeah. favour. <laughs> it's like, tenor? A tenner? Have you seen how much fabric you get? Um, definitely check your baskets but out on that. also think about multi-ordering these, because I know that Fabric Freedom cut in continuous pieces. Oh, do they? So, if you're looking to back a quilt, maybe you've got some kind of similar yeah. colours, yeah. um, and you're looking to back a quilt, this is a great way to do it, because you've got um, like a metre and a half, yes. just over a metre and a half wide, by two metres if you get two and pop them yeah. in, because continuous pieces. They make beautiful blinds and things as well, would they? Yes. It's stunning. Yeah. If you were going to um, do soft furnishings with those, um, I would possibly use some kind of interfacing mm. or um, wadding on the back just to strengthen it up a bit. Yeah. Because especially if it's going on to like chairs or maybe you're making blinds, you maybe need to have it a little bit more rigid than that. Yeah. So definitely think about an interfacing. Yeah. And I know there's some Fabric Freedom interfacing on the website somewhere. Amazing. But yeah, definitely worth thinking about that if you're going to do... Um, kind of interior decor stuff with it. Perfect. Thank you, our Hayley. No problem. Um, please check your baskets out with that. £9.99. Absolute deal. Obviously, something like that you'll be using again and again and again, but do multi-buy. Um, 492740. Now, if you are a Freedom member, you're not paying any postage, which is one of the biggest, biggest deals. Uh, but you also get savings here, there and everywhere. If you want to know more, just watch this little clip. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join Chanda Freedom today.
Um, that's how to join <laughs> freedom. I nearly said fabric freedom then, just freedom. Okay, can we look at that? <laughs> just pets? normal freedom, not yeah, fabric freedom. Yeah, just all the freedoms. <laughs> um, okay, pets. Pets, we look, oh, look at this face. Oh, baby. oh, he does not look happy about the this jumper. This is little fudge. Oh, he's fudge, like, isn't he adorable? Just want to Do fuck him. Do we have to? Oh, <laughs> he's got, that is a gorgeous little jumper. My Dave isn't keen on his coat, but it really is a good coat. Uh, that is lovely, little fudge. I adore that. Thank you. He has got the most beautiful face. Next. Oh, oh, oh. you've got no hat on. Teddy though, but it's okay because that's Teddy with his Christmas card. Okay. It's Christmas themed. He's got his little let Christmas Teddy card. Off, and look, the Christmas card, the I'm, dog on there looks I'm like Teddy. I'm enforcing, Teddy. I'm enforcing the, the Christmas. It has to be Christmassy, okay? Maybe not hats, but look, it he's has on to a be red, He's on a red thin bed. That's well, Christmas. I'm, I'm going to let him that. off. And he's doing Fine. his Christmas cards. Okay. And Christmas cards obviously look like him. He's beautiful. Little Teddy, love that. Oh, pet photos are the best thing in the world, aren't they? Next. Oh, <laughs> baby. Oh. oh, this is 10 week old Ren. Oh, look at that. He's got his little Christmas pink. <laughs> oh, he's adorable, isn't he? Oh, I just want to go and I just want loads of dogs. And next. <laughs> Oh, yay! Is this yours? He's so fluffy. What's his name? Luther, in front of a Christmas tree. Did you Photoshop that on so it looked, it looked like Christmas, eh? That. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. He looks like Barney. Is he some kind of doodle? He's, he's a Labradoodle. Labradoodle. Barney's Labradoodle. golden doodle. He's and gorgeous. looks very similar, but like ginger. Goldy. Yeah, different ginger, colours. Yeah. He's lovely. He's lovely, our Ross. Oh, I love it. See, this game, we all get to show our pets. <laughs> Every time we do this game, it's like, there's my dog. <laughs> um, I can't... Wait, Melissa, I, oh, draw I a hat got, on yours. Maybe I could... Maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. She's obviously, looking. when... There you go. Um, when we see our Melissa, Melissa's yes, got a little picture of her dog as well, so we'll see Melissa's <laughs> later. I'm going to blame it on you, Melissa. I think you started this today. She started this today. I might pop when um, you're not watching. I might send you a photo of Dave because he's got um, his glow-in-the-dark uh, collar on and he looks like he's going raving. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> Dave the rave? Dave, Dave, Dave going doof, rave. doof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be on... Um, I'll put it on Insta or Facebook. I'm not quite sure. Probably on Insta. I don't know. But I'll talk this while we look for Dave the Should dog going raving. Should we do while you look for Dave? Eh? While Ross looks for Dave, should we do some work? Let's do some work. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. It's so. not often it's me that brings it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really, it's not me that's the voice of reason. I know, right? What's occurring? Well done. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm pushing it's the... I'm it's pushing, not going to last. Pushing Just because I know the big out. boss is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm on Christmas Eve mode, aren't I? I'm, yeah. I'm already... I'm, yeah, you've head, gone. My head's in party. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, anyway, let's talk of these uh, yes. about boutique because so, these are sensational. That colour is sensational. That print is phenomenal. Do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to open one of these up because I do like seeing. Do the blue oh, one. Hey, the blue one's my favourite. Do the blue, the blue one. one do the blue one. I'm it's all tucked in at the bottom. It's all tucked in. Oh, I'll untuck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's Sorry. not tucked in as much as we thought. No, I'm all right. It's all right. Let's have a little look, see. So again, with these ones, so you have, bless you, darling. So with these, look at that. It's nice seeing a, a full piece, because I mean, these are decent sized pieces it is. again. And uh, remember, you're getting, um, oh. if you order them as multiples, you're getting it as a continuous piece. So if you have a bigger project in mind, then you can get them as continuous pieces. So I mean, backing a quilt with that yeah. would yeah. be absolutely stunning, yeah. because yeah. you've got... I you know, whatever pattern you've got going on the front, which is beautiful. Yeah. And then you've got a, a piece on the back. Now, that kind of price, nine ninety nine for could. a batik, is amazing. You could do because clothes, usually couldn't you? you would be expected to pay way more than that. See, could do skirts, couldn't you? <laughs> hey, you could do a fret. You could. 
<laughs> but I mean, for summer, for kind of sarongs and things, oh, this see. is so easy. That is um, beautiful. You can literally just hem them or bind the edges, and then you would have kind of instant sarongs and things. Oh, yeah. Just out of a metre. Yeah. yeah, that is gorgeous. Cheeky sarong. I nearly said really weird, real, really weird word there that wasn't. I can't say it in case the wrong word pops out. <laughs> That's weird, my brain's absolutely... Is your brain, brain just cr clicked yeah. under Christmas mode now it's and you're, that's it, you're out? The word, it just, keeps, it just keeps feeding me the wrong word. It's like, no, brain, I'm not taking that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine likes to jumble no. them up. It's like there's a filing cabinet and that's where the word should be. But <laughs> yeah. like I wanted to go <laughs> I wanted to go into the kitchen and uh I, I meant to say kitchen, but I've said something completely different. I'm off to the office or somewhere like that. It just yeah. It just happens. All, everything's jumbled up now. It they happens can need like all a week time. of sleep just to do some filing yeah. in your brain. Yeah. That's exactly what I need. A week um, of sleep, that would be yeah. amazing, oh, wouldn't that'd it? That'd be so nice. That'd be so right, nice right now. I think this is why my brain's not really functioning. Um, uh, look at that, how neat and tidy that is. Just neat That's and... pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, so you've got, of course, the beautiful pink with the purples. You've got that amazing blue. These would look so good as clothes. And then that fantastic orange. I, I genuinely love every yeah, single one of those. These are beautiful, and I would be normally expecting to pay way more than the $9.99 for those because they're absolutely beautiful. And yeah. um, definitely, if you are thinking about them, Think about multi-ordering them so you can get them as continuous pieces, especially if you're going for them for dressmaking or for backing a quilt. Yeah, yeah, and just exquisite. Please check your baskets out with those. Have you got any more shows today, Har Haley? I have one day special. Oh, at uh, six o'clock. So what we're doing on our one day special is we've had throughout the year we've had our fabazines. Fabazine. Where you get twelve projects in a box with all the bits you need to make your twelve projects. But what people have been asking us for are the patterns because they've done right. one of the projects which has come as a you know piece of fabric where you cut that piece of fabric out stitch it together that project's finished but people have wanted to make more of some yeah. of the projects so what we've done is we've done pattern boxes for each of those projects and then the one thing special because I'm not supposed to tell you yet is a bundle of all of those pattern project uh, bundles so one two three and four all together in one ginormous pattern bundle Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and that's yeah. going to be your one-day special? That's one-day special. Boom. Um, obviously, please check out. So, last mm -hmm. last show with these. So, if you do want these, you yes. have to check um, your yeah, baskets it's, we've out. Had different, this is the last Fabric Freedom one for today. We've had different fabrics each hour, uh, and this is the last opportunity to get these ones. Amazing. Okay, probably the last one at year, isn't it? Um, no, I think they've got one on the 27th, but I'm not doing that. I think it's a happy hour right. one. Excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah, check your baskets out, folks, because these are stunning. Uh, the next one that we've got for you, again, now, how are we doing with these? So, bear with, Oh, folks. so your only option now Flip is one metre of purple horseshoes. Remember, one. if you do buy, because uh, it's pick and mix, and if you do put two half metres of the same one in your basket, you'll get it as a continuous metre piece. Amazing. But it's beautiful. It is but beautiful. it's the only one left. It is beautiful, but yeah, <laughs> that is it. That's all you've got. It is a beautiful fabric. Pick mix I mean, don't look fabric. at our board. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose like, from this or this. <laughs> I mean, it's like really dirty snow, isn't it? Ooh, dirty snow. I don't know who covered those in something that was going to bobble so badly. <laughs> you know, we... we Whatevs. It wasn't a fabric person. No, 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 it wouldn't have been. It was not a fabric person. Not a fabric did person. <laughs> uh, nine friends and nine to nine beds, you are picking uh, that one twice. Um, that is 503-520 is your item number. Now, do check out the website. We've got a huge array of boutiques. Um, the colours are sensational. That happy hour, that is absolutely my favourite. I would adore clothing in that, whether it's a skirt or a dress, even a, a shirt. Actually, a blouse in well, that would be because, beautiful. Oh, I think also the, the pricing error, which has gone in, in your favour, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> has helped as well because um, originally when we put it up, it wasn't on its happy hour price. I think it was at 11 99 and there's actually another £2 being knocked off that. Yeah. So you're getting one metre by 160 centimetres and it's 9 99 Yeah. 
that's ridiculous. I mean, beautiful, massive piece of fabric. It's only right that I do show this one because I've shown the other you've two. You've had all the others out, haven't you? You've you've wafted all the others. I've about. wafted the others, wafted and wafted. So whew, look, so have a little waft. Isn't well, here's that... the only place I get to waft because Bridget tells us off for wafting in the office because it knocks all the orders off the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh woe betide we... if you waft in the oh, office. We don't want to be wafting you. in the office. Here we come, waft away here. <laughs> so <laughs> let's make, see. We should make her a sign. Did no you? Wafting. You know when you do your dressy <laughs> things, when you do your pretend dressy things. Yes. How do you do it? Do right, you okay, take the two. Uh, put it on its that that way up. That's it. Now take the two corners that you've mm. got. Tie them in a knot. And that will make it uh, like a halter neck. Okay. So then that can go over the top of it, and then you just need to put a, like a bit of a belt around the middle, or just hold it at the back. So do that. Sorry yeah. about my mic. Watch out for your mic. Watch out for my mic. Don't tuck the, pull tuck me the edges piece. in because you've got your edges out. So tuck them underneath. That's it. Ah. And then you just need a, a little bit of a belt around the middle. Beautiful. Halter neck dress. There you go. With oh, a nice yeah. sticker. Oh, right see. Right in the middle of it. I... Oh yeah. Oh, my sticker. <laughs> Don't be looking at me cheeky sticker. <laughs> I think I'll move that. There we go. You're like waxing. <laughs> not, oh, not good, is it? Yeah, that's stickers. <laughs> lovely. Uh, lovely. That um, I actually, suits you though. That when that is actually on as a dress, that would that has now become another one of my favourites. So the all three are your favourites. All three are my favourites. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fickle, aren't I? I'm fickle, yes, you are. me. Yes, fickle. You are. I love those. <laughs> and you get so much material. That is absolutely amazing. That price, it is a happy hour deal. If you do whee, if you do want it at that price, please check your baskets out. Um oh. thingy in it. Christmas Eve. Um 942740 <laughs> is your it's item thingy number. Thingy in it. In Christmas it. Eve. <laughs> Christmas Eve, innit, Ellie? It's Christmas in Eve, innit? In it. Over to I, you. Okay, then. I will do the Fat Walter bundles. You do so that. So, I'm going back to the front this time because I stacked them up that way, so I'm coming back the other way. So, I've got the pink option first, and each of these bundles have five different Fat Quarters in them. So, I'm, I think I'm going to just flip them across and see if I can get it rearranged on the other side. Oh, so, good uh, idea. This is your, uh, it's kind of pinks and reds in here. There's little bits of oranges. There's all sorts coming through in here. My flipping's not working so well. I'm, I'm getting wrinkles. I'm getting wrinkles. Flipping. Oh, oh look close. at that. Close. See, these are all just ridiculously beautiful. They are. And these, most of these are more of your, not plain planes. Um, because there's obviously yeah, kind of little bits plain. of interest and things, but in that you could easily make it a sunset. Maybe use the, uh, let me just grab this one and fold um, that one. So if we use that one maybe as a, you've got instant landscape there yeah, though. Yeah, absolutely. Because you've got that as your kind of, your, your fields or whatever, and then you've got this one and then maybe just putting a, a sun in there and you've got instant kind of landscape backgrounds on these. So that is the last one from your pinks option. Just flattening over there now we're into the purple option so then you've got your ice dyed one and there's so many different purples within here oh, you are never that. going to be disappointed with this look at mm -hmm. that every single one of them is absolutely exquisite yeah. i mean You'd not that... be disappointed yeah. with any of these as a feature fabric and it's i what i love about these as well i mean when you see i do love the um the quilts you see in india you know mm -hmm. where it's all all higgledy piggledy kind of thing. Yes. And these would be beautiful so for that. So now I'm into greens oh, as well. So this is your greens option. That's kind of an emerald, isn't it? Whereas that one, boom. That's your leafy green. That's yeah. your kind of, I know what you were saying that earlier with the, about a green, green man. Lamb. You could easily hide, kind of sew in some eyes yeah. to that and a little yeah. mouth. I quite like this, I mean, I can't guarantee yours would be exactly this, but you do almost get kind of like a symmetrical element Yes. In this particular one there, so you could eyes easily kind of put some eyes yeah. in, little nose. And, I mean, you could chin. easily then sort of you don't you could cut bits off the other ones without, and yeah. sew leaves back yeah. on. Yeah, you can really kind of go to town on these. Um, Whereas there are forests, aren't there? You can yeah, see trees. Yeah, you can have it forests like mm. that, or maybe you want to put a, uh, put it this way and oh, have wow. it more as like a, a river or oh, um, yeah. a, a kind of landscape. Yeah. Because it looks like the moon's kind of hitting bits. Yeah. So you can have ones that are quite moody or you can have ones that are quite kind of, 
intrigue. Yeah, lots of interesting looks out of these. Yeah. So I mean, that one's that. really super bright. I love the super green. bright one. And then you've got that one again. So again, if you're thinking, I think the greens one is a really good option, especially mm. if you're art quilting and you're looking at landscapes. Yep, this is yep. a really great option. Yeah. So I've got two more. Now these ones do have bits missing. And I'm sorry, it's my fault. I've nibbled <laughs> pieces out fault. of these. <laughs> Your so, fault. We, yes. we, it's, so this, I'm going to try and leave okay. it tucked up so you can't see how badly I've done it. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> this is your blue option. Oh, they're stunning. I think the blues are uh, one of my favorites. There is another blue piece in that option, which I believe is this one. <laughs> Without the polar bear. Minus polar it. bear. Um, <laughs> Minus a bit. I mean, Minus a polar bear. <laughs> Shh, uh, don't tell them. <laughs> and you've then got this a is the polar last... bear on it, love. We can't deny yeah. it. <laughs> this is the last option that we've got, which is the earthy tones option. And there you go. We've got Beautiful. all. We've got four out of the five here. So uh, I would have a look it's on the internet, and that will show you your fifth option. Or don't look, and it's a surprise. Hey, we love surprises. <laughs> Happy oh, days, Christmas I've some, some stuff <laughs> <laughs> and some um, other stuff. Oh yeah, they're fabulous. No, but just having a, a look at those. This is just one of the ways. It's in the uh, pinks option, I think. In this one, let me just double check. Yes. It's the very first option we looked at in the pinks. Beautiful. There you go. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, that one's just used the wonky window template that we have. So you can see, mixing it up with planes, you kind of get even more effect from it. Or you you can kind of mix them all up together. Beautiful. And mixing them all up together will then give you kind of a, a more cohesive feel if you're looking to do your, your art quilting. So you've got options of how you want to use these. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Anybody else going wonky windows in the Tina Turner steamer windows song oh, in your head? Oh, this is wonky windows. This exactly. one, no, it's, that's oh, that's is lies. Not? This is um, Squiffy Square. Oh, I've had to change my record now. <laughs> Squiggly Square. Don't Squiffy it's Square. It's not the same. Yeah, we like to name them silly things just <laughs> so you guys have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I did that with one of my internet passwords. It wasn't silly, it was a rude word and I'd forgot that every time I rang up I had to give that name word out. <laughs> really embarrassing, really embarrassing. It Did you like, change the password? No, I, I just cancelled the internet provider. <laughs> <laughs> Not even joking, it was just like, oh no. Anyway, you don't, not ladylike. Um, oh, oh, lovely fudge. Yeah. He's back oh, again. Oh, fudge is back. Has he got a new outfit? Oh, look, here oh. he is. Oh, he's fudge with a new outfit. Oh, I love it. You're having a laugh. Help me. Look at <laughs> that, that, that face. Oh, he does not look happy about the first one, does he? <laughs> oh, I, oh, I love him. It's his eyebrows. Oh, um, uh, what, what, who was that, Tori? Oh, thank you. Fudge looks absolutely gorgeous. And then look, Dave going to a rave. Dave the rave. That's my Dave, that going to a rave. And look, he doesn't sort of look thrilled about it either, does he? He's like, oh, man. No, I've only got that image to the minute. I mean, I've got loads, but that's the only one I could take because, I mean, he had a proper party. He was in a right mess after. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is after the rave. He's got the same eyebrows as Fudge, though. Didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Good eyebrows. Good eyebrow action going on from Dave and Fudge. Um, yeah, he doesn't. He hates his jacket, but it's a very practical jacket. Um, okay, last few minutes we have got that happy hour. I mean, you are getting such a deal. Saving um, such, well, it should have been fourteen ninety nine. obviously. You've got them for nine ninety nine. Massive deal. piece of fabric. And these are just beautiful. Um, if you do want these, you've got a choice. You can multi-buy these at this price. I would actually absolutely been multiplying. Maybe buying all of them because they're all gorgeous. So you've got the beautiful red. You've got that fantastic, I've forgotten those names again, um, green and gold and then blue and turquoise. Blue and Bordeaux. Bordeaux. <laughs> Bodo. Um, £9 and 99 pence. I mean, this is such a deal here, Lee. You can't yeah. miss out on yeah, that. Yeah, no, these are fabulous. And a nice small print. So if you're thinking about uh, maybe, I, I would say even using a couple of them together, you, yeah. you could kind of mix and match a couple of them together because there's similar tones running through yes. all of them. And just adding some white yeah. in there and you'll get a, an amazing option. 
I love these. I absolutely think, yeah, dresses in those would look absolutely fabulous. Uh, dresses, skirts, tops, stunning, stunning, stunning. £9.99 is your price if you'd like to get hold of those. 492740 is your item number. Please check the website out. We have got all those other boutique options uh, from Fabric Freedom, which are just sensational. Absolutely. I mean, the tie-dye ones are amazing. The colours, the prints, I mean, than the prices, obviously. The prices. Look at that. It should be twelve ninety nine. You've got those for nine ninety nine at the minute, and you've got such a lot of choice. So take your time, have a little look on the website, see what you want, and then obviously make sure you check your baskets out. Or Haley, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you, Mrs. Leonie. So one day special. One day special. All uh, Kirsty just very kindly wheeled all the stuff in. Oh, so we're gonna take this down and then set it all up amazing have a fabulous like show 48 patterns wow in one bundle you're gonna be so busy well i can't do all the demos in one hour we but expect we'll, try, all the you know, demos. we'll give it a good crack <laughs> all the demos in one hour. Come on, Ailey. It's Christmas Eve. No. <laughs> uh, thank you ever so much. Please check your baskets out on this one. Make sure you do join our Ailey for the one day special. I'll be back up with you with the puzzles. I'm really excited, but don't go anywhere because we've got plenty more coming up on Hachanda. See you in a little bit. Thank you. Coming up next, it's that beautiful Simply Vintage uh, carrying on the pets theme. Uh, we've then got a Janda big save, and then I'm well excited about the Happy Puzzle One Day show. I'm going to get to play games Christmas Eve. Perfect. <laughs> Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. And that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn. There's always something that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hi, I'm Alice from Alice Stitchy Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. 
So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Welcome back. Welcome back to what's going to be a wonderful hour because I always lovely, I love spending an hour with Melissa because she brings us so many beautiful things and I know you guys have probably already spent an hour with her because you were here at nine o'clock this nine morning. Nine o'clock this morning, bright and early, yes. Busy well, hour from what I understood. It was very busy, yeah. We had good, a, good, a good. sellout, so that was nice. I love so, it. Yes, thank you very much. And the thing is that when Melissa joins us, and we don't have her here as often as we would love to have her here, but what she brings is something very unique, something special, and something that's very, very kind of individual with mm. every single item. I mean, your heart and soul goes into every single project you bring to us. It does, yeah. Um, completely. Everything from the, from the designing to the sourcing to the finding to the cleaning to the packing to the putting the address on, everything is pretty much me mm -hmm. with the help sometimes uh, of wonderful folks but um yeah it is all me and mm -hmm. so everything if I don't love it, it doesn't come on. And that, I think that's fabulous because everything you've bought is things that you would use yourself. Oh, yes. yes. And we like what you do, so. <laughs> Thank you, yes. That's why we like it. Yeah, <laughs> it works. You. It works. Yeah. It doesn't have to be rocket science, does it? It works. Aww. Now, something that I also like is you also bring things in um, that are modern, but to tie in um, mm. with, obviously, the vintage thing. I'll explain that to you. Because within this first set, we've got these yeah. fabulous prints. <laughs> these are absolutely adorable. Now, these are brand, brand new. They the are, imagery isn't. No, so they are vintage, well, probably antique images now. Um, and, and they have such amazing <laughs> vintage and antique in um, animal images. Yes. They used to do some crazy things. I love um, and these. these are just, they, they make me laugh a lot. Aren't they? Um, and they're just gorgeous. So I've used them in a previous life, we used to make greeting cards with them and things. And so they are. Um, in the public domain images okay. so if you wanted to sell anything that you make from them mm -hmm. it's absolutely fine yes. um obviously you can't copy them and uh, and sell them on oh, no, like no, that naturally. but if you want to use them um I just noticed it's his monocle i know that is brilliant <laughs> his little hat and his monocle that yeah. is adorable he is I very dapper it. he is he, he's he's dressed to impress isn't he? i think he's the most dapper dog <laughs> yeah. dapper dog i love that now what we're we going to get within this set then besides the fabulous panel with all the five little doggies on there yep so you get the five um, of those you get two um, cotton uh, bags and they're oh. unbleached organic cotton okay. shoppers so they're nice and big good, um, good size, fold yeah. up, uh, and take with you you get some wadding and some new uh, a couple of new strips of ribbon which has got the most beautiful edgings there's also some calico in there uh, and a little um, vintage stash pack of, of beautiful laces and now, trims. I'm guessing because you mentioned the, the V word, vintage yep, word, the vintage so word. this is going to vary I'm guessing. Yeah, all of the little stash packets that come with the packs, whether you buy one or, or all of them, you'll all, they'll always be different. There'll be bits in there that are similar, mm -hmm. but each one 
is, is obviously unique and different and it's all different kind of laces it must take and you forever feature. to put these together because I know <laughs> how, how kind of important they are to you for them to be right. Yeah, I do, what, I do need to have everything perfect and enough in there and, and the right packaging so yes it does it, it does take quite a while it does yeah. so that means that when you're buying you can buy with confidence you know you're going to get the results that we see the lovely melissa come up with in the studio here and i can't wait to see what she's got planned for us with her demo but for the time being let me give you those details again 910884 pounds and 99 pence is a brilliant set you've got two projects at least to get started on there with your fabulous um, calico bags in there but then of course you've got fabrics think about fabrics that you're going to be bringing in think about Grandma's button box. Perhaps it's a way of getting those buttons out of that tin and into something that you can be using on a daily basis. And of course, all those fabulous memories that that will evoke. Details on your screen if you're wanting to get hold of that one. It's a popular item, but don't check your baskets out just yet because we've got lots more to share with you. And I think you'll be wanting some of these goodies go in your basket as well. Now, of course, you looked at the fabulous little panel with the dogs on there. Well, I think this is a nice one to add in alongside mm -hmm. the reason being is it's been a popular one lots of you have gone for this one previously it's less than a tenner nine pounds and 99 pence now it's on extended delivery because this is one of the sellouts in yeah. the last hour yeah we sold out in the last hour of that one but I, again i can do more packs with them but it'll take a little bit longer to put together so yeah it's been great and i think it's the versatility of the images i think mm. people really love the images um, and so you do also get a little stash pack of the lace and some buttons and, and beads in there. But I think just using the patches for anything, you know, you can use it for your card making. Gorgeous. Um, for putting on your clothing. Leonie came up with amazing ideas, you know, with, oh, yeah. you know putting on your jackets yeah. and things. Embell embellishments, you name it. You can make them into lavender yeah, pouches, well. anything. Vintage so it is a really versatile little kit. And like you say, it's 9 99 it's you know, and it is linen fabric as well it's it's made in the uk and it's beautiful um organic linen fabric and the print is absolutely exquisite on there yeah, as you it's can gorgeous see. actually it's come out i was really happy with i bet because it's quite i mean it's got quite a texture on there mm. for you to get that kind of quality so yeah, yeah you have a really sourced that well to find that so uh, 9.99 um again extended delivery if you did go for this a little earlier on and you were kicking yourself because you didn't go for a second one then there's nothing stopping you coming back in and getting another one as you can see whether you are stitching whether you are putting it together as home decor pieces or as we heard earlier maybe memory albums um, maybe it's a case of that you were just putting them simply into a frame well there you go you've got all the elements that you need now the paper that you can see in the background of this particular piece don't worry I'll show you how you can get hold of that in a little while as well but for the time being 9.99 that's all that you're gonna be looking at paying for this particular bundle you're looking at the 8th of January which to be honest there's a lot going on between now and the 8th of January <laughs> so I think you're gonna be a little bit distracted anyway yeah. so uh, yeah we'll get that to you as soon as we can now the next set this is lovely because again you've got a project idea with this particular one and this is brilliant because you don't have to be an avid sewer mm -hmm. and do the dreaded zip insertion <laughs> yep hence why <laughs> i've put them in because i hate zips they are the bane of my life so yes so again we've got unbleached um uh, cotton pouch there it's, fabulous quality. It's, it's gorgeous quality and i did go for the more expensive ones so that you can feel the quality and straight away straight away yeah. it's not yet yeah, and it's robust um i've i've been throwing them around while i've been stitching and it, and it still looks um really pristine and it's lovely to stitch with it's a little bit harder um obviously than the linen mm -hmm. once you put up but we'll go through that um shortly but okay. you will do you do kind of make your patch up first and then add them to the to the actual pouch and little projects like this i'm guessing they're never really finished no. because i mean you can stitch no. a bit and you see obviously on one side it's been stitched there the other side you've got a blank canvas but i'm guessing there's always that little button that you'll yep. find or that little bit of lace that will look just perfect i never stop on a project it's very difficult um, unless it's one that I've uh, a commission or that I've been that's uh, sold that I can kind of I don't have <laughs> it but there's one. always a thing when I come back to the Hachanda samples I'll always remake something or add more to it and that's the fun of this style of stitching you can be completely neat and beautifully tailored um, with your stitches that's and it will look amazing but you can also just have fun with it and that's the key really it's a the, the type of stitching that I love doing is the slow stitch the kind of the messy stitching let's not worry about 
hems and borders and things. But just yeah, have a play. I love it. Giving that sewing personality by just yeah. taking the time and enjoying. There you go. If you fancy this one, again, all of those elements we've been chatting about, a third of the stock has gone. Um, and again, if you do want to add in extras, then go for that 9 99 bundle we've just been chatting about. You can add that in alongside if you're wanting to. Really is a fabulous uh, bundle. And as you can see, the Dapper Dogs title there again, just 21 99 6 9 7 7 4 5. Now, oh, you're in for a treat with the next bundle posh ribbons posh indeed and so many of them i know there's a lot my um, goodness i've done it by weight this time because okay. normally I, I count things out and as you say because you know i'm i'm doing it myself it takes quite a while <laughs> <laughs> um to, to count everything out individually so i've done it by weight uh and actually you get a huge amount okay. what i realized with those and these are all beautiful oh, ribbons wow. and really high-end suppliers um, the story behind it is I, I have a lovely friend who makes the most beautiful bespoke lampshades out of ribbons Okay. Um, and they're very high end very high quality but she has a lot of ribbon left over and a couple of years ago we kind of partnered up because she didn't know what to do with it she didn't want to landfill it and I said well how about I buy it off you mm -hmm. because for my projects I only need smaller amounts yeah, yeah. so to buy a whole roll of the ribbon that's kind of two and three pounds a meter it, it yeah, kind of it's out it's of my really price range point, so yeah. this is perfect and you get such a variety so it's something you'll put in a drawer and just dip into for all your different projects wrapping gift wrapping um it's a really good point things like fancy tags and make projects, fancy yeah. tags make make um tassels make Thanks. all sorts so great for mixed media journaling adding a little bit of color and of course for stitching into as well now the, some the gorgeous linen are these all um modern day um ribbons to look vintage? it's new yeah okay. they're all new ribbons oh, they've got a little romantic idea that maybe that'd come off a victorian waistcoat oh, or something sadly like not, that no not at 9.99 <laughs> anyway could have done. it could have done couldn't it it could have done you can you can make up a story this. and maybe it will go on to a beautiful I love it. now but, when you yeah. get yours you are going to get um, around 150 grams worth of ribbon and as i said from melissa there because you're getting those smaller ones but please bear in mind some of them are considerable amounts. I mean, that's like half a metre, roughly. Um, obviously, I can't measure it. I haven't got a measuring tape with me, but I would say that's well over half a metre potentially. But then you've got little elements like this where you might only need a few inches or so to finish off a project to run down the side of a card or maybe to embellish a zip or something like that. Absolutely brilliant value for money. And at 9.99, please do take advantage. I will hasten to add that it doesn't come with a vintage case. That's purely for decorative purposes. Doesn't it look amazing? But you could do that at home as well, couldn't you? Well, bookshelf. funny enough, that's my next step. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lovely. Look forward to that. Always thinking. <laughs> <laughs> details are on your screen. If you fancy your bundle of ribbons for $9.99, then there you go. Details are on your screen. And again, extended delivery. Are we looking at the 8th again with this one? We are, yeah. Oh, that's the 4th. 4th to oh, the 8th. 4th to the 8th. Yeah. 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 It might be, to be honest, it might be earlier. I know it's, you'll try and get them out as soon as I'll you possibly can. As soon but as I can. Yeah, we're going to say yeah. the 8th just to be on the safe side because she deserves a break. It's Christmas after all. Um, but 565 at 358 if you fancy getting hold of those. Now, those papers that we touched on a few moments ago with that fabulous picture in fact i'm going to bring that picture back in because if you have gone for those wonderful dapper dogs you can see why you certainly need to add this and alongside because what you've got here is some absolutely beautiful pages now i know when you're sourcing your papers mm. this is again something that's very important to you and yeah. i know it's to our viewers as well because none of us like to see good books yeah. torn to shreds no um it is a huge huge bugbear of mine and i and i try and stress it anytime i bring the papers on i never go around taking um, any old book, vintage book or antique book and just ripping it to pieces. I will always go for the ones that are already torn, ripped, that nobody, none of the collectors want, none of the, the people that want to read them want those books because they're ripped, they've been scrawled in by a child or they've been, you know, had got the beautiful colour plates missing or all those kind of things. So I salvage all of those, I, I get those ones, buy them uh, and then I go through them and take out the nice pages. And I've actually taken away that, uh, we, we touched on it with Leonia earlier, when you've got a book, um, if, if say you pick a book up from a charity shop or somewhere, you sometimes don't want to actually do that first yeah. rip into it because it, it is, it's like a, a, a mental it's a beautiful block. beautiful thing, I've yeah. I've done that for you, so they're there. 
Yeah, and I love it. Absolutely love it. And as I say, I mean, books full of so much information. You can have a real good read about different elements in here. Maybe use it um, as a project. Um, I mean, you can see with some of these when you are working with them, you can read some of the text in there. Um, just be careful. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything sort <coughs> in here, but you wouldn't want to be sending that to Grandma, really, I would do, you? <laughs> I do have to go through some of them, to be honest, Hayley. Yes, I've taken some of them out. <laughs> I love it. This Christmas tree, well, tree for any, any occasion, to be honest. This is such a clever idea. Well, this is actually from my very first Christmas. Christmas show and it's been with me so that's nearly f five years oh wow I'm old now but I it was great fun to do because it's, it's so easy yes. you're just rolling up um, pieces of, of mu music paper isn't it beautiful and of course those fabulous um, pieces that we saw earlier on if you've gone for one of the sets with the dapper dogs in there you can see just instantly by putting a piece behind using some of those embellishments maybe using some of your own stamps printed words from word processing or from the books themselves and what a clever idea with packaging as well I mean look at that that's a gift that you would not want to unwrap really you no. just want to leave it like that wouldn't you and that's again that's just a piece of ribbon that I've had lying around that was a, an old um, cassage type thing that I had as oh, well right. but anything you've got beautiful you can just pop on top and they just look great they're gorgeous love it um, so at nine pounds and 99 pence if you want these technically it's sold out though so two three five five three zero we did preempt it a little and did speak to Melissa before we came live so we are going to be able to get hold of some more of these but it is going to be that extended delivery that we're familiar with with Melissa shows <laughs> looking at the 8th of January with regards to these and I just love these absolutely fabulous perfect for down, my downstairs loo which I'll explain to you Ooh, in a little while as we go on um, Je jump on the website that's the best thing I can say to you best advice I can give you there you will find all the fabulous things that Melissa brings to us during this show but also everything else that she brings us so do check out there's loads and loads for you to have a look at some of the elements like the Liberty fabric I think that one has gone now but do check out the brand section as well because as I say we don't get Melissa here as often as we would like but the brand section on our website is always there and check out some of those reviews as well so there's lots and lots of the digital downloads as well oh, this is something new for you yeah. Melissa um, some of them for a little while, but we've got a few of them uh, just behind you there. Oh, I see. These, These are, are great, and, and if by any chance you happen to have forgotten a present, um, if you bought it today, uh, you download it today, so it's here waiting for you. You can always email so no, it across no to delivery somebody. Time. No delivery time whatsoever. It's there. Um, you get a link when you check out the magic of technology it's so. amazing so basically you're getting sets there's uh, there's four different sets and you're getting sets of images and these are all vintage images they are in the public domain and um, so that basically means that they are free to use for any of your projects there's no copyright issue with them so you can uh, obviously oh. print them off put them onto various projects I've done all sorts I've got a bat in fact that one that you've just I held love it, up. I'll wrap so everything. Easy. We've got reference to sewing with it's them. All, yeah, we've got bags. Oh, I've made, made up bags, bags with them. Um, we've done all sorts. Um, I love it. And these are quite. They're, they're advertising ones, and there's a lot of sewing ones because it's what I like. <laughs> so no, it, there's I lots it. of those I in there. It. And of course, the beauty is with that download, when you save it on your computer or your, your um, tablet or however you're choosing mm -hmm. to save it, you can print it off and print it off and as print it off. As many times as you like, yeah. As big as you like, small as you like, if you've got basic editing software on your um, computers. Quarting with Clark's ONT. Oh, I'm intrigued, ONT. Yeah, I'm Don't not sure what that is. Something, something thread. I think it's ear, ear, nose, and throat, but that's yeah. not, gonna, that's not <laughs> right. Is it? Anyway, five ninety nine. The details are on your screen. If you know what that stands for, do email in studio at So we're looking at Clark's Trade, O N T, spool cotton. I'm intrigued. Um, now we were talking about demos earlier on. We were. So over to you, so dear. I'm going I'm to shift over to, uh, <laughs> to to leap over one of the demos and swap them over because. Um, one of the favourite projects I do with papers, but I also incorporate all the other little bits and bobs that we've got, is I like to upcycle any kind of boxes and trays oh, and things. So this is an old cutlery box, similar to the one that has all the ribbon in. They're very little knives and forks. Were they? Good these for were me. for tea. <laughs> these were your butter. Oh, your afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. When you had afternoon tea. Yes. So um, I just love, and I've used these just to pin in because um, the original silk was still in so I didn't take that out so these pin in all my little bits and bobs so it's it's turning what is kind of the plain and boring into something that you can use and um, this one was a little uh, I can't remember what it had in it it was like some little frames or something uh, and I just this this paper beautiful has just got the most beautiful images on it's 
it's from a journal and a nature I journal. love reading these things. Aren't they? they are beautiful. The prices and things like that, they're always so interesting And then to read. what we can do is Ooh. just, you've opened it up and there's, oh, wow. you know, just used all your little bits and pieces. Um, oh gosh, that's just taken me back to being at junior school and us having a project of how many things you can fit in a matchbox. You know, this, that's exactly where this came from because I, it was the way of opening it. I thought, oh, I've got to put things in there. Yes. And yeah, yeah when, I, when I was doing it, it was like, yeah, one of those things, how many can you get in? And you exactly. had to write down. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And how many times did we write air? <laughs> that's or, true, yeah. yeah moisture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to quickly show how I would wreck one of these I guess <laughs> Not at all. and this is the bit that you know if you've got something you use the cutlery or you've or the cutlery went years ago and you've kept them sometimes like I you do. can just pick up the boxes can't you it? can yeah. just get the boxes a lot of charity shops and places don't mm -hmm. know what to do with them and yeah it's always worth it and they are such good quality the clasps and things and they're usually made of a really good sturdy wood or mm -hmm. um, fiber board Built to last so yeah so with this one, it's quite, it's been quite used. It was a bit broken anyway. We're going to go in and just okay. do some tearing. And it's good to get any anger out. Now the fabric that we've got there, are we going to repurpose that? Or is that something we sadly have to say goodbye to? With this one, because of the person I am, I'll actually keep the little block as well. OK. Because right. I don't know where I'll use it, but I love that little like bit on it. I yeah. It might be that we put it back in. I don't know. But yeah, I'll keep the fabric because you can just use a tiny certain areas bit you can that. pick out yeah. yeah so i'm just going to pop those behind me wonderful now the actual cutlery bit this mm. section if you can see it's got the raised bit in it okay i'm going to switch it around so that's going to be the back and that i'm going to leave because it's a lovely velveteen and it's basically oh, acts as a little shelf mm. but what we want to do is use some of the papers and just have a have a play around uh, inside there so i'm going to okay. get some glue now you can use um, kind of a, a, a like a decoupage acrylic that kind of thing, mm -hmm. or you can just go straight in with some um, acrylic glue, which is what I am going to do right now. And I want quite a good layer, so I should have maybe taken it out of the tube. So I'm going to try and do it nice and quickly. That's okay. And then you're going to build up layers and layers of the different papers and this is where you can have fun because you can go through all the papers and find out all the little phrases and bits and pieces that you <laughs> like it. or some of them that will come to you. In fact this one I'm going to cut out. Oh, I've got um, an advertisement on there. It has. Um, I'll cover oh, for everything. plates and cutlery. And it's for plates and cutlery. So that's going to be torn and that will go in last so that we'll see it a little bit more. And of course that's keeping the continuity of the thing going. And what it is. So I'll keep that one out and you can keep going. I mean in the packs, in the paper packs that we've got there, I always look specifically for little I love the illustrations. Images. They're, They're just amazing, gorgeous aren't they? aren't they? Now with the papers that, I, that you will get, now I'm just going to pop some of these on mm -hmm. and I've got a damp brush and that's going to go in and what is great about the the papers is they are really porous and i brought the smallest brushes in the world with me so <laughs> i, I managed to leave the, the large brushes so uh -huh. you have to forgive me you will do this a lot quicker um but they're because they're porous they will soak up the water and the glue and it will make a beautiful kind of mess I guess is a good term for it. I'm guessing that if we wanted to, we could kind of add our own inks to these distress notes exactly. and even more so. Even more. Um, what I tend to use is the outside of the pages with these because okay. they are the ones that you'll see on there. Um, you can see that they are a little bit more colourful, yes. shall we say. Um, what I was going to say about the, the papers that are in your kit, I mustn't forget this, is... Um, they are absolutely perfect for using, for uh, making into projects, for selling any projects that you make. But what you but what you can't really do is copy the page. You know, so if you found a picture that's in one of oh, the sheets, I see, yes. and that is because I don't know the copyright status yes. of yeah. these books, um, and the copyright law is so confusing mm -hmm. and it's different for different parts of the world and oh it it's a it's minefield a it is indeed, yeah, so. I don't want anyone getting into trouble okay because it might well be that they're back in copyright you know 
To be honest, though, if you're making something like this, you're not going to want to part with it anyway, are you? <laughs> not really. <laughs> so we're just layering and layering, and I say, if you would have had a bigger brush, I wouldn't mind, but I know exactly where it is on my on my work <laughs> worktop. <laughs> oh, it will make it a much easier. And you can finish it off once you've got where you like it. You can finish off with one of the sealers that you can purchase. And of course, um, I mean, you, you'll find on the website, the Hachanda website, there's loads of different mediums and yeah. glues and gels. Some are matte, some are satin, some got that glossy finish as well with regards to them. So whatever kind of um, effect you're looking for, then uh, you will find something suitable there. Yeah. And that, that's, the key, that's the pleasure of it, is it? It's totally up to, what, to you, really. Um, this kind of a project is one that you just you can pick up and put down as many times as you like. Um, there are smaller pieces in the little bundle, so you get you you get the different textures in there. You notice that I'm always tearing. I will very very rarely yes. cut. Is there a reason for that? It just tears beautifully and it gives that gorgeous feathery edge. It's like. The noise is it does make it enough. It does make a good sound, yeah. I must admit. But it just gives you that beautiful, if I put it near there, you can see that absolutely gorgeous edge. Um, and if you are going to use your inks um, in there as well, she throws the glue oh, on the floor. Okay, you got it. Sorry, I'm going right. to have to. can reach it. Oh, don't worry. Shall I show them Do something know, while you're doing it. that? <laughs> I don't need it anymore. It's fine. You We've sure? done it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to use another one. Let's carry on. So it'll actually just stick down with some water for showing. Yeah, so, um, when you use the edges, the feathery edges take ink beautifully. So we might use a little bit of ink shortly. So I love the idea that you're working with something that's extremely vintage with that wonderful case there. Can I show you this though? Because I'm guessing, mm. looking at this, because of that living hinge that I can see there, this is something that perhaps we might you might you find two on two or three months ago or something like yeah, that. Yeah, might have done. Might have might have. Isn't that brilliant? Might have that? got that. This one, this one. Yeah, it was a, it was from it was from Stamps Away. They're a brand on. Oh yes, yeah, they've got, yep. got brand section for them as well. Exactly. So you might even find them. Check them but out. It shows that you can actually use those. Lovely Ali was here just a couple of days ago, I think. She um, was. So you yeah. can see. I mean, using those papers, it doesn't have to be on something that's vintage. It could be something that's brand brand new. But you like that look. You like that feeling. Maybe you don't want to necessarily um, use something that has got heritage to it or a family heirloom or something like that. But what you could do is kind of replicate that theme, and then maybe the original have that on display with something else to support it to look amazing but I love the idea of kind of going and trawling charity shops oh. and uh, yeah and so. look for those boxes and the and and the things objects that aren't loved anymore that nobody really likes and just think of a new way that yeah. you can you know repurpose I think I guess is the, yeah. is the word isn't yeah. it yeah and what is fab when you get some papers like this just have a little read through um, and, and you will find that there'll be words that pop out at you, um, like this one, because <laughs> I'm flitting around. This one actually says focus, which is what I need to do quite often. <laughs> um, so, you know, I would always take those and I would take out the little... There's a phrase that I love, and focus is a, a really good one for me. Um, and the same with the images, you can take those out. And if you have, like, a story page or there's a piece of text... Um, that needs reading, um, I would, and you're looking for kind of a phrase or something like that, I would always read from the top upwards. So don't oh. read the actual text. If you're Just looking for words, words. To, to, to tear out and yes. use as little um, accents, always go from the bottom to the top because you'll stop That's a good tip. reading, if that makes sense. I also like the idea as well, as many of our guests talk about spotlights when they're working with the project. So maybe masking off a certain area and yeah. using your inks around it, removing that mask, and you've kind of got a highlighted area, maybe again for a specific word or phrase or picture. Exactly. There's some beautiful artworks that you can make yourself really simply by taking a piece of uh, a vintage paper and going through it and just highlighting a few words. And actually what it creates is a, a lovely poem. Mm. If you take some of those out and then, like you say, you would mask out those those pieces and then spotlight them so I'm kind of happy with that I'm going to take you down a little bit and so we've got our kind of base plate and we're keeping the top bit there now you can start adding 
little bits, little accents and bits and pieces, um, like the kind of uh, spotlights. Let's have a look what we've got. They're all a little bit... Um, I've got the X, EX started, so... Exas so it's a dictionary that yeah, you're looking at. Yeah, this is oh, a dictionary wow. I've got. So it's exasperate. So again, that's nice as well. The, kind of the definitions of certain yeah. words as well. That's a good one. Ex ex what was that? Ex exasperate, exasperate. To make very rough, harsh or angry. To ir irritate in a high degree. To embitter. Um, act of an ex exasperation. Act of exasperating or irritating. Oh, well, we can make something beautiful out of that. Know, I, I, I like the negativity. that. I'm going to take that because <laughs> actually that explains this year quite well. <laughs> it does actually. It does we're all really a little bit exasperated by it all now. <laughs> so I'm going to take that and I'm going to use him in the corner. I'm just going to go straight on with it. And oh, I think straight onto the fabric? Just straight onto the fabric. Okay. This is a gorgeous um, they're getting a very good plug today. Stamps away acrylic glue. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is fabulous and it does I, I before I found this there was lots I'm always putting fabrics and papers together yes and I couldn't find something that would um, stick both of them mm. and work on everything and this is my go-to glue now it's just it's good to have one like that isn't it that you get, yeah absolutely fabulous you, you just know it's gonna work you do you almost so, have to read the label <laughs> no just if in doubt stick it on <laughs> So you notice I'm just wetting it a little bit again, and this just gets it a bit more pliable because some of the pages can be quite brittle, so they, they might have a little test before you, if you're doing any folding and things with them because they might be brittle with the age. But one, if you use them in this kind of way, they'll be nice and pliable once once you've dampened them down a little bit, and it also gets it gets them into the little nooks and crannies. Okay. Uh, and this is the stage where you would now seal it with okay. um, some kind of a sealer that you might have. Uh, and I've missed a big gap there. And I suppose, that, again, that's something as personal preference. I mean, there's all sorts of different sealers you can use. Yeah. Some of them are kind of light, fast ones. So if you don't want to have any discoloration or aging, yeah. maybe using photographs from your stash as well. So, yeah, just check out all the different types you could use. And it depends what you're going to use, yeah, what, you, what you're actually going to use in it um, mm -hmm. as well. So, I'm going to add some, start adding little bits and pieces. And this is where it's might like a collector's box because it's all the kind of things that you hoard, collect, however you want. Collate is a good word. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yes, yeah. I've stopped hoarding. I'm now collating lots of things. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's how it, how it works now. Um, and it's where you would pop it all in if you're, you know, you never know what to, where to put them, where to display things. And they're great project boxes as well so if you've got a stitching project that you're doing just pop it in you know you've you can keep it in there it goes uh, uh, anywhere nice with idea, you yeah. and then you can just pop it away you've got certainly if you find one with the beautiful soft um backings that's mm -hmm. great for putting your needles and yes, your pins yeah. and everything into so they are Gorgeous. fab so it. it's just about now is I the do. fun time just adding adding, adding. little or as much yeah. as you want and away you go and i love think it. inspirational just love a little it. bit crazy. now of course with shows like this you can be adding lots of goodies into your basket you might already have other things on your wish list that you're adding in as well and you might find that that basket starts creeping towards 60 pounds but did you know you can spread the cost of your order if it comes to 60 pounds or more or if you've got items in there that have got that flexi buy um, aspect to them well guess what here is, I think it's Leone, to tell you more. Flexi Order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order making your shopping experience with a chander easier.
It certainly does. And it's perfect if you've got that wish list and you want to get it all in one go. So, uh, yeah, you can take advantage of that at any time that you like. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a recap. Um, we're getting through this hour very, very quickly. Time is flying. It's amazing how quick these hours go, especially when you're engaged and learning so much from uh, Melissa. So let me take you through the different bundles. We'll warn you, though, some of the hot items this hour, again, are the papers and those ribbons. So if those are something that you've got in your basket or you're thinking about getting, I would check out your basket before I come to them and give them a review for you. But we'll kick things off with that first project set. This is where you've got your two projects that you could be creating. That's your starting point, to be honest, because you are getting so much within this bundle, you are going to add other bits in and make it go even further. But the stars of this particular project set are these wonderful little dapper dogs. Now, you will see these appearing um, in a couple of the little bundles. So, again, you might want to jump ahead and get hold of more of these. Love these. Very acrobatic dogs. I'm just thinking about that one that's standing on his head. I mean, what would he look like if he... he look, does he look like he's holding the ceiling up? He's keeping the seat. Yeah, he could be partying, could <laughs> Partying, yeah. Having well, a little jig. Be, you could do a plea case something on top of that if you wanted <laughs> it's to. Like you're carrying a some presents or, or something. Or a tray or something yeah. like that. Love it. <laughs> um, so all those fabulous little projects that you could be using these, whether you're using them singly or you are using them as a group, then of course you can have loads of fun with those. So I mean, that's almost five projects to start with, isn't it? But then of course you've got your bases. You've got your two fabulous bags here. Brilliant quality, lovely weight with regards to them and a really good size as well. So it's all well and good making yourself a bag, but it needs to be something that's going to be usable. And that is the key thing, a really good size bag that you can see with it. And you don't have to be unpicking these and using the new embroidery machine or your sewing machine on these. What you can do is literally take your needle and thread and put those pieces in place. Additional elements, you've got more of your fa fabulous fabric in there. You've got a little bit of wadding there and also your beautiful ribbons and kind of little additional extras gorgeous vintage elements that are all been sourced by our lovely melissa making sure that you are getting beautiful pieces that she wouldn't put in that she wouldn't be using herself so you know that you've got quality with regards to these that's your starting point i love this this is beautiful that's What's actually this? silk dupion strands. wow my yeah. goodness it's absolutely fabulous and it's beautiful to work so with soft. stitching into it yeah it's it's Gorgeous. It's stunning and working with it and then the shine when it's actually Absolutely in. Absolutely gorgeous. Fabulous. And you can see that shimmer and shine there. Um, you're also going to get some lovely little embellishment. I love this the little clothes peg in this one. <laughs> How, I mean, I get all of the, the threads that come in the kits are all um, vintage so they normally well. carded and the well, wooden coat um, then the wooden Normally spools. on bit, like quite big, um, sp uh, kind of like big balls. Oh, I see. Okay, fair enough, um, yeah. But it's all linen or cotton um, threads, and I usually use. I've started to use a lot more like thin crochet threads. Oh yes, like the perlé. And tatting nice. thread. Yeah. Yes, a lot of perlé. Some gorgeous um, lace making threads as well, Ooh, because awesome. they're really tough. Yes. And yeah. when you're doing the slow stitching, they give a lovely texture. So I they'll stand up. Button thread as well. I remember my mum having thread some button thread that was impossible to actually break. You had to get the scissors it, to you it. You really do. And that's what I wanted for that, because if you, if you start doing a lot of slow stitching and your thread goes halfway through, you're like, yeah. oh, it's, that's what it's boring. You want a nice those lovely little doggies appearing on here um but you've got some of that fabulous rib um, ribbon there the gorgeous for up to 60 days so if you are thinking of getting hold of this one you don't have to be in a rush you can take your time wait till christmas and new year out of the way but what a fabulous project to sit down and have a little stitch with Nine one zero eight eight four. if you fancy getting hold of this one at 21 pounds and 99 pence so this is your bag kit your duo bags but of course you'll be adding more in you'll make it go even further i am sure um at 21 pounds and 99 pence very affordable if you fancy getting hold of that one. Um, and now the next bundle, this has caused quite a stir because you'll recognise lots of elements here um, and it did sell out earlier on. Thankfully we have got it back on extended delivery. We're looking at the 8th of January with regards to this one. And you've got your patches. Now it does say just patches, but it is more than that. You are going to get your patches there, but you are also going to get more of your gorgeous vintage lace, your rickrack, your little beads, your vintage buttons in here as well. Contents will vary because of course it is a case that they are vintage pieces. These are the, the real McCoy. So uh, Melissa carefully takes the time and trouble to put together a bundle that she knows is a usable bundle so you can
can buy with confidence with these ones. 999 137 214 if you fancy getting hold of that particular one. Now the next one, if you fancy creating something maybe to work alongside those wonderful bags we saw a few moments ago, then you can't go far wrong with a pouch. Put all sorts in a pouch, can't you? It could be a sewing project, it could be a little bit of embroidery. Maybe you're working on um, a stitched um, little album or something like that, because I know lots of people do have these kind of little stitch books that they work with. Um, again, don't worry about inserting that zip, it's already been done for you. And the quality from these, absolutely incredible, because it's something that you're going to be taking time and trouble to put together. You don't want it falling apart, and neither does Melissa, so she's made sure that she's got the top quality with regards to these. Love the, the zip on here, and I love that kind of uh, closure that you've got. Of course, you could get your alcohol inks on there and give it a little look, add it additional little charms if you wanted to. Again, you're going to get your panel with your five little pooches on there, as you can see, your dapper dogs. You're also going to get your additional wadding, more of your fabric more of your gorgeous vintage elements there and again loads of those beads and buttons um, and again when you start putting it together it's up to you how you're going to put this together i love that little bit of applique going on here using those wonderful threads and kind of like a couching stitch going over the top of there or maybe you're just going to use a simple running stitch to put it in place it's entirely up to you but then of course you can go on and embellish to your heart's content and keep going and going and going until you feel your project is finished like that's a little bit of wadding in there to give it that little sturdiness there Lovely. Um, $21.99, popular bundle. And again, if you fancy getting hold of that one, you can team it up with any of the other bundles we've been chatting about. 697 745 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, when we've been looking at these items, you'll have noticed there's been a lot of ribbon detail with these. It's something that Melissa loves to use. And she knows you love it as well. So she's put together some wonderful bundles for you. Now, you're going to get around 150 grams worth of ribbon in there. But you are going to get a lot of ribbon and a lot of varieties as well. And these are beautiful because you can see here, you've got all sorts that are going to appear you might have some of these gorgeous kind of flecks of silver running through i love this it's almost like a stitch detail you'll get your grow grain in there you might get a little bit a bit of your kind of cotton binding in there your seam binding um all sorts within here um, a little bit of bias as well maybe that'd be fabulous if you wanted to use that on the edge of a project or just use it as a, a flat ribbon that you can stitch in loads of different ways you can work with these loads of different styles and loads of fun to be have oh that's a nice one I like that one. Oh yes not so good for the camera i'm gonna hide that one um, details on your screen there 9.99 if you're wanting to get hold of those um at 565 358 and oh Nice bit of velvet in there as well. Um, limited stock though, so if you do want to get hold of it, please, please, please do be quick. Um, and again, especially if you wanted to go for multiples of these. So yeah, make sure you get in nice and early. Um, and uh, we're coming towards the end of the show as well. This is a sad thing. We've only got about 12 minutes or so left. So the papers. Now, the papers have proved to be popular. You're going to have loads of fun with these because as Melissa said, you're going to delve into those little elements that Melissa has included in here. All sorts of wonderful things that you're going to be able to kind to pick out different elements different words and phrases um, you're going to get loads and loads in here loads with regards to music scores you're going to get some gorgeous kind of advertisements in there as well you're going to get some gorgeous vintage botanical elements potentially love these where you've got kind of those it's almost like the copper plates that are, have been created to actually print these beautiful as you can see throughout these so with regards to these as melissa said she doesn't own a copyright with regards to these they're not necessarily copyright free so just be aware of that when you are working with these ones but they are really for your own personal use but 9.99 you're going to get between 70 and 80 pages and there's loads you can do with these love the idea of using them on your little cards just a little tiny piece there rather than tearing into books that you might have on your shelf and you think oh well, i'll just take out the last few pages don't do that keep those books they're precious but these of course are books that are no longer loved they're damaged they're nobody wants them they're not collectibles or anything like that but what you are doing is turning them into something that looks absolutely amazing now i mentioned my downstairs loo my downstairs loo we've actually got wallpaper that makes it look like a library and we've got a couple of kind of chunky shelves on there. And we tend to pick up little things from little charity shops mm. when we go on our travels. We've got things from all over the country when we, we just see something, you know, like a, I don't know, it could be a, 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 a paperweight or it could be a pen or a, um, a, a little tatting bobbin or something like that. And they go all go on the shelf. So these elements would look perfect if I wanted to create something brand, brand new mm. to sit in there 
that wouldn't look out of place, if that makes sense. So 999 235 530 if you fancy getting hold of those. Website's place to go. You'll find everything on there. You will need to scoot past some of those items because we have had sellouts. But of course, there's a lot there that you could consider, including those downloads. They've proved to be very popular. They are an instant download, so if you're a bit like me and you just cannot wait, then do make sure you take advantage of those. Pop that detail, de those details into your basket, check your basket out, and you will get a link, a downloadable link that means you could actually be printing and crafting with those potentially before we even finish the hour. How amazing is that? And of course, they're beautiful elements that um, obviously all the, the research has been done by Melissa, so you can create and make and sell with those should you choose to. So, Melissa, what sort of time have we got left, sorry? Um, we're looking at ooh, probably about 13 minutes or so. Okay, well, we can have a look. Can I just, I just want to clear something up with the copyright on the paper packet. That's okay, right. yeah, yeah, please Just do. in case it was, uh, I'm not, because there's so many different yes. um, rules and regulations with it. With the paper pack, if you, you so if you made, for example, a box like this with the papers in it, or you used the paper to make a project, you are more than welcome to sell that project, because oh, you're see. using the original right. piece of paper. Oh, okay. Um, it's the problem lies if you photocopy oh, I see. or take a photograph right. and use it. Had nearly into the, my head that one. <laughs> that's, the, that's where it's really, that's why it's so complicated, yes. and I've spent years, I mean, I've been doing this for 10 years, and I've spent years looking at it and I still don't understand so I always yeah. err on the side of caution um, and yes so with those you can make as many projects as you like sell them but just don't copy the images right I'm with you and so, okay. so you can't photocopy it and make 10 cards exactly. if that makes sense yeah no that makes yeah brilliant yeah so does. I thought what we'll move on to on this one is a little bit of colouring in. Oh, okay. Colouring in some of our dogs. I'm going to take the dapperest of the dapper dogs. And we must mention your pooch as well. Because oh, Barney Boo. Fabulous picture. I don't know if you've seen this already. <sighs> yes. It's um, in the work area that Melissa's Here got. Here he is. Look. Here's my little sausage. Oh, he's This beautiful. is Barney. Barney. Um, and he is the, my muse, for, oh. certainly for the dapper dogs, because when I first saw these, and I'll hold it, he, he actually is. He I is, mean, isn't you he? Cannot. Yes. And when I first That's first certainly found hat him, hair, isn't it, that, that he's got there? And we laugh about his hair because he's always scruffy. Aww. It doesn't matter when he's been to the groomers. He, oh. And at the moment, this last year, he's been very scruffy because he's not been. And that's <laughs> him. This is, these are my oh, fabulous husband's photos him. of him. This is him looking like mean and moody. Oh, so that, steel. Looks like, that looks like a mean and moody oh, beach yeah. scene. There. He was, he was, yeah. yeah. So yeah. th this is my little pooch, and I love him to pieces. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring him in because um, he features massively in my life. So, um, yes. So he was, the, he was the inspiration for these when I first found them. So I'm going to take our little fella. Now I've got, I treated myself um, earlier on in the year to some amazing um, pencils. Okay. Uh, which you can draw on fabric with Ooh. and then you add water and they, they're like watercolours. And I'm only just starting to play with ah, them. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm not an expert on it, but I just love the kind of effects that they have. So I'm just going to take a couple of random colours. Lovely. And what I like is the kind of bleeding, the bleeding effect on, on them, okay. how it kind of goes. So how, how we're going to do this, I'm not, I'm not, you can do it in colour in the lines and stay in the lines, but I want it to really spread. And it's not, it's quite subtle on camera there. Okay, yeah. It is quite a, Quite a and nice it's kind of the the fabric grain that's making those colours move. Yeah, yeah, and the water yeah. once I add water, and and I found my big pen, my big paintbrush as well. So hey, I shall <laughs> now not be faffing around with the world's <laughs> smallest um, paintbrush there. So I'm going to go for a, a are nice these red. Derwent pencils. They are. Oh, am I, I, don't I don't know if I'm allowed them. to say the I name think of them. We do sell them actually. Do you? Yeah, they're they're, they're intense. Intense, yeah. intense ones. Yeah, I'm I think sure I saw it on shows. here. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was. And they, they are, um, you know, a really good investment. I had to think about it. It was, it was yeah, a considered I purchase. I, yeah, I bought some from my daughter from here. So they yeah, are, we used to have them. Do we? We still do. I don't know. But yeah. Um, so all I'm doing, you can. I don't know if you can hear. It makes a lovely scratchy sound uh, because this is a quite a um a nice we open weave on here or it's got lovely kind of texture so i'm just coloring in his jacket and just going to go over a couple of times and it looks like quite a, an interesting red on it's there tweed <laughs> a nice bit of tweed yeah it does look completely different i'm going to go in it's going to have a nice blue rough 
a rough rough. Oh, that was a bit of a, oh, was no, that a corny joke or genuinely? It was a, it was a corny joke, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's getting to that time of day, isn't oh. it? Um, and we'll have a little bit of gold. And then, I mean, you should really have blue suede shoes. Oh, yes. Being a vintage dog. So this is just to give an idea of, I mean, you can keep it like that and, and have the, um, the, it's heat set, oh, okay. I do believe, as well. So you can heat, once you iron them, they're, they now are I know this, fast. I might be reclaiming these pencils from the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, uh, I mean, I say I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert on them, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm using them more and more in different projects and Lovely. they're brilliant. So... It's slightly cloudy water now, but what I'm just going to do is literally go in with some oh, water. Oh, wow, yes. And I, I really do want the spread. I don't want it to stay oh, in the yes, lines. You can see those colours moving, yeah. Yeah. And so because it's nice and porous linen, and it's a natural fabric, so it does move beautifully. And you can play around with it, so you can put more ink, but more water on, and you start to move the kind of ink round to how you'd like it. But as it goes, kind of, if you just leave it a little bit, it will start to kind of nice, nicely move. So you've got a bit of colour, and eventually, it will it will spread out to where it's going to go. You can you can use a heat gun just to. So can you stop it, it at any point? So if you get it to the point that you, you like, could you use a heat gun and then that and kind it of would, seals it? It would seal the edges, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll just I pop one up. There's a lovely um, lady from Pink Pink. I know that they do it using um, paints and things yes. like that, slightly different. But similar yeah. sort of kind of grainy fabric that they just use. Just take yeah. it off, take off the... Because it'll then stop. It's the water that's making it, obviously making it so move. It kind of puts a boundary on there yeah. and, and captures it. Love it. But because I've kind of taken him, I've made him into a square patch anyway, he, you know, I don't mind it going to the edges. So you can't, you'll leave that to dry. I'm going to fuzz right. up. This is something that I love to do, fray the edges. I love the edges. I mean, none of, you can obviously hem them, but with this beautiful linen, you just take off the edges. If you haven't cut a straight line, it doesn't matter because you can then take it off. And if you take as many of these threads out as you like... There we go. Uh, you can then rough up the edges. There we go, I'm doing it again, roughing up. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of rough. Give it <laughs> a nice rough. bit of texture on the edges. And I'm doing this while it's wet. You you probably would wait until it's dry. It would be a bit easier because I'm, I'm kind of moving it all around now. And the other little thing that I was using was some mica powders. Oh, OK, right. And I've gone with a different colour on this one. And... What I've done is just dumped. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> gracious word. Shall I carry on that sentence? So Not leave it like that. Just going to dump a bit there. Let's just dump it on. <laughs> oh, it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> um, that's probably a little bit too much. And I've done I'm guessing this is going to add a, a bit of a shimmer or sparkle. It's going to add a little bit of a sparkle. Okay. But what I want is for it actually look to look like it has been dropped. So I'm going to take a nice big blob of water on top mm -hmm. and that will kind of make the mica kind of disappear into the actual fabric. Oh I see, so rather than brush it, yeah. it, it's, it kind of keeps it in I, its place but goes into the fabric. Yes, right, I'm with you. Um, so I'm using a lot, a lot, a lot of water there. So you can, if you've got like little domed bits, you can move it about a little bit and it will oh kind of move. Um, with the gold one that I did, I'm just going to reach over there. Oh, look at that. So that's not a bit of a subtle one, and I started to move it so it looks like he's actually got, he's planted on the street kind of thing. Um, if you don't want it to have quite so much, you want to move it about, just water again. It just comes away. And I'm guessing if you're working on a project that you're not really going to be popping into the wash, that would be yeah. something like a pouch or a bag or something like that usually, then, uh, yeah, whatever you create, it doesn't matter what you use, really. Not really, no. You can put, you can use felt tip pens, you can yeah. use anything. Um, anything that you've got around. So I just want to leave those. And when it does dry, you can see the difference in the colour. Yeah. It will dry lighter. 
um, and the, the shimmer will come out and you can again heat set it if you pop a, it. like a hanky over the top or something mm -hmm. you'll heat set That's it beautiful. I've Thank gone completely Nessa. crazy with the, That's all right. or with the water it. so it's not going to dry even if I had a um, that's okay, don't worry. Now, we've had a lovely hour, I don't know about you guys, mm. but I've thoroughly enjoyed watching Melissa's uh, demonstrations there. Down to the last few minutes of the hour, though, my goodness. I can't I believe it all again. Uh, but sadly, we can't because we've got the final call with a one-day special coming up. So uh, what I need to do, though, is tell you about those fabulous papers because these have been so, so popular. Now, they're sold out. They're back in stock on extended delivery the 8th of January, but already half of that stock has gone you're going to get a bundle of pages and this is the thing that i love about this you've got different sizes of pages which also means that you're going to get different sizes of fonts in there as well because obviously it's a smaller book you will find it in smaller fonts smaller images so you might have some large images like the botanicals that you've got there you might get photographs in there you might be well there's all sorts in there it's earlier and safer sewing under cloches who'd have thought they go <laughs> maybe that's something that you can be using with vintage seed packets and things like that really is a lot of content in here now obviously content will vary because it is a case of that these are real vintage elements that you've got in here um, so every single one is going to be different but i love that i think it's the excitement of what words what pictures are going to be in there and how are you going to be able to use them well you'll be able to use them in loads of different ways and of course there's lots of adhesives out there that mean that you could actually use these on your fabrics as well so i would check out some of those but if you are wanting them do be aware that they did sell out they're now an extended a a delivery as i say the 8th of um, july not July, January. <laughs> That is it a won't long take me long, that, that that long, is, honestly. I wouldn't mind, but August popped into my head first. I don't it's know why fine. I just knocked a month off, but it's actually January. <laughs> um, and uh, very much worth the wait. Don't forget those ribbons, the fabulous little bundles we've been chatting about. All work so, so well alongside these. And, of course, Melissa's been using all of them, and they're all on the website as well. So do jump on there. You'll be able to find them. Melissa, thank, thank you thank so you. much. It's been um, wonderful. Nice yeah, way to I spend enjoyed it. Eve. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. It's, I can't think of a better person yeah. to be spending oh, it with. Have a fabulous Christmas New Year, um, and we will see you in 2021. Looking forward to it already. Thank so, uh, you. If you've got goodies in your basket, though, now is the time to be checking your basket out. If you're wanting them, then you have to be quick because we're coming up to four o'clock, which of course is, gives you the opportunity for you to check out. So, no, it's not actually. It's coming up to three o'clock, isn't it? I've lost an hour somewhere. Gosh, that must have been a good hour. Um, so yeah, coming up to three o'clock. So, and it's with me. That's the scary thing. I've got a two hour slot with you so I will see you the other side of this with some fabulous bargains before we do have a look at the one day special at four o'clock that will be your last opportunity but of course if you want anything vintage this is the hour to do it and of course those goodies in your basket need checking out I'm off to grab a glass of water and I'll catch you the other side of this <laughs> So yes, big save show. Oh my goodness, you've got some bargains to be had there. Then back with the one day special, as you can see, the happy puzzle show. And then I'm going to show you some lovely magazines and some fabulous books. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty.
Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I designed the brand myself to make sure that every product that comes out to you is the best quality, has an individual design and also is versatile. I like everything to match, so if you've got a product from the very beginning of the John Nextdoor brand, it will match with something that you buy right up to the minute. Everything working together, which makes things more versatile and easier for everyone. I really hope you can join me on Hachanda and continue your crafting journey with me and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. So don't miss the John Next Door and Craft 2 shows on the channel. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me the demonstrator and you the customers and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. How are you doing? Have you taken advantage of our Big Save event yet? No? Well, why not? We've been bringing you bargains galore. But don't worry, if this is the first time that you've seen, then don't worry, it's not too late to get involved. Let me give you an idea. We've got some amazing things to share with you, some wonderful brands during this hour. And the beauty is it's all on the website, so you can go and have a sneaky peek beforehand. Gives you an opportunity to check out some of those reviews as well, because the items that we're bringing to you, as you can see there, the prices have been slashed. But you have to take advantage of them while you have the opportunity some of these items it's just limited stock once the stock has gone that's it we won't see them back at those prices there and our star buy for this hour oh my goodness this is this is Lottie's kind of look kind of nudge I like to do a personal shopping thing during a show well Lottie has got straight in there and she's showing you this bundle here you are getting loads within this one you can see you've got gorgeous stamps in there fabulous washi tapes there blocks your rub-ons this is a lovely set from Studio Light you've got all sorts of elements in there perfect if you're just getting started crafting and it also gives you the ability to spread your cost you've got three flexi buys on this one meaning just 23 pounds and 31 pence will be your payment today along with your post and packing unless you're a freedom member then you don't have to worry about that but what that also means is you can add any of those other goodies in 
and spread the cost of those as well. Which means maybe you need a bag to put all those gorgeous bits in there. All that booty, a booty bag, if there is such a thing. Well, this is it. And you've got choices with regards to this one. We've got a pink one and a blue one, which I'll show you the pink one in just a few moments. But the details for the blue are up on your screen. If you're adding this in alongside that lovely um, bundle that we've just looked at, you're only looking at an extra fiver. That's all. That is amazing. Now, with this one, this is great. I love the colour absolutely gorgeous as you can see that class 2 die cutting machine storage bag brilliant if you're wanting to put your die cutting machine in perfect for storage of pretty much anything to be honest you've got a fabulous pocket on the front here elasticated elements here within that flap as you can see there so there's plenty of room really sturdy with regards to this one as well zipping it up you can see all the way around like so but what you've also got is your double zip here which means you've got a huge area inside now with regards to this one you've got all this here absolutely loads you could be putting your papers in there you could be putting your pockets all sorts of different bits in there loads of goodies and i think that yes there is there's another zip i open the furthest out zip but this particular one here i think is where you are opening up yeah, aperture for your boat machine to go in there. Look at that, my goodness. That is a huge amount of space. Now, obviously, the clue is in the title on the screen there. It is designed for you to use with your die cutting machines. Obviously, you can do your own research with regards to your machines, but that is a good machine there to fit in there. So, some of them, obviously, you have got the ability you can fold the handle in and different things, or might be electronic die cutting machine. There you go, I'm ready to go. Sure, I'm off. Um, and that's the thing, it means that if you don't have a dedicated area perhaps for your die cutting, you could have everything that you need within this bag. So if you're cookie, cutting out and you're having to use the kitchen table or um, the lounge or a coffee table, you need to pack everything out, uh, away at the end of your session, then this does give you the ability to do that. But it also means you can perhaps have a dedicated bag for your different crafts. So maybe it's your die cutting machine that you're going to be putting in this particular one. Maybe it's your sewing stuff, maybe it's your stamp stuff. There's all sorts you could be using these for. But the, the key thing is the price is on your screen. As you can see there, $14.99. Brilliant value for money. So, so sturdy and protected as well. That is the key thing with this one. And just a really nice design. Now, if you want in the blue one, then the details are there. You've got a huge saving. £12 saving on this one. Nice idea. Gifts as well. Might be something worth thinking about um, for the New Year, birthdays and things like that. So that's your blue option. Your pink option. Ta-da! It's very similar, just pink. Um, and again, you're going to have all the pockets that we spoke of previously. So if you have got a preference, then obviously colour is key. Then you've got the details on your screen for the pink one. You've got your little hook and loop protector there on your handle. So if you are carrying it, and let's face it, when you've got a die cutting machine, the plates, your embossing folders, your dies in there, it could be quite weighty. So having that comfort um, kind of grip there means that you are going to be able to take that from room to room. It's also a decent size ha um, aperture there for you to put your, well, either your arm or maybe even over your shoulder if you've got something else that you're putting in your hands as well so again plenty of scope with this one and again just a beautiful one to to go for for whatever your craft so oh now <gasps> oh look at that for a happy color inside my goodness that is a power of color isn't it do not adjust your sets that is gorgeous, isn't it? I love it. Um, so maybe you've got a die cutting machine and there is a certain brand that I can think of that has got that kind of green look to it. Then uh, this might be the one for you to work with. Um, and again, you've got your large area there. Again, with your aperture, you to put your bag in there. Ooh, look at that. My goodness. You could actually probably open that up and still see it in the dark. Um, you've got your little pouches in there, your plates could go in there, it could be, um, or you could be using these little pockets or anything really. It might be an electronic die cutting machine and you're wanting to put your additional blades and things like that in there. Maybe your rolls of vinyl, if they're the 12 inch vinyls, you're probably going to be able to sit them in there and roll them and lay them up. Um, you've got, oh, what's this? Oh, does this come out? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So if you wanted to make it into an even larger area, you could do I don't know if I was meant to do that, but I have now. <laughs> so that was kind of a that was kind of like a halfway divider, but it means that if you've got, I mean, some people do have little sewing machines, don't they? Maybe you've got a compact sewing machine. Could be that that's going in there as well. Loads or toys or anything like that you could be putting in there. Love it. There you go. So if you fancy getting hold of this one, this one is your pink option. Again, similar situation. You've got a twelve pound saving on this one. 
and again it's just 14.99 again if you're adding it in alongside the stamps that we were talking about earlier on you've got three flexi buys on those it's just an extra fiver but of course you don't have to spread the cost if you don't want to you can go for them all in one go now if you are using this as one of your bags for your die kitting machine then maybe you're going to be filling one of the pockets with these because these are brilliant three-dimensional embossing folders you can get loads of depth and relief with these ones and you've got some really useful um, designs with these ones you've got your quilted blocks you've also got your braided lines and your spiral flowers now I love these these have got a bit of a look of Remy about them haven't they Remy Macintosh with that kind of art deco style flower really nice de detail next one I like this one now this is one that could be almost like a leaf like look um, or, um, well, I don't know, it could be flames, it could be, well, it could be whatever you want. If you're doing it in a grey, it might even look um, very industrial. Loads of ways you can use that one. And the final one, I like this one because you've got quite a geometric design with this one. So this one's, um, oh, I think we're calling, oh, I don't know what we're calling this one, actually. Is this one your braided lines? Or quilted blocks, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think, yes, the one in the middle is going to be your braided lines, isn't it? they almost look yeah a little bit like they're, they're plaited or braided now with these they are three-dimensional folders so when you've got them you will find that they are a little thicker than your average embossing folder the reason being is your positive and your negatives come together to really give you that depth of detail with regards to these so you can see they've got a lot of relief with those so ju just check out your die kitty machine when you're using it the different um, kind of combination of platforms that you're going to need to pop those through but you can use them in so many different ways loads of different techniques and you are getting all three yeah all three for less than a tenner that is brilliant value for money the nice size as well because of course being square perfect if you're into square cards but of course then you can slice your card stock up you don't have to put it in that's a full piece if you don't want to zero four eight zero five three if you're wanting those now more from crafts 2 and press cut and these are beautiful really pretty designs and good sizes as well so with these ones again you've got some lovely effects with these now we've got a duo with these oh okay so we have so you've got your stamp your three-dimensional stamp over there well it's kind of three-dimensional it looks three-dimensional doesn't it um, and then underneath you have got it's a bit tricky for you to see that one but you have actually got a similar embossing folder so you could use those side by side couldn't you yeah there you go let me just show you there so if you want to put your card stock through stamp it up first then pop it through then you'll get that relief or it's probably the easiest way to do it that way isn't it stamp it when it's flat and then pop it through afterwards or just use the stamp or just use the embossing folder it's all about options lots of choice with those so you're going to get that one you're not choosing with these no you're getting all three this is a pretty one i mean that stamp by itself how beautiful is that now this is a really pretty one this one you've kind of got almost like a an orchid in there you've got little tulips and they're proper little kind of country bouquet almost with that one beautiful look to it really pretty and the other part that you've got to is little birds little birds little birds not three little birds but four little birds all sit there and now they're on what they could be sitting there they could be on a little swing couldn't they or a telephone line or something like that absolutely beautiful Love it. So you're getting both of those in there. So we're already up to four elements. We're still talking less than a tenner, but there's another two elements included with this one as well. This one's a useful one because you are going to get the um, text stamp, which is this one. I don't know if it's a, a definition. Yes, it's the definition of thanks by the look of it, which is nice. So you've got thanks. Um, the, well, I'll turn it around to show you in a few moments. Obviously, it's the mirror image because of it being a stamp when you're looking at it there. So it looks a bit gobbledygook, but it will all become clear in a moment. Um, you've got your thank you as your embossing folder. That's a nice one, especially if you're needing to do lots of thank you notes. And it's a lovely kind of script there, hand script, isn't it? Really pretty design. Quite contemporary look to it, like that one. Now, this is what I was trying to explain to you. So you've got your thank you, as I mentioned there at the top, but the clear stamp there, you can see the definition there. So thanks, noun, plural, a good feeling that you have towards someone who has helped you, given you something, etc. Something done or said to express thanks. 
I love that. And I do like that style. We had an hour earlier on with lovely uh, Melissa um, and talking about all the vintage elements and the dictionary definitions. And I think those two together is a really nice idea. Now, you are getting six pieces within there because each one of those has got two items. You've got a stamp, so there's three stamps, three embossing folders, $9.99. That is brilliant, absolutely brilliant value. And they're all usable, they're all things that I would use and I'm sure you would do. We're at just £1.67 each. And that is a stamp, a big stamp or a big embossing folder. Amazing, love it. So let me tell you some other things that we've got for you. Another brilliant company here at Chando's Heartfelt Creations. The lovely Nikki comes and joins us with some wonderful demonstrations. Um, and um, we've got a bit of a bargain for you with this one. We're looking at the gorgeous Lux Silver cardstock. Now you're going to get 12 sheets of this one. You can see there, I mean, that is amazing. Look at that for a mirror finish, that's brilliant. Now, you can see obviously you've got a good weight with regard to your cardstock here. This would look fabulous with those embossing folders, wouldn't it? There you go, you can see our studio, it's a very empty studio. So we've got, there you go, give us a wave, Jack. There's our Jack. He's much better looking in real life. That doesn't do him any justice at all. <laughs> Bless him. Um, but uh, then, of course, you've got all your 12 sheets in there. Absolutely brilliant value for money. It's the quality, isn't it? And it's, of course, having that wonderful brand in there from Heartfelt Creation. So if you fancy stocking up on those, again, you can go for multiples of those if you want. And you're getting 12 of those sheets, 9 99 We have got extended delivery with regards to this one. So can I just check if we know the date on that one? Purely because it's coming from America, so we're saying the 5th of January with regards to that one. But you're probably going to be a bit busy until New Year really ends. It's kind of Christmas and New Year going on, so uh, yeah, that will arrive before you know it. Now, heartfelt dyes are something that you could be using alongside these. Now, this is a pretty one. This one's a square die, but it's also made up of your different elements within here. So you've got, obviously, your main square, as you can see there, with your little pieces. Beautiful design gorgeous design but if I turn that round what you'll be able to see is your other little elements that you've got within there so you've got your six by six die measuring 15 centimeters and then you've got your smaller die a smaller die obviously sitting within the aperture in the middle if you're wanting to but then you've got I don't know if we can actually see if we open this up it's not always easy to see with the packaging there just to show you can we open it up I don't know See where the different elements fall within there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this or not. It's a bit late now, isn't it? We've got time, haven't we? We've got a whole hour. Whole hour. Oh, that's it. Because I was trying to figure out, it says seven dies on there, and I was just trying to figure out, because at the moment it just looked like one large die and then one smaller die. So you've got your outer parameter frame. So that's going to be your six inches square that we were talking at. But then you've got your corners. And this is the nice thing, because you've actually got four repeats of the same corner there. So that doesn't mean you have to cut a corner, then position it, then cut it again, then position it, then cut it again. That's a bit laborious. You don't have to worry about that. You've got all four of those, but they're individual elements. So you could have just diagonals if you want wanted to or just use the ones at the bottom or the top um, and then of course you've got the ability to use the centerpiece as well so uh, you can see lots of options with regards to that one lots of combinations and a brilliant price there 18 pounds and 74 pence now this might be a die that you missed out on previously uh, it might be one that you looked at and it was just a case of at that particular moment in time the affordability wasn't there for you well perhaps it is at the price that we've got on your screen there and of course don't forget you can spread the cost of that as well if it's going into one of your flexi um, basket um, items so because of me putting the sticker on there you can't hook it over I might have to fiddle and faff around with that one. But Stairway Gardens, if you're liking the look of this one, 722510, just £18.74. And of course, there you go. I think I've done it. That can sit beautifully on there, just to give you a little idea. Nearly straight. Uh, 722510, if you fancy getting hold of those. Now, another lovely one. This is a pretty one as well. Isleta Royale. Oh, that sounds very grand, doesn't it? Now, this one, again, it's made up of six dies. And again, you've got the combinations of kind of your innies and your outies and your different combinations on this one. Now, this is nice because this one is a similar sort of size. So we had the six-inch square with the last one. Again, this one, you've got your six-inch square. So it might be that you're interchanging some of those elements around if you wanted to. Because that's the beauty of Heartfelt. This is what they think about. They think about the different designs and how they're going to work together. And I think that's absolutely beautiful. I mean, that ornate detail that you've got down at the bottom there and again the lovely little kind of lattice that you've got at the top 
play around with these designs, swap them, interchange them. You'll get all sorts of different results. Do check out the Heartfelt's Creation, um, obviously, social media groups, their website, their YouTube channel, and you will probably be able to find that particular diet with some demonstrations, giving you a little bit of an idea of how to work with it when you get home. Another six pounds saved in there. Okay. How does it work? Six pounds and twenty-five to be precise. Um, but six five zero five one six if you're wanting to get hold of that. Now, if you like a kind of a central point on your project to really draw the eye, in, then this is a brilliant one for you because, again, the courtyard elegance comes as a um, light little set of seven again dies with these. So again. Six by six, similar to the frames we looked at a few moments ago, so lots of interchangeability with this one. Also perfect for your smaller cards, maybe your larger cards as well, if you're wanting to have more of a kind of um, framework around them. And this is nice because that central area, the circle that you've got there, can interchange. And again, the little two-inch um, piece that you've got there, that's where that first set that we looked at, that's got a two-inch centre square as well. So again, you can swap and change these around. So do consider going for the, kind of the different ones when you're working with these because they will give you lots and lots of different possibilities. You'd normally be paying $24.99 for this die set, but not at the moment. We've got our big save event, which means that you can take advantage of that one for just £18.74p. So that's a bargain to be had, isn't it? I like kind of circular elements on a card. Just think they're very nice, pleasing on the eye. That's why I like this one as well. Because this one, again, you've got different elements. Then you're looking at your rounded scallop window. I feel like, is it play school that you had the round window and the arch window and all the other windows? I don't know, does it still go in there? I don't know. Play school, I don't know, it's like, with handball and all the others, Humpty Dumpty. Um, anyway, we digress. 223274, if you're wanting to get hold of this particular die set, you've got five dies within there and you can see there you've got obviously your round mat, which six by six, it's six by six, or oh, they've been cheeky in my ear. I wasn't around in 1964, it was a little bit later. Not a lot later. <laughs> Not a lot later, granted. <laughs> granted. I had outgrown it by 1988 though, so yeah, somewhere in between the two. <laughs> now this is nice because you've got that six inch mat again, so if you wanted to cut an aperture from your cards then you can do. Um, again, that six inch frame, maybe it's going to work with those squares that you've got that we were talking about. This is where we're talking about the interchangeability and of course I love that kind of half moon shape that you've got there as well. Really nice effect. £18.74, again a very affordable set, really nice die set that one and again I think you'll get lots of use out of that. Really pretty design. These are all perfect. Maybe you are expecting a, um, a lovely Christmas pin. Might even be under the tree as we speak. Or a lovely die cutting machine. Then this is something that's worth thinking about. Popping them into your basket, checking your basket out, and having some new projects to work on in the new year. Now, the next set. We were talking about choices with the four different sets there. With this one, there are no choices. You are going to get them all. And you're just going to be paying £14.99. Now, you're getting six die sets with these. These are really clever. Works out at £2.50 pence per die set. And within those die sets, you've probably got in the region of three dies at least with these because they're layering dies. Oh, there's actually four because the top one's got kind of like two layers to it, as you can see. Now, the way that these work, and turn around the bird one at the top here to kind of illustrate it perfectly. You've got your outside frame, so that's going to cut your mat. Then you'll cut out your layer. But then you've got additional layers that all build up to give a very three-dimensional look. Shows you on the top there, but if I turn it around, you've got slightly larger imagery there, which might show it a little bit better. So you can see how those different gradients of the purple there are different pieces of cardstock, building up that scene. Of course, you can put space between them if you're wanting to with things like your, your decoupage glue or your, your foam pads, things like that. Or you can have them completely lay flat if you don't want to add too much depth. It's just a really nice idea. And that kind of technique goes through all of them. So you've got your little birds on a branch there. Next to that, you've got the lovely love heart with your little roses in there. Really pretty design. And of course, with these, you can use as few or as many of those layers as you want. You don't have to use all three together. How about cup of tea? Cup of tea time. There you go. So the tea time one again. I mean, you've got the, uh, the first layer that's just going to cut you your teapot. 
that's it. But then you could be adding your tumbling teacups there. I think there might even be a little cupcake feature in there. Or celebrations, balloons, such a useful dye. My first ever dye that I ever, ever bought, I bought a die cutting machine and a balloon. And the reason being is because balloons you use on so many different occasions. And that's why it's a really useful dye to have. So I would certainly offer that advice to anybody who's investing in a die cutting machine. Love this little framework that we've got here with that postage stamp. And then, of course, you've got the interchangeable little elements there. Not only with that gorgeous it looks like chrysanthemum potentially with that one but the dragonfly as well another useful one and then again the little birds this time in a different slight uh, slightly different format with the circles and again think about those dies we've just looked at the heartfelt creations ones with those circular apertures i bet they would sit in there absolutely beautifully 14 pounds and 99 pence zero five six five one three if you're adding this in alongside one of the bumper bundles which i'll show you in a few moments that works out as an extra fiver First flexi buy on that one. If you're going into a basket that's got three flexi buys on it, fiver. Amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Now, more studio light and lots of personality in this one. These are brilliant. You're going to have so much fun with these. There's loads of different elements in here. You have got, wait for it, 67 stamps and you are paying less than £12 for these. That is phenomenal value. Works out just 18 pence per stamp. Now you can see you've got some quirky little characters in here. You've got some nice backdrops with these. Um, some nice kind of layering stamps like these ones because they haven't got those kind of um, edges to them. It's not a harsh edge. So if you're using these for layering, being, building up techniques, textures, absolutely brilliant. Um, and then you've got your characters. And I love these. I think these are going to be perfect. If you're into your journals, a lot of these are going to sit nicely within your pages, within your little kind of daily planners. Love the sloth. I think if I come back as an animal, I want to come back as a sloth. Because they're, they're only awake for like two hours a day, aren't they? And then they, they eat a lot and then they go back to sleep. I'll be happy with that. I think I could cope with that. Um, love this. Works out just £2.99 pence per stamp set. And then within those stamp sets, obviously, you've got multiple stamps there. So it might be the little sloth. It might be the cactus that you've got there, the speech bubble. Again, that's a really useful one to have. Little tiny stamps where you can be able to build up. I love the little um, kind of paw prints that you've got. Really usable set. An amazing saving on that one of £28. Um, can I turn these around, actually? I didn't realise... Sorry. The reason I wanted to turn them around, I will put them back in place, because on this each of the packaging, you've got a brilliant card project. So you've got four projects in these as well. So if you're not sure how to build up your cards and you need a little bit of help, I'll just turn around the top two for you to have a little look at, and then we'll reset the others afterwards. But it just shows you nice and easy how you can bring them together. Clever idea, and I'm sure you'll find out more from the Studio Light website as well. So there you go. A couple of little ideas of inspiration. There they go again. Timber. Now, I'm going to pop those down there. So, details on the screen for those. Now, this is that bumper bundle that we saw on the website. It is amazing value for money because, of course, Studio Light, brilliant brand. We love seeing Studio Light here at because they give you so much for your money. Brilliant quality, but also inspirational ideas. Now, I'm looking at this one and I'm thinking again, planners, journals, absolutely spot on designs with regards to these. The sizes of some of these are going to be perfect for you to kind of decorate the edges of your pages, your dividers, your covers, but then you've got the smaller elements that are going to be perfect to actually go in those pages. So whether it's going in your daily um, planner, your calendars, whether they're just because you want to put them on a, a sticky notelet and then put it onto somebody's desk or somebody's work area, or just wanting to send words of inspiration, whether it's on your cards, however you want to use them. I love this. Happiness blooms from within. Kindness is like a blooming garden. And blooming in the nice sense, not as in like a blooming garden. A blooming garden. Love these washi tapes as well. I mean, look at these. Oh, my gosh, I'm knocking everything over today. What's the matter with me? These are lovely because you've got your plain washi tapes there, which, of course, you could use, um, almost like your ticker tape, really, isn't it? You could be stamping onto those. If you've got pretty handwriting, you could write onto those directly. But then you have got some that are already pre-printed. Just regular alphabet there, nice little divider types of um, washi tapes there as well. Um, and then, of course, you've got your stamps. Your stamps and die sets coming together, so if you're wanting to stamp and then die cut what you've stamped, then you can do. Papers galore within these as well. Lots and lots. You've got rub-ons as well. Really is a bumper bundle. Um, and absolutely beautiful. Now, we've got watercolouring pads as well. Is that this one on the end here, Lottie? Let's have a little look in here. Now, ooh, okay. 
Ah, they don't see this very often actually. Um, so this is actually, it's a 300 GSM watercolour paper pad, which you think, oh yeah, okay, I've seen watercolour card. But it's got a printed design on there. And I don't know whether you can see with that, you've got a little bit of a resist on this one as well. So you can see there, when you're actually working with this one, well, there you go. That's the spot. There you go. So you can see that you've got a little bit of a, um, uh, a, a kind of resist there. And it shows you there. So instantly you're adding your colour, moving those colours around, and that area is protected. So you've got loads of different. And then some of the times there are little splatters. That particular one there, you've kind of got an aperture with a hidden message in there. Those are really nice. And these are nice confidence builders as well. If you've got a young crafter that perhaps struggles with actually stamping or laying down the designs, then they could quite easy. It's a bit like one of those magic colouring books. I'm going back in time again, aren't I? They won't have a clue what I'm talking about in the gallery. So uh, where you're just literally taking a, a, a paintbrush and just add in water and miraculously the colours appear. You just need to add your colours with these ones as well. So if you fancy getting hold of those, 983433. Three flexi buys on this one, just £23.31 means you can spread the cost of these and of course add in some of those additional goodies. But that's enough about me explaining to you what is flexi order. Well, this is it. Flexi order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. It certainly does, especially if you're a bit of an impatient shopper, a bit like me, and you want it all at the same time. Well, where are you going to put all those goodies when you buy them? Well, it could be that you're popping them into this fabulous storage bag. Now, it is originally designed for you to use with your, um, your die-cutting machines. You can see there plenty of room within here for you to put a die-cutting machine, whether it's one of your manual ones. Potentially, you could actually be putting in an electronic die-cutting machine. Depends on the size of it. But it's just a really nice designed bag. Well made, incredibly well made. Lovely kind of, um, it's almost like a, um, a, a nylon finish. It's like a canvas that you could wipe down quite Quite easily if you wanted to. I bet you could add um, texture to this if you wanted to paint onto it and stencil and things like that. But when you look at the inside, you'll realise just how well known this is because you've got pockets galore in here. So it's probably like a, one of those kind of, it's like going into a wardrobe and then there's somewhere else and there's somewhere else and somewhere else to hide and put all those goodies. So you've got your elasticated pockets as you can see here, three of those across the back there, really good sizes. Could be that you're putting things like your ink pads in there because of course they have got that little bit of a give there. Gusset. It's a very underused word, isn't it? Gusset. It's got a bit of a gusset in there. Then, of course, you've got your open area in there. So if you're wanting to put anything, maybe a stamp platform or something like that, you could put that in there. Over this side, you've actually got a zipper as well. So you can open up this area here and pop things in there. Maybe something you're wanting to protect or maybe you're wanting to put your car keys in there or your, your purse and you just want those protected. But again, lots of little apertures, lots of little air places for you to pop things away. The next one that we've got is your next zip in. So you can see you've kind of got your different levels of your zip. So the next one in, this is the one that's going to open up the area for you to put your die cutting machine potentially. Now you've got a double zip. So of course you can have the meeting up in the middle if you're wanting to. But what that does is it opens up the area. Now it might look very familiar because again you've got those little pockets and slots and elements in there. Again your plates, your cutting plates could go in there, couldn't they? But you've got a huge area within that base there as you can see. And you have got a divider. Now this divider can be removed if you want. It's only kept in by hook and loop. It is separated out so it does turn it into an additional pocket which we'll show you in a moment. But you don't have to have that in there if you don't want to. It's a nice solid board as well. So if you are finding that when you're using your bag, you're laying it on its side, then it's going to protect anything that's in that final pocket. But again, you've got your double zip there. So as I say, you can bring them up so they can meet in the middle. Even got a little um, hole there. So if you did want to secure it with a little travel padlock or anything like that, then you can do keep things safe and secure in there. But then the outside pocket that you've got here, 
That is the one that, again, it's got a double zip on there, and that is going to open up. So if you have um, kept that little kind of board in place there, then that is something that you can be using, obviously, to separate things up. I think what's happened on this particular one is, if I take that out, I think that base there really goes folds down and then that goes back in but it doesn't have to go back in but that what what that means is you've got a nice firm bottom for your die cutting machine to sit on again you've got the area here where you, again if you've got something that you're wanting to keep flat it could be your card your board and then of course you've got your pockets there and again another little aperture there really good size I mean with regards to the actual sizes we're looking at 46 centimeters Oh, sorry, 36 by 26, which I'm guessing is going to be the weight with that, by 22 and a half. So really good height with regard to this one. I think it's just a really nice size bag. Do like that. There you go. So you've got all your dimensions detailed on there as well. Um, as I said before, I like the handles on this one because they're good size handles. So whether you are using them and you're just carrying it like that, you've got your hook and loop there with your protector. So that's going to secure your straps in place. But keeps it nice and kind of, you don't want those cut lines. You know when sometimes you've got a heavy, um, a heavy bag and it cuts into your hand and it's uncomfortable? That's going to keep it nice and safe. Big enough if you're wanting to put your arm through, if you're carrying other things, but also big enough if you're wanting to put it over your shoulder as well. So do like that one. And of course, beautiful cobalt blue, £14.99. pence. Now you have got another option, so I'm sure you can see there, which is your pink one. So this one has proven to be very, very popular. If you're into your heartfelt creations, yeah, you do definitely need to be adding this one in. This one is now limited in stock, but it doesn't have to be just about your die cutting machines. I think this would be a brilliant one for any project, anything that you, you, you're on your travels. It could be makeup, it could be nail technicians. Of course, you've got that gorgeous green in there, which if you have got a certain brand of die cutting machine, that's going to look very familiar to you. Again, you've got the same elements we were talking about, the board base there for you to drop down to have the solid base for your die cutting machine. And of course, all those fabulous pockets there. And again, you've got that gorgeous hook and loop there to make it nice and safe and secure on your hand as well. So not causing any damage to your fingers as you go. Do like that. Um, and uh, yeah, brilliantly made. Do like it like that a lot so if you want in the pink 14.99 but be quick because it is limited in stock so uh, yeah if you want to know be as quick as you can 949-590 um brilliant and they do fit the die cutting machines i tried that a little bit earlier on as well but of course you fill your goodies in as well now your embossing folders now these are nice a good size with these again another brand that we know that we love. Um, press cut, um, as you can see here. Now, we've had an email in. Who's emailed? From Sam. Hello, Sam. How are you doing, my darling? Now, he's been busy telling me about these. Um, so these ones and the next ones, do they tie into... Oh, gosh. That's good. Now, our lovely John um, at Locker, John next door, um, he's got his own YouTube channel and he's actually been working with these folders and the stamps and the embossing folders that I'll show you in a few moments. So if you're investing in these and you're a little bit of stuck of how to work with them or you just have one of those crafter's block kind of days and you just need a bit of inspiration, well, John's your man. He will be able to help you out. And these are brilliant because you are getting all three of these which I think is phenomenal value for money because you'd look, usually be looking at probably, what, $7.99, something like that for, for these, I would say. They'd so normally be $23.97. So, yeah, $7.99, that's what that would work out at, yeah. So you're saving £13.98, so that's a better than half price. You're saving more than you're spending. That's the kind of saving I like. Now, this one's a lovely one. You can see here your spiral flowers. Now, if I open this up, you'll see that they are slightly thicker than your regular embossing folders. The reason being is they're 3D, press cut 3D embossing, which means you're kind of going to get those multiple layers. So when you look at the design, you'll see, if I just tilt that slightly, you'll almost see different stages of embossability, embossing going on. I don't know what the right phrase is, but you know what I mean. Your different stages there. So, of course, you've got your different layers with regards to that um, emboss, giving you just that gorgeous look absolutely brilliant as you can see and that's why they are slightly thicker than your regular embossing folders so just check out your manufacturer's guidelines with regards to the platforms that you need but they will work with pretty much any standard die cutting machine you won't have any issue at all you just change out the platforms dependent on what you need this is a nice one as well this one is your braided lines really useful one again it's one that i think it's got a bit of a kind of masculine look to it maybe it could be that if you're doing green it almost looks like grasses you could do it in greys in vintage tones 
diamonds almost looks a, like flame like almost as well you we actually look at it gorgeous um and again of course you've got that depth and again you've got those youtube tutorials so do check those out john next door definitely worth looking at and the final one that you've got is this quilted blocks and i like this one very much geometric style very much on trend lots of people are using those and it's a nice easy one if you are wanting to, to do it um, and cut it to a specific size because of course you kind of got those markings on there which means you can emboss it take it to your guillotine and you've got a fabulous square to mat and layer on your cards like that one brilliant make a nice little ice spy bingo board that one as well wouldn't it um so if you fancy those 048053 i'll wait for the call from john on a tutorial on how to make a bingo board with that one um next set that we've got for you again this is another one where you don't need to decide you are getting them all brilliant value for money look at the saving on this one 28 pounds and 98 p that is brilliant you're only paying 9.99 so for me, personally, if I'm using the stamps, I would go for the stamps. All, the, all three of those stamps for $9.99 is amazing value for money. In fact, if you were to go for one of these sets, you'd just be paying $12.99, which is phenomenal value for money. But you're not paying that. You're only paying £3.33p for one set. My goodness. And they are so useful. I mean, look at that design there. Absolutely beautiful. Now, you've got the stamp, which is featuring on the top. Oh, we were looking at the, the one in the middle there, but let's look at the flowers to start with. So you've got your gorgeous flowers there with all that detail on there. Lovely size stamp, as you can see, but underneath you've got your embossing folder. Now, I don't know if they actually line up. Um, they do look very similar, but I don't know. You'd have to do a bit of experimenting or check out the YouTube on this one. But really pretty design either way, whether you're stamping or embossing. They do look pretty identical, though, so I've got a feeling they would line up if you wanted to. Yeah, they do look the same, don't they? So I think they do. Well, do. I think that's that's the only set that you can do that with. But I think that's a nice technique. But again, you can use them one or, or the other or both together. It's up to you. Next one. This is the one that I think is absolutely beautiful as well. I mean, look at that for a usable stamp. I think it's actually is it upside down that way around? I don't know. I suppose it works either way, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that probably looks more the right way around. Um, but beautiful. I mean, this is lovely if you're wanting to stamp an image and just add your colour with your pencils or. Well, however you want to add your colour, to be honest. But again, it's not just about the stamp. You're going to get that embossing folder. And this is the one where you've got the lovely little birds, like little silhouettes of birds, sitting on a little branch or a little swing. There you go. Gorgeous. Lovely. Again, £3.33p. That's what you're paying for that. <gasps> Phenomenal. Last one always a useful one those dictionary definitions and i love this one because it's a good size stamp obviously you can see the mirror version with regards to this one because it is a stamp it's giving you the dictionary definition of the word thanks which i think is brilliant because alongside your stamp you've also got your embossing folder which has the word thank you or words thank you because it's more than one isn't it grammatically correct um nine pounds and 99 pence again phenomenal value for money two six four zero zero three twelve ninety nine for each one that is brilliant value but for that saving definitely worth going for they could go in your kind of your crafty presents drawer for when you're making little bundles up to give to friends love it next set for you heartfelt creations we've got a series of five different products for you now from heartfelt creations including their gorgeous lux silver cardstock now this is brilliant you've got 12.99 sorry 12 sheets of this under just 9.99 the reason i'm giggling is already you got Jack waving. Have I got to find? There he is. There he is. You need to do big waves. Big waves. There he is. Big waves. Oh, he's like a little windmill, bless him. Um, 999 469 800. Brilliant value for many heartfelt creations. We know it's quality, but look at that. Absolutely, it's almost like a chrome finish, isn't it? Gorgeous. Now, again, Heartfelt Creations bring us some wonderful products. So with regards to that cardstock, you could be using it with any of these four dies. And these die sets are brilliant. They're all working on that kind of base for a six inch square or six inch circle. So they all work beautifully together. Interchange them if you wanted to. This particular set is called Stairways Gardens. Um, seven dies in that one, 18 pounds and 74 pence being your price on that one. So there's lots of different elements in there. Use the frames, use so there's different elements, swap them in and out, loads of combinations. So that one is your stairway gardens. If you want in that one, 722510. Islet Royale, similar sort of size. So the framework on the outside, potentially working from the last set to this set. 
This is the thing that Heartfelt do so well, interchanging those elements. Um, £18.74, and pence. again, that will be a familiar price because I think each one of these dies is exactly the same with that same saving of £6.25. and pence. 650516 if you want in that one. Then we're looking at that square. Square shape again, but with the centre where you've got the circular aperture, which is lovely because the next one that we're looking at could potentially work alongside this. This one, again, you've got your little two-inch apertures, which do work with the sets we've previously looked at because everything interchanges. Again, heartfelt creations, think about that when they're designing them. 362458. And then the next one that we've got for you is that lovely scalloped window. And this one, again, you've got your circular frame being your six-inch circle, but then you've got your interchangeable elements. Five different elements, your innies and your varieties, giving you lots and lots of different combinations however you want to put them together. Two, two, three, two, seven, four. So there you go. Four beautiful die sets that all work beautifully alongside each other. So that's worth thinking about. But what I would also consider is there's an X set because these will sit beautifully within the apertures from those dies that we've just looked at. So you've got a little focal point that could be potentially sitting in the centre of your card, but look at the price on these. Now, you'd be forgiven for looking at these and me saying to you, oh, you're going to choose any three out of these six. That would be a brilliant price at 40. But the fact is, you don't need to. You are going to get all of these. Works out at just £2.50 per set. And within each of these sets, you've got at least four dies because you've got your outside die giving you your mat. Then you've got a series of layers that you can die cut, build up a few as many as you like that will work within that mat or on top of that match, should I say. Even the teapot, I think is a fabulous, I think this is my favourite, the teapot and the, the wonderful little balloon there, I think incredibly useful, as is the postage stamp that you've got with these. So brilliant set if you know somebody who is having a die cutting machine for Christmas or maybe they're going to get one for their birthday or just for yourself to be honest I mean these are a really useful set and because of the size of them nice and easy to keep in your stash without taking up too much space 14.99 if you fancy getting hold of those now you're liking the look of the next set from Studio Light. Like, and I am pleased because I think this is a lovely set. You're getting a lot of stamps within this set. So it's limited in stock, as you can see. So what that means is if you're wanting to take advantage of it, you need to make that decision quickly. We are talking about a big save event. So, of course, with big save events, you've got big savings. And this one brings you a £28 saving. You are saving way more than you are spending. I mean, look at that, £11.96. And again, that is for all four of these sets. Now, you've got a series of different stamps. Some of them are character stamps. Some of them are sentiments. Some of them are kind of texture stamps, as you can see, that you're going to be able to use in a whole host of different ways. Really useful ones to have. And different sizes, large stamps, character stamps, supportive stamps, loads of choice within this one. A really nice set, and lots of you have been taking advantage of them. So, again, it's one of those ones that do check out Studio Lights um, social media, also their YouTube channel. See this one, the speech bubble there for your journaling, I think is brilliant. And the size of these, again, fabulous for your planners um, and elements. And I love those little borders because they work with the textures we were looking at earlier. Brilliant set. Um, 478451 if you wanted those, £11.96. Finally, the big, big safe bundle. That's what we've got with this one. And there's loads in here. And you've been loving it. You've got the ability to save £33 on this one. We did look at that fabulous watercolouring pad earlier on. Should we have a look at some of the papers? Which one should we go for? What's this one over here? Oh, these look pretty. Now, you're looking at 170 GSM. Heavy weight, um, heavy weight, heavy weight cardstock. Um, and, oh, these are nice. Now, I like these because you've got repeats. So you've got three repeats of the designs. And of course, you've got those gorgeous palette of colour tones that you've got with these. So these are nice. You've got all of those ones. That means you don't have to do any stamping or stenciling. You've got a lovely backdrop to start with, but they're uncoated. So you can use them as bases quite easily for you to stamp or colour on top of. You've got some lovely um, stickers within this particular set as well. I don't know what these are. What are these that we've got down here? So are these, are these your rub -ons? Oh, so is this to use this for... Oh, so this is where you're spacing with your letters. Oh, to get those wonderful results. Oh, this is good. 
Now, if you go on to um, Karen Jones' um, social media pages, you'll learn all about how you can actually get all those spacing. So you can see lots of little markings there. So pick a colour, and then you follow that colour to actually get the correct spacing between them, which is where you get that professional look, isn't it? And you can see a zero point in the centre there, so you're going to be able to centre everything. So you need to figure out how many letters or characters you've got in your particular word. This actually opens up, um, I think. Does it open up? Well, no, maybe it doesn't. It looked like it was folded, but it's not. It's double-sided. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we've got even on one side. Even one side and odd on the other as well. So, yeah, and two different sizes of those. So if you're working on a larger project, maybe a scrapbook page or a journal or a card, you're getting two of those. That is brilliant. Double-sided, one side for odd, one side for even. Things like your washi tape, incredibly useful. Beautiful stickers as well. And everything is within the same colour palette, the same style of design. So whether you are using the background papers with the stamps, with the dyes, or whether you're using those lovely watercolour pads with those wonderful images and the resist layers in there as well. Absolutely brilliant value for money and a lovely bundle. And that could all be on its way to you for just £23.31. Delivered to your door if you're a Freedom member. Have your second payment in January and February, but there's lots in here that you can actually split up and give as gifts to people as well if you're wanting to. Really nice bundle, definitely one to consider, um, and definitely one to take advantage of during our big save event because you've got the £33 saving on this one. So, yeah, do consider that while you've got the opportunity. Absolutely beautiful. Details are on your screen there 983433. Now, of course, I've been waffling on about big save event, but what is our big save event? Well, this is it. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Now, I'm a Freedom member, and I know lots of our guests who come to um, come into the studio, they're Freedom members. The reason being is, and it, it makes sense, because when you start looking at products like the bag that we've got here, when you're looking at something like maybe, I don't know, different items have different wa warranted um, post and packing, but say you're paying £4 for your post and packing, um, 3 95 then you might as well pay that extra, that little bit extra that means that the post and packing on that first item is covered, along with any additional items within the show, but it's for a whole calendar month. And as Leone quite rightly said there, quite often we will have deals and events where you can make an additional saving of at least 10% to mean that it's no time at all that £5.97 has been recouped. So the details are there on the screen. If you're shopping from the UK and you're based in the UK, those are the details that you need. But check out online if you're shopping and you're in America or in Europe, then don't worry, we can help you with Freedom Membership there as well. Now, just got a little bit of time left at the end of this hour, so I just thought I'd share with you some of the items that have proved to be so popular during this hour, and I'm not surprised. I mean, the bags, they're absolutely fabulous. The pink one, as I mentioned earlier on, that one is limited in stock, but we'll go and look at that one in a few moments. But the idea behind this is you've got loads and loads of storage. So the bag itself is quite a compact size bag. So you might look at this and think, well, hang on a minute. How much am I really going to be able to fit in there? Well, you will be surprised because when you look at the base there, that's a huge area there. I mean, you're looking at almost like an A4 sheet as a base there. And then, of course, you've got the buildup of the sides there and obviously the depth of it as well. It's made up of a series of different pockets. Fabulous um, kind of um, nylon canvas. So very, very durable. You could be wiping this clean if you're wanting to very, very easily. But then you 
you've got a series of zips. Many of the zips are double zips as well, which means that you can bring them together in the centre there. If you're wanting to, you can padlock them for security. But then they open, one goes down one side, one will go down the other. And they go right the way down, which means it opens up an area. This is something, it's just a little feature, but it's something that I love. The fact that you've got that connective fabric. So when you open this up, it's not just falling, because obviously when you're putting things like your ink pads and stuff like that in there, there could be quite a bit of weight in that particular pocket. Last thing you want is that for just to flop. And then what happens is because you've got an open, then everything tumbles out. So that is keeping that safe and secure. Good area in the middle there as well, which is brilliant. And you've got another little security pocket on the inside there as well. So much thought gone into this one. Absolutely brilliant. So bringing that up to the middle like so the, the next aperture that you've got if you're opening it up or the next pocket again double zip open it out take it right the way down to the base again that's opening up that area and that's where you've got your firm base now your firm base you can bring that in or um, bring it out lift it up if you're wanting to but that is the base that is going to house your die cutting machine so if you've got a mechanical die cutting machine you can see that's fitting in with the handle down perfectly many of the die cutting machines i think will fit in there some of the machines that we know that will fit in there the grand caliber the cuttleberg and um, the gemini they will fit in here but what you also have got is areas where you can be putting your plates and your platforms as well which is brilliant so it means everything is together um, your shims your plates you want them all kept together you don't want to lose those do you again elements here could be that you put in um, embossing folders things like that in there if you wanted to and of course it all zips up with your two zips but but what you have got as well is another pocket which is on the back if I turn that round you'll be able to see and again opening that up you have got this piece here you can in, take that in or out if you wanted it's attached by hook and loop tape so you don't have to have it in place if you don't want to but it works as a good solid divider between your die cutter machine and potentially your A4 paper sheets Again, perfect. Could be a journal that you put in there. It's entirely up to you. Again, another large pockets there. Maybe you're going to put in some of your die cutting tools in there, your scissors. Again, a large pocket there. Again, if you're wanting to put large pieces of cardstock in. Absolutely brilliant. But the beauty is, it's almost like you've got a little craft room that you can take with you because you can pick it up. You've got your cushioned um, handle protector there with your hook and loop tape, so you can pop that in there. That's going to keep it nice and soft in your hands, so it's not going to dig into your hands when you're carrying it around. But good size handles as well, so you can either pick it up, as you might do like so, use it with the crook of your arm if you're carrying other things, but also as well, it's a nice size to go over your shoulder as well. So again, you've got your hands free, car keys, all those other bits and pieces that we need in our hands. Then again, you can see that brilliant bag. Two options with regard to this one, two different item numbers though. So if you're wanting the cobalt blue, the details are on your screen there, $14.99. But the pink option, we're down to a very small quantity of these now. So it's exactly the same that we were looking at there. But this time you've got, oh, this is brilliant. You've got the fabulous green lining in there. My goodness, that's a happy colour. Matches that limited stock details on your screen, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, if you want in the pink option, then uh, yeah, do be quick with these. Do not leave it too long because you could miss out. The blue, I prefer the blue. Oh, the pink's gone. See, I like the blue actually. But yeah, if you wanted the pink, sadly, that one has gone now. They're all in baskets, which means you need to check those baskets out. Now, the embossing folders that we touched on earlier on, lovely Sam. Thank you so much for that, Sam. He emailed in to let us know that if you wanted to check out John Lockwood's YouTube channel, you'll be able to find tutorials with regards to each one of these and many, many more. Now, the idea behind these three-dimensional embossing folders is you've got multi-layer embossing with these. Maybe familiar with just embossing, but with these, you've kind of grade, got gradients, levels of embossing. So they are slightly thicker than many of the embossing folders you may well have come across but what that means is you're getting that different layer that professional layer um, upon layer of embossed detail spiral flowers with this one really good size and then of course you've got your braided lines and the final one that you've got with this one is your quilted blocks nice geometric design 9.99 if you fancy getting hold of those 048053 check out the youtube channel don't forget that john um, next door uh, next one that you've got, and this has been one of the stars of the hour, and you know how to shop for a bargain, don't you? Just like me. Love it. Now, you are going to get all three of these for $9.99. You'd usually be paying $12.99 for them, and to be honest, that is a really good price because you've got your large stamp, but you've also got an embossing folder that comes alongside.
inside it. These two marry up perfectly, as you can see. And again, don't forget, check out John's um, YouTube channel. You'll be able to see these in action. Next one you've got is the gorgeous florals, and they're really pretty design with your little birds. As you can see there on your embossing folder. The last one is all about saying thank you with your stamp and your embossing folders. Now, if you're in the mood for a bargain, do join me at five o'clock. We've got lots more coming up with another big save show. Lots of inspirational literature that's going to help you on your way. I'll see you a bit later. But before that, we've got Gavin and Leone. Oh, I feel a challenge brewing. Um, happy Puzzle Company coming up straight after the break. Make sure you stay tuned. Then join me for Big Safe before we launch the One Day Special. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with our passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If 
you're watching a show with me on her channel, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on her channel with Stamps Away. I am. Hello and welcome. So, this is like the best day at school. You know when you don't have to put your uniform on and you get to bring your games in? Last day, Christmas Eve, I get to play games on my last show. I cannot tell you how excited I am at this. Um, I must admit, welcome, Gavin. Of course, you've been here all day. So you I have, day and special. yesterday. And yesterday. It's my fifth show. Your fifth show, but the first time we've ever worked together. Do you know, and do you know what? I've always wanted to be able <laughs> to work with you, Leonie. This is tw my 25th show, and Hooray! I get to be able to do I that get, with you. I get a bit of show envy because I know um, our Paula, she had a show with you and she, she did. It brilliant. She did it so good. So yeah, I've, I've been waiting and this is perfect Christmas Eve. I get to play games. Absolutely. Hello everyone. Hello Hachanda World. How are you all doing? Getting into the Christmas spirit, I hope. We have got some amazing things for you. Tell me about it then. Because obviously this is our first show together. Yes. So tell me about the Happy Puzzle Company. Where did it all begin for you? So I started the Happy Puzzle Company in my student bedroom in 1990. So we've just had our 28th birthday wow. uh, and it's grown and grown and grown and our stuff is now available in 25 countries across the world and well we work done. with the most amazing network of inventors. Um, I get to invent a lot of them myself as well and we're doing really well and we're having a lot of fun, particularly in these difficult times yeah. we've got an opportunity to actually give people something that they can do at home, uh, keep them occupied and put a smile on everybody's face. Yeah. And I know that it's Christmas tomorrow so you've bought all of your Christmas presents already but that doesn't matter because what you're about to see over the next hour is going to change your perception of games forever and you're going to want to buy everything. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I love games. I mean, I like it because A, it keeps, it's, it's the mental stimulation. I love that. I like the, the getting together, but I must admit, I do like, you know, the, the traditional solitaire. You know, I like the things that, that'll take you away from your TV, that'll take you away from all those mundane things and really activate and stimulate your brain. I like games for that because I so, think it's healthy. More importantly than anything in this day and age, particularly with the younger generation we have to get them away from being on screens the whole time now obviously that has a place but I'm sure mm. I mean my kids as well unfortunately it's like that the whole time so what we're doing here is we're saying head and hands yeah, yeah, yeah. rather than eyes and fingers yeah 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 and that's Absolutely. the way we're trying to work and these are Truly amazing games. Oh, I can't wait. Can I tell you about the Genius Square? Yes, yeah, shall we get it? I'm absolutely right, keen to tell you about the Genius tell Square. Tell me about it. Because so, obviously, this is in the bundle, isn't it? Yes, so that this is, is a one day one special bundle. bundle that you've got here, which has got all three of the Genius games in. You've got the Genius Square, the Genius Star, and also Be Genius. And we'll talk through all of those. But they're amazing. all amazing. But the original game is the Genius Square. Now, okay. the Genius Square was invented by an Algerian mathematician called Salim Bergish. Well, I say invented by him, it was all his idea, but his original idea didn't quite work, and he sent it around to all of the big toy and games companies across the world, and unfortunately they all rejected him because oh. his game didn't quite work. But we saw the potential in it, and we made it work for him. Oh, and this fun. is a breathtaking game. I'm going to tell you how this game is doing. This has been out for two years now. We've sold 355,000 <gasps> copies of it. Wow. Uh, it is the current game of the year in Australia. It's the current product of the year in Australia. It's uh, just been named game of the year in Spain. Oh, um, cool. It's in the final of game of the year in the United States of America. And in the UK, uh, it has got the second highest score ever given to a game by the Good Toy Guide. Good that grief. is how good this is. If you own, want to own one game in the whole of the rest of your life, this is the game to own the Genius Square. And I'm now going to explain to you how to play, and we're going to play together. Yes. Just a couple of things to notice while yes. um, Leonie's holding this. First of all, the version that I'm going to be using here on the overhead, uh, and which Leonie has got over there as well, uh, underneath her left hand, yep. is a giant version which we've had to make specially to be able to do this on Hochanda. Yeah. What Leonie's got in her right hand is the actual size that you would get, and inside your Genius Square you will have 
two sets to be able to play with. And one of the brilliant things about that is that if you want to play this on Zoom or on Skype with your grandchildren or your children, you can do that as well. This is fabulous. a game which lends itself to that. So it's a fabulous lockdown tier four, tier three, whatever game <laughs> yeah. for you to be able to do. Now, let me explain the principle. Okay. There are nine pentomino pieces, all in different colours which we've got here, and we need to remove those from the board. Okay. And what that leaves behind are these seven round pieces, which are actually our blockers. Now, we're going to take those away, and what you see left behind there are the coordinates. So you've got A to F down the side, and across the top you've got one to six. Yeah. And those coordinates all appear across these seven dice. Now, when you roll the dice, ah. the coordinates that will come up will define where you're going to put your blocker pieces. Ah. There are 62,208 possible ways in which the dice can fall, wow. which means you've got 62,208 different challenges that you can do, so the chances of you ever having the same one twice yeah, yeah, yeah. are fairly remote. Although I have a feeling that Yanis has now played so many times, <laughs> he may well have exceeded that. <laughs> Scott's not far behind him, although Yanis is the champion for certain in that one. So what we're going to do is give you a demonstration. I know there's an awful lot of Hachanda viewers out there who have their own set of the Genius Square yeah. uh, and want to be able to play. I had an email earlier today for my first show with Yanis, someone saying that they were playing along with us and they oh. actually beat us. Oh, so, well, cool. well, easy to say. So we'll see how it does. So if you've got really... your genius square at home, you can oh play with gosh. us. That's well exciting, isn't it? Just... I want to know. I want to know if you're playing along, emailing. Obviously not yet, because I need to listen to instructions. Right. Okay. Let's roll the dice. <laughs> I'm rolling my dice here now, Leonie. What I want you to do is yeah. to block out the following. I want you to block out B1. Yes. And B4. And E2. And F2. And A6. And B5, and one more, which is E6. Okay? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to race against each other to fill the rest of the square with these pieces. Right. Okay? It's as simple yep. as that. And it shouldn't take us more than about 30 seconds to a minute to do. Are you ready? Uh, I am ready. Your debut game. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Now. The brilliance of this is that it really does genuinely work every single time. So no matter what the coordinates are that you throw, you will be able to find at least one solution, which quite frankly is why it's called the Genius Square. Though you don't need to be a genius to do it, you just need to have a little bit of patience, a little bit of perseverance, and if you manage to do that, you will succeed every single time oh. in doing this. <laughs> Except that I won't because I make a complete hash of this here, but I think you'll find almost... No, I still haven't, have I? I Good gracious me. Are you, are you, you're, you're playing it properly. You're not just being nice. No, or... no, I'm not just being okay, nice. Hence okay. the fact that I've not finished okay, yet. So there you go. Good. Put that one down in there like has so. Already done it. Uh, move this over here like here. Gosh, we've actually... Okay, so we've got a fairly <laughs> difficult one here which we pulled up first time. That's not a bad place for us to start. Let's okay. move that one over here. Put this one in here, over here. Now put this one in here, like so. Move this one in here, and there you go. We've done it there. And there'll be lots of different ways that we done can it. do it. You've done it as well. Yeah. Oh, I well was done. seconds behind But you. when you finish playing, the first <laughs> thing you want to do is to play a game. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Which is yeah, exactly yeah. what we're going to do yeah. now. What I will tell you, by the way, is if you go onto the Hachanda website, there are huge numbers of reviews of this game from Hachanda viewers. Every single one is a five-star review. Yeah, I've Not a single exception to this. So we're going to play a game. If you buy one game for the whole of the rest of your life, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the game that you want to so, buy. It. So, in, the, in when we get it, did you say when we actually get the game, you are getting two? Yes, you're getting two, so you can play against Amazing. somebody. So as soon as you get hold of this, you can play against someone. Absolutely. Okay, look at some cool. of those reviews. Oh, yeah, the reviews are brilliant. Look okay, the reviews, I relate, they were that. Awesome. I relate <laughs> to that. Because it makes you want to win. Absolutely. Doesn't it? It's like, come on, do it again, do so again. let's do it again. Let's let's roll right. these seven dice again and see what comes up. Ready. Okay, so this time we have got D1. Yes. And A2. Yes. And A4. And A6. Oh, all the A's. And B4. B4. Uh, and uh, E6. Yes. And where is my last one? D1, A4, B4, A2, E6, A6. What have I missed? A5. Oh, my A5. goodness. Look at that. Another Gosh. one on that top row. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. And again, it's possible every single time. There are no restrictions other than your imagination and seeing what you can see when you look at this. 
and some of them will be much more difficult than others and I can absolutely assure you that it's much harder doing this if you are trying to Have you not speak on quiet, TV. Yeah. I know you're very quiet <laughs> and I'm making yet another hash out of this one. That oh is my great because I'm just me. not speaking. It's like, yeah, no, Listen, I'm these not, things I'm can happen occasionally. Hi. Oh, hang on a second. I think I'm almost there. Am I there? No, I'm not there because I'm if I put that one in here, there. that doesn't want to work there. Hang on a second. What do we do here? Let's take that one out there. Let's put this one in here. Let's move this one across here. Put this one in here. Now, let us put this one in here like so. Put that in there. Put this in here. Are we going to be able to move that one out? Oh, I've snookered myself again. So Good yeah, gracious I'm, me. I'm, so we I'm have a really difficult one I'm here. Letting, I'm letting you do all the chat. Uh, that's while fine. I just play. You, con you concentrate over I'm, there. I'm concentrating. Wow, this is a really tricky one that we've got. So this you can see that it is. It's, it's not like always it, as though. easy as you think it's going to be. I like it because it is a good challenge. It and makes your brain there think. We are. I've done. I've done it as well. You've done it as well. Oh, we are very, very evenly matched. Literally, just a set. It's almost like I'm watching, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm not watching you. I promise. No, I'm not, it's I'm fine. not watching the whole thread. Well, you wouldn't really be able to see over here. <laughs> no, right? I'm You'd sit on the screen, to be fair. There That's we are. it. That's uh, really good. So that is the genius square. That it is, is the most really magnificent good. game. You've seen what other people think about it. Um, and we've sold over 2,000 of these on Hot Chandler this year. I You buy one game this yeah. year, yeah. this is the game to buy. That is such a good game. That I know. is so, so. Um, it's one of those that you can play on your own as well. You can obviously play it against people. Now, um, it's only, if you're getting this one on its own, it's only 16 .99. Remember, you're actually getting two boards. So straight away you can play it with another person. Obviously get a couple of these, four of you. So if you are playing as a family, that is so cool. Yeah, if you're playing over Zoom, if you're sending this as presents, but you've already got it, it's a really good game. And obviously, you can, you know, incorporate, um, you know, if you if you lose, you have to eat a full mince pie um, in one go. You can have you can have things like that. So I would think it's a little different then, weren't it? Um, we've got a little clip though, just to show you again how cool this game is. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, I haven't even talked about the one day special yet, so I am going to remind you of that bundle. So, you are going to, and when you think about this, every single time you can actually get complete the game. That is so clever. It's irrelevant where your dice send you those blockers. You will actually be able to get your configuration. That is genius. I mean, I do not know how you manage to do that, but that is genius. Now, you are getting in your bundle. Um, so you're getting, first of all, the genius square. Remember, you are getting two in there, so it means you can play immediately. Um, you've then got the B genius, and this is a um, the children version it looks beautiful and I mean again these are really well made as well I do love the feel of these I think they're one of those games that they look good as well as being very clever that's brilliant for kids because again it's really teaching them how to you know yeah it's your color it's your coordination it's your numbers but obviously actually trying to work that out and um, but then we've got genius star now this is more advanced slightly more advanced here um, and again it looks Looks fantastic. Your bundle. Now this is brilliant. Two payments, twenty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence. You're getting all those fabulous games. You are saving five pounds, and this is the only place you can get this bundle with that five pounds and with that flexi. You're not paying for everything at once. Um, it means you're only paying fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence for each game. That is three nine five six one three. Remember, this is the last alive hour. So if you do want to make the most out of this, get this delivered to your door and have fun. 
keep your brain whirring and obviously get that competitive element then please check your baskets out right in front of us the genius star which looks gorgeous straight away it also looks complicated well it is more difficult than the genius square that obviously is the base version yeah. and here this is a little bit more difficult well at times it can be a lot more difficult but the principle is exactly the same yeah. now before I take this apart I want to show you what I've got here this is a normal size one exactly the same as with the genius square you you're getting two sets inside but there is an absolutely delicious twist with this one if you look here you'll see we've got a golden star in the middle and I'll explain to you about the golden star in a moment but what you'll be able to tell here is that it comes apart into two pieces and if you flip it over it disappears so I shall explain oh. to you how that works okay. now instead of our blockers that we have on the genius square here we've got these pieces which are little white triangles that have got a black star in the middle those are your blocker pieces and you've got 11 other pieces as well and if you look at the board if we go a little bit closer up into the board you can see that the numbers are etched into the actual board itself i don't know if we can go a little bit closer just to be able to see those if numbers just, that are inside if there. If you just move, tilt it a little bit, we'll be able to see it. That's it needs to catch turn light. it that way. There, there you, you go. go. You can see the numbers there now. Okay, it's only because of the camera that it's harder to see. And this time, also seven dice, but the difference is they're not all normal dice. We've got three of the dice here that are octagonal dice. And what that does to the maths is this it means that there are. 165,888 possible puzzles that wow. you can play. And I'll tell you a lovely little story. Because uh, in order to prove that there was always a solution, we had to write a computer program to actually play all 165,888 oh versions. And the computer was able to play one game every three seconds wow which meant that when it finally got it right after a few full starts yeah. it took the computer six days to wow. play every single one Just imagine that when you hit return on your computer and then actually have to watch the thing go whirring round for six so days so cool but it did it and it does so, work every single time that's amazing amazing so what we're going to do now okay. is uh, i'm going to tell you about the genie about the um, the golden star because it's yes. really important actually now one of the things which we tried um in the last show was to actually go onto the genius star website geniusstar.com because what you can do is you can put the coordinates in and it will tell you whether or not it's possible to do this with the genius star so we've got two halves of a hexagon here okay. and on roughly 54 percent of the games that you play it is possible to complete the star with the golden star intact in the middle okay. so you have a choice to make you can either decide to play safe and just get the pieces in place just by having it blue side up or you can take a chance and try and build it with the golden star intact in the middle and store a double win now, if you go on to GeniusSquare.com, all you'll find there is a page that will allow you to put in your coordinates and it will tell you straight away whether or not it is possible to build your pattern with the star intact. That's About really 54% clever. of the... Yeah, it's very clever. So, are the rules, if you put your star down... You're not allowed to pick it back up again, is that you the rules? You can pick it up again. But if really, you did it... the rules? Uh, no, the, Leone's rules. The rules. <laughs> is, that, is that the rules? No, you can do whatever you want with it. You can decide, you can change your mind. But I think the we should rules. definitely play. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm now ready. this will take longer. This isn't going to take 30 seconds. Right. So we'll see how we go. So we've got numbers this time. Okay. I hope you can see the numbers. Let me move them over there so the camera can pick them up. So let's block out with our white triangles number 31. Number 39, number 29, uh, number 23, yes, number 2, yes, uh, number 15, 15, and what is our last one here? Number f uh, the bonus ball, number 47. Oh, the go. bonus ball. Last appeared three Saturdays ago. There you go. <laughs> okay, so all we're going to do is exactly the same thing, and I will try and do it with the... Uh, uh, with, with the golden star intact, but I might not succeed because we don't know or how well it's possible on here. So, I'm are not you ready? Try. Yeah, I'm okay, ready. Okay, let's have a go. Let's start. <laughs> now, this really is 
a completely different ball game yeah. to uh, because the, the regular angles, Actually, I'll the come angles back and are so different. Aren't the they? angles are completely different. You gosh, you need to think about this. Absolutely, because the pieces otherwise will not fit where you want them to fit. You've really got to have your eyes and ears open here. Do you know in terms what I what forget doing. as well? That you can actually turn your pieces round. Yep. You know, and they will change like, shape. Absolutely. And that's that's part of it, isn't it? That that gives you that that sort of. Um, that ability to, to fill any spaces. Oh my word, yeah, this is a trickier one. It's much, much harder. And I I've like completely it. messed this one up here. I mean, starters. obviously I have. Now, let's have a look and see, because we don't know as long as we keep on plugging away. We just moved that to get my blue piece out here. So yes, for somebody who is really into their puzzles and wants to be that little bit more stretched, yeah, uh, yeah. this is a uh, this is an option that you can go for here. It's, uh, which fell out yeah. at number fifteen. It's so there. good. Anybody who is into puzzles because it's different. It's really different. I like the fact with this you can definitely sit and play it on your own. You know that you don't have to play it in a group or you don't have to play it with friends. But but it's brilliant to to play against somebody as well. I love that. I love that it ticks all that box, all those boxes. Yeah, and this is, uh, we've, we've really picked uh, a challenging pick, one. You've really... Yeah, I've really gone and done it here, you've haven't really I? have gone and done uh, it. But we I will, but we will, genius square. We, we will, we will definitely be able to solve this. Genius Just square. Just didn't say like, which year we would be able to yeah. solve it. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I so mean, right, we're getting there. The quietest you've ever had me as a presenter oh, well. in my life. <laughs> I'll say nothing. <laughs> Let's put that okay. in here and this way. That won't go in there that way. That will go in there this way. Move that so you up. can see it is significantly more challenging. Yeah. Uh, in terms of what you're doing here. Wow, this is okay, we've picked a really, really tricky one here. Yeah. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Don't give up. I Don't will not give, give up. up. I shall not give Never up. Never give up. Never give How in. How close am I here? Am I close here? I thought I was near, but I'm not as near as I thought I was going to be. I mean, I'm not Goodness anywhere near. Goodness gracious me. Let's put that one in here. Let's see if we can get this one in here. Okay. Oh, the best laid plans. So that one Oh, you see? I'm there. stuck with that one again there now. I've done put it. That in it. Have you really? That bow, is bow, fantastic. Bow, bow, bow. Look at that. Yeah. I didn't move Oh my gosh, did you get a look at, I mean that is impressive. I mean I didn't do my doodah what. No, no, it? that's fine. Because I wasn't doing it either. Because that's there absolutely weren't. Absolutely Look at that. Yeah, I did it! I look at you. that. Did you let me win? No. Oh, well chuffed. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. I got completely stranded and stuck. Yes. But too much to be fair to me, I, I mean, was I'm trying not to that I'm uh, competitive. talk at the same time. No, not no, in the slightest. I, I would never have known anything like that at all. <laughs> so that is the Genius Star. That's the harder version uh, of the Genius Square. And just to say there is a differentiation. This one is eight to adult as opposed to the Genius Square, yeah. which is six to adult. Excellent. So that's the that's that's, that is the Genius Square. Now, Square. have a look at the website because you can, um, well, there you oh, go, on the that. website. Can you have a see there? Did you put the coordinates in? No. Uh, shall I give you the we coordinates in the gallery? The uh, we had, um, uh, do you know what, I've, I've lost them now, there was 15, I've got them here, hang on a second, uh, 2, 15, uh, 47, uh, 23, 31, yeah, um, uh, 29. 29. Is there one more? Yeah, 39. 39, yeah. 30. So Is it possible? Let's see. Oh, that's exciting. It has oh, no, you see, there not, you go. See, you did get an hard one, didn't you? I did get a hard one. You it, did so get there an is, hard so one. So just to stress what that means, there is a solution, absolutely, but there's not a solution where we can have the golden yeah. star in one piece. Oh, I'm so pleased. That's I a clever little that. piece of kit, that's, that is. And that's so clever that you can put the coordinates yeah. in. Oh, I love these. I love these, Gavin. Have we got have we got people playing? Oh, that's so cool. Um, oh, 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 sorry, I thought you meant at home playing against us. Uh, we've got another little clip to show you just how cool this is. We are talking about the Genius Star.
Amazing. I love that. Now, if you want the Genius Star, you will get two of the Genius Star boards, £18.99. pence. I mean, think about that. You're getting two games in there. Two people straight away can play it. Um, and these are substantial, substantial games. Because these are wooden blocks as well, yeah, aren't they? they? Are beautiful wood and they're beautifully painted. I just think that is absolutely gorgeous. It looks good. Easy to put away when you're not playing. But obviously, and it's a star we're chatting about at the second. Um, and obviously, something like this, because there's that many configurations, there's that many different ways of making, um, of completing that puzzle, that is going to keep you thinking and entertained forever. And I love the fact that you can play it on your own, you can play it with friends. Um, now, if you just want the Genius Store, you can go for that, just £18.99. However, the bundle. If you're going for the bundle, you're actually only then paying £15.99 for your store. You've also got in there, of course, the Genius Square where it all began, which is such a good, they're all such a good game. And then um, you're going to get the B Genius as well, which we're going to look at next. Now, if you're going for this, you are getting your flex, you're getting that £5 saving. You cannot get this bundle anywhere else, but please remember this is the last live hour. I am so pleased I've got this hour. It is the last live hour you do need to be checking out your baskets everyone £23.99 be part of freedom you're not paying any postage and once you get these home they're the kind of game that you will get hooked on um, 395613 is your item number is the is the um out there is there like people you know like little facebook groups where challenges to see who's done it the quickest and stuff. so if you go onto youtube there's an almost endless supply of genius square videos that people have posted yeah yeah uh, i knew there had to quite, be it, it's hilarious is there, I, 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 is there there must be groups now the that do you know that have set up that want to play these yeah we've each seen other. We, we've seen um challenge international challenges that have been done on zoom yeah yeah um facebook challenges all, all sorts of stuff this this whole thing is just blown up everywhere uh, yeah. but it isn't just in the uk it's literally everywhere that's so it's, it's cool. just absolutely the world. yeah it's amazing well it's awesome done. Well thank done. you thank you okay let's so, play right we've got b genius now now important to note with b genius that you only get one of yeah. everything inside here because this is not a competitive one what this is uh, designed to do is to help children age between three and eight to build their self-confidence, develop their thinking skills, and actually introduce them to problem-solving skills. Now, because we're dealing with young children, we obviously have to take things down to a notch that they understand. So we're using very basic numbers, and we're using very basic colours. Okay. So if you look on the board here, what you'll see is that we've got the numbers from 1 to 6, and they appear in six different colours, and those will be our coordinates that we block off. Now, because this is called Bee Genius, we've obviously got lots of bees, and one thing we can always say is that the queen bee starts off in the middle of the honeycomb there and the worker bees will be the blockers. Oh. So we take the, the, uh, the dice here, the six dice here, and we roll them and there's more than 40,000 games wow. that you can play on this one. And let's have a look and see. So we've got a yellow number one, so we're going to block that out with a worker bee. And we've got a green number two, so we've blocked that one out. Super. And we have got an orange number three, which will block out there. And a blue number three, which will block out there. And a purple number three, blue number which three. will block out there. And uh, what have I missed out? Uh, I have missed out the red number one. And the red okay. number one is there. So what we're going to do now is, again, not as a race, just to build <laughs> our confidence and to really give us some skills, we're going to complete this. Now, I have to say, yes. given that this is for three to eight-year-olds, yeah, this could get very embarrassing <laughs> for, for both of us, for both of us. So let's have a look. Now, these pieces are stunning. They are wooden pieces. They are beautifully made. They are incredibly yeah. durable. They will last you for a lifetime. And when you put them in... I don't know whether you can hear that, but they actually yeah. click into place. Yes. And so one of the things that I'll be able to show you afterwards is that you can actually move the whole thing around and it won't actually make the, uh, the pieces fall out as well. So it's beautifully, stunningly beautifully uh, built as yeah. well. Yeah, I mean, the construction is lovely. I love the colours. Because it's nice and bright, that's lovely for kids, isn't it? Yes, it's, yeah. that, the whole thing is really nicely done. I've done and it. And here we go. And I've done I mean, it not too. a race, but and I did can, it first. Uh, as you can see here, you know, if you lift it up here, uh, you can you can actually tilt it, and the pieces uh, will yeah, remain in place good. there. It is stunningly beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is. So for a child who's just starting out on their puzzling journey, yeah. 
three to eight year olds this is stunningly beautiful it's such a good puzzle I, I like it as well because it is one of those things that it's it's really achievable for kiddies so they're not going to give up they're not going to get bored because they are going to be able to do that um, and because you can do a different one every single time it means it's going to keep them stimulated so when we did the testing on this there was a real sense amongst the children of the I did it moment. Yes. The sense of pride yes. and achievement that they feel of saying, look what I've done. And that's yeah. why we don't do it as a competitive thing. Yeah. Because yeah. by its definition, when you do something competitively, you end up with winners and losers. Yes, and absolutely. that's not what we want here. We want every time for the child to be able to look at this and say, look, I, I won at what I was doing. Yeah. Beautiful game. By the way, uh, this game, I forgot to mention this, this game uh, is the Independent Toy of the Year in the UK uh, oh. for this year. And I didn't mention as well that the Genius Star currently is the holder of the Toy of the Year Award in the United States. Congratulations. And so, in the United States, I mean, how much competition must be there? Must there you, be? Do you know something? Uh, one of the things that's really nice about that award uh, is because it's chosen by the industry itself. So you nice. don't, a lot of awards you actually enter. Yeah. Uh, this was chosen by the uh, toy industry itself. That so that is is fabulous. Yeah, it's, uh, these are good times. These are good times. These well are good times. done. Well done. Uh, shall we watch a little video? Absolutely. Let's watch a little video. Run VT. <laughs> Now, that is a genius bundle. Please do not miss out on this. That is such a good bundle. Uh, whether you're giving them as presents, whether you're keeping them at home, whether you're going to be um, sharing, dividing the box, of course, with the star and the square, and that be, I definitely know someone who would love that present. Um, now, we are almost 70% of the stock gone um, on that bundle. Obviously, that's one way of buying. Two payments, 23.99, sorry. Of course, you can go from independently if you wish. Um, now, we're going to move on because this is a lovely idea. We've got a host of selection of different um, different jigsaws. It is funny, you know, because I, I'm terrible with geography. The only reason I remember some countries, and I've forgotten a bit now, is because of the game of risk. So it was okay. actually a game that helped me remember, and I, I've forgotten, but it, that was the only way I started remembering countries, which is rubbish, but it worked. So, you know something? Um, children are fascinated by countries. Mm. And you'll see how we hopefully have fed into that fascination that they have here. But you're absolutely right in what you're saying because there is 